जाकर उनसे ये ऑर्डर ले सकते थे तो आपने नौ सम्मन का इंतजार क्यों किया लेकिन नविका जी आज जब ये गिरफ्तारी की खबर आ रही है तो यकीन मानिए इस देश को भी पता है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल को जितना मौका मिलना चाहिए था उससे ज्यादा मौका मिला और मैं फिर से कह रहा हूं अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल पर जो भी आरोप लगेंगे जो चार्जशीट आई क्योंकि अभी तो आरोप लगे भी नहीं अभी तो सिर्फ पूछताछ हो रही है कल को अगर वो न्यायालय से कानूनी तौर पर खारिज होता है तो हम उसकी बात करेंगे लेकिन आज अरविंद केजरीवाल इस घोटाले में बुरी तरह से फंसते दिख रहे हैं संजय झा संजय झा माय क्वेश्चन इज ओनली सो मच ऑफ कोर्स एवरीथिंग दैट इज बीइंग स्टेटेड बाय द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट विल हैव टू गो थ्रू द लीगल प्रोसेस एंड विल बी एग्जामिन बाय द कोर्ट nobody is saying that there is a conviction that the uh, allegations are true and that arvin kejriwal should be hanged but there are two issues that i want to raise today nine summons does anybody wait to serve nine summons to an ordinary person the way it was uh, uh, you know given to arvin kejriwal do honest ordinary people not have to obey the law of the land and on the second issue where it is being now stated by all his party members the ministers uh, the speaker of uh, delhi assembly that so what if he is arrested he is going to run the government from the jail i want to ask you all those who stood uh, uh, you know wherever they could on very uh, many platforms uh, rallies and said that constitution is uh, in danger today have they lost their voice is this what our forefathers made the constitution for that people in power could actually defy and uh, just run their own laws of the land navika there are two aspects to the answer one is obviously judicial or legal the other is political as far as the legal is concerned i think aam aadmi party has articulated their opinion quite vociferously i think i think there is one selective cherry picking being done here because the gentleman who spoke before me trying to sound as if he was the fountain head of legal uh, knowledge skipped a very elementary truth that the delhi high court today actually gave a notice to the ed saying we give you enough time to come up with substantive documentary evidence that you have a case against arvind kejriwal so while it did not stop an potential arrest of arvind kejriwal they actually gave a notice to the ed to say that we do not know whether you have sufficient basis information or foundation to proceed against kejriwal they gave them time But the very fact that the ed has acted today actually makes it a political case and i'll give you a short answer there are a couple of developments that navika you have to juxtapose one next to the other the indian national congress's bank accounts are frozen i can tell you that anybody who knows tax logs will tell you how easy it is to do that normally used as an item of intimidation and threat and this is being done to the largest political party in india during the time of the election arvind kejriwal has been arrested a very popular leader and i can tell you why narendra modi is terribly nervous of kejriwal and i have said so openly in programs i have tweeted about it arvind kejriwal as an orator beats narendra modi hands down there is no comparison between the two of them and i think he would be worried that if arvind kejriwal went campaigning it will hurt the bjp tremendously because arvind kejriwal is not only going to campaign for the aap he will campaign for the india alliance third hemant soren is in jail i mean can we ignore the fact that two chief ministers have gone into jail in the case in in the last few weeks and you have the bank accounts of the congress party frozen this is telling you navika serious message and i'll tell you why i am taking a huge reason actually to actually take some positive out of this is the bjp in some serious electoral panic does narendra modi know something that nobody else does is the bjp today demonstrating to all of us that if he is got a hat trick if the bjp is on a roll no party would do what the bjp is doing today we all know that the ed is a political instrument in the hands of the bjp so if they are doing what they're doing there is something seriously a fault line that nobody is able to predict but i'm sure mr modi and mr shah know the truth oh, there is a ground swell right. against the bjp across the country 
Okay, Mr. Modi, very nervous. Uh, I'm coming to you, Shahzad, because Abhijit Ayer Mitra hasn't spoken. After that, I'll come to you, Shahzad, and you will rebut everybody's charges uh, one by one. If I could just take 20, 30 seconds to rebut uh, uh, it, because it's essential. Okay, essential. all right, go ahead. First of all, Mr. Kejriwal's so-called oratory has been around from 2014, where he lost the Lok Sabha elections, got less than nota, got less than nota in 2019, and also he has one MP, we have 303, but we are scared. He lost 204 seats per deposits in the last round of assembly elections, where he was doing star pracharagiri. But having said that, it's not about his oratory or popularity, it's about the legality. And Sanjay Jha, you were celebrating the Supreme Court word on Chandigarh. Today the courts have denied him any relief. This is the first time I'm hearing that because the court has issued a show cause and has said specifically we do not stop any agency from any course of action they may or may not want to take. You are saying that the agency is not now duty bound because they've been issued a show cause to not arrest somebody. But has the cause, summons been quashed? As per your logic, you are saying summons were illegal. Why haven't the summons been declared illegal? Why hasn't Sanjay Singh got relief from High Court? Why hasn't the Mani Sisodia got relief from Supreme Court? Why hasn't Vijay Nair got relief also, apart from that, Sanjay Jha, I have only one question to ask. You are, whatever you are, your suspended logic and status both, but the official Congress till last week was saying, last month was saying that this case reeks of corruption and that he must be arrested. Now, has the Congress party done a U-turn? And secondly, the same ED, which you are saying is a handmaiden of the government, is the same ED that has uh, been used by the Arvind Kejriwal government in Punjab to arrest Mr. Khera. That basis has been used. So, how is ED good there? The same ED, the Ahmad uh, Party was saying should have arrested Absolutely Sanjay valid Mr. questions Babu. demolishing Sanjay Jha's argument, but I'm going straight outside Arvind Kejival's residence because there's movement there. Uh, the road outside his house is being cleared up. Uh, Isha, my colleague, joining me from there. And Isha, please show us the visuals. And uh, uh, is Arvind Kejival be brought, uh, being brought out any moment now? Uh, what uh, can you see uh, and, and tell our viewers? Yes, in fact, currently at the moment we uh, we can see that the police is completely clearing out the way. We are expecting that the, uh, that Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out from this gate. In fact, this, this these ropes have also been placed just right now. The police has completely cleared off this road. In a few minutes from now, we are expecting that the joint CP of Delhi, Ravinder Yadav, his car was uh, went inside. We are expecting that entire convoy to convoy to come out. It will also consist of Arvind Kejriwal here at the moment. That was the bus that was also being used for detaining uh, uh, protesters. And you can see that this road is completely being emptied. All the protesters who did come here, even one, even one of them, if they were raising slogans, they have been pushed back into the buses. No, and the police is maintaining that no protester will be there on that road. The media personnel has also been cleared. The rope is being carried. In fact, here also I request my camera person to show you the visuals. The barricading has gone to this side. We are expecting Arvind Kejriwal to walk out of here any moment from now, from uh, to, to be taken out of here any moments from now preparations fully in place just a few seconds in just a few moments from now we will see the, the chief minister of delhi all arrest right the chief minister Isha, of delhi you keep your you coast. keep your cameras trained there we'll come out we'll come back to you as soon as we see movement there there is uh, more information coming in from uh, the supreme court the registrar listing uh, says the vacation registrar who entertains uh, pleas for urgent hearing has not got any request for an immediate hearing from the amadmi party hearing looks highly unlikely tonight sources are saying that though kejival has moved the supreme court crucial additional documents are still to be fined so will press for a hearing tomorrow morning only as of now uh, no uh, hint of any hearing taking place uh, in the Supreme Court tonight meanwhile uh, we're also seeing uh, movement uh, on the gates of Arvind Kejriwal's uh, residence Priyank Tripathi my colleague uh, on another gate two gates uh, one side Isha uh, she's towards the back end side of the Shish Mahal uh, uh, Priyank Tripathi in the uh, front lane of Arvind Kejriwal residents and Priyank what can you see uh, are they keeping reporters guessing the media guessing which gate is Arvind Gejival going to come out from <laughs> 
Uh, see, in Africa, there are two possibilities uh, because there are only uh, two uh, entry and exit points which can uh, be used by the ED officials. That's why uh, the Delhi police senior officials have come out and uh, Ravinda Yadav was also here. We saw the joint CP of the range who is also here to see the best possible route. Uh, there is only one possibility which is left for the police official is to uh, give a, a best way for the ED officials from here. Uh, the big problem was uh, the large number of supporters who had gathered here, but since the number of supporters have moved towards the other side where Isha is standing, uh, certainly the Delhi police we could be possibly using uh, this uh, stretch of the road to give a clear passage for Adin Kejwal to be taken to the enforcement directorate. Let's show you what is there on the main road. Uh, that is the main road where the Sachin will be showing you. This is the main road, Navika, which is right opposite uh, to the Delhi Sachivale. Uh, just a few moments back, we saw that uh, this road had very huge traffic jam. Now, both the carriageways have been stopped. Uh, the Delhi police has certainly given a clear passage for all those vehicles. So, the possibility of uh, Arvind Kejwal being taken away uh, from the gate from where Isha uh, is standing is uh, certainly slowly going down because this is a route which could be taken by the uh, uh, by the ED official knowing the fact that most of the AAP supporter after listening to the breaking information that Arvind Kejwal has been arrested moved to the other side and looking at the less number of supporter this is the only possibility but it's going to be very important that uh, whether uh, the Supreme Court hearing will actually happen or not because what we're getting to know that the Star General does not have information regarding this particular petition uh, which has been moved from the side of Arvind Kejwal because uh, today we saw that High Court has given no uh, relief. Uh, the petition of uh, no coercive action against Arvind Kejwal, which was moved by the councils of Amani Party, uh, was certainly clubbed with the petition. The we'll regular keep petition our cameras and trained and I'll, uh, let me go across. Thanks, uh, Priyank. We'll keep coming back to you and I'm uh, getting across uh, to uh, Abhijit Ayer Mitra. Sorry for making you wait, but Abhijit... Uh, Fast uh, developments happening right outside there and uh, any time now Arvind Kejriwal will uh, be brought out. Uh, Vivek Silas of the Samajwadi Party also joining the debate. Uh, but uh, Abhijit, uh, once again, does the political argument that Priyanka Gandhi Vadra is using, the Aam Admi Party is using, Dr. Sanjay Jha is using, does it actually stand, especially in a matter that is legal, a scam? swindling of money charge, uh, money laundering charge, these, these are not political allegations. These are uh, allegations that will have to be proved in a court of law. So I want to ask you, is the response becoming more political because there are no legal answers uh, to defend uh, the charges against uh, Arvind Kejriwal? So the uh, you know the answers that are being thrown up aren't political now, Navika. They're farcical. They just try to throw, throw dust. Let me just separate all the strands because I think the way uh, you know Sanjay has woven, uh, he's managed to confuse enough of our viewers. There are three issues here. The ED's heavy-handedness, which should be condemned, but the ED has always been heavy-handed since, uh, you know, Indira Gandhi and co founded it or Nehru founded it. I don't know who founded it. They've always been like this. This is not a new modus operandi for them. The second is the privilege that Arvind Kejriwal gets. Everybody else has to respond within the first three notices or then you get arrested on the fourth. He has been given nine separate issues. The third, which I am going to focus on, is corruption. Now, in corruption, there are three aspects out here. The first is the license aspect. The second is the procedural aspect, and the third is the profit aspect. What was the procedural aspect? It was such a badly drafted policy that it went back to Indira Gandhi's license raj. This was not capitalism, where anybody who can pay a license fee is given a this thing. This was competitive bidding. It was artificially divided into 32 zones, where there would only be 27 people, uh, 27 vendors in each zone, and every municipal ward would have two to three uh, vendors. This in itself, we know from Indira Gandhi's license Raj days, was meant to be for corruption. This is how everything, this is why you were burdened with just one car, the ambassador, for so long, for 30, 40 years after your independence, right? We know for a fact that this is a corrupt uh, issue. We know from all the raids that have happened that money has exchanged hands out here in some form or the other, because the second part of it is that some of the L1 licensees then started outsourcing their uh, 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 giving credit notes and things like that, which was a violation, first of all, of the L1 award in itself. 
which brings me to the second point, which is the process violation. Not only were those L1s uh, giving all these credit notes to the retail vendors and things, which they were not meant to do, the government also, without consulting the LG, then waived the license fee for 144 crores, the tendered license fee, which they were not allowed to do. The third point we come, which is the profit aspect of it, which the government claims there was a loss and the, the uh, AAP claims there was an 8,000 crore profit. That I think is, you know, these profit and loss calculations are up in the air. They don't prove corruption. But the first two, the procedural violation and the way the wards were divided and the L1, L2 contracts were given and the entire way in which certain things were discounted. Now, you see, discounting can totally happen. You can uh, reduce the price, give uh, discounts and things, and your uh, sales will zoom uh, because of quantity. That is perfectly fine. True. The problem here is you pick specific foreign True. vendors, like 50 rupees discount on uh, uh, the uh, 50 rupee import fee on beer and things like that, to deliberately, very targeted. It wasn't a blanket, uh, uh, this thing. It was for very specific foreign vendors that it was done. Why? So there is so much selectivity out here. The corruption is so in your face. A five-year-old child can say it's corruption. No, but this is being called a political vendetta and Vivek Silas. You know, the entire political class uh, today uh, is up in arms, uh, again, calling this murder of democracy, uh, constitution being derailed, Derek O'Brien of the Trinomool Congress, Priyanka Gandhi, Badra, all of them coming out. And we can take all of those tweets on air, uh, you know, to see the political reaction coming in. My question, Vivek Silas, is nobody can uh, actually call this uh, illegal because a there is no stay from the courts uh, stopping the ed for the arrest number one and number two this matter will go to court Manish Sisodia has gone up to the supreme court but has not got bail for one year in the liquor scam Sanjay Singh since October till today has gone up to the supreme court and not got bail till the till date Arvind Kejriwal has been given enough and more opportunities, nine summons, doesn't want to even appear and answer questions and has got no relief from the courts. So what are we saying that the constitution has been shredded to pieces? This is going by the law and the law as it stands today. Yes, very good evening to you, Navika ji. I think... Uh, uh if we see the legality of it, yes, it is very much legal and the, finally the court has to decide about it. But uh, uh, here Mr. Kejriwal is uh, the chief minister of uh, Delhi and if we see there are so many other chief ministers like... So he should uh, not Raymond be ar Sarma, uh, arrested? See, uh, he should not be uh, summoned? Uh, Pawar. No, 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 no. No, no, he, he should be definitely be uh, summoned if the CBI thinks, but definitely it, it looks like a political vendetta. I'll tell you how, how and uh, why. Because the, the, the chief minister of uh, Assam also has a lot of cases against him. But people should know that why the CB or the ED, is, ED are not going to his house. Why? That is a question. Everyone is talking about it. It's, it's on the streets. The common man is talking about it. Okay, why only Mr. Kejriwal? Why only Mr. Heman Surin? Why only the, the you know accounts of the Congress party are being frozen? What, Mr. Raj, what about Mr. Ajit Pawar, who, whom uh, the Honorable Prime Minister himself said that he is a model of corruption? Why the, the ED or the CBI is not going to him? There are many other leaders, countless leaders who are in the party, in the party who are involved in cases of corruption. And ED is absolutely mum and quiet. ED also says that we have lost the files. Can anyone damn believe it? No one can believe it, Navika ji, okay. that the ED has lost the files. This is no excuse. Fair Ultimately, question. it will come out. Fair the, question. Let, let me get in Anand Ranganathan to answer this. Anand Ranganathan, okay, all right, fair point made. Anand Ranganathan, is the ED being selective? Are uh, BJP and other corrupt leaders who join the BJP uh, going through a washing machine while uh, only the ones who don't comply uh, to the pressures of the BJP facing the music? It's, it's a charge that the opposition has made several times, but does that charge stand today when the courts have not given any relief to Arvind Kejriwal? 
Navika, three points. Number one, uh, I don't agree that ED is uh, or BJP is a washing machine. It is now a dhobi ghat. And ED is one of the mechanisms by which washing machine has been turned into a dhobi ghat. The fact of the matter is, yes, ED is selective and there is data to prove it. 95% of the op leaders, politicians who are being investigated by ED are from the opposition. So, yes, that's a fact. But again, I ask and I re reiterate here, how is that connected to the happenings of today or of a month where Kejriwal has been summoned nine times? Because as I say and I repeat, every single foot of the way, the court is supervising this. So, yes, while the ED is totally not independent, the fact of the matter is when the courts are overseeing it. For example, let me give an example of CBI. Now, yes, CBI also, CBI also is biased. It is not independent at all. And I was the first one to say this, that now, right now, the shoulder that the parrot is sitting on is Narendra Modi's shoulder. But is it also not a case that Kolkata High Court was listening to the whole Sandesh Khali matter and Kolkata High Court ordered the police there to shift the perpetrator, give him away to the CBI? So when matters reach the court, you have to end and you have to accept that, yes, the bias is no longer valid in cases where the court is supervising. And today is the exemplar of such case where right from day one, from the first second, Kejriwal has been calling on the court, not only just the lower courts, but the higher court as well. And today, right now, he's gone to the highest court. So please tell me, yes, the ED is biased, uh, Vivek ji. But how is that connected to what the Kejriwal government or Arvind Kejriwal has been subjected to? Two are different things, sir. Well, uh, I have only two minutes, uh, uh, sorry, uh, 30 seconds on this show. So uh, respond to that, uh, Saeed Abbas. Simple. I'm, I'm very glad. You know, this is the reason why Navika ji, I've always held great respect for my friend Anand Ranganathan. He has said it there. You know, there's a neutral point that indeed ED is selective, indeed ED is biased, and that is the fact. Now, the question that he's raised, what about the courts? What about the judges? Same to my dear friend Anand Ranganathan. I asked him today, sir, the courts will certainly decide. But the way the BJP is grafting this, is Arvind Kejriwal a criminal? Is there a conviction order from the High Court? Is there a conviction order from the Supreme Court? Absolutely nothing. We need to understand today the Bharatiya Janata Party is my, using all its might. My friend, he has not even answered. He has not the... even answered a single question. He has not responded to nine summons. That is why, that is why he has forced the hand of the Enforcement Directorate. Of course, the conviction will have to come when the courts see that the evidence is stacked up. If not, Arvind Kejriwal will be released. The question that I am asking tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is just this much. I'm asking, has Arvind Kejriwal forced and aggravated his case uh, by making the ED really take uh, this opportunity to arrest him because he's got, uh, he's, uh, you know, completely ignored nine summons and he's got no relief from the states? Isn't the ED now well within his, its rights uh, to go out and arrest him? It's a question. And political rhetoric aside, there is place for whether this should be the timing before the elections. Is it the timing? I completely agree with this. Arvind Kejriwal popularly elected. But does that mean that popularly elected politicians have a separate law from the law that is followed by the Aam Admi? It's a question the Aam Admi Party's uh, chief minister will have to answer. His house, the Shish Mahal today, has visitors and visitors of security forces, ED officials, all asking him the questions because has he forced their hand and got no relief from the courts? Is it illegal or is there only a political argument that is left and that can be repeated ad nauseum because it is election season? As I say, uh, thank you to all my panelists. I also bring in uh, my colleague, executive editor, Madhav Das Gopalakrishnan, uh, joining me tonight. And Madhav, uh, handing over to you, big day. Many developments from the courts right to the Shish Mahal of Arvind Kejriwal, where the arrest has been made. And now, anytime now, uh, he, along with the security officials and ED officials, will be brought out. 
How is it looking? What's going to be the road from here to the ED headquarters and what's in store for Arvind Kejriwal? For all of that, I hand over to you to take uh, this live coverage forward. Thanks so much for that, Navika. It's been a long day and a newsy day indeed. And it's going to be a long night as well outside the residence of Arvind Kejriwal where massive security deployment has been put in place. His supporters being detained from outside his residence as well. And any moment now with elaborate security arrangements, ropes that have been put into place and in fact a huge presence of uh, uh, police, of central armed paramilitary forces which are all present at Arvind Kejriwal's residence as well as the Enforcement Directorate headquarters in the heart of New Delhi. That's where all the action is. Two spots where the action is currently being seen. We've also been told that Aam Aadmi Party has approached the Supreme Court. We'll be bring you updates from all of those areas. Our reporters are tracking every movement, every development. You're going to hear it first here on Times Now. So viewers, let's get you updated with what really has happened. It's the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal has been formally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. The proceedings as far as the arrest are concerned are currently underway and in fact we understand that uh, this is happening after nine summons were skipped by Arvind Kejriwal. They were issued by the probe agency and then he approached the High Court today. Now, we also saw high drama outside the Chief Minister's residence from late evening. A team of ED officials swooped down at Kejriwal's residence. As many as 12 ED officials entered the Chief Minister's residence, including Joint Director and Additional Director, who were leading the team. The questioning of the Chief Minister went on for two hours, during which the Enforcement Directory team also seized Kejriwal's phones. In the meantime, security was enhanced outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence, with multiple vehicles of the CAPF personnel being seen entering Kejriwal's house and some were even stationed outside. Now, senior AAP leaders, including Delhi ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj, rushed to the chief minister's residence. They've slammed the arrest and declared that he will run the government from inside jail. Arvind Kejriwal is not just a person. Arvind Kejriwal is a thought. अगर आप लगते हो, अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो, तो आपको गलत लगता है। अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे, दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे। हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी, तो कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी Tam Aadmi Party has approached the Supreme Court seeking an urgent hearing tonight itself. However, the Supreme Court Registrar says that the vacation registrar who entertains the plea for urgent hearing has not got any request for immediate hearing. As such, the hearing looks highly unlikely. And sources say that uh, though Kejriwal has moved the Supreme Court, certain additional documents are to be filed. So most likely the AAP will press for a hearing tomorrow only in this entire case. Remember that they are challenging what happened in the High Court earlier where they did not grant any interim protection from coercive action as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Now the India bloc has come out in defense of Kejriwal calling his arrest political vendetta. But the timing is very, very odd. I mean, I've never heard any search agency going to anybody's house late at night. I mean, normally one hears of income tax rates and others that come in the morning because then they have the whole day in front of them. Timing is something that I, I really don't support. And I would say that the ED is acting, uh, I would say in a manner that is not expected of them. If, you know, if you had got an opportunity by the court to question him, you could have gone tomorrow morning or, or maybe a day later, summoned him, asked him to come uh, for uh, a, a, you know, in, a, for whatever talking to you, and in, after that he had not cooperated, you could have done that. But I think this is not not the way you behave with any person, leave alone a chief minister. Why this time? Why have they chosen just before elections? Why are they arresting? First they arrested Soren Saab, now they have arrested Arvind Kejriwal. Mm. This is being done to destabilize the India Alliance. Mm. They've seized our accounts, as you know. Mm. All these steps have been taken by a nervous BJP mm. to ensure that we get a little derailed. Mm. But believe me, we are not getting derailed 
people are watching what's happening, what's being done to us, hmm. people will come out and support us and reject this authoritarian regime. Now, the BJP has welcomed this arrest, saying that after running away from the law for months, Kejriwal will finally have to face the law. अगर मुझे एक वाक्य में कहना पड़े अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर के बाहर क्या हो रहा है तो मैं कहूंगा इट इज सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ करप्शन जश्न ने भ्रष्टाचार बनाने की कोशिश आम आदमी पार्टी के नेता और आम आदमी पार्टी के कुछ मंत्री कर रहे हैं ये कोई पहला केस नहीं है अगर आपकी एक्साइज पॉलिसी इतनी अच्छी थी जैसा कि आप बता रहे थे तो आपने एक्साइज पॉलिसी को क्यों रद्द किया क्यों उसे रद्द किया गया इसका जवाब आज तक नहीं मिला कानून अपना काम कर रहा था और कानून के तहत अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है लेकिन जिस प्रकार का माहौल बनाने की कोशिश की गई कि उनके साथ बेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है ये सरासर गलत है नौ संबंध दिए गए अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब को उनके लिए पिपाशना इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए मध्य प्रदेश चुनाव इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए दिवाली इंपॉर्टेंट थी लेकिन ईडी के सवालों के जवाब देना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं था क्या कह रहे हैं आपके लोग जेल से शासन करेंगे ये, ये आपके लोग कह रहे हैं कि आप जेल से शासन चलाएंगे ये है आपका नए तरह की राजनीति जेल से शासन चलाने वालों आप तो कहते थे कि अगर गिरफ्तारी होती है या सबूत तो पहले इस्तीफा होना चाहिए जब आपके ऊपर आरोप लगते थे कहते पहले इस्तीफा उसके बाद भी बात करेंगे आज जब आप गिरफ्तार हो गए हो क्यों नहीं इस्तीफा देते सवाल यह है so what are the ed's claims as far as k jewals alleged involvement in likagate is concerned ed's claim one is that k kavita conspired with aap netas including k jewal and sosodia the second claim is that in exchange of favors kavita involved in paying of 100 crore rupees they also say that corruption and conspiracy in the making and implementation of the lika policy they also said that there's a stream of illegal funds generated from wholesalers for the aam aadmi party The fifth claim is that Kavita was to recover proceeds of crime paid in advance to the Aam Aadmi Party. The claim number six is that proceeds of crime were to be recovered through this conspiracy. Now, this is what the ED had said on its press note on the 18th of March, as far as the Delhi liquor scam is concerned. Now, this is, of course, the investigation that the Enforcement Directorate has specifically mentioned. Now, ED's charge sheet into this entire matter has also mentioned the name of Arvind Kejriwal. They have said in the supplementary charge sheet that Vijay Nair arranged Kejriwal Mahendru's FaceTime call. Now, Kejriwal has told Mahendru that Vijay is my boy, and I trust him. ED's remand note has also specifically mentioned Kejriwal's name. Now uh, this is as far as the YSR CP MP son MS Reddy who met Kejriwal to know more about the Delhi excise policy Kejriwal welcome the member of parliament's entry into the Delhi liquor trade is what has been mentioned by the agencies there are testimonies of Manoj Rai a pernod record employee with that Vijay Rai acted on the behest of Sisodia and Kejriwal The ED note says that Vijay Nair orchestrated the entire scam as well. I don't forget there's also the statement of C Arvind who was the ex secretary of the former deputy chief minister Manish Sisodia. What has he said? He has said that the Sisodia as well as the GOM disregarded recommendations they up profit margin to 12% for a 6% kickback. The decision was reportedly taken at Kejriwal's residence that's the allegation that has been made so a series of occasions when arvind kejriwal's name has figured in the latest uh, of course press note of the enforcement directorate they have cited the role and the linkages of arvind kejriwal and sisodia allegedly with k kavita who was also incidentally arrested just 6 days ago let's quickly take this across to our reporters joining us from across the national capital we have with us bhavto singh who is joining us live uh, from the ed headquarters priyank tripathi is live with us from kejriwal's uh, uh, residence we also have with us uh, rame krishan rana who's on route to the ed office we have with us also uh, from the supreme court uh, uh, harish nair who's going to be joining us in just a minute tejshri is joining us live from the ed office niamika is also live from the national capital as is mohit but let's quickly take this across to bhavtosh singh first bhavtosh uh, what really is going on what is the enforcement directorate telling you how soon can we expect kejriwal and that convoy of the security personnel to emerge from his residence Well, 
the arrest has happened. The, uh, the exact time of arrest will be only known when the arrest memo is uh, the copy of arrest memo comes out. But uh, we, what we have come to know is that uh, the real questioning will happen at uh, ED headquarters here in New Delhi, which has been the gates have been blocked and media personnel are standing outside. Madhav, the probe in this case uh, in right earnest started on 23rd August 2022 when ED registered a case of money laundering. Since then, many developments have taken place. Very high profile individuals have been arrested, but nothing will become bigger than this uh, with arrest of Arvind. All right, uh, Bhattar, just hold on to your thoughts. Uh, I believe Isha has an update over there, some movement scene. Isha, quickly take us through what's happening around you. Right, yes, this is the gate from where the Chief Minister of Delhi, the first sitting Chief Minister who will be, who has been arrested, will be taken away. Uh, there is a lot of movement here. Protesters have gathered here ahead of the Chief Minister of Delhi being taken away. Several protesters have been brought here. They are speaking, they are stating that this arrest is unconstitutional and Mr. Kejriwal is innocent. But on the other side, showing you around here the visuals, the joint CP of Delhi, his convoy is inside eight to nine cars of the Delhi police are currently inside Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, residence. Currently, the police is also urging the protesters to go back because uh, detentions are taking place. Several buses filled with protesters have been taken away. But on the other side, I'd, li I'd like to show you here the visuals. Uh, several barricades have also been placed. And any moment from now, we are expecting uh, the joint commissioner of uh, the joint CP of Delhi, Ravindar Yadav, to further come out uh, of the residence of Mr. Kejriwal. With him, the arrest has taken place. In a few moments from now, this is the gate from where Kejriwal will be taken okay. out. Back to you. All right. Uh, Priyank is also there at the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. Priyank, what are your sources in the Delhi police telling you about what is likely to happen? How soon are they likely to emerge from there? Uh, see, Madhav, uh, they are still not aware because they, they have been standing outside the residence of Jal Delhi Chief Minister. And uh, what they have done so far is to increase the security outside the residence and multiple detention is also happening. Uh, so this is the gate. Uh, we are on the other side of the gate where the, from where the Isha was reporting. And what it appears that uh, very soon, since it would be uh, 30, half an hour to 35 minutes of process uh, to complete the formality before the accused could be uh, taken away from the residence, this process will be done. But the biggest shock for the Amani party supporters, Madhav, is that the anti-corruption crusader uh, being arrested in the corruption charges is certainly not being digested by the party workers. That's why multiple people have started coming here. Uh, many of them are very much angry that why is it happening and the manner in which the Amani party had already circulated this short process that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested as a part of political controversy. Uh, the supporters are protesting. Uh, on one side, the Amani party has also made it clear that they will not be a new chief minister in the state. Uh, this is what Atishi has also been hinting. Uh, because if Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested, the manner in which our viewers have recently seen in the arrest of Heman Surin, who was uh, the chief minister of the state of, uh, you know, uh, of, of Jharkhand, he, after the uh, arrest, he straight away went, and before the arrest, I beg your pardon, he straight, straight away went to uh, the governor's office. Uh, the LG's office is very near to this location. And suddenly, Delhi is at a constitutional crisis. Because the chief minister of the state has been arrested, he was a anti-corruption crusader, but the Ahmadi party still maintains that the law certainly permits Adin Kejriwal to run the government while he is inside the prison. So that is Some the breaking point. Breaking news coming in. In fact, uh, information coming at this point of time that Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers are going to the Supreme Court Registrar's house. Big update coming at this moment. Kejriwal's lawyers will demand an immediate hearing is what we are told. That's the latest breaking update coming in. The lawyers of Arvind Kejriwal's team are now going to go to the Supreme Court Registrar's house where they will demand an immediate hearing on this entire matter. That's the latest update coming in. If I can quickly take this across to Rame Krishan Rana, who's also with us on the broadcast. Rame, can you quickly confirm that bit of news for us? We are told now that Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers are going to the Supreme Court Registrar's house and they're going to demand an immediate hearing. What's the likelihood or the possibility that that early hearing could be granted? Rame. Absolutely. 
so absolutely it is in the discretion of the chief justice of india at his administrative side if he allows in midnight hearing though it is very unusual however it has happened in the past and it can happen today an urgent email has been sent to the registrar of the supreme court seeking urgent listing of the matter arvind kejriwal had filed a plea before the supreme court challenging his uh custody by the enforcement directorate his lawyers are now moving to the residence of the registrar of the supreme court the email has been sent it has been confirmed to us that the email has been sent to them and urgent mentioning has been sought let me tell you the procedure the final procedure is once the registrar sees the files that the file is in order the mentioning is complete he calls up the chief justice of india and the chief justice of india decides at its admin at it at its administrative side that who will hear the matter will the matter be heard by the cgi led bench or will the matter be heard by some other bench who is dealing with the roster but as of now it is confirmed that arvind kejriwal's legal team has moved the supreme court remember it was today only when senior advocate abhishek manu singh we had sought urgent hearing before the delhi high court and they got it however the high court had refused to protect arvind kejriwal now their only way is to the supreme court the appeal from the division bench of the delhi high court lies to supreme court the supreme court is the last hope for arvind kejriwal we hope it does not become very late and the registrar it completely depends upon the discretion that's of that's the registrar that's supposed the discretion of the supreme court the registrar as well as ultimately the chief justice of india will also have to decide on that and there's a latest update coming in in fact saurabh bharadwaj putting out a, a tweet saying that he's got a call from uh, arvind singh lovely of uh, the congress he heads of course uh, uh, the congress in delhi that uh, a congress delegation including leaders from delhi and aicc is reaching the cm's residence shortly this is uh, quite interesting to see that uh, it is uh, in fact now sharad pawar also tweeting that strongly condemn the vindictive misuse of central agencies to target the opposition especially as general elections loom this era showcases the depth to which bjp will stoop for power india stands united against this unconstitutional action against arvind kejriwal that's the update coming in sharad pawar of course a tall leader from maharashtra and of course uh, all right i believe that uh, now we are seeing the vehicles uh, which have been placed over there isha over to you what's happening there Right. Yes. In fact, uh, the first vehicle of the Delhi Police has come out here. Several more are expected. Uh, the top cops have been present here. Security is further being tightened here at the moment. Uh, we can see here in the visuals the barricade is again being opened. The gate has also been opened. In a few moments from now, we will be expecting uh, the car with Delhi Chief Minister to be coming out of here as well. So the process has begun. In a few moments from now, we will be seeing Arvind Kejriwal. also being taken out of this gate all right and let me quickly take this across to tejshri and niamika also joining us uh, very interesting to see niamika that the congress is coming out in full support of arvind kejriwal the dpcc chief himself is going to be at kejriwal's residence we understand some aicc leaders are also present but what is most interesting is that it was the aicc leader one of the aicc leaders who was the first original complainant in this entire case Well, absolutely, as that is the most interesting part in this entire case, as the Congress Party has come out in support of the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Not just uh, the AICC leaders, but also the Delhi Congress leaders have come out in open, and they are also saying that the timing of this action of Enforcement Directorate is quite suspicious because, uh, it, in fact, it is also being alleged on the part of the Congress leaders that uh, this has been done by the ruling BJP in view of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections because they want to destabilize the India Alliance. That is the big allegation which is being made by the congress party they are saying that earlier himant surain who was the sitting chief minister of jharkhand all right big breaking news coming in rahul right gandhi also tweeting i'm going to ask for that tweet to be pulled up onto the screen in fact rahul gandhi saying dara hua tanasha ek mara hua loktantra banana chahta hai media samet sabhi sansthaon par kabza partiyon ko todna companies se hafta vasooli mukhya vipakshi dal ka account freeze karna bhi asuri shakti ke liye kam tha तो अब चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों की गिरफ्तारी भी आम बात हो गई है इंडिया इसका मुंह तोड़ जवाब देगा दैट्स द ट्वीट ऑफ राहुल गांधी दैट यू सी ओवर देयर इन फैक्ट द ट्रांसलेशन बिलो शोइंग दैट अ स्केयर डिक्टेटर वांट्स टू क्रिएट अ डेड डेमोक्रेसी वाइल कैप्चरिंग ऑल इंस्टीट्यूशंस इंक्लूडिंग मीडिया ब्रेकिंग अप पार्टीज एक्सटॉर्टिंग मनी फ्रॉम कंपनीज फ्रीजिंग अकाउंट्स ऑफ ऑपोजिशन पार्टी वाज नॉट इनफ फॉर द असुरी शक्ति नाउ द 
arrest of the elected chief minister has become a common thing. India will give a befitting reply to that. Very interesting to see that the reply and the support that's coming in. In fact, uh, all right, those are the live frames. While keeping that live frame on air, I'm going to quickly get in a response from one of our other reporters. Tejshree has been reporting on the story as well. Tejshree, very interesting to see the Congress has come out in full force in support of Arvind Kejriwal. Well, Congress has also come out in support and we see the tweet of Saurabh Bharadwaj also saying that Arvind Singh Lovely is also reaching along with all the ASCC workers to the residence of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and here we are re reporting just outside one of the gates of the enforcement directorate where yes, yes, security has been beefed up, barricades have been put at place because remember that protests will be taking in a short while from now, probably outside ED office, outside Kejriwal's distance, outside Ahmadmi Party office, and in fact at Mumbai, outside enforcement directed, a protest is lined up at 11 p.m. where all of the Ahmadmi Party workers will be protesting against the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Tomorrow also what our sources are telling, up, uh, telling us is that a big protest is lined up by Ahmadmi Party, most likely at the headquarters of Ahmadmi Party against the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, where, uh, where, where certainly all the leaders of Ahmadmi Party, said be Atishi, Saurabh Bharadwaj, Kailash Gehloth, will be participating in that particular protest and we saw the kind of massive uproar from the Ahmadmi party when Manish Sodia, when uh, Sanjay Singh were, were arrested in this alleged Delhi liquor policy case. Also remember that this will be the first, this is the first time when a sitting chief minister has been arrested by the enforcement directorate. Uh, so here are the visuals that we will be again giving you and what we are being told is that the roads are being cleared. Uh, here is the police deployment and we'll also show you, you at the other side. You can see put up outside the chief minister's residence as well. Isha has been reporting from that particular location. Isha, quick update. What's happening? Have uh, now more uh, policemen been sent to that particular area? Have barricades uh, been increased over there? What's happening at the moment? Isha, we can see a drone also in the frame, incidentally. Right. Right, yes, there is also a drone. In fact, Saurabh Bhadwaj had also stated that he's, he had asked what is the drone. At the moment, the police has cleared out this area completely. Uh, in fact, all media personnel were also sent back. Uh, they were all uh, the protesters who were also here have been detained and been preventive detention has taken place. The gate is shut, but in some time from now, we saw a couple of cars that did exit from this gate, but uh, the police is on high alert. On In the frame, you can also see the drone and also I request my camera person to show you this is the area from where the cars will be coming out the joint CP of Delhi Ravinder Yadav is inside his convoy which does consist of eight to nine cars is currently inside the way has been cleared and in fact this rope why which I'd also request my camera person to pan in and show you this has also been uh, tightened here this is what the police is tightening okay, for a while now Sisha, let me quickly get an update from Priyank Priyank uh, very, very unusual scene seen over there. For Ahmadi Party, perhaps not unusual that we see large number of the protesters appear. But perhaps for the first time, uh, an arrest taking place under such dramatic circumstances at any chief minister's residence uh, and even a drone camera that is there to capture every moment. Uh, see, Madam, it's a, uh, the Delhi police uh, must be capturing the, those protesters who have come here because it's going to be a very uh, tough law and order situation for the Delhi police, knowing the fact that Amani protesters are coming up in large number. Uh, certainly, there will be restrictions uh, at the metro station very time, uh, anytime soon. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that uh, this particular stretch of the road, uh, on one end, Isha is standing, on the other end, uh, we are standing and we are reporting from. Uh, in a short while from now, we are expecting that Adin Kejwal will be taken to the enforcement directorate office. Uh, he will be kept there over the night. Uh, the medical test will be conducted there. Then uh, by 2 p.m., by 2 to 2, 2.30 tomorrow, he is expected to be taken to uh, the rouse of the court where the enforcement directorate will be trying to seek his uh, police Okay, demand. quick update coming in from Harish. Harish is uh, telling us that the legal team of Aam Aadmi Party has actually reached the residence of the registrar. Harish, that's a massive update coming in. Uh, what are we expecting? How long will these proceedings take? And what really is the possibility as per procedure that that such an early hearing might be granted.
Yes, that's right, Madhav. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, as per the uh, Supreme Court website, Arvind Kejriwal had moved uh, Supreme Court uh, seeking protection at around 8.57 p.m., but it was around 9.04 that he was arrested. So now that petition has become infructuous. So now the uh, legal team has made some amendments. Now they are challenging the protest, and with that petition, uh, apparently uh, the legal team of Kejriwal, led by Abhishek Mani Singhvi, is uh, approaching the uh, registrar, uh, uh, listing. Apparently his residence is in West Patel Nagar. Most of these uh, uh, legal team members have gone there. They are trying to get an uh, urgent hearing tonight itself. That's what my sources are saying. But uh, the, as per the procedure, uh, Madhav, uh, first the registrar has to satisfy himself that all the papers are in order. After that he will communicate it to the Chief Justice and it is the Chief Justice who takes a call whether this particular matter uh, requires an urgent hearing or not. Nine pictures he, coming in there, there's a live pictures of a vehicle that is up coming out of the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. Let's cut across to that. Uh, that is a Tata Safari vehicle. Isha is with us. Isha, I believe that is a police vehicle. Who are the officers present over there uh, from the Delhi police? Uh, uh, can you take us through what's happening at the moment? Uh, yes, in fact, again, another vehicle has come out. In fact, this is the second vehicle that has come out. The DCP here is currently, in fact, that the, the visuals are also on screen. This is the DCP of police who is currently, who has currently come out. This is the Tata Safari vehicle which has come out. In fact, uh, several other vehicles we are, are currently inside and movement is being seen from this gate. This is the gate from where Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out. He is the first sitting chief minister who has been arrested while he has okay, been still stay in with us, uh, Priyank, right. quickly take us through who are the top officials. We understand that apart from the ED officials, there are also several top of the Delhi police brass who have been deputed to ensure that everything remains smooth from a law and order perspective. Who are the top officials that we're seeing on the screen? Uh, see, Madhav, the person who came out from the status of Safari is the DCP of this area, Manoj Kumar Meena. And uh, he is uh, there too uh, on the spot since the time he... The raids have already been started and Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Uh, following to uh, the development, we saw a uh, joint CP of this range, Padmaditya, was also present here along with the uh, uh, special CP of uh, the range, uh, Mr. Ravinder Yadav. So all the three top officials who, are, um, uh, who have the responsibility of having a very smooth law and order situation here in this part of the national capital have been here since the time this uh, information about Arvind Kejriwal's house being raided by the enforcement directorate has happened. But uh, it is going to be very tough for the De uh, Delhi police also to remove these protesters while the ED vehicle will be escorted from here. But unlike what we saw in uh, uh, Telangana when K. Kavita was being taken away by uh, the ED official, there was a massive protest. Uh, they are the handful of protesters who have remained here, although we are expecting that more and more Amani party workers will be coming here. But many of them have already been detained and a few of them have moved to uh, the other side of the gate. Uh, so so that it would be, uh, you know, a smooth process, I would expect, for the Delhi police to take uh, and allow Adin Kejival vehicle to be taken from here till the ED's office. All right. So those are our reporters who have been uh, covering the every aspect of this from all the top political party reactions as well as Arvind Kejival's residence from the ED office, the ED headquarters in the national capital. All of those aspects that are being covered and every moment of this is going to be reported live right here on Times Now. Uh, let's also quickly, in fact, uh, take this across uh, uh, to the tweet of Akhilesh Yadav. We can just cut across live to that. Akhilesh Yadav, the latest uh, amongst opposition leaders who have in fact tweeted saying Jo khud hai shikast ke khauf mein kaid, wo kya karenge kisi aur ko kaid. Bhajpa janti hai ki wo fir dubara satta mein nahi aane wali. Isi dar se wo chunav ke samay vipaksh ke netaon ko kisi bhi tarah se janta se dur karna chaati hai. Giraftari to bas bahana hai. Ye giraftari ek nai jan kranti ko janam degi. Let me take this across to Mohit Bhatt who's joining us. Top opposition voices coming in Mohit. Akhilesh Yadav, Sharad Pawar amongst the bevy of national leaders who are coming out and protesting against this arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. They are saying that this is because the government is scared that now opposition leaders are being targeted. Mohit. 
Well, yes, in fact, and it seems that the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal has galvanized the whole India block, and we have seen leaders from Sitaram Yechuri, Akhilesh Yadav, Rahul Gandhi, Malika Arjun Karge, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, Bhupesh Bakil, Sharat Pawar, and all of the India block coming out in support of Arvind Kejriwal, and they are basically saying that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is using the agencies against the political opponents, and that is why all the leaders are being arrested. But Madhav, what the BJP has been saying this that from the day one, BJP has been saying that Arvind Kejriwal is kingpin of the alleged excise scam and hence one day uh, the investigation will knock at his door and the BJP as of now says that this had to happen. Arvind Kejriwal was trying to divert the topic. He was trying to wait the agencies. He did not get any relief from the court and now he has an option to go to the Supreme Court. But as of now, ED has taken, the, he, taken him into custody and further investigation will follow. And the BJP says that the investigation will not stop at this matter. They say that it will go on for the Delhi Jal Board scam classroom scams and other scams. So clearly it seems that the trouble seems to be mounting for Arvind Kejriwal. But as of now what we have seen that the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal seems that has galvanized the whole opposition leaders. They are coming out and they are attacking Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP. And this has been their, uh, this has been their line uh, from past many months that the agencies like CBI, ED, income tax, they are being uh, misused against the political opponents while the BJP says that agencies are doing their job and that is why Arvind Kejriwal is being arrested. After 9-7, Arvind Kejriwal did not go to enforcement directorate. Why exactly that was happening? Why he was diverting from the, uh, from the topic? And the BJP today also is saying, Madhav, that, uh, uh, that Arvind Kejriwal was the one who came out of a Jan Anundan. He used to say that if uh, there is uh, any allegation against any political leader, he should resign from the post and join the investigation. What has happened to that? Now, our Aam Adhi Party also says that Arvind Kejriwal will run the government from the, from the jail. Arvind Kejriwal will not resign. And for that, they had a huge campaign in Delhi a few days ago where they sought suggestion from the people of Delhi saying that should Arvind Kejriwal run the government from the jail. And that is why we see that how every single... Aam Aadmi Party leader, minister uh, is coming out and they are saying Arvind Kejriwal will not resign, which is again being countered by the BJP saying that uh, is there a legal provision for it and why exactly Arvind Kejriwal will not resign. So this will not end. All right, that's it the first picture coming the in from inside the chief minister's residence. Uh, in fact, Saurabh Bharadwaj also tweeting saying that ED ki aur do gaadiya CM Awas mein andar aagi hai. Uh, Priyank, inside pictures now from the chief minister's residence that show the large number of official cars that are there, in fact, outside. All right, there's Arvinder Singh Lovely has now reached the Delhi chief minister's residence. I understand. Let's cut across live to that. Is timing ke upar jo hai, wo action liya ja raha hai jab chunav shuru ho gaye. तो निश्चित रूप से लोकतंत्र के लिए एजेंसीज का मिसयूज जो है वो शर्मनाक है और हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कि इस तरीके की हरकतों से चाहे वो कांग्रेस के अकाउंट सीज करने की बात रही हो या जो है इस तरीके से एक चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को चुनाव से पहले गिरफ्तार करने की बात रही हो कांग्रेस पार्टी इन सब बातों से घबराती नहीं है और इन बातों की वजह से हम और मजबूती के साथ चुनाव लड़ेंगे और आप पार्टी हमारी गठबंधन की पार्टनर है हम मजबूती के साथ उनके साथ खड़े हैं और उनके साथ मिलकर चुनाव लड़ेंगे ये जताने के लिए आज सुभाष चोपड़ा जी संदीप दीक्षित जी हम तीनों कांग्रेस की तरफ से आए हैं और निश्चित रूप से हम मजबूती के साथ अपने गठबंधन के साथी के साथ खड़े हैं Hmm. All right, let's open this up and take this across to our guests. We'll, of course, keep going back to our reporters. In fact, uh, through the course of the evening, whenever there are developments that take place at Arvind Kejriwal's residence. But let me take this across to, in fact, uh, our guest joining us at the moment. I believe we have Dr. Anand Ragnathan, Deshratan Nigam, joining us on the broadcast. Sanju Verma also with us. And, in fact, uh, uh, I want to go across, uh, first and foremost, uh, Parvinder Singh Sethi, of course, also joining us here in our studio. Desin Punawala, a rather unusual situation where you have the Congress party at Kejriwal's residence. Of course, they're all claiming that this is misuse of agencies. But interestingly, it was Congress that first brought this liquor gate scam to light. Yes, they did. And there's a lot to be answered in the liquor gate. This was about a year, year and a half ago. Since then, not an iota of evidence has come in. Yes, I understand the defense will be high courts and Supreme Courts have been given relief and given not given bail because they can't in an ED case because you'll come up with some arbitrary number on a piece of paper saying 300 crores money trail found, 400 crores found, 100 crores found. And the presumption is you're guilty until proven innocent. So the entire uh, trial continues. However, the bail does not include facts of the case. So it's very, it's, it's, 
almost impossible to get bail. Of course, one or two cases, there have been uh, exceptions to that. But even in those one or two exception cases, I can tell you personally, somebody has been given anticipatory bail in one case by the ED, they have been arrested in another case after being summoned. So it's terrible what the agency is doing. I just want to make two very important points. We are today on the eve of elections. One chief minister is in jail, another chief minister has been arrested right now. This is not a level playing field. The principal opposition party has got income tax notices from the 90s. There's a claim of 200 crores when income tax is uh, exempt for political parties. It's not mm. a level playing field. Mm. It's not correct. Okay. And all of these agencies okay. should think what they're doing. Is their loyalty to the constitution okay. or is it to the political parties? One thing, okay. one thing, just one last point. I really hope tonight for the sake of this great country, the chief justice and the Supreme Court stand up mm. and stop what's going on. We need a level playing field elections. Of, of course, BJP could win if it wins. There's no harm in winning. But win free and fair. Don't do this. Don't throw people in jail. Okay. Are we heading to a one-party rule? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Are we heading to a one-party rule? This is misuse of agency. Sanju Varma, please respond to those concerns of Tehsin Punawala. Okay. You know, uh, Madhav, uh, I just have this to say. First and foremost, the Enforcement Directorate, and I'm sure Tehsin is aware of this, is a statutory body. Point number two, the enforcement directorate is not a handmaiden of the Modi government. Point number three, uh, let's go back to the October 2023 judgment of uh, the Supreme Court, uh, you know, given by Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice SVN Bhatti, where the Supreme Court has said, the Apex Court of India has said that tentatively, a money trail of rupees 338 crore has been established in the liquor scam. Point number four, if the Supreme Court were convinced that there was no liquor scam to start with. My simple layman's logic, and mm. you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know this or ask this. Why is Manish Sisodia still in lockup? Why is Sanjay Singh still in lockup? Yeah, the liquor scam hua hi nahi. Why was Satinder Jain, who was out on bail because he was unwell, was asked to surrender and go back to Tihar? Yeah, the liquor scam hua hi nahi. My point number five. As per section 21, 23, 45, 49 and section 50, subsection 2 of the PMLA, it says that the enforcement directorate has sweeping suo motor rights to arrest a person if it deems fit after the first three summons are not complied with. Look at the long rope given by the ED to Arvind Kejriwal. Yaha par teen saman nahi, no saman diye gaye. And all the nine summons, Arvind Kejriwal with rabid and brazen impunity decided to show the big finger. I'm sorry for the pejorative to the enforcement director. Yeah. And last but not the least, Madhav, my simple question is this. How is it that if there is no liquor scam, I've never seen any of the Aam Aadmi Party people coming and saying that liquor scam won All that they keep saying is that vendetta hai. I am telling you that the 17th March 2024, last Sunday ki press release by the enforcement director, very quickly says three things. It says there was a 100 crore quid pro quo between yes. K. Kavita, Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party. Hmm. It says that there have been five uh, supplementary, uh, uh, you know... Uh, yes, I actually referred to that in great detail when we opened this bulletin, Sanju Verma, so please bear with me. But uh, there is some breaking news coming in as well. In fact, the lawyers of Aam Aadmi Party say that they've approached the Supreme Court registry. They've been asked to wait. Let me take this question across to Piyush Joshi. Though Piyush Joshi, the ED press note is very specific and it mentions that Kavita and others conspired with Arvind Kejriwal and Sisodia for getting favours in the Delhi excise formulation and implementation and in response to that 100 crore amount was uh, uh, to be given. This was the deal that was uh, struck between AAP leaders including Mr. Kejriwal and Sisodia and K. Kavita. K. Kavita arrested six days ago and now Mr. Kejriwal has been arrested. How do you respond to that very specific charge? Piyush Joshi. You know, to all these specific charges, the legal team is going to respond in, uh, respond in the court of law. Uh, as far as the ED is concerned, ED is acting as an executive as well as an extortion arm of the Bharati Janta Party. And it is, it is very clear after the electoral bond debacle. What I'm here to say, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm uh, uh, remembering uh, an important statement made by the ex-Prime Minister Manmohan Singh Ji about demonetization that it was a legalized plunder. Mm. Was it legal? Maybe. Was it a plunder? Certainly. So today's arrest, you know, ED, uh, it, I, I call it legalized atrocity. Mm. Is it legal? Maybe. Is it atrocity? Certainly. You know, because today we, we have seen the top brass of the Congress party coming out and saying that their accounts have been frozen. And uh, now you, arrest, the, you, you, you freeze the accounts of the largest opposition political party 
and you arrest the convener of the fastest growing opposition political party hmm. what do you want why what are you so afraid of if you are winning 300 plus seats okay many hands going seats. up i'm going to let yes, dr anand ragnathan respond to that the congress's accounts are frozen the chief minister of delhi is being arrested uh, this is happening after the elections have been announced it's a clear attempt at targeting the opposition it's not just these two parties but several opposition party leaders including mr stalin akhilesh yadav sharad pawar to name a few who are also echoing that sentiment dr ragnathan Uh, good evening, Madam. Please give me a couple of minutes. I've been listening very patiently to all the my other fellow panelists. Number one, let me just give plain facts for all those who say that the ED is using draconian provisions. Let me inform them that each and every provision has been vetted by the Supreme Court three-judge bench, and not only ratified but also underlined and stamped. For example, reverse burden of proof is there to stay. it is not mandatory to give ecir bail to be made extremely stringent money laundering is now to be considered as heinous as terrorism attachment of property is to be allowed statements made to ed are to be made admissible this is by the supreme court so where is the ed number 2 it is also a fact that three summons of ed can be ignored after that by law you have to have a non bailable warrant by the ed to arrest the person here nine summons have been ignored for those who are saying ed is acting in a draconian measure please tell me is it the law of india or not are you a common citizen are laws equal for every citizen or not number 3 the supreme court said that bail is a rule arrest is an exception why then i ask has the supreme court denied bail to sisodia to other persons who are of the aam aadmi party is it not a fact that there has to be a prima facie account that the supreme court admitted that yes there was corruption in this case and finally and this is very important the fact of the matter is that when the aap and the congress cry vendetta do they also not say that the law of the land has to be followed tehsin was muddying the water talking about freezing of the accounts and he is talking about some other case there are other case 2021 the tax was not paid the filings were not done by law 14th march high court had said that yes congress has a case to answer it dismissed all its appeal including in itat as well as the high court only then after prolonged legal battle has the accounts been frozen now i ask you if a common citizen does not pay income tax does not do filings if a common citizen ignores an ed summons what happens hmm the person would be arrested locked and thrown in solitary with the keys thrown away but apparently for congress for aap aam aadmi party the rules are different are rules different for different political parties let me bring it in fact uh, uh, dr akashdeep muni on that dr akashdeep muni if it was a common citizen no, no, yeah tesin please tesin i'm going to come back to you i'm going to come back to other panelists as well let others at least get in a round of opening comments dr akashdeep muni respond to that why should the law of the land which applies to all citizens of india not apply to somebody because they hold a high political office is that what we are to expect now is a question that dr ragnathan and even the bjp have been asking please respond to that see uh, i respect dr ranganathan and you as well so much but uh, today i think dr ranganathan has totally come unprepared without please, going through the proceedings of the court proceedings now I today you i'll no no please don't heckle sir please please no i'm saying sir. i respect you also sir, sir, please, i respect please, you doctor sir. Sir. sir you know it sir please, you please know it don't i respect now you now today please answer i just want to quote me. sir sir wait 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 sir today court has in the court asg mr raju of uh, enforcement directorate lawyer said that neither aam aadmi party or arvind kejriwal is an accused in excise scam court and yes. court and interest now wait a minute wait a minute now apart from giving the fact still he is arrested it clearly suffices what satyapal malik the bjp governor said that arvin kejriwal ko election se pehle giraftar kiya jayega aur jo unhone kaha tha wo aaj ho raha hai now second my my second point that remember up police cat caught sanjay saroj a terrorist linked with lashkar e toiba in 2018 do you know where he is today 
Sanjay Soros is welcomed in Bharatiya Janata Party in open arms at terrorist support. Let's, 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 stick, to, let's stick to the subject yeah, at hand, please. I'm requesting you. I'm requesting you. You know, if we start doing this, then every party and every politician will, everyone, every panelist will start doing in different examples. Let's, let's stick to the issue at hand. You've raised a pertinent point about what the uh, ASG said in the court, and I want to bring in Deshwadar Nigam, though I believe the bench also asked that until and unless you attend the summons, how will you know what document is required, etc. Were comments, I believe that came in from the bench as well. But let me bring in Dr. Desh, uh, Mr. Deshwadar Nigam to respond to you on that point. If the ED in the morning said in the court that Kejriwal's not an accused. How has he suddenly been arrested? Is the question coming in from Akash Deep Muni. Please respond. Mr. Nigam. Uh, Madhav, let me make it very clear. He was being called for interrogation. And during interrogation, it is the discretion of the ED to arrest him or not to arrest. This was also the statement made to the Delhi High Court. And the, what uh, Mr. Raju had said was that he has not been called as a chief minister nor as the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party. Because they had, uh, it was an issue of maintainability of the petition where they had challenged Section 2S, where they presumed that the Aam Aadmi Party will be made an accused. It was, it was a presumption on the basis of which the courts uh, said the maintainability of the petition will also be discussed on the 22nd of April. So let's not confuse the issue. Uh, and uh, the ED and the Aam Aadmi Party took the risk of applying for interim relief, which was rejected. Once you reject it, the uh, arms and the uh, powers of the ED come into the picture and their hands get strengthened. This, this is the ordinary courts. And secondly, let me also tell you, the early hearing which they are trying to go for in Supreme Court is a preventive measure, not a curative measure. Please remember okay. that. Uh, once you once they have to release him on bail, they have to hear it the entire matter, and all merits and prima facie. Uh, all know, right, that's as far as the legal strategy is concerned. But I want to ask Parvinder Singh Sethi. Parvinder Singh Sethi, ये पहली बार नहीं है. ED ने पहले भी कहा है कि Vijay Nair को पूरी access मिली थी Chief Minister office में. Prosecution complaint में कहा गया है कि कई meetings arranged किए गए थे Samir Mahindra के साथ भी. तो Arvind Kejriwal का जहाँ तक role है. ये एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टेड कहेगी कि कई बार हमने ऐसी चीजें अपने इन्वेस्टिगेशंस के दौरान पाया है लेकर गेट में जो अरविंद केजरीवाल को इस पूरे स्कैम से लेकर जोड़ती है और अभी रिसेंटली भी कविता का नाम आया है और उस संदर्भ में भी अरविंद केजरीवाल का नाम लिया गया है सो ईडी विल से और एटलीस्ट सो फार हैज मेंटेन पब्लिकली मेनी टाइम्स दैट केजरीवाल वॉज इन द नो ऑफ वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग इफ नॉट एक्टिवली कंसपायर नहीं देखिए जो ये सारा कुछ हो रहा है इसके अंदर ये सारा स्क्रिप्टेड है आप समझिए ना जिस प्रकार से मनीष सिसोदिया को सतेंद्र जैन को और संजय सिंह को अरेस्ट कर लिया गया और इसके बाद इन्होंने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने जो नहीं गए उन्होंने एक विरोध दर्ज करा कि भी मैं जो आपका अन्याय है जो आप डेमोक्रेसी की हत्या कर रहे हो डिक्टेटरशिप कर रहे हो उसके उसके सामने अपना विरोध दर्ज करता हूं और आप अगर मुझे अरेस्ट करना अगर उनके अरेस्ट पर कोई हैरानी नहीं है ये तो बड़े समय से था कि किसी भी समय अरविंद केजरीवाल को अरेस्ट किया जा सकता है देखिए पूरे देश के अंदर एक आंदोलन जिस प्रकार से किसानों का आंदोलन हो खिलाड़ियों का हो मजदूरों का हो और उन उन सब के साथ साथ पूरी राजनीतिक पार्टियों को जो okay. सब एक हो गई हैं वो वो इसलिए एक हुई हैं क्योंकि एक पार्टी जो सत्ता पक्ष के अंदर है वो अपनी डिक्टेटरशिप की राजनीति करती है और वो सारे विपक्ष को खत्म करने के लिए सीबीआई ईडी और इनकम टैक्स का दुरुपयोग करती है और यही लड़ाई है सबसे सबसे बड़ा सवाल लेकिन परविंदर सिंह सेठी जी ये है कि इंडिया पार्टीज की जो एक जुड़ता है ये कब तक बनी रहेगी कई बार जुड़ के ये टूट भी चुकी है कई तरह के क्रैक्स भी दिख चुके हैं ये बहुत बड़ा सवाल है और क्या चुनाव के सीजन में वाकई में एकजुट होकर ये चुनाव लड़ेंगे ये भी बहुत बड़ा सवाल है वी लव टू लीव इट द मोमेंट आई लाइक टू थैंक ऑल पैनल संजू वर्मा डॉक्टर रघुनाथन देशवत निगम पीयूष जोशी डॉक्टर आकाशदीप पुनी तहसीन पुरावाला एंड परविंदर सिंह सेठी फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आस The news hour at ten will be right back after the break. When journalism is led by integrity, and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight. of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth 
Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. You're watching the news hour at 10. All right, welcome back. Quick updates coming in from Arvind Kejriwal's residence where, in fact, a massive police deployment is there. And there's also, of course, parliamentary forces and the ED team as well that, in fact, uh, has been leading this investigation. Quick update from Priyank. Priyank, what's the latest happening there? Uh, see, Madhu, there is no clarity in how much time Adin Kejwal will be taken away from here. But uh, everyone is uh, right now talking about that uh, uh, whether uh, someone else will swear in as the new chief minister of the state or not. Because uh, there is certainly a constitutional issue which is happening here in the national capital. Looking at the past president, initially Adin Kejwal should resign uh, from the post of the chief minister so that the smooth functioning of the government can happen. Atishi, uh, to the media bite has certainly given a very vague claim where she claims that Adin Adin Kejwal will be there inside the prison and he will be ruling the government. But uh, it's a fact of the matter that jail manual does not allow this kind of uh, files, uh, repeated files to be sent inside uh, the prison or the files to be signed uh, by someone else and meetings to happen inside the jail. Uh, so certainly there is a big issue which is certainly being pushed away by the Amani party just to keep uh, this uh, pointer that Kejwal will still be the CM. All right. Uh, in fact, uh, slipping into a quick break, but Aam Aadmi Party's uh, Jaspin Shah putting out a tweet saying the AAP legal team filed the petition in SC for an urgent hearing tonight to quash the arrest by ED of CM Arvind Kejriwal at 8.57 p.m. two hours back. AAP legal team is in constant touch with Puneet Segal, registrar of SC who handles the listing for CJI. A decision on whether a bench is going to be constituted or not for urgent hearing is expected soon. That's the latest update coming in. We'll keep coming back to our reporters as well who are covering every aspect from Kejriwal's residence to the ED headquarters in the National Capital. For the moment, I'd like to thank all our reporters and guests for joining us, slipping into a quick break. The News Hour at 10 will be right back after the break. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Kya aap din ki sahi shirwaat dhoon rahe hain?
when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion. There is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Rahul Gandhi Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because you your voice must be heard, your questions answered, above all else. Frankly Speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Kya aap din ki sahi shirwaat dhoon rahe hain? I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi, asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I am Mamita Badwa. I am Pratibha. I am Shidra Malhotra and you are watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyse it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first respondents. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm ask me that why the proper checks and balances were not done sir. When news is for nation. Right now I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of factual control. We report from ground zero. Times now. Action begins here. Explosive, exclusive and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive into stories that matter. Raising questions you won't ask. Your voice is now our voice. Watch Blueprint with me, Meghna and Pranesh at 6.30 p.m. every weekday only on Times Now. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news are at nine weeknights at nine only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist.
कर गई शी टेक्स ऑन द मास्टर्स ऑफ इंडियन पॉलिटिक्स लाइक नो वन एल्स कैन विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है खतरे में है बिकॉज शी स्पीक्स फॉर यू द वे नो वन एल्स कैन वॉट अबाउट द चार्जेस अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट दट दिस इज अ फेवर्ड कंपनी बाय द गवर्नमेंट हाउ डू यू लुक एट इंडिया ऑन द वर्ल्ड मैप ऑफ कंट्रीज टू वॉच आउट बिकॉज योर वॉइस मस्ट बी हर्ड योर क्वेश्चन आंसर्ड अबाउट ऑल एल्स frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain i believe in an action packed fast paced agenda setting start to the day khabar sirf dikhana nahi asar hona bhi zaruri hai I am Amita Badwa. I am Pratibha. I am Shweta Malhotra, and you are watching the Morning News. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Pure news, pure facts. Times now action begins here When news is troubling They rented this house right here and 3 days later she was murdered When news is for common man We are asking you for the aam aadmi that why the proper checks and balances were not done sir When news is for nation right now I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force which is acting as launch pads for terrorists When news is exclusive We are reporting from few miles away from the line of actual control. We report from ground zero. Times now, action begins here. Explosive, exclusive, and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive into stories that matter. Raising questions you won't ask. Your voice is now our voice. Watch Blueprint with me, Meghna and Pranesh. Hello and welcome. You're watching News Now overnight with me, Sadat Talia. We continue our coverage of the biggest story of the day, which is the arrest of the sitting Chief Minister of Delhi, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. It's the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been formally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate after having skipped nine summons that were issued by the probe agency to him. High drama was also witnessed at the Chief Minister's residence from late evening. A team of ED officials swooped down at Arvind Kejriwal's residence. As many as 12 Enforcement Directorate officials entered the Chief Minister's residence, including the Joint Director C.P. Ravindra Yadav and Additional Director Kapil Raj, who was leading this team. The questioning of the Chief Minister went on for approximately two hours, during which the ED team also managed to seize. A Well, we're coming to live shots now. There are vehicles, in fact, moving in towards Mr. Kejriwal's residence. And was that Mr. Kejriwal who was sitting at the back of the very first car? That is the question that we have to now ask our reporters as well. The team appears to now be leaving. The ED team appears to now be leaving Arvind Kejriwal's residence, and the Chief Minister, it appears, may have been yes. Let me, in fact, go across to Bhavtosh Priyank as well as Isha joining us. Uh, Bhavtosh coming to you first Mr Arvind Kejriwal appears to now have made his way out of his residence and on his way to the ED office in the national capital of course escorted by the police by the ED which has managed to apprehend him Well uh, Siddharth it will take him less than 30 to 35 minutes to reach here at ED headquarters remember a, a uh, he is among uh, he is among the Z plus uh, pers, uh, Z plus security pers, uh, security protectee in Delhi and he has his own security cover uh, the fact that ED officials well, let me in fact work with Isha immediately own, uh, Bhavtosh Isha was that Mr Arvind Kejriwal sitting at sitting at the back of the very first car that moved out of his residence it's a convoy of more than 10 vehicles take us through the details We 
are hearing that he will be taken to the ED headquarters and that is where the medical will take place. But protests are taking place currently at the moment here. This is outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence where uh, the chief minister was taken away. It was a, it was a co uh, convoy of more than 10 vehicles which were uh, which uh, which have moved towards the enforcement directorate. Back to you. Nisha, he was briefly glancing at the cameras from the back seat of the car that was escorting him out. In fact, taking him to the ED headquarters. He was looking at the cameras. Uh, he was, of course, bespectacled at the time. Was seen wearing what appeared to be, to the naked eye, a blue shirt. So that was Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, still the Chief Minister of Delhi, who was taken out in the very first car that moved out of his residence and is now making its way towards the Enforcement Directorate office, a convoy of more than 10 vehicles. Those are the slow, that's the slow motion of Arvind Kejriwal being taken now to the ED headquarters. This happened just a short while ago. He can be seen sitting at the back seat of the very first SUV that's uh, coming out of his residence premises. And there you can see Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. He's wearing his glasses, appears to be wearing either a white shirt or a blue shirt. He's now being taken to the ED headquarters. Priyank is also joining us. Isha is right there. There's a lot of activity outside Mr. Kejriwal's residence right now. Uh, but all that activity will now move towards the ED office. It'll take him approximately half an hour to reach there. We'll once again slow show you the slow motion visual of Arvind Kejriwal sitting on the back seat of an SUV as part of a convoy. Of... موسیقی एडी की टीम उन्हें लेकर निकलेगी और अब जाहिर सी बात है एक अलग तरीके की सियासत होगी और सियासत इस बात को लेकर होगी कि बीजेपी की सरकार टारगेट कर रही है राइट इनफैक्ट दोज द विजुअल्स जस्ट शॉर्ट वाइल अगो अरविंद केजरीवाल वाज टेकन आउट ऑफ हिज रेसिडेंस uh, he was part of the very first car, the very first convoy of vehicles, in fact, the very first car that... So, we will not be able to reach the ED here, but in the beach, as they are trying to reach the ED. Well, let me go across to Priyank as well, who was outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence. And he saw Arvind Kejriwal being taken out of his residence in that very first car, part of a very large convoy that's going to now reach the ED office. Priyank, tell us about the activity around you right now. Uh, see, uh, so that uh, Adin Kejival was on the third, uh, uh, second Innova, which was okay. uh, followed by uh, the other vehicles of the Delhi government because uh, what Amanvi Party has been saying that he will still remain the chief minister of the state. On this location where we are standing, uh, you can see that carriageway has been opened for the commuter, although the other carriageway is still blocked. Uh, very soon, uh, within half an hour or time so, Adin Kejival's uh, convoy, uh, I beg your pardon, the ED's convoy, which is taking Adin Kejival as an accused, uh, the anti-corruption crusader of the national capital who came into limelight uh, talking about anti-corruption uh, you know, stand which he had taken has finally been arrested by the enforcement directorate in the case of uh, uh, corruption. Uh, uh, the ED officials have taken the route towards uh, from the Tisazadi side. Uh, they were supposed to leave from uh, the uh, Chandina Makhara but uh, certainly looking at the kind of uh, uh, supporters who have come here, the Delhi police have certainly changed the strategy. Uh, we asked 
that is sure that uh, Arvind Kejival will be kept at the ED's office uh, for the tonight and uh, the medical test will also be conducted there. So it is uh, likely that post uh, 2 p.m. tomorrow uh, he will only be taken out from the ED's office, then he will be taken to the court. Uh, the house of the court is uh, right behind the Ahmadi party's office, so certainly it's an undeniable fact that there will be security. Uh, Section 144 will be imposed in the area and Ahmadi party supporters and the party workers will not be allowed to go there. But if you look at it, there is certainly a constitutional crisis which is happening in the national capital where the CM has been arrested. Uh, uh, what AAP says that uh, he will be uh, operating from the Tihar jail, but which is certainly technically not possible, Siddharth, mm. because the jail manual does not permit anyone to keep on signing a file and having meeting while he is inside the Tihar jail. Uh, so many things are yet to come. Let's see that whether Amanmi party will uh, attempt to run the government without the chief minister because Adin Kejwal, interestingly, does not hold any kind of portfolio where he is a minister of any of the government. So that is a possible reason which, uh, where uh, the Amanmi party has been citing that he will, even if he is inside the jail, he will keep on uh, uh, you know, running the government while as a chief minister of the state. Uh, so that's an important twist in the case because Kejwal does not sign any departmental signature that's why it took enforcement decree so long to finally caught him. In fact, among the facilities that can actually be extended to prisoners, as per the Delhi Police uh, jail manual, you're absolutely right, Priyank. Uh, signing files is certainly not among those provisions. Let me go across to Bhavtosh now. Bhavtosh is right outside the ED headquarters. Bhavtosh, Mr. Kejriwal could be making his way to the ED office, of course, under arrest on the part of the ED. Uh, in a few minutes from now, tell us about the procedures that we can actually expect, because as we speak, uh, the Amadmi Party has been trying to knock on the doors of the Supreme Court registry, hoping for an urgent hearing in the matter to appeal against the order of the Delhi High Court today, which refused to grant protection from arrest to Mr. Kejriwal. Yes, Bhavtosh. Well, uh, Madhav, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Siddhartha, I would like to cut on to the visuals. Mass, uh, big, uh, developments are taking place and you can see there have been a lot of movements of the police personnel. Uh, the police is asking uh, reporters to move out. It could be possible that they, uh, the convoy of... ...ED ki kai sari gaadiyon ke andar, Mukhya Mantri ji ko lejaya gaya. Siddhi mancha ED ki... मुख्यमंत्री जी को अरेस्ट करने की ही थी कोई पूछताछ नहीं थी कोई प्रश्न नहीं था सब कोर्ट के अंदर नाटक किया जा रहा था मुख्यमंत्री जी के घर की पूरी तलाशी इस छापे में ली गई सिर्फ सत्तर हजार रुपये नकद मिले जो कि ईडी वापस लौटा के चली गई मुख्यमंत्री जी का मोबाइल लिया गया और मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करके ले गए हैं पूरे छापे में कोई सबूत कोई एविडेंस कोई प्रॉपर्टी का कागज कोई गैर कानूनी पैसा कोई मनी ट्रेल नहीं मिली बात बिल्कुल साफ है अगर अपोजिशन के अंदर प्रधानमंत्री जी किसी से डरते हैं और उनको लगता है कि उनका कोई विकल्प है भारत में तो वो अरविंद केजरीवाल है और मैं दोबारा यही बात कहूंगा कि वो अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार कर सकते थे उन्होंने किया क्योंकि आज उनके पास सत्ता है आज उनके पास सारी की सारी एजेंसियां हैं उनको रोकने वाला कोई नहीं जो चाहे प्रधानमंत्री करें अभी तक दो मुख्यमंत्रियों को गिरफ्तार किया है हो सकता है औरों को भी कर लें मगर अरविंद केजरीवाल की सोच अरविंद केजरीवाल एक आइडिया है जो हर गली हर मोहल्ले में अब तैयार हो रहा है हमारे वकील शाम को सुप्रीम कोर्ट की रजिस्ट्री में उन्होंने अपनी पटिशन दायर की इस अरेस्ट को चैलेंज किया कि ये गैर कानूनी है गैर संविधानिक है कोर्ट की रजिस्ट्री ने कहा कि उन्होंने सुप्रीम कोर्ट के मुख्य न्यायाधीश को ये मैसेज दे दिया है मगर कोई जवाब नहीं मिला तो हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट के रजिस्ट्रार साहब से मिलने गए हैं वेल इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज कमिंग इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट वे माइट ओनली कन्वीन टूमोरो टू हियर अरविंद केजरीवाल प्ली अगेंस्ट दी ऑर्डर ऑफ द डेली हाई कोर्ट टूडे विच हैड रिफ्यूज टू ग्रांट हिम प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम अरेस्ट
So even as the Ahmadi Party has been trying to get an urgent hearing on the part of the Supreme Court tonight itself, they've been knocking on the doors of the Supreme Court registry. The information that we're getting right now is that no special bench of the Supreme Court will be set up tonight to urgently hear the Delhi Chief Minister's plea challenging his arrest by the ED. Let me, in fact, go across immediately to Bhavtosh. So that is, at least for the time being, a setback of sorts. Bhavtosh to Mr. Kejriwal. No relief can be expected tonight. He'll have to spend the night in the custody of the Enforcement Directorate, uh, and the hearing can only happen tomorrow. Yes, uh, the hearing will take place maybe in next uh, 10 uh, to 11 hours, and uh, that hearing uh, will take place uh, in the apex court. So no urgent uh, hearing or no special bench is being uh, set up for Arvind Kejriwal. His lawyers were hoping that an urgent hearing can take place. They wanted to uh, term this arrest as illegal. More importantly, his uh, time of arrest, uh, according to sources, this is according to sources, is at 9.05 uh, p.m., that is uh, five minutes past 9. 9 p.m. and seizures have been made. So the arrest memo has not yet been out and open, but uh, what we have gathered from our sources is that seizures have been made and that time of arrest is around 9.05 p.m. Uh, massive developments have taken place since um, early morning, Siddharth, when uh, we broke the story that Arvind Kejriwal has moved to the Delhi High Court yesterday evening. And since then, every minute or every hour, uh, new developments were taking place. It ended at around 9 p.m. when Arvind Kejriwal was placed under arrest and then his convoy is moving towards ED headquarters and all gates towards ED headquarters have been locked, barricades have been put up here. Uh, the reporters who were, who came here early are the only ones who are st uh, stationed here and uh, the police have said that prohibitory orders have been placed across New Delhi and they will make sure that no app workers or any kind of protest take place. Having said that, Arvind Kejriwal probably is the biggest terrorist that ED has made. 16 individuals have been arrested in this case. So high profile businessmen, K. Kavita, uh, uh, Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh, they all have been arrested, but their arrests have completely been doffed by the fact that Arvind Kejriwal, uh, sitting chief minister of Delhi, has been arrested. Arvind Kejriwal probably is the biggest uh, Delhi politician after Sheila Dixit. Uh, he has been placed under arrest by the enforcement directorate. What will happen? Will it have a direct bearing on uh, Lok Sabha post in Delhi at least? or? Delhi politics will also see some kind of uh, changes. It all, all will uh, depend on what will happen next. But as far as ED is concerned, they have said that the probe has entered its final stage. Arvind Kejriwal, who was in fact named in, a, in an enforcement directed statement, remember that entire development completely changed with ED releasing, for the first time, releasing a press statement in this case on Monday evening, naming Arvind Kejriwal, Manish Sisodia and K. Kavita as the key conspirator who in fact benefited from the uh, for changes in the formulation of the uh, then excise policy 2021-22, claiming that 100 crore rupees kickback were paid. But coming back to the visuals, you can see all reporters are waiting for, for uh, Arvind Kejriwal to enter, but it's unlikely that he will enter from this gate. It could be possible from the back gate side, to uh, he might enter, and uh, the, as soon as he will enter, he will go into the ED headquarters. Uh, his medical checkup will be done inside the ED headquarters, unlikely that he will be taken to any of the government hospital and then the question is will he be produced physically in the court or will ed uh, prefer the uh, uh, his production through uh, uh, through video conferencing uh, or it could be possible that the urgent hearing that will take place in supreme court uh, it will all depend on what will happen in the supreme court and the next course of action will be decided bhavtosh do stay with us uh, we're also taking this across to our guests we have uh, two legal minds Mr. Swapnil Kotari and also Mr. Deshradhan Nigam on the broadcast with us and also the National Secretary of the Bharti Janata Party, Mr. Manjinder Singh Sirsa, uh, also Mr. Sanjeev Kaushik, uh, political analyst uh, as well. Uh, in fact, uh, Mr. Kotari, coming to you first. Now, one of the reasons uh, being attributed to uh, the decision on the part of Mr. Heman Soren, the former Chief Minister of Jharkhand, to submit his resignation before he actually went to jail was because it might not, after all, be a very easy task to continue serving as Chief Minister while you're behind bars. Now, while the Amami Party claims that Mr. Kejriwal can remain CM, there's no legal bar. In terms of the facilities that can actually be extended to him and the amenities as per the Delhi uh, jail manual, it doesn't seem that signing files is one of those provisions available to him. So it might, it might not be as easy as the Amami Party is making it out to be, sir. Uh, not at all. Uh, I doubt very much that whether you can even, uh, uh, you know, you can call yourself the chief minister unless you are, uh, unless you resign or you are thrown out. 
but uh, to conduct proceedings uh, as a chief minister from the from behind bars uh, seems virtually uh, impossible to me. Uh, signing files, possibly, maybe, might someone might just get you a file, which may be an urgent one to uh, sort of sign it. But to conduct day-to-day -day affairs is absolutely impossible. Uh, the Aam Aadmi Party can say whatever it wants, but uh, you know, coming to the point uh, mainly of the arrest, mm. uh, to sort of avoid nine summons itself seems like the Aam Aadmi Party wanted to be treated specially. So it's more of an oxymoron compared to your own name that your party has. And when you are demanding some special status, uh, trust me, Siddharth, if you and I were there, maybe by three summons, we would have been arrested for sure. The fact that the enforcement directorate has given you that much leverage for nine summons is mm. to only show that it's not as hard hitting as it sounds to be and trying to show that justice is not only done, but also to, has needs to be seen to be done. So it gave enough leverage. It said that, okay, this far and no further. It went through the entire legal uh, procedures of high court and everything else to finally get the uh, final sort of go ahead that, okay, we are not stopping the arrest or we are not stopping the enforcement directorate proceedings. And then the enforcement directorate went ahead and arrested him, which was well within its powers. Right. If you will recall a three-judge bench decision of the Supreme Court, where the PMLA and its draconian, so-called draconian nature was challenged. Hmm. Uh, it is a draconian legislation in some form, I may say, when you, look, when you compare it with the other legislations. Correct. But given the nature of the crimes and the scams that take place, in this country. I think we need some draconian legislations like that, where the onus of proof lies on you, that you have not laundered money, then uh, okay. you uh, have also to be taking care of your predicated offenses. Hmm. And not only that, but you also have to show without, uh, you know, sort of cooperate in every single possible manner when it comes to a fiscal offense sure. that, uh, you know, the PMLA entails, which doesn't seem to be the case here. Because you've awarded nine summons. How can you say that the very first summons was itself with the whole idea of arresting me? Hmm. You know, if you put up that argument in a court of law, the first thing that the judge is going to ask you, oh, so that means you've committed some offense. That's why you're fearing arrest. Right. Now, if you say that, uh, you know, oh, well, you know, uh, this is all a gimmick. This is political chicanery. This is uh, the enforcement directorate is nothing but an extortion department of the government. No court will ever buy it. And I'm sure okay. any of the defense counsel will not even use it, Siddharth. All right. Uh, Mr. So Kutari, thanks for that perspective. I'm sorry tough. to cut you short, sir, but we're also getting an update from our legal editor, Mr. Harish Nair. Harish Nair is outside uh, the Supreme Court. Harish, now the Aam Aadmi Party tried to knock on the doors of the Supreme Court registry, hoping to get some kind of an urgent hearing. Uh, tonight itself, that's not being granted. In all likelihood, the case might be listed for hearing sometime tomorrow afternoon is what we're getting to hear. Uh, do tell us about the latest updates from the Supreme Court as far as Mr. Kejriwal's appeal is concerned, Harish. Yes, that is right, Siddharth. Uh, we should remember that at 8.57, he had filed a petition seeking protection from arrest, but eight minutes later, I just need he to interrupt was arrested. You. I just need to interrupt you for a moment. Those are the first visuals of Arvind Kejriwal after his arrest. He was being taken to a car, of course, which he got in. He was sitting on the back seat. He could be seen wearing a white shirt. Uh, that's our guest uh, to the naked eye. And then, of course, he was escorted as part of a a very large convoy of SUVs and vehicles that had been brought in by the ED and other supporting agencies, which eventually took him to the Enforcement Directorate office. Now, those are the visuals that we see from some time ago outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence when he was formally arrested by the ED. Let me go across to Tejshree for more on this. Tejshree, talk us through those visuals. Uh, not everything is very clear, but we could see what appeared to be Mr. Arvind Kejriwal uh, uh, along with members of his family. Uh, waiting outside the car, which eventually, uh, in fact, escorted him out uh, of his residential premises. Take us through those visuals, Tejshree. There, there you see the visuals of Arvind Kejriwal. Coming, coming from Arvind Kejriwal. Where is the barricade? You see enforcement director along with uh, senior officials in any time from now can reach over here at the enforcement directorate office. Vehicles are being placed over here. And the visuals that we are uh, seeing uh, on your television screen were of Arvind Kejriwal. They are, these are all the Delhi police, the Delhi police visuals on your television screen. They are moving towards the enforcement directorate. And now in a short while, Arvind Kejriwal will also be coming to the enforcement directorate. Uh, you see all 
Uh, you see, the arrest was made few hours back. In fact, questioning was of questioning continued for two hours. Questioning continued for two hours, and post that, Kejriwal was arrested. In the visuals, we could see Arvind Kejriwal uh, along with senior officials of enforcement directorate moving out of his residence uh, before coming to the enforcement directorate office. Remember that he is the first sitting chief minister to be arrested. Now, movement is expected over here because a few senior officials from enforcement directorate who left. From the office, uh, who left from the residence of Arvind Kejriwal, has just reached over here at Arvind Kejriwal's uh, office. And at, 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 I beg your pardon, at the enforcement directed office. And in a short while from now, Arvind Kejriwal will be reaching over here at the enforcement directed office. Now remember that the Amadmi Party, the cabinet minister Atish, has already said that even if Arvind Kejriwal is arrested, he will be running the government from. From the prison itself, from the jail itself, a campaign was also run by Kejriwal. Uh, that may, may be Kejriwal campaign. That if Kejriwal is arrested, they will be running the government from the prison itself. They asked this question to the people of Delhi, and now this is the biggest arrest, arrest made in the alleged Delhi liquor policy after K Kavita, after Manish Sisodia, after Sanjay Singh. Kejriwal is arrested today. Now, any, any time from now, just on your TV screens are those visuals of that particular. Lane from where Kejriwal's vehicle, so, along with the AD uh, enforcement directed officials, will be entering this uh, particular lane and will be heading towards this particular okay. area, which takes you to the enforcement directed headquarters. A while back, we also saw the, saw the visuals where protesters were protesting outside the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. All the senior leaders from Aam Aadmi Party said, "Be sorry, Bharat Vada, Atishi were reaching outside his residence to show support. In fact, to." Protest against sure. his arrest. India block leaders were also coming out in support of him. Congress leaders had also uh, reached over there from AICC. Arvind Singh Lovely had reached there. Sandeep Dixit had, uh, has, had, had reached over there. Right. And now, uh, yes, protest by okay, Aam Aadmi Party. Okay, I just need to interrupt you. Let me go across to Bhavtosh. Lot of activity now outside the ED office in the national capital. That was Mr. Arvind Kejriwal sitting to the left. In the back seat of one of the SUVs, taking him now to the ED headquarters, Bhavtosh. It could be any moment now uh, before that convoy arrives close to where you are. In fact, we can. In fact, there are movements of se several cars. In fact, uh, we can cut into the visual. Uh, well, that is Kavit Kejriwal's cavalcade as he comes here. Uh, uh, so that we can stay on to the visuals. You can see the kind of security arrangements that are being made as Arvind Kejriwal cavalcade moves towards the ED headquarters. So massive security arrangements are being put by the Delhi Police, making sure that no one uh, manages to carry out any kind of protest. So it is possible that Arvind Kejriwal's cavalcade has already arrived here, but the police is making sure that. That there is uh, extensive security arrangements, so there are sufficient number of police personnel are present here. In fact, all roads leading to uh, ED headquarters have completely been blocked by the Delhi police, as the police makes arrangements. Several, several cars, several uh, ED officers have already arrived here. They were the same officers who had carried out raids and searches and then formally arrested him. The time of arrest is at around 9 or 5 p.m. and uh, they have made some uh, seizures. All these details will become clear when uh, the of, uh, officially the police, uh, officially the ED will serve uh, the remand paper or will submit the remand paper in the court. But more importantly, uh, there would be hearing in the Supreme Court at uh, at around 10:30 p.m. No urgent hearing will be taking place. But you can see, Siddharth, I would like to stay on the visuals. The kind of security arrangements are being made. As Arvind Kej, it could be possible that Arvind Kejriwal is already in the ED headquarters, or he would be uh, reaching. Here, but extensive security arrangements have been made by the police. Uh, for past few minutes, the number of police personnel who have been arriving here at ED headquarters is only increasing every minute. As uh, as the cavalcade, which started from Chief Minister's residence in civil lines, have either entered inside the ED headquarters or is about to enter. Back to you. Right, Bhavtosh. So we caught a fleeting glimpse of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal uh, as part of that. Uh, Cavalcade. He was sitting on the back seat of one of the SUVs, uh, flanked by an enforcement directed official uh, sitting in the front. There was a policeman driving that particular car, uh, and we also caught a glimpse of Mr. Kejriwal, in fact, entering that vehicle uh, from outside his residence. 
uh, he was also being seen off, presumably by members of his family, uh, shortly before he was taken in uh, by the Enforcement Directorate. He appears to have now ar have arrived uh, at the ED office in the national capital. He'll have to undergo a medical examination as per protocols and procedures, and it could be expected that he might be uh, produced before a court sometime tomorrow. And there's also the matter of his appeal uh, that's uh, pending before the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court may grant him a hearing sometime tomorrow afternoon, uh, is what we gather. So, Bhavtosh getting us all those details. And to the left of your screens, of course, you can see Mr. Arvind Kejriwal a short while uh, before he arrived at the Enforcement Directorate uh, headquarters. Uh, and the investigations now will continue in this matter. Let me, in fact, go across uh, to our guests uh, as well. Uh, to give us a perspective on what's been happening, we'll, of course, stay with the visuals uh, simultaneously as well. Mr. Akash Deepuni, uh, coming to you, this is a party that you've supported for a very long time. Mr. Arvind Kejriwal entered the political arena with an intention to introduce greater transparency in Indian politics and to clean up Indian politics. The big question everyone's asking now is, did politics corrupt him? There is no question of corrupting, uh, being corrupted as the... Yeah, as the ASG of uh, enforcement director, ASG and lawyer of enforcement director, Mr. Raju today said that neither Ahmadi Party or Arvind Kejriwal is an accused in this particular case. It has been said in the court and it has been noted in the court proceedings. First. Second is that today the Delhi High Court directed the enforcement director to file a reply to all the uh, to Arvind Kejriwal's petition in two weeks, which is challenging the summons. So, Yours, uh, anybody reporting that uh, the uh, case is dismissed is wrong. Okay. Court today also asked ED to present uh, material evidence in the court, uh, which uh, scapegoats Arvind Kejriwal. But uh, Enforcement Directorate today said that the material evidence cannot be produced because it has been investigated. So there is no proof at all. The facade that uh, they have come and interrogated Arvind Kejriwal, then they have arrested is, is very wrong as there has been no interrogation at all, as said by Saurabh Bharadwaj. Mm. This particular case is a very interesting case because uh, if, before every elections, there is a uh, enforcement related goes to the state. Remember Bhupesh Bhagel's case, what happened to the ED case against Bhupesh Bhagel. And also tell me, remember uh, D.K. Shivakumar case, uh, ED case, uh, when it went to Supreme Court, mm. the Supreme Court dismissed the case and uh, even rebuked the uh, Enforcement Directorate, PMLA case, and D.K. to Shivakumar came out triumphant. This all patterns show that Enforcement Directorate has become a very important policing arm of uh, uh, BJP. It is like jail ka khel. अगर हम इधर आ जाओ हमारे साथ नहीं तो जेल जाओ इसलिए but interestingly Arun K J was stood right that is the big let me take this across to the BJP is Mr Manjinder Singh Sirsa Mr Sirsa I'm sure you've been keeping a very close eye uh, on the developments. The Aam Aadmi Party is insistent that Mr. Kejriwal will remain Chief Minister of Delhi. He'll continue to remain Chief Minister even behind bars. Is that a position that the BJP is willing to accept, sir? So it is all about Armand Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party. What moral high ground they take? First of all, it is nothing new. If you see an extortionist in a okay. jail... What do I'm so do? sorry, I need we to interrupt you, sir. We're jail? getting some updates from outside the ED office. Well, I'll try to connect with my colleague Bhavtosh once again. Mr. Sarsa, coming back to you. Yes, sir, you were... Conti uh, please continue so with your point. I said, is this nothing new? You will see an extortionist in jail. He will see an extortionist in jail. आप किसी गैंगस्टर्स को देखेंगे वो जेल में बैठ के ऑपरेट करते हैं क्रिमिनल माइंड्स जो हैं वो जेल में ही ऑपरेट करते हैं इट इज नथिंग न्यू अरविंद केजरीवाल जी अगर दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री जेल में बैठ के कहेंगे मैं मुख्यमंत्री रहूंगा तो कोई नई बात नहीं है हर क्रिमिनल अपना जेल से ही ऑपरेट करता है तो मुझे लगता नहीं कि हमें बहुत चौंकने की जरूरत है वी शुड बी शॉर्ट आई जस्ट नीड टू इंटरप्ट यू देयर सर वी आर वी आर बैक विद भवतोष भवतोष इज आउटसाइड द ईडी ऑफिस यस भवतोष टेल अस अबाउट व्हाट्स हैपनिंग अराउंड यू Siddharth, uh, he is inside. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has gone inside. Uh, he, in fact, uh, is inside the headquarters. As you can see, police personnel who accompanied Arvind Kejriwal's cavalcade or the ED officials uh, from his residence in uh, from his residence in civil lines have finally that uh, those uh, those police officers who accompanied uh, that cavalcade are now going back because uh, their duty is over. And uh, he has been brought inside the ED headquarters within 30 minutes. Uh, there was, in fact, a problem. 
proper uh, protocol that was laid. So there was no incident of any kind of uh, protest or any kind of they did, uh, no ki uh, no uh, attempt was made to stop that cavalcade. And these officers have all moved uh, back to their uh, their places from the, where they have come. In fact, the police have also placed uh, in fact a warning that uh, prohibitory orders are here. Uh, senior officers of the rank of ACPs, uh, DCP, and additional CPs are present here because uh, this is ED headquarters, which are uh, generally in the control in the security of, of paramilitary forces and it's rarely you will see Delhi police officers here but because of uh, this development Delhi CM being arrested and the kind of support that Aam Admi Party has here in the capital has led to this kind of massive security arrangement probably the biggest arrest that uh, enforcement directorate has ever made Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested by the enforcement directorate and uh, this case itself has seen 16 arrests taking place two arrests two big arrests took place in past one week uh, and uh, both K. Kavita and Arvind Kejriwal uh, are inside the ED headquarters. Whether it will lead to any kind of confrontation, that will only be clear tomorrow because it's unlikely that Arvind Kejriwal will be questioned uh, uh, late this late uh, late this evening. His questioning happened, and post that questioning, his uh, statement was recorded. Voluntary his statement was recorded, and then he was placed under arrest at around 9:05 p.m. Some seizures have been made. Arrest memo is not out in open, and uh, the Aam Aadmi Party wanted an urgent hearing to take place in the Supreme Court. That did not happen. The hearing will take place at around 10 in the morning. If the Supreme Court doesn't pass any kind of adverse remark, then uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before a special court at uh, in Rouse Avenue. Whether that hearing will take place sure. physically or whether he will be produced through video conferencing, everything will become clear in the morning. But as of now, Arvind Kejriwal, who was trying to skip summons, nine summons since uh, November 2023, since uh, 2nd November 2023 to be precise, mm -hmm. has finally been arrested and brought here at ED headquarters within hours after uh, no relief was given by the Delhi High Court. And it all ended in a very dramatic manner with ED officials uh, reaching his doorstep uh, in civil lines, his, uh, head, uh, his residence. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal continues to be the Chief Minister of Delhi even as he is now formally arrested arrested by the enforcement directorate in the LH excise camp. Right, uh, we have Priyank as well as Tejshree joining us. Tejshree is also outside uh, the ED headquarters as we speak. Uh, Tejshree, uh, what's expected now uh, that Mr. Kejriwal is inside the building? Uh, what are the procedures that he'll be now subjected to now that he is formally uh, under arrest on the part of the ED? Well, now he's formally arrested after nine summons being issued to him. This is the big arrest that's been made. And remember that first, it's the first sitting chief minister being arrested in independent India. Earlier also arrests were made, but they were not uh, sitting chief minister. They resigned before being arrested. They were in the custody of the ED. But now this he will be the first uh, sitting chief minister who has been arrested uh, for the first time. And in fact, remember that now Kejriwal will be running the government from the jail itself, from the prison itself. Said this is what the statement was from the cabinet minister of Aam Aadmi Party. That is Atishi, who herself said that there was also a survey conducted of, by Aam Aadmi Party that if Kejriwal is arrested in the alleged Delhi liquor policy, then what the people of Delhi thinks? Then they clearly came out with a survey mentioning that Kejriwal will be running the government from the jail itself. Now showing you the visuals over here, what is going on just outside the enforcement directorate from from where just a few minutes back now the uh, the uh, Arvind Kejriwal along with the enforcement directorate officials entered this particular headquarters, entered the pre pre this premises of enforcement directorate after being questioned for two hours. And in fact, we saw the drama unfolding outside the residence of Kejriwal, where the all senior leaders of Aam Aadmi Party, including the MPs, MLAs, and the workers of Aam Aadmi Party had gathered over there to sure. stage protest against the arrest, calling that this particular protest as illegal, calling it as a politically motivated one, and questioning the timing okay. of the arrest. Uh, let me just interrupt you there for a moment because uh, Mr. Gopal Rai, Minister in the Kejriwal Cabinet, is speaking. Court में अदालत में मामला विचाराधीन है। ये इस देश में आपातकाल की खोफरा हुई है, लोकतंत्र की हत्या हुई है। इस लड़ाई की शुरुआत उन्होंने की है। इस लड़ाई को देश की जनता लड़ेगी, दिल्ली के लोग लड़ेंगे और इस लड़ाई को जीतेंगे। अभी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को लेके गए हैं। अभी पार्टी के जो सिर्स नेताएं और उस बैठ कर बैठक के बाद हम आगे की रणनीति घोषित करेंगे। आज सर सुबह 10 बजे को भी लेकर कोई प्लानिंग तैयार की गई है? अभी ये सारे कल पूरे देश भर में भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कार्यालय पर दिल्ली में भी 
और इस तनाशाही के खिलाफ प्रोटेस्ट करेंगे दिल्ली के और जनदेश के लोग गोपाल राजी जिंदाबाद जिंदाबाद Right, we'll take a short break right now. Our, conti- our coverage of Arvind Kejriwal's arrest continues on the other side. Stay tuned. When journalism is led by integrity. and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist aapke upar to kai hotalon ke bhi aajkal aarop lag rahe hain desh mein sirf ek baat ki charcha hai ki kya bjp rahul gandhi se dar gayi she takes on the masters of indian politics like no one else can vipaksh kam se kam uttar pradesh mein ye keh raha hai ki aap hawa bana rahe hain nivesh koi aaya hi nahi is rajya mein rahul gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain i believe in an action packed fast paced agenda setting start to the day khabar sirf dikhana nahi asar hona bhi zaruri hai I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Hushita Malhotra, and you're watching the Morning News. Whenever news breaks, you will see us process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts. Now, overnight at 9:05 precisely today. Arvind Kejriwal the sitting chief minister of Delhi was arrested by the enforcement directorate at approximately 11:05 pm he was taken out of his residence and eventually to the ED headquarters where he is currently let me go across to Tejshree as well as Bhavtosh for more on this Tejshree you saw that cavalcade of cars uh, that included the car that Mr Kejriwal was in arrive at the ED office a short while ago take us through the scenes around you now Hey, if you can hear me. Well, let me go across to Bhavtosh for more on this now. Bhavtosh, uh, uh, if you can hear me. Arvind Kejriwal was brought to the ED office just a short while ago. You were taking us through those visuals as well. Now that he is for now a prisoner, at least until tomorrow morning where uh, he'll be given a hearing in court. What are the procedures he'll be subjected to apart from medical examination? well his medical examination will take place in the morning very similar to uh, what happened with k kavita and uh, they also know that he has he is a former bureaucrat he is a irs office official before he quit the services and became a first in uh, uh, india against uh, corruption crusader and then uh, finally stepped into politics and uh, after which it could be possible in the morning his questioning will start remember his statement uh, was already recorded uh, his questioning started at his residence 
in uh, in civil lines and then after that statement was recorded his voluntary statement was recorded searches happened some documents have been seized some electronic gadgets have been seized after which he was placed under arrest at around 9:05 or uh, 9 uh, 9 9 pm and then he was arrested it took nearly 2 uh, hours for the cavalcade to move out of his uh, cm residence to here remember he is also someone who gets z plus protection will it continue as long as he stays in ed uh, custody that will be decided by the delhi police security unit but uh, most important biggest arrest ever made by the enforcement directorate has taken place uh, K Kavita continues to be in the custody of the enforcement directorate and uh, Siddharth uh, the explosive the most explosive development happened in this case on Monday when ED for the first time came out officially with a press note in which they named all three characters in the story uh, Manish Sisodia Arvind Kejriwal and K Kavita as the key players in the alleged excise scam uh, excise policy which is now defunct 2021 22 in which they also claim that a bribe uh, bribe amount of around 100 crore rupees have been paid to to aam aadmi party a charge that have been vehemently denied by them and then uh, he could not get relief from two uh, two petitions that he filed and then within uh, hours after that petition was no after uh, within hours after he could not get any relief uh, ed officials stepped into his house and then two hours after he was questioned they arrested him and then just few minutes back he was uh, in fact brought here at ed headquarters and uh, these are irs officials who have arrested him he also comes from the same service uh, so it's a uh, in many ways it's a very ironical thing that has happened yes. that uh, a service that he belongs to actually arrested him also and the present acting director is a batchmate of his wife so, uh, so in many ways a very uh, in a very ironical manner he has uh, his arrest is very uh, his arrest has taken place in a very dramatic manner he also comes from uh, same service from which uh, these irs officers belong uh, aap has decided to challenge this arrest and that hearing will take place at around 10:30 in the morning when supreme court reconvenes right bhavtos thank you very much for those uh, insights let me in fact go across to uh, tejshri once again tejshri it might be a long night now for mr arvind kejriwal uh, in ed custody before he's produced in court tomorrow we don't know if he'll secure relief uh, from the courts whether it is the ed court or for that matter the supreme court where his appeal uh, might be heard sometime tomorrow morning uh, but it is the sitting chief minister at the end of the day who's at least for now behind bars Well, certainly there is no late night hearing for Arvind Kejriwal in the Supreme Court today. The hearing is all set to take place tomorrow. But before the hearing, certainly, Aam Aadmi Party is all set to stage a big protest today. Also, in fact, they are planning to stage a protest at uh, Enforcement Rated Office in Mumbai, where all the Aam Aadmi Party Karikartas will be gathering. And in fact, a press conference was just held a while back, uh, where Gopal Rai and Atishi were addressing the media, and in fact, where they had, uh, in fact, condemned this entire arrest. And in fact, the manner in which arvind kejriwal was arrested and in fact this is not for the first time where aam aadmi party is coming and hitting out uh, at uh, bhartiya janata party and questioning the time of arrest just ahead of the lok sabha elections 2024 is what the aam aadmi party has been alleging since the first summer and in fact you see the kind of responses also that have been that is uh, that was sent by aam aadmi party by arvind kejriwal to the enforcement directorate back to back when summons were issued in this particular alleged delhi liquor policy they have been calling all of these uh, summons as uh, and illegal as as illegal summons as politically motivated summons as unconstitutional and question the timings and today was the final day when arvind kejriwal was arrested but he will be running the government so, from the jail itself is what the big news right now because i remember that there was also a campaign that aam aadmi party has started that is maybe kejriwal campaign where they asked the people door to door that if arvind kejriwal right. gets arrested in the alleged delhi liquor policy then what again from other constituents of the india block as well not just the aam aadmi party uh, be the uh, shiv sena uddhav thakre faction or for that matter the congress uh, the left as well as the tmc they're all supporting mr kejriwal on this many thanks uh, in fact we have isha as well joining us uh, she was also outside uh, the uh, residence of arvind kejriwal at the time of his arrest bhavtosh isha as well as tejshri please do stay with us uh, we'll come back with our coverage of this and a lot more on the other side of this very short break stay tuned when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths 
when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Rahul Gandhi speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Kya aap din ki sahi I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. Tai hu Shidra Malhotwa and you're watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts. Tonight, it's been almost uh, 35 minutes now since uh, Arvind Kejriwal reached uh, the Enforcement Directorate uh, headquarters in the national capital. He'll stay there tonight before being produced in court sometime tomorrow. Uh, my colleague Isha was outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence at the time of his arrest as well as, as at the time that he was taken out uh, in that long cavalcade of cars that eventually reached the ED office. Isha, tell us about what you saw because one of the visuals that we uh, caught a fleeting uh, glimpse of on our screens was Mr. Kejriwal being taken towards the car that eventually uh, he got into. He was sitting on the back seat and it appeared as though his member, members of his family uh, were also seeing him off at that point in time. Uh, take us through the visuals that you saw at the time that he was taken out of his premises. Right, yes, so that we were current, we were present here when he was arrested and when the convoy was taken away. In fact, the joint CP of Delhi and other further uh, other senior officials of the Delhi. Right, right, we have an issue with the audio there. We'll try to patch you once again, uh, Isha, but let me go across to Bhavtosh. Bhavtosh, all eyes on uh, two legal developments tomorrow. One is, of course, uh, once he's produced in the uh, ED court uh, sometime tomorrow, the Rouse Avenue court, uh, where presumably the ED will be making a case against him, also providing details of his arrest uh, to the court, seeking his further custody. The other is what the Supreme Court may have to say once it hears his appeal uh, against the Delhi High Court order uh, that had refused to grant him protection from arrest. Siddharth, uh, two hearings, two hearings. Uh, the first hearing will have direct bearing on the second hearing. Uh, Ar uh, Arvind Kejriwal, as well as Aam Aadmi Party, uh, has in fact tried, first tried seeking some kind of urgent hearing today against what they have termed as an illegal arrest. That could not happen tonight. Uh, that hearing will take place early in the morning. Uh, the bench will be decided by the Chief Justice's court or whether Chief Justice himself will hear that matter. That hearing, if any kind of uh, intervention is taken place by the, by, by the Supreme Court will have direct bearing on 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 whether uh, what will happen next. That is on whether Arvind Kejriwal will be produced uh, in the Rouse Avenue Court physically, or whether that hearing will be done through video conferencing. 
as you can see the kind of security arrangements that have already been put pl uh, put put in place it's already midnight but police is not taking any chances in fact all the uh, all the roads leading to ed headquarters have completely been sealed and barricaded by the sure. police and uh, the police also fear that uh, our workers and supporters will gather in okay. large number outside rouse avenue court in fact e uh, our uh, headquarters in delhi is also very close to the rouse avenue court and uh, our workers obviously will right. gather uh, once Arvind Kejriwal, who is the founder as well as the national convener of the party, will be produced there. So one has to wait and see what happens in the morning uh, for uh, for next course of action that will be taken by ED as well as by the Ahmadi party. In fact, uh, Bhavto, stay with us because on the right of the screens, you can see protests being undertaken by members of the Ahmadi party. Uh, we'll have to just wait and see what their action plan is as far as tomorrow is concerned. Two very important hearings pertaining to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's fate vis-a-vis -vis this case uh, in the courts of law tomorrow. Many thanks, Bhavtosh, Isha, Techri, as well as Priyank, uh, for your continuous coverage on this dramatic development. Uh, lots in store uh, in terms of what might happen tomorrow as well. Uh, we'll touch base with you tomorrow morning. That's all we have for you on News Now Overnight viewers. News and updates will continue on the other side. Good night. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Rahul Gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai. Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention, please? Atra ki hoon koi bachchi nahi, nahi hoon par kachchi nahi. Mano ya na mano tum, kuch bada karne ki hai baari yehi. Bhavishy desh ka likhne ki tayari yehi. Bachpan se ab tak meri maati ne dolara, aaj mujko hai mere.
आज मुझको है मेरे देश ने पुकारा When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है खतरे में है Because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I am Mamita Badwa. I am Pratibha. I am Shreya Malhotra, and you are watching the Morning News. series of tickets discussed and announced as well today the bjp released its first list for tamil nadu a state where none less than the prime minister has said that a surprise would be in store in terms of the seats that would be declared in the results meanwhile in the congress camp their cc met to discuss uttar pradesh madhya pradesh tamil nadu and jammu and kashmir the big scoop though is that while 7 to 8 seats have been finalized by the congress in uttar pradesh remember they have a quota of 17 in the state but so far none of the seats have been announced now we are told at least 8 seats have been finalized but even now the seats of amethi and raibareli have been kept in abeyance also in madhya pradesh and up the congress is now ready to field its big names this lok sabha election who are they will this gamble work we will take you through all of that we will also constantly keep getting you updates with what is happening in delhi as far as arvind kejriwal is concerned but first let's start with the big tamil nadu announcement that happened today the first list has dr tamil sai sonder rajan fielded from chennai south Vinod P Selvam from Chennai Central AC Shanmugam has been fielded from Vellore he is from the New Justice Party but is being fielded on a BJP symbol Sinar Simhan has been made the BJP candidate from Krishnagiri he was formerly with the Congress from the Nilgiris Dr L Murugan has been given a ticket and the name that's getting maximum eyeballs in this first list of Tamil Nadu of the BJP of course is that of K Annamalai the state president of the BJP uh, in addition to K Annamalai who's been fielded from Coimbatore there is TR Parivender who has been fielded from Perambalur the founder of SRM group and currently the vice chancellor or the chancellor rather of SRM university from Tirunal Valley Nayanar Nagendran has been fielded and finally in that list is Pon Radhakrishnan who has been given a chance yet again from kanyakumari which he has won earlier in 2014 let me introduce you to the guest joining us now this of course is part 1 which is tamil nadu we'll be talking about uttar pradesh and the congress names from there next and madhya pradesh as well but 
Let me introduce you the guest, Pratyush Khan, spokesperson of the BJP, JVC Sriram, political strategist and commentator joining us along with senior journalist Samir Chaugankar. Here with me in the studio, senior journalist Nija Chaudhary is also here with us. But let's listen in to how the Prime Minister had said as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, his predictions for 2024. Kanyakumari se देश के इस दक्षिणी छोर से जो लहर उठी है ये लहर बहुत दूर तक जाने वाली है यू हैव टू मेजर अलायंसेस वन लेड बाय द बीजेपी अदर बाय द एडीएमके एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम so I would very confidently say the performance of BJP in Tamil Nadu would be historic, which means it might not have happened before this at any point of time. So if you ask me to define what will be that history, there's a completely pretty dynamics here. And Tamil Nadu generally you can always expect a sweep here, there. There's nothing called the middle. I would say it was historic. The vote share, we will comfortably cross 25%. Comfortably. 25? Yes. Five times? Yes, madam. 500% growth? Yes, madam. Okay, so is this going to work? What do you make of this very first list that has come out for Tamil Nadu? Let's take this across to our guests and discuss this one by one. What is the battle at hand? We are going to start with Chennai South. Chennai South, where Tamilisai Sondar Rajan, who in fact was the president of the BJP in Tamil Nadu earlier, was the governor until three days ago and has just resigned. She has now been fielded from Chennai South. She is going to go up against Tamizachi, and please pardon me, my pronunciation is not up to the mark, Tanga Pandian from DMK and Dr. J. J. Vardhan from AIA DMK. Let's get started with JVC Sriram and then I'll go to the DMK and the BJP. JVC Sriram, what do you make of the contest here? So it's going to be a contest between the MP who won on 2014 and the MP who won on 2019 and the governor who is a very familiar and a face and a star candidate. And what BJP is sending a message to the people of Tamil Nadu is Dr. Tamarise Saundarajan is a pan Tamil Nadu leader. She's not confined to any region or she's not confined to any social group or community. And that is a strong message going in because it's a prestigious seat which is won by Dr. Vijayanti Mala Bali in the past. And we expect it to be a tough contest, but Tamil Nadu Saundarajan should prevail upon as far as this contest is concerned. What do you have to say, Salem Dharni Dharan? For very long, DMK had been saying, can the BJP feel their big names? If they dare, they should contest from Chennai. Now they have got a governor, a former governor, no less. See, I do not uh, think BJP has any chance in Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu Saundra has contested elections before and she has lost. And Chennai South is one of her strongest constituencies. Out of the last seven times, we have won the constituency five times. Even last time, uh, the margin was more than three lakh votes. And, and the member of parliament has a very good name, as well as uh, the Dravidian model of governance which the leader has provided hmm. as the confidence of the people of Tamil Nadu. So there will be a thumping win for the DMK candidate. Okay, uh, so in, you know uh, she's been Chennai she's she's fought in the past. BJP she's fought in the past. JVC hasn't met with success. What makes you think that things will change this time? Yeah, she has con she has contested with assembly elections in 2016 in the, one of the assembly segment of the uh, South Chennai constituency. She contested against uh, Kani Modi in Tutukudi constituency. The ground reality which was prevailing in 2019 to 2024 is completely different. And Mr. Dharni Dharan can keep dreaming. He can keep dreaming till June 4th. But when the ballot boxes are open, Tarani Dharan will be hit by what the tsunami that the BJP is going to have in Tamil Nadu. And more importantly, there is a tremendous amount of anti-incumbency against sitting MP. There are posted pastures all over South Chennai saying that missing MP. If you find somebody, if somebody can find her, please tell her where is she. And she is somebody when the floods were happening, happily she was partying in her home. That is the reality as far as uh, Tamil uh, uh, Tamil Pandian is concerned. And I can tell you it is going to be a big contest and ADMK is not even in the frame, not even in the race. Okay, I will get you to respond to that, but let's quickly go through the other seats as well. Chennai Central, where you've got a big name from the DMK, Dayana De Maran, former union minister, has been fielded by the DMK. And he goes up against Vinoj P. Selvam, who's a relative newcomer. 
he has been fielded by the BJP and the DMDK has got this seat in its quota, but they haven't announced their candidate just as yet. Uh, Nija ji, your thoughts about this uh, relative newcomer up against Dayanidhi Mara? Yeah, he's an old hand. Uh, everybody knows him. And, uh, but you know, I, if you look at Tamil Nadu, it's not the individual candidates, barring, I would say, Anna Malai, who's the party president all over Tamil Nadu. He's built the party. You go to Tamil Nadu and people talk about him and the strides that BJP is making under him. Mm. He gets up at four o'clock in the morning, he's out meeting people and has, you know, uh, people have noticed him and the work he's doing. But it is really Mr. Narendra Modi <clears throat> and his visits to Tamil Nadu, the deter determination with which the Prime Minister has taken the bull by the horn in Tamil Nadu. Otherwise, you know, in Tamil Nadu, people used to dismiss the BJP. It's Hindu, Hindi will not have any traction. Okay. But I've met people who say, you know, this 25% that uh, poll, uh, you know, vote share this time that they're hoping for, that may well become a reality. I don't know whether they'll uh, win the seats, but certainly Coimbatore is a seat which is traditionally also, you remember Mr. L.K. Advani, uh, was, uh, when he was there in 98 and 12 bombs had gone off in this city. Uh, and the BJP has had a hold in this city. So that is the one seat I would look at, whether the BJP will actually get that. The and for those who don't remember what Anamalai. happened in 98, the BJP makes sure that they remind the voters, those who are first-time voters especially. The Prime Minister was in Coimbatore on the second last day of his visit uh, to Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala and uh, Andhra Pradesh. Now let's take a look. I will get in Salam, Salam Dhani Dharan and the Congress also. Vellore, you have A.C. Shanamugam from the BJP, Kathir Anand from DMK, Dr. S. Pashupati from the AIA DMK. Let's take a look at the next seat now after Vellore. Uh, in Kishangiri, you have C. Narsimhan from the BJP, Challa Kumar from the Congress and Jay Prakash from the AIA DMK. The next seat is a very interesting one. Niligiris, where MOS Information and Broadcasting, L. Murugan, has been sent to fight A. Raja, JBC Sriram. L. Murugan sent back and you have A. Raja taking him on in this reserved seat. See, I want to make a very important point here, Badmaja. There are several reserved seats in Tamil Nadu. The seat reserved in Nilgiris is for a Dalit community called Arundariyar. And there are other seats in northern Tamil Nadu. I think if I'm right, Sri Perambudu, sorry, uh, uh, Thiruvallur, Kanjiburam, and then you have Nagapatnam, you have uh, Chidambaram and Virupuram, five seats. Now, a seat which is supposed to be given to the Arundariyar constituents, Arundariyar, is now given consistently to Mr. A. Raza, because his seat, where he comes from, Perambalur, that is no more reserved seat. As a result of which, a non arundhariyar candidate is being fielded every time by DMK. Now, by fielding an arundhariyar what BJP is sending a message is that we are going to give empowerment and also representation to the community which has not been represented. You don't even have a district secretary of DMK from that particular community. And these are the larger messages. And we have given him the union minister of state position. He was a former president of this uh, BJP unit, as a result of which we are empowering the Dalit community and providing real social justice, which is missing from DMK. That is the larger message from the Neil Gris Assembly of Parliamentary Constituency. Sameer and here Asa may get defeated. Sameer ji, here is the model that there is a mantri in Kendra. He is saying that you are going to fight in your state. Look, I think that if you are talking about South, especially if you are talking about South, then I think that the most surprise is the most surprised people in the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Indian politics. The Prime Minister Modi is focusing on the South. You will see that there was Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala visit. The first time that the Bharatiya Janata Party has so much focus on the South states. The Bharatiya Janata Party has been very strong in the North. In the South, you have seen the nine candidates that have been declared. All the heavyweight candidates have been declared. And the Prime Minister Modi has been focused on the South. 
फोकस कर, कर रहे हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का ऑर्गेनाइजेशन साउथ को फोकस कर रहा है मुझे लगता है कि जिस समय भारतीय जनता पार्टी को लग रहा है कि इस बार भारतीय जनता पार्टी साउथ के अंदर एक सिंबॉलिक लड़ाई नहीं लड़ रही है इस बार वहां सीट जीतने जा रही है और यह बात वहां की जो रीजनल पार्टी से ए आई हो डी एम हो वी इस बात को जानते हैं कि इस बार प्रधानमंत्री मोदी के नेतृत्व में भारतीय जनता पार्टी इस बार लोकलाइज पार्टी के रूप में आ रही है हर बार भारतीय जनता पार्टी को माना जाता था कि बाहर की साउथ की नॉर्थ की पार्टी है इस बार अन्ना मलई के नेतृत्व में पहली बार वो लोकल और पार्टी के रूप में आ रही है और अब वहां पर एक सबसे बड़ी जो जिसे कहते हैं ना एक पावर के रूप में भारतीय जनता पार्टी वहां आ रही है और इसका डर डीएम को डीएम को तो ही ए आई को कोई डर है और डीएम के खिलाफ जो एंटी इनकम बनसी है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ ए आई का बड़ा कैडर जुड़ते जा रहा है और अन्ना मलई ने जिस तरीके से ग्राउंड में काम किया इस बार तय है कि वहां पर भारतीय जनता पार्टी बहुत सरप्राइजिंग रिजल्ट देने जा रही है ओके लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट नेम एंड अ लॉट ऑफ बस हैज बीन क्रिएटेड इन द रन अप टू दिस वेयर यू हैव अन्ना मलई फाइनली बीइंग फील्डेड फ्रॉम द बीजेपी सिंगई रामचंद्रन फ्रॉम द एआईएडीएमके गणपति राजकुमार फ्रॉम द डीएमके लोकेश जिंदल योर फर्स्ट थॉट्स वेल in september 2023 when the aidm ke had separated itself from bjp they were rejoicing because they believed that their association with the bjp was harming their own political fortunes i don't know on what basis are you claiming that bjp is going to find find inroads into tamil nadu the people of tamil nadu are going to write off bjp completely it's not going to consider their political campaigning as some form of a reach to the dravidian thought dravidian ideology not at all all this form and show it won't appeal the people in tamil nadu especially in kerala they have always rejected such rightist tendency and they will reject it again i'm very sure i'm not at all uh, satisfied by this uh, narrative of some form of a wave that is reaching out to tamil nadu that hogwash okay you are not satisfied with the wave pratyush kant you want to respond many people also wondering why just nine names it's very very close now holi is just a couple of days away first phase is when tamil nadu polls why only nine names when bjp knows that it was weak in south we knew how we have to act for a long time we have been working at the booth level we knew what are the our weaknesses are we have worked on that it is absolutely look south for the prime minister we are so confident about our development work which we have done and we knew that in tamil nadu this dynastic uh, politics this family oriented politics is not going to last so how do we come across hmm. we slowly built a very strong base at the booth levels then ministers honorable prime minister himself and the beneficiaries you remember what happened you know the old times in up they used to calculate itna yadav itna musliman itna koiri itna kurmi mm. and this how is going to work now look nobody talks about that anymore the caste game is over same no, way not. people Still in the south india talks about it the reason why nitish kumar came to the alliance let's, is because let's, he wants kurmi votes Sir, you are saying the people have stopped talk, talk, stop talking about caste. Everyone is talking about no, no. caste. We, we, we were, we were, we were, we were fighting. We were fighting. Okay, let me, let me. Okay, let me take you back to South then. Okay, in South, we were absolutely sure that this dynastic politics, this corruption, has to end. And what were they doing? They were attack, attacking the Hindu Hindi party, as Nirja Ma'am was just now saying. they did not understand the fact that they are losing ground every single day hmm. in karnataka a uh, congress mp stands and says that uh, we should have a partition of the country again we should again break this country into another part let's have a north south okay they were all talking about breaking the country and indians either they live in north and south were rejoicing in the fact that we are the fifth biggest economy we are going okay. to become so the third biggest economy okay so you're saying nationalism in unity and patriotism so along with hinduism not being anathema is the theme that you are going with in addition to all your vikas pitch perambalur who is the candidate from perambalur today tr parivendar goes up against arun nehru of the dmk not to be confused with the earlier arun nehru of the congress and nd chandramohan of the aia dmk what do you make of the fight here jvc it's going to be a very tough fight why i'm saying it is a tough fight is because arun nehru is son of k n nehru a very powerful dmk minister who controls trichy uh, uh, you know district who has been controlling district district uh, trichy district for the last four decades i can tell you so parivendra 
was an ex mp is a sitting mp sorry uh, but he contested in uh, rising sun symbol and this seat i can tell you is going to be a close fight but the reason why i am telling you is because mutrayer community which forms a large part of that constituency have announced their support to bjp mukulator are also there they are also going to be supporting bjp on top of it the uh, parivend that himself brings his own community votes hmm. as a result of which modi ji's popularity anomalous traction plus the social engineering should help parivender to put up a strong fight but still i would say it is advantage arun nehru at perambalur constituency but selam darni daran the more important thing is that somebody who earlier fought on your symbol is now going to fight with the bjp does that say something what people say that you know everyone salutes the rising sun which in this yeah, case seems to be the lotus not your symbol no 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 see i think that that is a uh, pari went this paragate we can join whichever party he, he he wants to align with but i will tell you this out of the last five times dmk has won four times in this constituency and i'll tell you the vote share last time pari won there contesting in uh, rising sun got about uh, more than 4 lakh vote. he won with more than 4 lakh vote share he got about 55% votes in 2009 arun nehru's relate close relative napoleon contested and got 50% vote share in 2004 uh, a raja and dmk got uh, one with about 55% vote share one with about more than 2 lakh margin so dmk in the last five times has won more than has won four times and with huge vote, uh, vote differences so i don't think bjp has a chance in this constituency and also bjp's vote share is now going to be get divided between admk and bjp Uh, and dmk's uh, vote share is intact you know the other so thing also is in coimbatore uh, usually you give that seat to the that. left to contest right this time you have decided to field somebody on the dmk symbol is it because you realize that the left won't be able to put up a good enough fight selam dharni dara no in fact selam uh, until 2019 we used to give it to congress now we are contesting instead of coimbatore we have given them tirupur hmm. so i think uh, it's it's all always a compromise so we don't know what happened there i think i was not sitting in the seat negotiation you know selam actually reminds me considering you come coimbatore. from there selam is the place where the prime minister said that a wave is going to rise what do you make of that that a surprise is going to emerge that everyone is going to be shocked no, see, from kashmir to kanyakumari and he said it from selam selam dharni dara i think <laughs> see i think the shock will be that the india alliance winning with 350 uh, more than get garnering more than 350 mps and forming the government i think that will be the shock and the vote share at which dmk and his allies will win in tamil nadu will be the another shock last time itself we won most of the constituencies with more than so uh, you were saying that india like alliance will get 350 like vote like vote difference you are predicting the than... 350 par for the for the that for indi the you are asking Yeah. So you ask me the shock. I'm saying this will be the shock. Probably this is the shock which the uh, prime minister had. Sir, no offense, but even you can't keep a straight think, face while making that think prediction. I think this deserves this deserves a quick round of reactions from round the table. Nija Chaudhary, 300 par for INDI. Predict Salem Dharni Dharan. <laughs> well, well, we ho- you know we hope they get even half because we need a good strong opposition in the country. But it doesn't look like it. The 300 par. इस बार <laughs> समीर जी इंडिया 300 पार थ्री फिफ्टी पार एनडीए रहेगा बीजेपी थी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सीट से लेकर जाएगी इस बार वो थोड़ा कंफ्यूज हो गए एनडीए और इंडिया गठबंधन के अंदर ओके लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट तिरुनल वैली दिस वाज ओनली मेंट इन अ लाइटर वे नो ऑफेंस एलम धरनी धरन तिरुनल वैली यू हैव नाइन आर नागेंद्रन द कांग्रेस एंड दैट इज द इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग दैट द डीएमके हैज रिलीज इट्स टिकट्स द कांग्रेस इज स्टिल सिटिंग why lokesh jindal the congress undecided who their candidate is going to be because this goes in their quota and you have shimla mutu selvan from the aia dmk fielded from here lokesh jindal padma ja congress generally announces the candidates late that is a general that that's a general trend within the congress it's not just with tamil nadu you will see that that's mostly there with most of the states that's not a very good and trend the, your candidates no, literally say when do we start campaigning You are no, saying it as if it's a good thing. It's a trend with the Congress that we announce our candidates late. <laughs> Why? No, no, Why is that, that a trend? The, the the party men, the Congress workers, they are working day and night, and the candidate will be announced by the CEC when the time will come, when the appropriate time will become. 
Uh, and, and we then, just then hope that the appropriate time forward. doesn't come like the seat sharing time came. And then it didn't. And then I and D I didn't yeah, least, exist anymore. Quickly, quickly, sharing. JVC wants to make a point, and I want to go to the last seat and then move to yeah. Uttar Pradesh. So, yes. uh, very important, very important. This seat is going to be, and I want to give you some information. The EIA DMK candidate who's contesting, contested against Jayalalitha in the 200, 2016 uh, assembly election as a DMK candidate. Congress is in a quandary now. I'm going to tell in Tamil and then I'll translate into English. Kalingar Karnanadi in 1971 said, Nellai. Engal Yellai, Kumari, Engal Tollai, which means Trinalveli is our border and uh, Kanyakumari is always in my trouble. Now I can tell you on this national channel by 8 p.m. that Nellai is also going to become a big Tollai because BJP is registered an emphatic victory with more than 45% at Trinalveli. And so Nellaiyum Tollai, Kumariyum Tollai in the Morai. I've just translated for you also. Nellai is also a trouble. Kumari is also a trouble for DMK. You want to respond, Salem Dhani Daran? See, I think people can keep daydreaming. Annamalai is saying 25%. Last time in the internal assembly election when they stood without AI DMK, they didn't even get 2.5%. So he's saying 25%. Probably he missed a dot. So I think people can keep dreaming and say everything is a problem for DMK. But what I'm saying is we are going to win uh, every uh, all the 40 seats. That is 39 in Tamil Nadu, 1 in Pondicherry. As the leader says, Narpadum Namade, Nadum Namade. That is what the, all the 40 seats are, the country is also us. So uh, that's, that's, I maintain my stance. Even last time, we, we won uh, Kanyakumari with a thumping majority, both in 2019 and 21 by election. Ex maybe except for uh, 2014, uh, DMK and his allies have been winning Kanyakumari. So I don't think there's any uh, confusion there. Okay. Final seat is Kanyakumari, oh, and we have already discussed it. Pon Radha Krishnan who was a minister at the centre after he won in 2014. In the first Modi government, 2019, however, they lost to the DMK, as Elan Dharnidharan just said. And Vijay Vasant is probably going to be fielded because, as Lokesh Jindal said, people are working, leaders are thinking, everyone is deliberating. Eventually, we will get to know who is actually fighting from this seat. So far, our sources have told us it could be Vijay Vasant. And you have Brazilian Nazareth from AIADMK. What about this seat, Kanyakumari? Final word, JVC, then we move to UP. I think I think every time, you know, in 19, in 2014 or so, when ADMK and BJP did not come together and stood separately, BJP was able to win. And you look at it, there is a Christian vote, there is an Hindu vote. Ponar is an old face. He will bring emotions into this election because he would say that it is going to be my last election. As a result, in fact, I will be in Kanyakumari tomorrow. I'm on my way in the remote areas. So Kanyakumari this time will deliver for Modi because it was a constituency where Padmanabhapuram in 1984, an independent backed by Hindu, Hindu Munani had won. In 1996, I'm talking about an assembly segment. In 1996, when Jayalita herself lost the election and DMK and TMC swept the entire Tamil Nadu, Padmanabhapuram sent its maiden BJP MLA okay. to the assembly. Kanyakumari is going to be filled with Lotus in 2024. All right. Even as this first list came from Tamil Nadu of the BJP, today we had a meeting of the Congress's CEC, hectic discussions to finalize their third list of Lok Sabha candidates after deciding on Gujarat, Maharashtra and Rajasthan. Now, Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh and some seats of Uttar Pradesh, two seats of Jammu were discussed in the CEC. While the Congress has decided on eight seats of UP, sources say that two seats will be kept in abeyance, which is Rai Bareli and Amethi, that is hardly surprising. But which are the big surprises that could happen from Uttar Pradesh? We are learning that some big names and primary among them, Ajay Rai is a probable from Varanasi, R. Sikarwar from Fatehpur Sikri, Tanuj Punya, PL Punya's son has been fielded from Barabanki as expected and Pradeep Jain from Jhansi. ये कैंडिडेट्स के बारे में आप क्या कहेंगे समीर जी? Let's take a look at the first four only, please. अजय का अजय रहा है 2014, 2014, 2019 में ऑलरेडी वाराणसी से चुनाव लड़ चुके हैं। ये बहुत सिंबॉलिक सी फाइट नहीं है। आप अपने स्टेट प्रेसिडेंट को बार-बार क्यों भेजते हैं? बिल्कुल और कि वो पांच लाख के मार्जिन से हार जाएं, चार लाख के मार्जिन से हार जाएं। अजय राय की हिम्मत के दांत देना पड़ेगी। वो जानते हैं कि वहाँ बुरी तरह हारेंगे। उसके बाद ही वो तीसरी बार लड़ने को तैयार है। वहाँ से कमिटेड वर्कर है। 2014 में लड़े, 
समर्पित सिपाही है जयराज लड़ने जा रहे हैं इसके अलावा अगर तनुज पुनिया की बात करें तो बाराबंकी रिजर्व सीट है पी पुनिया के बेटे हैं तो वहाँ से उन्हें लड़ना ही था प्रदीप जैन झांसी से लड़ने वाले हैं वहाँ झांसी से ये पहला चुनाव हार चुके हैं उमा भारती के खिलाफ जो उमा भारती वहाँ से सांसद थी वहाँ के सबसे बड़े नेता अभी फिलहाल प्रदीप जैन ने तो तय था कि झांसी से प्रदीप जैन को टिकट दिया जाएगा लेकिन ये सारी सीटें ऐसी जहाँ से भारतीय जनता पार्टी चुनाव जीतेगी ओके नेक्स्ट फोर नेम्स एंड टू ऑफ देम इंक्लूड टर्न कोच पीपल हु हैव गॉन फ्रॉम वन पार्टी टू दी अदर इमरान मसूद ऑफ कोर्स समाजवादी पार्टी नाउ कांग्रेस ही इज बींग फील्डेड फ्रॉम सहारनपुर ही सपोज टू बी इन द क्लोज सर्कल नाउ दानिश अली फ्रॉम अमरोहा ऑल्सो सपोज टू बी इन द क्लोज सर्कल सदल प्रसाद फ्रॉम बासगांव एंड अखिलेश प्रताप सिंह फ्रॉम देवरिया नीजा जी वट डू यू मेक ऑफ दीज नेम्स लेट स्टार्ट विद अखिलेश प्रताप सिंह दानिश अली एंड इमरान मसूद I think they will put up a good fight whether they win or not it remains to be seen because they have a mass base of course Danish Ali has shifted from the BSP but has a base uh, behind him so it's not like the first four seats you mentioned which are a complete i agreed with the previous speaker uh, the congress is unlikely to uh, make it there but you know i want to make a larger point padmaja uh if the congress puts up as determined a fight in every seat that is been given and le- it's been left uh, by the uh, akhilesh yadav for it the samajwadi party for the congress as the bjp is putting up a, f- in a fight in tamil nadu now whether they will win nothing or whether they'll win one seat they're going to certainly up their vote share because you know to have a geographic divide along with the political divide you have the bjp in the north but not in the south you have now the congress and its allies in the south but they're getting wiped out in the north that is not a good thing for the country so if the bjp makes inroads in the south and the congress determinedly goes again hmm. particularly in uttar pradesh and bihar I think that's a very healthy thing, and one hopes that they will put up that fight. Remember, we have a delimitation exercise coming on yes. in uh, 2026. It's going to be problematic with the southern states very worried. You will need the political instrumentalities to navigate those kind of issues. So I think this is a good thing <laughs> happening if the Congress is going to put up a fight in the uh, north again. Okay. All right, uh, Pratyush Kant, you want to make a comment? At least a few big names. <laughs> are going to the congress and largely at least in uttar pradesh it seems to be a bipolar fight between sp and bjp but the congress is putting up a fight one has to say imran masood is there danish ali is there they are strong people danish ali won amroha last time even though on a bsp ticket the problem with congress in up is they have no cadre left there is no party and it has been a long story now almost almost two decades now the problem is congress will not be able to give any fight to bjp is the fact because they are totally dependent on samajwadi party now these candidates may have vote of their community but they are not leaders who can win a parliament seat in this present given circumstance when bjp has delivered so much and we have uh, modi and yogi double engine sarkar working in uttar pradesh it's very unfortunate that the way akhilesh yadav treated rahul gandhi and uh, the senior leaders clearly showed that he had the upper hand uh, i mean let's go back during ahmed patel's time the way of negotiation was totally different now it's totally different and uh, up is a very political state people know exactly where they are voting and what they are voting for ram temple development law and order these are very big things we are still sitting in delhi and again we are talking about these caste for which you stopped the last time and was speaking we have to get out of that mindset it okay. is no more about castes it is no more about those numbers we used to crunch it's now so much about development When journalism is led by integrity, and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight of what is the real issue. 
I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Rahul Gandhi Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favoured company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Are you looking for the right start of the day? I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi, asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shidra Malhotra and you're watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. The ED additional director is at the residence of the Chief Minister Kapil Raj, the investigation officer in the case. Kapil Raj is the investigation officer in the case. Let's go straight across to Bhavtosh. The barricades have been brought in Bhavtosh and now a fresh reinforcement has also been done. What do we expect, Bhavtosh? Well, as far as uh, what will happen next uh, is still uh, something that only ED officials can tell us. But uh, the, the Aam Aadmi Party has decided that they will go to the Supreme Court and will try getting some kind of relief from them or some kind of protection from coercive action. But here at the ED headquarters, the security has been beefed up. In fact, paramilitary forces have been deployed along with Delhi police. What we can tell our viewers with uh, with confirmation are two things. One, A, his questioning have started. The first summons were served to him on 2nd of November and then for nine summons were served to him. He did not join the investigation. Searches have taken place. Some electronic gadgets have been seized including four mobile phones as well as two ta tablets and uh, uh, Padmaja, more importantly, a high drama has taken place. ED officials are at his residence along with paramilitary forces. Will he be taken here at ED headquarters? Remember, this case is being probed by the HIU unit of the enforcement directorate which have served. Yesterday, for the first time, the additional solicitor general said the 700 summons have been served in this case and 15 individuals have been arrested. Several companies and entities have been made and accused and today the, uh, the High Court said that why, don't you, why didn't you arrest him uh, when he did not join the investigation at the first place to which additional Solicitor General said that it doesn't mean that we will arrest him or not arrest him. We are just asking him to come and join the investigation and then in a very dramatic development today uh, within an hour or so uh, the ED officials reached his residence. Uh, searches are taking place Place. It, it's a many ways, uh, Padmaja, it is a rerun of what happened last Friday when uh, ED officials went to the residence of K. Kavita. Okay. That, there also search warrants were served to her and then her voluntary statement was recorded. Will it be the exact rerun of what happened with K. Kavita? This would only end with searches and voluntary recording of the statement. It will all depend on what, will he get any kind of relief from the Supreme Court? So all eyes on what happened in next few hours. Will the Supreme Court intervene in this matter? or 
Arvind Kejriwal will be brought here and further questioning will take place. We'll okay, Priyank is also joining us from outside minute. the house of Arvind Kejriwal. Fresh reinforcements around you now and apparently a circle has been made there. Priyank. Uh, yes, uh, Padmaj, there have been series of and layers of barricade which has been placed by the Delhi police. The first is uh, this particular iron gate which was made uh, after looking at the kind of protests which used to happen outside the residence of Adhim Kejwal. This gate uh, would be approximately 200 to 300 meters away from the main entrance of Adhim Kejwal and later to that, if you see, the are uh, placed by the Delhi police official along with the RAF to stop any kind of protest in inside this uh, flagship road. But very interesting development happening, Padmaja, when uh, the 12 officials have already gone inside. We have seen approximately five vehicles of the CAPF going inside with CAPF officials, which is certainly not giving a good indication for the Amani party because the officials were there. In the normal summoning case, uh, five officials could have gone, but this time a dozen officials being there inside, then uh, uh, another you know senior official coming along with five vehicles full of uh, CAPF APF officials and not trusting on the Delhi police looking at the kind of uh, situation which had happened at KK with us residence. The ED officials are also not leaving any uh, possibility of any kind of stoppages from the protesters, uh, pro protesters I beg your pardon, and uh, the supporters of Amani party. Rame, what do you see? So there's a huge congestion at the right and the left side of the road which leads to the Arvind Kejriwal residence. If I can show these slogans have just started, many party workers have reached here and they have started raising slogans. If I could ask my video journalist to show, you can see that people are raising slogans. If I would ask some of them, ki, what again, what are they protesting for? Madam. mobilization already. Aam Admi Party's ministers, Atishi, Saurabh Bharadwaj, all reaching the chief minister's residence. Now, protesters, supporters have also reached there. And we are being told that just now, the Delhi Legislative Assembly Speaker, Ram Nivas Goyal, has said, even if Arvind Kejriwal is arrested, he will not resign. Samir ji, Ek baat to tai hai that Aam Aadmi Party is going to make a big, big election issue out of it. Ki hum to ladenge is Tana Shah se. बिल्कुल और देखिए जिस तरीके से अरविंद केजरीवाल लगातार ईडी से जो समंस मिल रहे थे एक से लेकर नौ समंत तक जिस तरीके से केजरीवाल ने उसको अवॉइड किया और जिस तरीके से लगातार वो पत्रकार वार्ता करते थे सौरव भारद्वाज प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करते थे आतिशी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करते थे बताने की कोशिश करते थे कि अरविंद केजरीवाल को चुनाव के पहले अरेस्ट किया जा रहा है लेकिन जिस तरीके से हाईकोर्ट से जब क्लियर हो गया कि अरविंद केजरीवाल पर ईडी कार्रवाई कर सकती है उस पर कोई रोक नहीं होगा और आज ईडी ने हाईकोर्ट ने पूछा था ईडी से कि क्या पहले इसमें अरेस्ट करते हो तो डी ने बताया कि अभी तक हम 700 लोगों को सम्मान दे चुके हैं और खिप सिर्फ 15 लोगों को हमने गिरफ्तार किया है इसके अंदर अब देखिए यार मनीष सुशीला की गिरफ्तारी के बाद संजय सिंह की गिरफ्तारी के बाद के कविता की गिरफ्तारी के बाद मुझे लग रहा है कि अब यह तय है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल इस मामले में अरेस्ट होंगे ईडी के पास पुख्ता सबूत आ चुके हैं इस बात को लेकर और इसी कारण ईडी बार बार उन्हें सम्मान के लिए दे रही थी और अरविंद केजरीवाल बार बार बच रहे थे कोर्ट से जब राहत नहीं मिली अरविंद केजरीवाल को तो यह अब तय था कि ईडी जाँच करने के लिए स्वतंत्र है और कोर्ट में जब अरविंद केजरीवाल को राहत नहीं मिली आज ई उनके घर पहुँच चुकी है और मुझे लग रहा है अब किसी भी समय अरविंद केजरीवाल अरेस्ट हो सकते हैं ऑल राइट प्रत्यूष कांत टूडे द Council for Arvind Kejriwal argued that if it makes you happy, arrest me after the elections. Why are you doing it right now? Itne mahino se you sent nine summons, didn't do anything. Arrest, but do it after elections. Ma'am, do you think the country and the agency that the judiciary runs like this? Do you think the judges, the investigators, people who find out all the documents? There is a whole process which is involved. Then you go to lower court, high court, division bench, Supreme Court. The process will change for elections. It doesn't. Hmm. Arvind Kejriwal is a literate man. He knew all the time. 
so many cases were taking place in different courts you know high court double bench single bench lower court and they were getting relief from nowhere if you i'll just take you back the senior most judge of the apex court the supreme court of india when he saw the file he said i can clearly see a trail of money over 300 crores i think it has to be investigated okay not from a single court did he get any relief the lot the lot ships today when they saw the case because see those are the documents which you and i have not seen it is only they are seeing those documents so after seeing those documents they say you well, what are you doing the investigation has to go on you have to join the investigation okay speaking of so, documents KGR, we are being told that all the, all the gadgets inside. have been seized bhavtosh from arvind kejriwal and the data dump priyank is being taken from those gadgets so all of his gadgets have been taken away and poochtach ke pehle hi ed zapt kar chuki hai soon they may be taken sanjeev kaushik to the ed office ya mujhe lagta hai ki desh mein ek aisi sarkar aayi hai jo 2024 ke lok sabha election se pehle vipakshi partiyon ke khate ko band karwa rahi hai seize kara rahi hai tamam vipakshi party ke bade netaon ko jail mein bhejwa rahi hai kya isi tarah se bhartiya janata party chunav ladegi kya सवाल यह है कि कोर्ट ने आज क्या कहा कोर्ट ने यही कहा लगातार ईडी पहुंची और कही कि नहीं ये सुन ले योग ही याचिका नहीं है कोर्ट ने कहा कि नहीं इस पर सुनवाई जारी रहेगी इसके बावजूद दरवाजे पे पहुंच जाना और इस तरह से राह ठाल लेना जब जिद ही कर ली है ईडी गिरफ्तार करने के लिए तो वो गिरफ्तार कर ले अब दिल्ली के जनता को जवाब देना है देश की जनता को जवाब देना है कि ये तानाशाही चलेगी या लोकतांत्रिक तरीके से देश चलेगा कोर्ट की भी बात नहीं माने आप संस्थानों की भी बात नहीं माने आप लगातार ये बात कहते रहे कि नहीं केजरीवाल साहब ये बात कहते रहे कि आपने जो हमें संबंध दिया आप ये मुझे बता दीजिए कि किस हैसियत से आप बुला रहे हैं गैर कानूनी है ये और उसी के अगेंस्ट में सारी बातें आगे तक बढ़ी है तो कम से कम इंतजार तो कर लेना चाहिए ना बाईस अप्रैल तक लेकिन उसके पहले ही इस तरह की स्थिति पैदा कर देना दिल्ली में अराजकता की स्थिति पैदा कर देना जान बुझ करके और तमाम विपक्षी पार्टी के नेताओं को इलेक्शन से पहले इस तरह से प्रताड़ित करना भारतीय जनता पार्टी को कम से कम ये लोकतंत्र के लिए शोभा नहीं देता ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए जनता देख रही है बड़े गौर से देख रही है और जब आप जनता ही देगी अब All right, let's cut across to Ramya also for just a second. These are the latest visuals. The rapid action force is present. The barricades have been brought in. Arvind Kejriwal's devices have been seized and the data dump is being taken from there. steadily as rame is reporting the number of kejriwal supporters have also gone up what's the next plan of action rame so let me say that after the central government forces reached the residence the forces of arvind kejriwal has also reached now and they have sat on the roads protesting raising slogans against the prime minister modi raising slogans in the favor of arvind kejriwal it is all happening outside the lane where uh, uh, arvind kejriwal's official residence is heavy police deployment heavy central forces deployment but if we would see the zeal the enthusiasm of the protesters it is also no less it might be that these protesters are less in numbers than the police forces and the central forces however their zeal and enthusiasm is at peak again and again they have the same slogans modi teri nahi chalegi such slogans are being raised here today mm. we are standing right outside the lane of the arvind kejriwal's residence the gate has been completely blocked let me say sealed sealed by the delhi police sealed by the central forces strong barricade huge number of barricading has been put and the police has formed a circle if i would ask my video journalist to show that how a circle is formed uh, see so here we have different paramilitary forces rapid action force delhi police officials on the left side of mine while central forces on the right side so a circle has been made see that is how they have geraud let me call it geraud of the arvind kejriwal's residence today so it is also being said today that uh, if ed had come to deliver the saman the tent saman it wouldn't have come with this much preparation this much for force what is happening inside is something different we cannot access what is happening inside though we are trying our best to reach inside 
however huge presence see that is the gate that is the gate which reads which which leads to arvin kejriwal's residence however it has been blocked by the delhi police barricades delhi police officials have formed a chain around it they are standing and no one is being let inside okay After protesters are being detained let's listen to a few of them let's listen to a few of them but samir ji hypothetically speaking one doesn't know ki agar aaj giraftari hogi ki nahi hogi par giraftari ki talwar zarur latak rahi hai kai log sawal ye puchhenge to phir मुख्यमंत्री का मेंटल कौन संभालेगा क्या ये हेमंत सोरेन मॉडल होने वाला है या फिर ये लालू मॉडल होने वाला है क्या होगा दिल्ली देखिए जिस दिन मनीष सिसोदिया की गिरफ्तारी हुई थी और उसके बाद जब लगातार केजरीवाल को सम्मान दिए जा रही थी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर की तरफ से तब यह तय था कि ईडी के पास कुछ ऐसी इन्फॉर्मेशन आ रही है जिसमें केजरीवाल से पूछताछ जरूरी है और मुझे लग रहा है कि जिस दिन के कविता की गिरफ्तारी हो गई थी उस दिन तय हो गया था कि अब अरविंद केजरीवाल के इसमें गिरफ्तार होना तय है और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अब इन्फॉर्मेंस डायरेक्टर के पास वो सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्री एविडेंस होंगे जो आज उन्होंने कोर्ट में कहा है कि हम अरविंद केजरीवाल से पूछताछ करना चाहते हैं और हमारे पास कुछ इस तरह की इन्फॉर्मेशन है मुझे लग रहा है जिस तरीके से आज वहां पर डिप्लॉयड किया गया है सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस को और जिस समय इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर आज कोर्ट में सुनवाई होने के बाद पहुंचा है मुझे लगता है ये तय है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार होंगे और ये पूरा हेमंत सोरेन वाले प्रोसेस में चल रहा है अरविंद केजरीवाल पूरी कोशिश करेंगे कि इसका जि, जितना डेमोडाइजेशन किया जा सके जितना इसको नाटकीय बनाया जा सके जितना चुनाव के पहले इसको जनता के बीच सिंपति गेन करने की कोशिश की जाए कि मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा है मुझे लग रहा है यह तय था कि केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार होंगे और अब बहुत कम समय बचा है मुझे लगता है कि आज ही गिरफ्तार हो सकते हैं। बताया अगली मुख्यमंत्री कौन होंगे या होंगी मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे सौरभ भारद्वाज बार बार कह रहे थे कि हम तिहाड़ जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे अरविंद केजरीवाल मुख्यमंत्री बने रहेंगे तो ये सच में तिहाड़ जेल से चल सकती है सरकार। नहीं है संभव ही नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल को रिजाइन करना पड़ेगा अब ये देखने की बात होगी कि कल उन्हें जब कोर्ट में पेश किया जाएगा तो अगर गिरफ्तार हुए गिरफ्तार होना तय है आज, आज आज हो सकते हैं नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट मुझे लग रहा है आज गिरफ्तार होंगे जिस हिसाब से फोर्सेस रखी गई है जिस हिसाब से उनके डिजिटल एविडेंस करके छोड़ दे नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता कि आज कोर्ट के बाद अगर सीधे आए तो मुझे लगता है कि बहुत पुख्ता सबूत होंगे उनके पास और आज केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार हो जाएंगे अगर आज नहीं भी होते हैं तो ये मान के चलिए कि 48 घंटे से ज्यादा का वक्त नहीं है केजरीवाल के गिरफ्तार होने का okay. अब ये केजरीवाल को तय करना है कि वह अभी जाकर रिजाइन करते हैं उसके बाद अरेस्ट होते हैं जैसे हेमंत सोरेन ने किया था हाँ. कि राजभवन जाकर रिजाइन किया था उन्होंने चंपई सोरेन की शपथ ग्रहण समारोह हुआ था सबसे बड़ा मिलियन डॉलर सवाल किसके स्वेरिंग इन होगी अगर गिरफ्तारी होती है तो रेजिग्नेशन हो सकता है बट स्वेरिंग इन किसकी होगी एक मैडम चीफ मिनिस्टर की भी बात हो रही है ये बहुत बड़ी अफवाह हो रही थी वही बनेगा जो एमएलए होगा क्योंकि एलजी किसी ऐसे मतलब को अलाउ नहीं करेंगे जो एमएलए नहीं होगा नहीं बट उनके पास तो वक्त होता है ना छह महीने में आप उनको इलेक्ट करवा दीजिए नहीं अब नहीं यह पूर्ण राज्य नहीं है दिल्ली और मुझे लग रहा है कि यहाँ पर इसकी परमिशन नहीं दी एल तैयार नहीं होंगे मुझे लग रहा है किसी एमएलए को ही बनाना पड़ेगा अरविंद केजरीवाल को नो बिकॉज अदर पॉलिटिक्स ऑल्सो इज लाइक इन द केस ऑफ कल्पना सोरेन चाहते तो वो भी थे कि वो चीफ मिनिस्टर बन जाए बट अंदर से ही आपका विद इन योर पार्टी पीपल डिड Not agree now. Sita Soren has left precisely because of that reason. But let me quickly get an update from Bhavtosh, who is live with us now. Bhavtosh, what is the activity happening right now, and what next? Well, as far as uh, at the ED headquarters, uh, the security arrangements are there. In fact, uh, the barricades are still there. We are right outside the gates of uh, ED headquarters. A meeting is going on. The all important meeting is going on. to decide the fate of arvind kejriwal in many ways uh, also the case itself uh, it's in the last lap as far as the excise policy case is concerned several charge sheets have been filed but having said that aap aadmi party leaders have also decided to knock the doors of the supreme court trying seek, seeking some kind of legal help or some kind of uh, intervention from the supreme court so next few hours are very important as far as this case is concerned our okay. ed rates over will the team leave from the uh, residence of of arvind kejriwal is sir our search is over or will arvind kejriwal come out from his residence and speak to his supporters it all depends fast paced developments are taking place when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth 
and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Are you looking the I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. Tai hu Shidra Malhotra and you're watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm of me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of actual control. We report from ground zero. Times now. की हूँ कोई बच्ची नहीं नहीं हूँ पर कच्ची नहीं मानो या ना मानो तुम कुछ बड़ा करने की है बारी यही भविष्य देश का लिखने की तैयारी यही बचपन से अब तक मेरी माटी ने दुलारा आज मुझको है मेरे देश ने पुकारा हो
when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Are you the right day? I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi, asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shidra Malhotra and we're watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm of me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of actual control. We report from ground zero. Times now. Action begins here. Explosive, exclusive and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive into stories that matter. Raising questions you won't ask. Your voice is now our voice. Watch Blueprint with me, Meghna. And Pranesh. You're watching the News Hour first. The cup of woes for Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is just spilling over. The day began with a rap on the knuckles from the Delhi High Court and the division bench at that. Yesterday, the rap came from a single judge uh, bench. Today, from a division bench, uh, uh, which uh, said uh, that uh, Arvind Kejriwal should uh, uh, conform and appear before the ED as per the summons. 
and it looks like the day will end uh, with him behind bars uh, at least going by the situation right outside his house the security forces present there the fact that section 144 has been imposed outside his residence the shish mahal is full of security forces and a dozen ed officials who swoop down on the shish mahal and arvin kejriwal and on the other hand it is the ed headquarters which is also seeing heightened security and section 144 being imposed it looks as if the stage is set for the imminent arrest of arvin kejriwal and even even his party really believes that that's what's going to happen let's listen in to what uh, saurabh bharadwaj minister in arvin kejriwal's uh, government had to say just when the ed officials appeared at arvin kejriwal's residence uh, about 120 minutes ago at 7 pm this evening are piche piche dekhiye piche 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 pratham drashtaya जिस तरह से पुलिस अंदर है और मुख्यमंत्री जी के निवास में किसी को जाने नहीं दिया जा रहा है ऐसा लग रहा है कि मुख्यमंत्री जी के यहाँ रेड मारी गई है और उनके मन में क्या है ये नहीं मालूम बट ऐसा दिखता है कि मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करने की पूरी तैयारी है और मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को ये भी बता दू कि अरविंद केजरीवाल एक आदमी नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है आप एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को जेल में डालोगे सैकड़ों अरविंद केजरीवाल खड़े हो जाएंगे इस देश के संविधान को बचाने के लिए आप ऐसे लोकप्रिय मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि पूरी दिल्ली भर से लोग आएंगे दिल्ली के लोग अरविंद केजरीवाल से प्यार करते हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी पूरी तरह से अपड़ा दपड़ी में है जब कोर्ट के अंदर विचाराधीन है मामला 22 अप्रैल को कोर्ट ने डेट दिया उन्होंने कहा कि भाई 22 तारीख को आप अपने सारे डॉक्यूमेंट सारी डिटेल लेके आइए तो अचानक से अपड़ा दपड़ी क्यों क्यों इतनी जल्दबाजी है कोर्ट का क्यों नहीं फॉलो किया जा इसका मतलब यह है कि इनका एक ही मकसद है केजरीवाल को अरेस्ट करो केजरीवाल को किसी तरह से जेल में डालो और इनको लगता है इससे केजरीवाल को खत्म कर देंगे गलत फहमी में Let me tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, how the liquor gate scam has now literally landed at the doorstep of Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, even as we speak, there is uh, uh, a battery of senior officials of the Enforcement Directorate who have seized four to five. Uh, digital uh, apparatus uh, of of the family of arvind kejriwal four to five phones two tabs uh, have been uh, taken away have been uh, uh, secured by the enforcement directorate officials the, the digital data dump is being taken uh, a statement of arvind kejriwal on the details of uh, what kind of meetings in the liquor gate policy uh, scam actually took place at arvind kejriwal's residence outside Arvind Kejriwal Shish Mahal top up leaders are present mantris are uh, clearly coming out and saying that uh, arrest is what the BJP has uh, planned very well let me also remind you that earlier in the day the Delhi High Court had refused to give Mr Arvind Kejriwal any protection from arrest so the legal situation at the moment is that Arvind Kejriwal has no protection from the courts the courts today went through the files and the evidence present by the enforcement directorate in their chambers so they have an idea of the kind of evidence that exists but it has not been argued in the court yet because uh, this evidence uh, can uh, not be presented at the moment is what ed councils uh, argued because uh, there could be an attempt to erase uh, the evidence uh, trail uh, and and it is important for arvind kejriwal to be questioned let me also tell you that Arvind Kejriwal has had good reason to worry after all his then minister Satyendra Jain was arrested for money laundering by the ED on 31st of May 2022 his then uh, deputy chief minister Manish Sisodia was arrested on the 9th of March 2023 he's been in jail for a year uh, also the uh, th this case was the liquor gate case and then uh, there was Sanjay Singh who was arrested uh, on the 4th of October 2023 by the 
ED and uh, that is why Arvind Kejriwal has been really worried about his imminent arrest which is why he's gone to the Delhi High Court uh, not once but twice in uh, 24 hours. As per the Enforcement Directorate's press note, uh, K. Kavita conspired with Aam Admi Party's netas including Kejriwal, Sisodia and paid kickbacks worth 100 crore rupees. ED has claimed that uh, this uh, was corruption and conspiracy in making implementation of the Delhi uh, liquor policy, the excise policy. In fact, Kejriwal has also been mentioned in ED's remand note uh, for YSR M uh, CP's MP's son, saying that Kejriwal welcomed this MP's entry into the Delhi liquor trade. Uh, clearly, testimonies of uh, Kejriwal's aide Vijay Nair uh, that he acted at the behest of Sisodia Kejriwal was was also cited by the ED. The big question that we are asking tonight is why has Arvind Kejriwal not appeared before the Enforcement Directorate? The first summons were sent to him on November 2nd. He skipped uh, these summons. Second summons were 21st of December. Once again, he skipped them. Uh, he said that summons are only being sent to him for sensationalism. Uh, third summons, January third uh, and he uh, again said poll campaign was being derailed January 18th then February 2nd February 19th February 22nd and 4th March and 21st March. These are the nine summons sent to Arvind Kejriwal yet he has refused to appear before uh, uh, before the enforcement directorate. Why? Only Arvind Kejriwal knows. The only legitimate question that we have on the news are tonight is simply this. Will Arvind Kejriwal be arrested tonight? That's the question. And that's the debate coming up on the other side. But before I get to that debate, I'll get you the latest from Arvind Kejriwal's uh, residence uh, going across state to my reporters, uh, joining me live uh, from ED headquarters is Bhavtosh Singh and from Arvind Kejriwal's residence is my colleague Isha. Priyank Tiwari, uh, Priyank Tripathi also joining me from uh, uh, Shish Mahal headquarters of the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. Uh, let me ask you Isha first, what can you see around you? Heightened security or is the crowd uh, now uh, dispersing away? What are you seeing and uh, what is what is the expectation there? Any movement inside Arvind Kejriwal's residence? Yes, in fact, a few seconds ago, the joint CP Ravinder Yadav's convoy went inside Arvind Kejriwal's residence. So that is, in fact, also a hint. But currently showing you the visuals here, Section 144 has been imposed. The cops are making sure that no protests can take place. In fact, right now, also very dramatic scenes unfold. I request my camera person to show you here. Detentions are taking place right now as well. Protesters are being picked up and being forced away in these buses here. This is the back gate of the Kejriwal residence where all of this is taking place. In fact, uh, th this is the second gate. There, is also, there are also similar scenes unfolding, but uh, several supporters of Mr. Kejriwal have come in here time and again stating that the BJP is scared and that is precisely why the Enforcement Directorate has, uh, is coming here to, uh, to apparently arrest Mr. Kejriwal, but the ED has only sounded one rhyme that why has Mr. Kejriwal not appeared for the summons if there is nothing to hide. In Big fact, breaking today, news coming in, Isha. I'm, I, I just have to interrupt. We are getting information uh, that Kejriwal has been arrested. Uh, let me try and confirm this. Uh, that is uh, the uh, I information that I'm getting at this moment that uh, Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Arrest has been shown by the Enforcement Directorate, uh, Priyank Tripathi, present uh, outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence. Bhavtosh, uh, joining me from ED headquarters. Bhavtosh, can you confirm this from your sources uh, in the Enforcement Directorate and give us an update if uh, formal arrest of Arvind Kejriwal has been recorded? 
जिस तरह से हमारे सूत्र बता रहे हैं ये yes, uh, नाविका मैम वी कैन ब्रेक इट ऑन टाइम्स नाउ टू अ व्यूवर्स दैट अरविंद केजरीवाल दिल्ली चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज बीन अरेस्टेड द फॉर्मल अरेस्टिंग ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल हैज टेकन प्लेस अ वेरी बिग डोमेटिक टर्न ऑफ इवेंट्स अरविंद केजरीवाल दिल्ली चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज बीन अरेस्टेड ही हैज बीन अरेस्टेड इन द एल एस डेली एक्साइज कैम ऑल अटेम्प्ट बाय अरविंद केजरीवाल टू मेक श्योर दैट हिज अरेस्ट डज नॉट टेक प्लेस फॉल इन फ्लैट वेन डेली हाईकोर्ट डिड नॉट गिव एनी काइंड ऑफ इंट्रीम रिलीफ एंड अरविंद केजरीवाल विल बी ब्रॉट हियर एट Uh, at ed's headquarter any time soon it could be just in matter of few uh, maybe an hour or so and uh, ed headquarters have formally arrested arvind kejriwal a scam that l scam that exactly. started uh, being investigated exactly by the exactly 2 hours and 9 minutes after uh, the ed teams entered arvind kejriwal's residence arvind kejriwal has been arrested that's the latest information we are getting uh, uh, want to go across uh, straight to priyank tripathi priyank tripathi and isha if you can tell us which gate each of you are on and where is arvin kejriwal going to be brought out from uh, we are being told officially the enforcement directorate has arrested arvin kejriwal what's the movement what's the security deployment and uh, are you are you getting uh, any signs uh, of uh, uh, any of the supporters of arvin kejriwal uh, trying to break the cordon of uh, security outside his house Uh, yes, certainly, Navika. We will certainly try to and go and get reaction from the supporters of Arvind Kejriwal who have come here uh, because we know that uh, they are not aware about the fact that uh, their leader, uh, the convener of the party, has been put in under arrest by the enforcement directorate. Uh, these are the leaders. Sir, uh, information has come that Kejriwal ji ko giraftar kar liya gaya hai. Pravartan Nidheshalen ne unhe giraftar kar liya. Aap log ka ki pya kya pehli pratikriya? देखिए मैं अभी तक ये नहीं कहता कि उनको गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया है ईडी वाले अंदर गए हुए हैं और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी अंदर हैं लेकिन यदि उनकी गिरफ्तारी होती है तो जनता देश की जनता बहुत दुखी होगी क्योंकि अरविंद केजरीवाल सभी का बेटा है सभी के लिए काम कर रहा है बच्चों की शिक्षा के लिए वो काम कर रहा है तो ये बहुत दुर्भाग्य आतिशी मिनिस्टर इन अरविंद केजरीवाल गवर्नमेंट हु इज स्पीकिंग एट दिस मोमेंट लेट्स कट अक्रॉस स्टेट टू आतिशी दो साल में दो साल में जब से इस केस का इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है दो साल में एक रुपए की भी रिकवरी ना ईडी ना सीबीआई कर पाई है 500 से ज्यादा अफसर इस केस में लगे हुए थे हजार से ज्यादा रेड्स हुए आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं के घर मंत्रियों के घर उनके ऑफिस में हर जगह रेड हुई लेकिन उसके बावजूद एक रुपया आज तक नहीं मिला है तो आज लोकसभा का चुनाव अनाउंस होने के बाद अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट एक राजनीतिक साजिश है लेकिन मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को कहना चाहती हूँ कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी कानूनी लड़ाई यानी कि मुख्यमंत्री अपने पद से इस्तीफा नहीं देंगे ये आपने क्लियर कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये बिल्कुल साफ है और ये बिल्कुल स्पष्ट है इस पर कोई दो राय नहीं है आप कानूनी लड़ाई, लड़ाई का क्या होगा हम बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल आतिशी वहां कह रहे
Atishi there saying that Arvind Kejriwal will continue to remain the chief minister of Delhi. He will run the government from the jail and uh, she has confirmed that Arvind Kejriwal, the biggest arrest in liquor gate so far, Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested, memo has been served to him, enforcement directorate officials and senior officials of Delhi police still inside Arvind Kejriwal's house, a big development in the liquor gate case yesterday here on times now we brought to you not just the enforcement directorate but the CAG also talking about this entire case and this scandal and this scam costing about 2000 and 2 crore rupees now the biggest arrest after Manish Sisodia deputy chief minister then Sanjay Singh Rajya Sabha member of the Ahmadmi party today Arvind Kejriwal chief minister of Delhi being arrested big development let me go across uh, to uh, our guest this evening uh, I'll keep coming back to you Isha Priyank and Bhaptosh uh, stay online we'll stay on those visuals from outside uh, Arvind Kejriwal's residence but go across uh, to uh, Shehzad Poonawala. Uh, also joining me tonight, Sanjay Jha, Anand Ranganathan. Uh, Shehzad uh, Poonawala, my first question to you that Atishi says, uh, Arvind Kejriwal will continue to be the Chief Minister of Delhi and will run the government from uh, jails if required. There is no law stopping that. How do you respond to the arrest uh, after the announcement of election dates? Is this once again going to be called vendetta politics, which it is? Because Priyanka Gandhi Vadra has also tweeted and said, Chunav ke chalte Dilli ke Mukhya Mantri, Shri Arvind Kejriwal ko is tarha target karna ekdam galat aur asambidhanik hai, unconstitutional. Uh, Rajniti ka star is tarha se girana na Pradhan Mantri ji ko shobha deta hai na unki sarkar ko apne alochko alo se chunavi ran bhoomi mein utar kar ladiye unka dat kar mukabla kariye unki nitiyan aur kariye shaili par beshak hamla kariye yehi lok tantra hota hai Shahzad Punawala देखिए वक्त बदलता है तो काल चक्र बदलता है तो कैसे लोग बदल जाते हैं जो अरविंद केजरीवाल पहले वकालत करते थे कि इस्तीफा होना चाहिए और फिर जांच होनी चाहिए और यही सोनिया गांधी की गिरफ्तारी की मांग करते थे लालू की गिरफ्तारी की मांग करते थे आज जब कोर्ट से राहत नहीं मिल रही आज ही के दिन हाई कोर्ट ने राहत देने से मना किया है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा है तीन करोड़ का मनी ट्रेल है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने मनीष सिसोदिया को जेल में रखा है हाई कोर्ट ने संजय सिंह को जेल में रखा है विजय नायर एक साल से जेल में है कोई भी ने किसी भी केस को समन को डिसमिस नहीं किया है तो आज अरविंद केजरीवाल कहते हैं इस्तीफा तो दूर की बात हम जांच में भी सहयोग नहीं देंगे और अब तिहार से जेल चला है सरकार चलाएंगे तो मान्यवर मुझे बताइए लालू जी भी तिहार से चला सकते थे सोनिया जी भी तिहार से चला सकती थी शरद पवार भी तिहार से चला सकते थे उस समय पर तो ये इस्तीफा की मांग करते थे आज वो इनके साथ हो चुके हैं दूसरी बात मैं पूछना चाहता हूं देखिए कितना झूठ बोलते हैं भाई इनको भारत रत्न नोबेल प्राइज मिलना चाहिए कट्टर बेशर्मी और कट्टर झूठ के लिए कोर्ट ने साफ साफ कहा है कि इस स्टेज पर हमें कोई रीजन नहीं पता चलता है कि हम आपके खिलाफ कोर्सिव एक्शन ना हो ऐसा आदेश दे हमें लगता है कि आपको अपेयर होना चाहिए हमें लगता है कि इसमें प्रथम दृष्टिया प्रमाण मिलता है हाई कोर्ट ने सीबीआई के केस में ईडी के केस में नहीं बोला है कि मनीष सिसोदिया ने 100 करोड़ की मिनिमम घूस ली है कल आपने एक सीएजी की रिपोर्ट दिखाई जिसमें 2000 करोड़ की लूट का बताया गया है इतने प्रमाण होने के बाद भी अगर कोई ब्रेजनली बेशर्म हो कट्टर बेशर्मी का प्रदर्शन देता हो और बताइए ये अपने आप को संविधान के ऊपर समझते मुझे बताइए नाविका जी आपको समन जारी हो मुझे समन जारी हो नौ नौ बार समन हम लोग ना जाए ये कोई व्यवस्था हो सकती है क्या A for avoid summon, B for भाग जाओ फ्रॉम समन C for cover up on summon, D for divert from summon. मतलब हेमंत सोरेन नौ समन नहीं जाएंगे आज तक वो बाहर निकले नहीं निकले कोर्ट ने रखा है आज तक ये नौ नौ समन तक क्यों नहीं गए अगर कोई छुपाने वाली बात नहीं थी तो जाते करते शहजाद जी मैंने ऐसा कुछ नहीं किया है जिसके लिए मुझे समन आना पड़े इसीलिए मुझे माफ रखिए मुझे मत लाइए केवल एक वाक्य काल चक्र में लेकिन केवल एक वाक्य देखिए काल चक्र ऐसा घूमता है कि आपने शीश महल के अंदर क्या है ये दिखाने के लिए एक बार केजरीवाल से कहा था तो उन्होंने आपके रिपोर्टर को गिरफ्तार किया आपकी रिपोर्टर तो सह सम्मान बाहर आ चुकी है और कोर्ट ने कहा कि वेंडेटा उसके खिलाफ हुआ पर जो शीश महल नहीं खोल रहा था आज शीश महल में कौन है आप देख लीजिए काल चक्र तो घूमा है और रवि श्रीवास्तव जी मैं सवाल आपसे पूछती हूं 
शीश महल के अंदर आज ईडी गई है और उसी 45 करोड़ के शीश महल में आज अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है नौ समन नौ समन से उनको दिक्कत थी लेकिन नो रिलीफ फ्रॉम द कोर्ट्स द कोर्ट्स डिड नॉट फाइंड मेरिट एंड इट्स नॉट वंस और ट्वाइस ही इज गॉन टू द कोर्ट्स रिपीटेडली टू गेट अ स्टे ऑन द समन ही हैज एन गॉट इट नॉट फ्रॉम द सिंगल जज बेंच ऑफ द डेली हाई कोर्ट नॉट फ्रॉम द डिविजन बेंच ऑफ द डेली हाई कोर्ट so mr ravi shivastav today when the arrest happens legally can you question this arrest because you are not complying with the the orders and the summons of the enforcement directorate and you've aggravated the situation first let me uh, demolish your uh, statement of <coughs> calling the chief minister residence as a sheesh man in an rti reply the delhi government has confirmed no no You That speak about the arrest. No, no. You are talking about Shish Mal, so I have to clarify you, Shish Mal. Also, listen to it. That there was twenty nine crore rupees expenditure in a span of nine years, starting from two thousand fifteen to two thousand twenty two. So he's talking about that Shish Mal and all is all a farce, and it's a bogus story. Second thing, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. is a thought he is not a person and delhi people and punjab people they all love him now bjp is i can say is doing only a harakiri to themselves they are rattled because there is no other leader who can stand and see in the eye to eye mr narendra modi the second largest party the second largest opposition in the country the congress you have stopped frozen their bank accounts so that there is no democracy in the country the third biggest party in the country that is aam aadmi party you have arrested the chief minister of that is not going to affect any way the whole popularity that aam aadmi party has in the country it is it only shows that the attitude of mr narendra modi and the ruling bjp party that they are trying to malign the aam aadmi party uh, this court said this this court said that honorable supreme court has also okay. remarked they that are maligning the aam aadmi party by arresting him uh, you know mr ravi shivastav mr ravi shivastav when an arrest takes place the matter will have to go to a court of law and when it goes to a court of law the courts will adjudicate just as they have adjudicated on the issue of the summons but let me get in uh, mr anand ranganathan anand ranganathan ji arvind kejriwal is a thought the thought held meetings in his house the thought met uh, members of parliament from the south the thought gets uh, 100 crores as kickbacks as alleged by the ed what kind of a thought is this which gets money which uh, wants to run uh, uh, the government from the jail what kind of a thought is this because uh, it is a thought it is a thought that lives in the sheesh mahal navika as the phrase goes the thought is i will come back to you ravi shivastav ji just calm down i will tell you the thought there was one mr sharad reddy from arvika he was arrested navika yesterday also this man was constantly heckling and interrupting today also 5 crore rupees i don't know what kind of on health ground these rabble rousers and he bought electric shivastav ji ravi navika navika can i please have my say is constant heckling and interruption ravi shivastav Ravi Shivastav ji you know allow Anand Ranganathan to speak i'll Enough put all the that. other uh, 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 faders down Anand Ranganathan please tell me Hello. about this thought <laughs> Navika sab koi keh raha hai ki wo aadmi nahi hai wo thoughts hai <laughs> so let me summon my thoughts and tell you explain a little Kejriwal is the same man who announced himself as an aam aadmi and for months he has decided that he was going to blatantly ignore the summons from a constitutional agency and by the way the ed conviction rate for pmla cases is 95% so this isn't some political witch hunt and an aam aadmi respects the law of the land doesn't he navika let me also tell you is this not the same aam aadmi party that arrested a congress mla 6 months ago on a case that the supreme court had itself squashed 
and the Congress MLA was arrested based on investigations carried out by ED. Then AAP said, let law take its own course. And here it is not willing to make the same exception. Now, I want to give you two reasons that will always differentiate between what the fact is and what the hearsay is. Number one, for all those who say that the ED is using draconian provisions, let me inform them that each and every provision has been vetted by the Supreme Court three-judge bench and not only ratified, but also underlined and stamped. For example, reverse burden of proof is to stay. It is not mandated to give ECIR, bail to be made extremely stringent, money laundering is to be considered as a heinous as terrorism, attachment of property is to be allowed, statements made to ED are to be made admissible. These are the facts. Number two, is it not also a fact that the Supreme Court order of two months ago pertained to the excise case and the Supreme Court said the excess amount of 7% commission earned by the wholesale distributors of 338 crores constitute an offense as defined under Section 7 of the POC Act? The fact of the matter is these are proceeds of crimes uncourt. Finally, I want to say this at every step of the way. Yes, you might say ED is an arm of the government. You might be justified in saying so. But the fact of the matter is, when you accuse Modi government, are you accusing the judiciary? Because every step of the way, every inch of the crawling, where ED has summoned not one, twice, but nine times, and today also in the High Court, the court has been adjudicating on this matter. The court has been keeping a keen eye on this. So unless you say that Modi might be corrupt, High Court is also corrupt, Supreme Court is also corrupt, you have no locus standi. Well, let me let me get in uh, uh, Sayyid Abbas on this. And Abbas Bhai, my question to you is simply this. Nine summons, ordinary people are subject to the law of the land. In this case, nine summons were sent to Mr. K. Jriwal. Kabhi vipassana hai, kabhi it is state elections, kabhi is campaigning in Gujarat, kabhi is campaigning in Rajasthan. Sometimes he says, you please tell me first, what is the allegation against me? Am I an accused or a witness? Nobody can put conditions on an investigation agency. You just have to comply and it is under a law that these uh, uh, agencies are made. Are there separate laws? For Mr. K. Jival, just like he wants to start a separate trend of running a government from the jail, something which is diametrically opposite to what he maintained in 2013 in his avatar as a crusader in the India against corruption. What's going on? आम आदमी से खास आदमी कब बन गए अरविंद केजरीवाल 45 करोड़ के घर में रहते हैं और लॉ की धज्जियां उड़ाते हैं? Navika ji, that's indeed a legitimate question which I've been answering uh, all day along. You know, nine summons, why hasn't he been able to appear before the in uh, enforcement directorate? And I'll answer you straight. Who is Anvind Kejriwal? He's the leader of India's fastest political party. As a matter of fact, one of the best political startup we have seen. He's the leader of not just one state, but two states. Punjab, where we have the Chief Minister Bhagwat Man, and here in Delhi, we have Chief Minister Shri Arvind Kejriwal. Aam party is expanding, and who to better ask than the Bharatiya Janta Party? Today, I tell you, Navika ji, today the Bharatiya Janta Party is absolutely rattled by this man. Why so? Three times Bharatiya Janta Party has not been able to defeat Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi. This is a political party to look out for. Arvind Kejriwal today is indeed a revolutionary leader who has been able to bring what the Bharatiya Janta Party couldn't do in 10 years. Arvind Kejriwal was able to get two states. Also, let me tell you, why are my BJP friends? Shazad bhai, aap kis baat ke laddu baat rahe hai? Aap kyun khush ho rahe hai? Kyun celebrate kar rahe hai? Respected sir, I challenge today the BJP spokesperson. Can you answer me? Does an arrest mean a conviction order of the High Court? Is it a conviction order of the Supreme Court? What are you trying to celebrate, sir? Bhai sahab, ye satta kursi har hamesha nahi rehta. Kal aana hai, kal wapas jana hai. Remember, Punavika ji and my dear friend Shazad bhai, ye kab tak chalega? Ajit Pawar, jiske Modi ji keh rahe te, naturally karab party aare hai. Ajit Pawar ke bhoat sari leaders aap ke saath hai. Could you, sir, I challenge you on time, sir, and tell you, could you please update me on the CBI, ED, IT cases on the Ajit Power faction? Or leave that. Or Eknath Shinde's leaders. Or leave that. Himan Tabiswar Sarma. Respected, sir, why is today a BJP seen as a washing machine party? Pehle to washing powder nirma, abhi washing machine bhajpa. Ho kya raha hai aapke party mein? I bet and challenge on your show, Navika ji, my friend Shahzad will not answer because he has no answers. He himself has come from the Congress to the BJP. So I can completely understand. Last point, Navika ji. Last 30 seconds. My dear friend, let me tell you one thing very importantly today. 
तुम जितना भी सच को दबाओगे तुम पराजित नहीं कर सकते शहजाद भाई आपको बता रहा हूं मैं सीबीआई ईडी आईटी आज आपके पिंजरे के तोते हो चुके हैं लेकिन आपको बता दू अरविंद केजरीवाल जी सत्येंद्र जैन मनीष सोसोडिया विल कम बैक वेरी स्ट्रॉन्गली एंड दे विल विन द मैंडेट ऑफ डेली अगेन बीजेपी माई ट्राई टू डिफीट दम अरे दम है ना तो दिल्ली में हरा के दिखाओ दम है ना तो पंजाब में हरा के दिखाओ भाई प्लीज कैंपेनिंग कैंपेनिंग फॉर द पोलिटिकल पार्टी इज द बर्थ राइट ऑफ मिस्टर केजरीवाल एंड नो बडी नो बडी हैज ऑब्जेक्टेड टू द फैक्ट दैट ही हैज वन इलेक्शन आई ने कंटेस्टेड द फैक्ट having said that are laws different for chief ministers and are laws different from for the aam aadmi is the question i asked you politically but, he's got the uh, uh, votes of the people which is why he is the chief minister but he has not got the vote of the people to do a scam and if there is a scam the investigation should happen and let me no, tell you yes, harshwardhan tripathi ji ye bar bar jo election jeetne ne no abbas abbas bhai now just hold your horses hold your horses i want to tell you how many times courts have gotten into this matter february 6 ed moved delhi's district court against kejriwal's uh, non compliance on summons district court on february 7th uh, uh took this and asked uh, uh, kejriwal to appear in court on 17th of february kejriwal virtually appeared before the district court on 17th february and cited trust motion in assembly sought an extension till march 16th on 6th march the ed moved a second complaint against kejriwal of non compliance on march 14th supreme court was moved by arvind kejriwal on Ma- march 15th Kejriwal's plea against order of district court was refused by the Supreme Court no less. Then Kejriwal appeared on March 16 before the district court was given bail, a uh, 15000 uh, personal bond and 1 lakh security he got bail. March 18th he was summoned again for the ninth time. And Arvind Kejriwal moved uh, Delhi High Court once on 21st, and then again to the division bench. Nowhere in no court has he got any relief. इतना चौड़े किस बात के लिए हो रहे हैं कि भाई सिर्फ राजनीति पे बात हो रही है इस कोर्ट के पूरी कार्रवाई पर कोई एक शब्द बोलने को तैयार नहीं है हर्षवर्धन त्रिपाठी जी. से पहले तो मैं ये कहूंगा कि ईडी एजेंसी बहुत ठीक काम नहीं कर रही ये तरीका नहीं हो सकता है ईडी के पास इतने सॉलिड प्रूफ थे कि हाई कोर्ट से राहत नहीं मिली और इतने समंस का इंतजार करती रही क्या आम आदमी होता तो उसको उठाकर अब तक ईडी ने जेल में नहीं डाल दिया होता क्या एक सामान्य सा दरोगा एक पुलिस स्टेशन में छोटी सी रिपोर्ट हो जाए तो उस पर अब तक उसकी गिरफ्तारी नहीं होती और दसवें सम्मन पर जाकर गिरफ्तारी होती सुप्रीम कोर्ट तक आम आदमी पार्टी चली गई है और अब्बास जी इतना बढ़िया भाषण कर रहे हैं अरे भाई ऐसा ही था तो पंजाब में अपने मंत्री को क्यों जेल भेज दिया था वो भी तो जीत कर आया था ना विधायक बनके क्यों यहां पर एक मंत्री के ऊपर आरोप लगा था उसको हटाना पड़ा था क्या चुनाव जीतना भ्रष्टाचार करने का गलत तरीके से पैसे करने का शराब कंपनियों के साथ मिलकर उगाही करने का उसका कोई राइट दे देता है क्या अधिकार दे देता है क्या और ये मामला तो सबसे कमाल का है इसमें तो देश के अलग अलग हिस्सों में जिस तरह से लिकर पॉलिसी को लेकर लिकर स्कैम किया गया साउथ से लेकर नॉर्थ तक दिल्ली सेंटर में बैठा हुआ है पंजाब से लेकर हैदराबाद तक ये तो कमाल हो गया इसका मतलब कि इतने शातिर तरीके से इतने शातिर तरीके से और उसमें अगर पूरी सरकार शामिल है मुख्यमंत्री शामिल है उप मुख्यमंत्री जो शराब मंत्री है वो शामिल है दूसरे लोग शामिल हैं तो ये तो मुझे लगता है कि आजाद भारत के इतिहास में ऐसा भी मामला कोई नहीं हुआ ठीक बात है कि जिस तरह की तरक्की आम आदमी पार्टी की हुई उतनी तरक्की किसी पार्टी की नहीं हुई भारतीय जनता पार्टी को धीरे 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 सत्ता मिली यहां तो अचानक सत्ता मिली क्या हुआ सत्ता शायद नहीं पचा पाए क्या यह सवाल भी खड़ा होता है और न्यायालयों को भी यह सोचना पड़ेगा क्योंकि वो अगर इस तरह के मामलों में ज्यादा मौके देते हैं तो आम जनता ये सवाल तो पूछेगी ना माय लॉर्ड हमारा क्या दोष है ये सवाल तो पूछा जाएगा 
और ईडी जैसी एजेंसी से भी यह सवाल पूछा जाएगा कि जब तीसरे सम्मन के बाद आप न्यायालय में जाकर उनसे यह ऑर्डर ले सकते थे तो आपने नौ सम्मन का इंतजार क्यों किया लेकिन नविका जी आज जब यह गिरफ्तारी की खबर आ रही है तो यकीन मानिए इस देश को भी पता है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल को जितना मौका मिलना चाहिए था उससे ज्यादा मौका मिला और मैं फिर से कह रहा हूं अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल पर जो भी आरोप लगेंगे जो चार्जशीट आई क्योंकि अभी तो आरोप लगे भी नहीं अभी तो सिर्फ पूछताछ हो रही है कल को अगर वो न्यायालय से कानूनी तौर पर खारिज होता है तो हम उसकी बात करेंगे लेकिन आज अरविंद केजरीवाल इस घोटाले में बुरी तरह से फंसते दिख रहे हैं द न्यूज आवर फर्स्ट विल बी राइट बैक आफ्टर द ब्रेक वेन जर्नलिज्म इज लेड बाई इंटेग्रिटी and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist aapke upar to kai hotalon ke bhi aajkal aarop lag rahe hain desh mein sirf ek baat ki charcha hai ki kya bjp rahul gandhi se dar gayi she takes on the masters of indian politics like no one else can vipaksh kam se kam uttar pradesh mein ye keh raha hai ki aap hawa bana rahe hain nivesh koi aaya hi nahi is rajya mein rahul gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Hushita Malhotra, and we're watching. You're watching the News Hour first. Sanjay Jha, Sanjay Jha, my question is only so much. Of course, everything. that is being stated by the enforcement directorate will have to go through the legal process and will be examined by the courts nobody is saying that there is a conviction that the uh, allegations are true and that arvin kejriwal should be hanged but there are two issues that i want to raise today nine summons does anybody wait to serve nine summons to an ordinary person the way it was uh, uh, you know given to arvin kejriwal do honest ordinary people not have to obey the law of the land and on the second issue where it is being now stated by all his party members the ministers uh, the speaker of uh, delhi assembly that so what if he is arrested he is going to run the government from the jail i want to ask you all those who stood uh, uh you know wherever they could on very uh, many platforms uh, rallies and said that constitution is uh, in danger today have they lost their voice is this what our forefathers made the constitution for that people in power could actually defy and uh, just run their own laws of the land Navika there are two aspects to the answer one is obviously judicial or legal the other is political as far as the legal is concerned i think aam aadmi party has articulated their opinion quite vociferously i think i think there is one selective cherry picking being done here because the gentleman who spoke before me trying to sound as if he was the fountain head of legal uh, knowledge skipped a very elementary truth 
that the Delhi High Court today actually gave a notice to the ED saying we give you enough time to come up with substantive documentary evidence that you have a case against Arvind Kejriwal. So while it did not stop a potential arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, they actually gave a notice to the ED to say that we do not know whether you have sufficient basis, information or foundation to proceed against Kejriwal. They gave them time. But the very fact that the ED has acted today actually makes it a political case. And I'll give you a short answer. There are a couple of developments that, Navika, you have to juxtapose one next to the other. The Indian National Congress's bank accounts are frozen. I can tell you that anybody who knows tax logs will tell you how easy it is to do that. Normally used as an item of intimidation and threat. And this is being done to the largest political party in India during the time of the election. Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested a very popular leader, and I can tell you why Narendra Modi is terribly nervous of Kejriwal. And I've said so openly in programs, I've tweeted about it. Arvind Kejriwal as an orator beats Narendra Modi hands down. There is no comparison between the two of them. And I think he would be worried that if Arvind Kejriwal went campaigning, it will hurt the BJP tremendously because Arvind Kejriwal is not only going to campaign for the AAP, he'll campaign for the India Alliance. Third, Hemant Soren is in jail. I mean, can we ignore the fact that two chief ministers have gone into jail in the case in, in the last few weeks? And you have the bank accounts of the Congress party frozen. This is telling you, Navika, a serious message. And I'll tell you why I'm taking a huge reason actually to actually take some positive out of this. Is the BJP in some serious electoral panic? Does Narendra Modi know something that nobody else does? Is the BJP today demonstrating to all of us that if he's got a hat trick, if the BJP is on a roll, no party would do what the BJP is doing today. We all know that the ED is a political instrument in the hands of the BJP. So if they are doing what they're doing, there is something seriously a fault line that nobody is able to predict, but I'm sure Mr. Modi and Mr. Shah know the truth. Oh, there is a ground right. against the BJP across the country. Okay, Mr. Modi, very nervous. Uh, I'm coming to you, Shahzad, because Abhijit Ayer Mitra hasn't spoken. After that, I'll come to you, Shahzad. And you will rebut everybody's charges uh, one by one. If I could just take 20, 30 seconds uh, to rebut uh, it because it's essential. Okay, essential. all right, go ahead. First of all, Mr. Kejriwal's so-called oratory has been around from 2014 where he lost the Lok Sabha elections, got less than nota, got less than nota in 2019. And also, he has one MP, we have 303, but we're scared. He lost 204 seats per deposits in the last round of assembly elections where he was doing star pracharagiri. But having said that, it's not about his oratory or popularity, it's about the legality. And Sanjay Jha, you were celebrating the Supreme Court word on Chandigarh. Today, the courts have denied him any relief. This is the first time I'm hearing that because the court has issued a show cause and has said specifically, we do not stop any agency from any course of action they may or may not want to take. You're saying that the agency is not now duty bound because they've been issued a show cause to not arrest somebody. But has the cause, summons been quashed? As per your logic, you were saying summons were illegal. Why haven't the summons been declared illegal? Why hasn't Sanjay Singh got relief from High Court? Why hasn't the Mani Sisodia got relief from Supreme Court? Why hasn't Vijay Nair got relief? Also, apart from that, Sanjay Jha, I have only one question to ask. You are, whatever you are, your suspended logic and status both, but the official Congress till last week was saying, last month was saying that this case reeks of corruption and that he must be arrested. Now, has the Congress party done a U-turn? And secondly, the same ED, which you are saying is a handmaiden of the government, is the same ED that has uh, been used by the Arvind Kejriwal government in Punjab to arrest Mr. Khera. That basis has been used. So, how is ED good there? The same ED, the Ahmad the party was saying should have arrested absolutely Chattis, valid Mr. questions Bob demolishing Bob Sanjay Jha's argument but I'm going straight outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence because there's movement there uh, the road outside his house is being cleared up uh, Isha my colleague joining me from there and Isha please show us the visuals and uh, uh, is Arvind Kejriwal be brought, uh, being brought out any moment now uh, what uh, can you see uh, and, and tell our viewers Thank you.
Yes, in fact, currently at the moment we uh, we can see that the police is completely clearing out the way. We are expecting that the, uh, that Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out from this gate. In fact, this, this these ropes have also been placed just right now. The police has completely cleared off this road. In a few minutes from now, we are expecting the joint CP of Delhi, Ravinder Yadav. His car was uh, went inside. We are expecting that entire convoy to convoy to come out. It will also consist of Arvind Kejriwal here at the moment. That was the bus that was also being used for detaining uh, uh, protesters and you can see that this road is completely being emptied. All the protesters who did come here, even one even one of them, if they were raising slogans, they have been pushed back into the buses. No, and the police is maintaining that no protester will be there on that road. The media personnel has also been cleared. The rope is being carried. In fact, here also I request my camera person to show you the visual the barricading has gone to this side. We are expecting Arvind Kejriwal to walk out of here any moment from now, from, uh, to, to be taken out of here any moment from now. Preparations fully in place. Just a few seconds in, just a few moments from now, we will see the, the Chief Minister of Delhi, All right. arrest the Chief Minister Isha, of Delhi. You keep, being your, taken to the you keep your cameras trained there. We'll come out. We'll come back to you as soon as we see movement there. There is uh, more information coming in from uh, the Supreme Court. The registrar listing uh, says the vacation registrar who entertains uh, pleas for urgent hearing has not got any request for an immediate hearing from the Ahmadmi Party. Hearing looks highly unlikely tonight. Sources are saying that though Kejival has moved the Supreme Court, crucial additional documents are still to be fined. So we'll press for a hearing tomorrow morning only as of now uh, no uh, hint of any hearing taking place uh, in the Supreme Court tonight meanwhile uh, we're also seeing uh, movement uh, on the gates of Arvind Kejriwal's uh, residence Priyank Tripathi my colleague uh, on another gate two gates uh, one side Isha uh, she's towards the back end side of the Shish Mahal uh, uh, Priyank Tripathi in the uh, front lane of Arvind Kejriwal residents and Priyank what can you see uh, are they keeping reporters guessing the media guessing which gate is Arvind Gejival going to come out from <laughs> Uh, see, in Africa, there are two possibilities uh, because there are only uh, two uh, entry and exit points which can uh, be used by the ED officials. That's why uh, the Delhi police senior officials have come out and uh, Ravinda Yadav was also here. We saw the joint CP of the range who is also here to see the best possible route. Uh, there is only one possibility which is left for the police official is to uh, give a, a best way for the ED officials from here. Uh, the big problem was uh, the large number of supporters who had gathered here, but since the number of supporters have moved towards this other side, where Isha is standing, uh, certainly the Delhi police we could be possibly using uh, this uh, stretch of the road to give a clear passage for Arvind Kejwal to be taken to the enforcement directorate. Let's show you what is there on the main road. Uh, that is the main road where uh, Sachin will be showing you. This is the main road, Navika, which is right opposite uh, to the Delhi Sachivale. Uh, just a few moments back, we saw that uh, this road had very huge traffic jam. Now both the carriageways have been stopped. Uh, the Delhi police has certainly given a clear passage for all those vehicles. So the possibility of uh, Arvind Kejwal being taken away uh, from the gate from where Isha uh, is standing is uh, certainly slowly going down because this is a route which could be taken by the uh, uh, by the ED official knowing the fact that most of the AAP supporter after listening to the breaking information that Arvind Kejwal has been arrested moved to the other side and looking at the less number of supporter this is the only possibility but it's going to be very important that uh, whether uh, the Supreme Court hearing will actually happen or not because what we're getting to know that the Star General does not have information regarding this particular petition uh, which has been moved from the side of Arvind Kejwal because uh, today we saw that High Court has given no uh, relief. Uh, the petition of uh, no coercive action against Arvind Kejwal, which was moved by the councils of Amani Party, uh, was certainly clubbed with the petition. The we'll regular keep petition our cameras and trained and I'll, uh, let me go across. Thanks, uh, Priyank. We'll keep coming back to you and I'm uh, getting across uh, to uh, Abhijit Ayer Mitra. Sorry for making you wait, but Abhijit... Uh, 
fast uh, developments happening right outside there and uh, any time now arvind kejriwal will uh, be brought out uh, vivek silas of the samajwadi party also joining the debate uh, but uh, abhijit uh, once again does the political argument that priyanka gandhi vadra is using the aam aadmi party is using dr sanjay jha is using does it actually stand especially in a matter that is legal a scam swindling of money charge uh, money laundering charge these these are not political allegations these are uh, allegations that will have to be proved in a court of law so i want to ask you is the response becoming more political because there are no legal answers uh, to defend uh, the charges against uh, arvind kejriwal so the uh, you know the answers that are being thrown up aren't political now navika they're farcical they just strike through through dust let me just separate all the strands because i think the way uh, you know sanjay has woven uh, he's managed to confuse enough of our viewers there are three issues here the ed is heavy handedness which should be condemned but the ed has always been heavy handed since uh, you know indira gandhi and co founded it or nehru founded it i don't know who founded it they've always been like this this is not a new modus operandi for them the second is the privilege that arvind kejriwal gets everybody else has to respond within the first three notices or then you get arrested on the fourth he has been given nine separate issue the third which i am going to focus on is corruption now in corruption there are three aspects out here the first is the license aspect the second is the procedural aspect and the third is the profit aspect what was the procedural aspect it was such a badly drafted policy that it went back to indira gandhi's license raj this was not capitalism where anybody who can pay a license fee is given a this thing this was competitive bidding it was artificially divided into 32 zones where there would only be 27 people uh, 27 vendors in each zone and every municipal ward would have two to three uh, vendors this in itself we know from indira gandhi's license raj days was meant to be for corruption this is how everything this is why you were burdened with just one car the ambassador for so long for 30 40 years after your independence right we know for a fact that this is a corrupt uh, issue we know from all the raids that have happened that money has exchanged hands out here in some form or the other because the second part of it is that some of the l1 licensees then started outsourcing their uh, 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 giving credit notes and things like that which was a violation first of all of the l1 award in itself which brings me to the second point which is the process violation not only were those l1s uh, uh, giving all these credit notes to the retail vendors and things which they were not meant to do the government also without consulting the lg then waived the license fee for 144 crores the tendered license fee which they were not allowed to do the third point we come which is the profit aspect of it which the government claims there was a loss and the the uh, aap claims there was an 8000 crore profit that i think is you know these profit and loss calculations are up in the air they don't prove corruption but the first two the procedural violation and the way the wards were divided and the l1 l2 contracts were given and the entire way in which certain things were discounted now you see discounting can totally happen you can uh, reduce the price give uh, discounts and things and your uh, sales will zoom uh, because of quantity that is perfectly fine True. the problem here is you pick specific foreign True. vendors like 50 rupees discount on uh, uh, the uh, 50 rupee import fee on beer and things like that to deliberately very targeted it wasn't a blanket uh, uh, this thing it was for very specific foreign vendors that it was done why so there is so much selectivity out here the corruption is so in your face a 5 year old child can say it's corruption no but this is being called a political vendetta and vivek silas you know the entire political class uh, today uh, is up in arms uh, again calling this murder of democracy uh, constitution being derailed derek o'brien of the trinamool congress priyanka gandhi vadra all of them coming out and we can take all of those tweets on air uh, you know to see the political reaction coming in my question vivek silas is nobody can uh, actually call this uh, illegal because a there is no stay from the courts uh, stopping the ed for the arrest number 1 and number 2 this matter will go to court manish sisodia has gone up to the supreme court but has not got bail for one year in the liquor scam sanjay singh since october till today has gone up to the supreme court and not got bail 
till the till date arvind kejriwal has been given enough and more opportunities nine summons doesn't want to even appear and answer questions and has got no relief from the courts so what are we saying that the constitution has been shredded to pieces this is going by the law and the law as it stands today yes very good evening to you navika ji i think uh, uh if we see the legality of it yes it is very much legal and the finally the court has to decide about it but uh, uh, here mr kejriwal is uh, the chief minister of uh, delhi and if we see there are so many other chief ministers like so he should uh, not Raymond be ar Vasarma, uh, arrested see, uh, he should not be uh, summoned pawar no 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 he, he should be definitely be uh, summoned if we cbi thinks but definitely it, it looks like a political vendetta i'll tell you how, how and uh, why because the, the, the chief minister of uh, assam also has a lot of cases against him but people should know that why the cbi or the edi is ed are not going to his house why that is a question everyone is talking about it it's on, it's on streets the common man is talking about it ki why only mr kejriwal why only mr Mr. Hemant Soren, why only the uh, you know accounts of the Congress Party are being frozen? What Mr. Raj, what about Mr. Rajit Pawar, who, whom uh, the Honorable Prime Minister himself said that he is a model of corruption? Why the, the ED or the CBI is not going to him? There are many other leaders, countless leaders who are in the Bharti in the party who are involved in cases of corruption, and ED is absolutely mum and quiet. ED also says that we have lost the files. can anyone damn believe it no one can believe it navika ji okay. that the ed has lost the files this is no excuse fair ultimately question. it will come out fair the, question let, let me get in anand ranganathan to answer this anand ranganathan okay all right fair point made anand ranganathan is the ed being selective are uh, bjp and other corrupt leaders who join the bjp uh, going through a washing machine while uh, only the ones who don't comply uh, to the pressures of the bjp facing the music it's it's a charge that the opposition has made several times but does that charge stand today when the courts have not given any relief to arvind kejriwal navika three points number one uh, i don't agree that ed is uh, or bjp is a washing machine it is now a dhobi ghat and ed is one of the mechanisms by which washing machine has been turned into a dhobi ghat the fact of the matter is yes ed is selective and there is data to prove it 95% of the op leaders politicians who are being investigated by ed are from the opposition so yes that's a fact but again i ask and i re reiterate here how is that connected to the happenings of today or of a month where kejriwal has been summoned nine times because as i say and i repeat every single foot of the way the court is supervising this so yes while the ed is totally not independent the fact of the matter is when the courts are overseeing it for example let me give an example of cbi now yes cbi also cbi also is biased it is not independent at all and i was the first one to say this that now right now the shoulder that the parrot is sitting on is narendra modi shoulder but is it also not a case that kolkata high court was listening to the whole sandesh khali matter and kolkata high court ordered the police there to shift the perpetrator give him away to the cbi so when matters reach the court you have to end and you have to accept that yes the bias is no longer valid in cases where the court is supervising and today is the exemplar of such case where right from day 1 from the first second kejriwal has been calling on the court not only just the lower courts but the higher court as well and today right now he's gone to the highest court so please tell me yes the ed is biased uh, vivek ji but how is that connected to what the kejriwal government or arvind kejriwal has been subjected to two are different things sir Well uh, I have only 2 minutes uh, uh, sorry uh, 30 seconds on this show so uh, respond to that uh, Said Abbas 
सिंपल आई एम वेरी ग्लैड यू नो दिस इज द रीजन वाई नाविका जी हैव ऑलवेज हेल्ड ग्रेट रिस्पेक्ट फॉर माय फ्रेंड आनंद रंगनाथन ही हैज सेड इट देयर यू नो दिस इज अ न्यूट्रल पॉइंट दैट इंडीड ईडी इज सेलेक्टिव इंडीड ईडी इज बायस एंड दैट इज द फैक्ट नाउ द क्वेश्चन दैट इज रेज्ड व्हाट अबाउट द कोर्ट्स व्हाट अबाउट द जजेस सेम टू माय डियर फ्रेंड आनंद रंगनाथन आई आस्क हिम टुडे सर द कोर्ट्स शैल सर्टेनली डिसाइड बट द वे द बीजेपी इज क्राफ्टिंग दिस इज अरविंद केजरीवाल अ क्रिमिनल is there a conviction order from the high court is there a conviction order from the supreme court absolutely nothing we need to understand today the bharatiya janata party is my, using all its might my because friend, they are he is not even answered he is not the... even answered a single question he has not responded to nine summons that is why that is why he has forced the hand of the enforcement directorate of course the conviction will have to come when the court see that the evidence is stacked up if not arvind kejriwal will be released the question that i am asking tonight ladies and gentlemen is just this much i am asking has arvind kejriwal forced and aggravated his case uh, by making the ed really take uh, this opportunity to arrest him because he's got uh, he's uh, you know completely ignored nine summons and he has got no relief from the states isn't the ed now well within his its rights uh, to go out and arrest him it's a question and political rhetoric aside there is place for whether this should be the timing before the elections is it the timing i completely agree with this arvind kejriwal popularly elected but does that mean that popularly elected politicians have a separate law from the law that is followed by the aam aadmi it's a question the aam aadmi party's uh, chief minister will have to answer his house the shish mahal today has visitors and visitors of security forces ed officials all asking him the questions because has he forced their hand and got no relief from the courts is it illegal or is there only a political argument that is left and that can be repeated ad nauseum because it is election season news hour first we'll be right back after the break when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 Weeknights at nine, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई होटलों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं. देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं. निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में. राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है, खतरे में है. Because she speaks. for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shivam Malhotra, and you're watching the Morning News. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. 
After the spot reporters, we are the first respondents. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Your news, your passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm of me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force. You were watching the news hour first. A newsy day indeed and it's going to be a long night as well outside the residence of Arvind Kejriwal where massive security deployment has been put in place. His supporters being detained from outside his residence as well and any moment now with elaborate security arrangements, ropes that have been put into place and in fact a huge presence of uh, uh, police, of central armed paramilitary forces which are all present at Arvind Kejriwal's residence as well as the Enforcement Directorate headquarters in the heart of New Delhi. That's where all the action is. Two spots where the action is currently being seen. We've also been told that Aam Aadmi Party has approached the Supreme Court. We will bring you updates from all of those areas. Our reporters are tracking every movement, every development. You're going to hear it first here on Times Now. So viewers, let's get you updated with what really has happened. It's the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal has been formally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. The proceedings as far as the arrest are concerned are currently underway and in fact we understand that uh, this is happening after nine summons were skipped by Arvind Kejriwal. They were issued by the probe agency and then he approached the High Court today. Now, we also saw high drama outside the Chief Minister's residence from late evening. A team of ED officials swooped down at Kejriwal's residence. As many as 12 ED officials entered the Chief Minister's residence, including Joint Director and Additional Director, who were leading the team. The questioning of the Chief Minister went on for two hours, during which the Enforcement Directory team also seized Kejriwal's phones. In the meantime, security was enhanced outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence, with multiple vehicles of the CAPF personnel being seen entering Kejriwal's house and some were even stationed outside. Now, senior AAP leaders, including Delhi ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj, rushed to the chief minister's residence. They've slammed the arrest and declared that he will run the government from inside jail. कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी the Aam Aadmi Party has approached the Supreme Court seeking an urgent hearing tonight itself. However, the Supreme Court Registrar says that the vacation registrar who entertains the plea for urgent hearing has not got any request for immediate hearing as such. The hearing looks highly unlikely. And sources say that uh, though Kejriwal has moved the Supreme Court, certain additional documents are to be filed. So most likely the AAP will press for a hearing tomorrow only in this entire case. Remember that they are challenging what happened in the High Court earlier where they did not grant any interim protection from coercive action as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Now, the India bloc has come out in defense of Kejriwal, calling his arrest political vendetta. But the timing is very, very odd. I mean, I've never heard uh, any search agency going to anybody's house late at night. I mean, normally one hears of income tax rates and others that come in the morning because then they have the whole day in front of them. Timing is something that I, I really don't support. And I would say that the ED is acting, uh, I would say in a manner that is not expected of them. If, you know, if you had got an opportunity by the court to question him, you could have gone tomorrow morning or, or maybe a day later, summoned him, asked him to come 
uh, for uh, a, a, you know in, a, for whatever talking to you and in after that he had not cooperated you could have done that but i think this is not not the way you behave with any person leave alone a chief minister why this time why have they chosen just before elections why are they arresting first they arrested soren sahab now they have arrested arvind kejriwal mm. this is being done to destabilize the india alliance mm. they seized our accounts as you know mm. all these steps have been taken by a nervous bjp mm. to ensure that we get a little derailed mm. but believe me we are not getting derailed people are watching what's happening what's being done to us mm. people will come out and support us and reject this authoritarian regime now the bjp has welcomed this arrest saying that after running away from the law for months kejriwal will finally have to face the law agar mujhe ek vakya mein kehna pade arvind kejriwal ke ghar ke bahar kya ho raha hai to main kahunga party ke neta aur aam aadmi party ke kuch mantri kar rahe hain ye koi pehla case nahi hai agar aapki excise policy itni achhi thi jaisa ki aap bata rahe the to aapne excise policy ko kyun रद्द किया क्यों उसे रद्द किया गया इसका जवाब आज तक नहीं मिला कानून अपना काम कर रहा था और कानून के तहत अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है लेकिन जिस प्रकार का माहौल बनाने की कोशिश की गई कि उनके साथ बेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है ये सरासर गलत है नौ संबंध दिए गए अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब को उनके लिए पिपाशना इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए मध्य प्रदेश चुनाव इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए दिवाली इंपॉर्टेंट थी लेकिन ईडी के सवालों के जवाब देना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं था क्या कह रहे हैं आपके लोग जेल से शासन करेंगे ये, ये आपके लोग कह रहे हैं कि आप जेल से शासन चलाएंगे ये है आपका नए तरह की राजनीति जेल से शासन चलाने वालों आप तो कहते थे कि अगर गिरफ्तारी होती है या सबूत तो पहले इस्तीफा होना चाहिए जब आपके ऊपर आरोप लगते थे कहते पहले इस्तीफा उसके बाद भी बात करेंगे आज जब आप गिरफ्तार हो गए हो क्यों नहीं इस्तीफा देते सवाल यह है So, what are the ED's claims as far as K. Jewel's alleged involvement in Likagate is concerned? ED's claim one is that K. Kavita conspired with our netas, including K. Jewel and Sasodia. The second claim is that in exchange of favors, Kavita involved in paying of hundred crore rupees. They've also said that corruption and conspiracy in the making and implementation of the liquor policy. They've also said that there's a stream of illegal funds generated from wholesalers for the Aam Aadmi Party. The fifth claim is that Kavita was to recover proceeds of crime paid in advance to the Aam Aadmi Party. The claim number six is that proceeds of crime were to be recovered through this conspiracy. Now, this is what the ED had said on its press note on the 18th of March, as far as the Delhi liquor scam is concerned. Now, this is, of course, the investigation that the Enforcement Directorate has specifically mentioned. Now, the ED's charge sheet into this entire matter has also mentioned the name of Arjun Kejriwal. They have said in the supplementary charge sheet that Vijay Nair arranged Kejriwal Mahindru's FaceTime call. Now, Kejriwal has told Mahindru that Vijay is my boy and I trust him. ED's remand note has also specifically mentioned Kejriwal's name. Now this is as far as the YSR CP MP son MS Reddy who met Kejriwal to know more about the Delhi excise policy Kejriwal welcomed the member of parliament's entry into the Delhi liquor trade is what has been mentioned by the agencies there are testimonies of Manoj Rai a pernod record employee with that Vijay Rai acted on the behest of Sisodia and Kejriwal The ED note says that Vijay Nair orchestrated the entire scam as well. I don't forget there's also the statement of C Arvind who was the ex secretary of the former deputy chief minister Manish Sisodia. What has he said? He has said that the Sisodia as well as the GOM disregarded recommendations they up profit margin to 12% for a 6% kickback the decision was reportedly taken at Kejriwal's residence that's the allegation that has been made so a series of occasions when arvind kejriwal's name has figured in the latest uh, of course press note of the enforcement directorate they have cited the role and the linkages of arvind kejriwal and sisodia allegedly with k kavita who was also incidentally arrested just 6 days ago let's quickly take this across to our reporters joining us from across the national capital we have with us bhavto singh who is joining us live uh, from the ed headquarters priyank tripathi is live with us from kejriwal's uh, uh, residence 
Office. We also have with us uh, Rame Krishan Rana, who's en route to the ED office. We have with us also uh, from the Supreme Court, uh, uh, Harish Nair, who's going to be joining us in just a minute. Tejshri is joining us live from the ED office. Niamika is also live from the national capital, as is Mohit Bhatt. Let's quickly take this across to Bhavtosh Singh first. Bhavtosh, uh, what really is going on? What is the enforcement directorate telling you? How soon can we expect Kejriwal and that convoy of the security personnel to emerge from his residence? Well, the arrest has happened. The, uh, the exact time of arrest will be only known when the arrest memo is, uh, the copy of arrest memo comes out. But uh, we, what we have come to know is that uh, the real questioning will happen at uh, ED headquarters here in New Delhi, which has been, the gates have been blocked and media personnel are standing outside. Madhav, the probe in this case uh, in right earnest started on 23rd August 2022 when ED registered a case of money laundering. Since then, many developments have taken place. Very high-profile individuals have been arrested, but nothing will become bigger than this uh, with the arrest of Arvind. All right, Bhaktos, uh, just Robert hold on to your thoughts. Uh, I believe Isha has an update over there, some movement scene, Isha. Quickly take us through what's happening around you. Right, yes, this is the gate from where the Chief Minister of Delhi, the first sitting Chief Minister who will be, who has been arrested, will be taken away. Uh, there is a lot of movement here. Protesters have gathered here ahead of the Chief Minister of Delhi being taken away. Several protesters have been brought here. They are speaking, they are stating that this arrest is unconstitutional and Mr. Kejriwal is innocent. But on the other side, showing you around here the visuals, the joint CP of Delhi, his convoy is inside eight to nine cars of the Delhi police are currently inside Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, residence. Currently, the police is also urging the protesters to go back because uh, detentions are taking place. Several buses filled with protesters have been taken away. But on the other side, I'd, I'd like to show you here the visuals. Uh, several barricades have also been placed. And any moment from now, we are expecting uh, the Joint Commissioner of uh, the Joint CP of Delhi, Ravinder Yadav, to further come out uh, of the residence of Mr. Kejriwal. With him, the arrest has taken place. In a few moments from now, this is the gate from where Kejriwal will be taken okay. out. Back to you. All right. Uh, Priyank is also there at the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. Priyank, what are your sources in the Delhi police telling you about what is likely to happen? How soon are they likely to emerge from there? Uh, see, Madhav, uh, they are still not aware because they, they have been standing outside the residence of Jal Delhi Chief Minister and the, what they have done so far is to increase the security outside the residence and multiple detention is also happening. Uh, so this is the gate uh, we are on the other side of the gate where the, from where the Isha was reporting and what it appears that uh, very soon, since it would be uh, 30, half an hour to 35 minutes of process uh, to complete the formality before the accused could be uh, taken away from the residence, this process will be done. But the biggest shock for the Amani Party supporters, by the way, is that the anti-corruption crusader uh, being arrested in the corruption charges is certainly not being digested by the party workers. That's why multiple people have started coming here. Uh, many of them are very much angry that why is it happening and the manner in which the Amani Party had already circulated this short process that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested as a part of political controversy. Uh, the supporters are protesting. Uh, on one side, the Amani Party has also made it clear that they will not be a new chief minister in the state. Uh, this is what Atishi has also been hinting. Uh, because if Arvin Kejriwal has been arrested, the manner in which our viewers have recently seen in the arrest of Heman Surin, who was uh, the chief minister of the state of, uh, you know, uh, of, of Jharkhand, he, after the uh, arrest, he straight up went, and before the arrest, I beg your pardon, he straight, straight up went to uh, the governor's office. Uh, the LG's office is very near to this location. And certainly, Delhi is at a constitutional crisis. Because the chief minister of the state has been arrested, he was a anti-corruption crusader, but the Ahmadi party still maintains that the law certainly permits Arvind Kejriwal to run the government while he is inside the prison. So that is Some the breaking news coming in. In fact, uh, information coming at this point of time that Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers are going to the Supreme Court Registrar's house. Big update coming in at this moment. Kejriwal's lawyers will demand an immediate hearing is what we are told. That's the latest breaking update coming in. The lawyers of Arvind Kejriwal's team are now going to go to the Supreme Court Registrar's house.
House, where they will demand an immediate hearing on this entire matter. That's the latest update coming in. If I can quickly take this across to Rame Krishan Rana, who's also with us on the broadcast. Rame, can you quickly confirm that bit of news for us? We are told now that Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers are going to the Supreme Court Registrar's House and they're going to demand an immediate hearing. What's the likelihood or the possibility that that early hearing could be granted? Rame. Absolutely. So absolutely it is in the discretion of the Chief Justice of India at his administrative side if he allows a midnight hearing. Though it is very unusual, however, it has happened in the past and it can happen today. An urgent email has been sent to the Registrar of the Supreme Court seeking urgent listing of the matter. Arvind Kejriwal had filed a plea before the Supreme Court challenging his uh, custody by the Enforcement Directorate. His lawyers are now moving to the residence of the Registrar of the Supreme Court. The email has been sent. It has been confirmed to us that the email has been sent to them and urgent mentioning has been sought. Let me tell you the procedure. The final procedure is once the registrar sees the files, that the file is in order, the mentioning is complete. He calls up the Chief Justice of India and the Chief Justice of India decides at its, admi at it, at its administrative side that who will hear the matter. Will the matter be heard by the CGI-led bench or will the matter be heard by some other bench who is dealing with the roaster? But as of now, it is confirmed that Arvind Kejriwal's legal team has moved the Supreme Court. Remember, it was today only when senior advocate Abhishek Manu Singh, we had sought urgent hearing before the Delhi High Court and they got it. However, the High Court had refused to protect Arvind K. Jirival. Now, their only way is to the Supreme Court. The appeal from the division bench of the Delhi High Court lies to Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the last hope for Arvind K. Jirival. We hope it does not become very late and the registrar it completely depends upon the discretion that's, of that's, the registrar that's of course the discretion the... of the supreme court the registrar as well as ultimately the chief justice of india will also have to decide on that and there's a latest update coming in in fact saurabh bharadwaj putting out a, a tweet saying that he's got a call from uh, arvinder singh lovely of uh, the congress he heads of course uh, uh, the congress in delhi that uh, a congress delegation including leaders from delhi and aicc is reaching the cm's residence shortly this is uh, quite interesting to see that uh, it is, uh, in fact, now Sharad Pawar also tweeting that strongly condemn the vindictive misuse of central agencies to target the opposition, especially as general elections loom. This arrest showcases the depth to which BJP will stoop for power. India stands united against this unconstitutional action against Arvind Kejriwal. That's the update coming in. Sharad Pawar, of course, a tall leader from Maharashtra and, of course, uh, all right, I believe that uh, now we are seeing the vehicles uh, which have been placed over there. Isha, over to you. What's happening there? Right, yes, in fact, uh, the first vehicle of the Delhi police has come out here. Several more are expected. Uh, the top cops have been present here. Security is further being tightened here at the moment. Uh, we can see here in the visuals the barricade is again being opened. The gate has like, also been opened. In a few moments from now, we will be expecting uh, the car with Delhi chief minister to be coming out of here as well. So the process has begun. In a few moments from now, we will be seeing Arvind Kejriwal also also being taken out of this gate. All right, and uh, let me quickly take this across to Teshri and Niyamika also joining us. Uh, very interesting to see, Niyamika, that the Congress is coming out in full support of Arvind Kejriwal. The DPCC chief himself is going to be at Kejriwal's residence. We understand some AICC leaders are also present, but what is most interesting is that it was the AICC leader, uh, one of the AICC leaders who was the first original complainant in this entire case. Well, absolutely, as that is the most interesting part in this entire case, as the Congress party has come out in support of the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Not just uh, the AICC leaders, but also the Delhi Congress leaders have come out in open, and they are also saying that the timing of this action of Enforcement Directorate is quite suspicious because, uh, it, in fact, it is also being alleged on the part of the Congress leaders that uh, this has been done by the ruling BJP in view of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections because they want to destabilize the India Alliance. That is the 
big allegation which is being made by the Congress party. They are saying that earlier Hemant Surin, who was the sitting chief minister of Jharkhand, all right, big breaking news coming in. Rahul Gandhi also tweeting. I'm going to ask for that tweet to be pulled up onto the screen. In fact, Rahul Gandhi saying, "Dara hua tana sha ek mara hua lok tantra banana chata hai." Media samet sabhi sansthaon par kabza partiyon ko todna companyon se hafta vasuli. Mukhya vipakshi dal ka account freeze karna bhi asuri shakti ke liye kam tha. तो अब चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों की गिरफ्तारी भी आम बात हो गई है इंडिया इसका मुंह तोड़ जवाब देगा दैट्स द ट्वीट ऑफ राहुल गांधी दैट यू सी ओवर देयर इन फैक्ट द ट्रांसलेशन बिलो शोइंग दैट अ स्केट डिक्टेटर वांट्स टू क्रिएट अ डेड डेमोक्रेसी वाइल कैप्चरिंग ऑल इंस्टीट्यूशंस इंक्लूडिंग मीडिया ब्रेकिंग अप पार्टीज एक्सटॉर्टिंग मनी फ्रॉम कंपनीज फ्रीजिंग अकाउंट्स ऑफ ऑपोजिशन पार्टी वॉज नॉट इनफ फॉर द असुरी शक्ति नाउ द अरेस्ट ऑफ द इलेक्टेड चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज बिकम अ कॉमन थिंग इंडिया विल गिव अ बिफिटिंग रिप्लाई टू दैट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू सी दैट द रिप्लाई एंड द सपोर्ट दैट्स कमिंग इन इन फैक्ट all right those are the live frames while keeping that live frame on air i'm going to quickly get in a response from one of our other reporters tejshree has been reporting on the story as well tejshree very interesting to see the congress has come out in full force in support of arvind kejriwal well congress has also come out in support and we see the tweet of saurabh bharadwaj also saying that arvind singh lovely is also reaching along with all the acc workers to the residence of mr arvind kejriwal and here we are reporting just outside one of the gate of the enforcement directorate where yes yes security has been beefed up barricades have been put at place because remember that protests will be taking in a short while from now probably outside edi office outside kejriwal residence outside aam aadmi party office and in fact at mumbai outside enforcement directorate a protest is lined up at 11 pm where all of the aam aadmi party workers will be protesting against the arrest of arvind kejriwal tomorrow also what our sources are telling up uh, telling us is that a big protest is lined up by aam aadmi party most likely at the headquarters of aam aadmi party against the arrest of arvind kejriwal where uh, where where certainly all the leaders of aam aadmi party said be atishi saurabh bharadwaj kailash galot will be participating in in that particular protest and we saw the kind of massive uproar from the amadmi party when manish sisodia when uh, sanjay singh were, were arrested in this alleged delhi liquor policy case also remember that this will be the first, this is the first time when a sitting chief minister has been arrested by the enforcement directorate uh, so here are the visuals that we will be again giving you and what we are being told is that the roads are being cleared uh, here is the police deployment and we'll also show you at the other side you can see rope put up outside the chief minister's residence as well isha has been reporting from that particular location Isha, quick update. What's happening? Have uh, now more uh, policemen been sent to that particular area? Have barricades uh, been increased over there? What's happening at the moment, Isha? We can see a drone also in the frame, incidentally. Right. Right. Yes, there is also a drone. In fact, Saurabh Bhardwaj had also stated that he he had asked, "What is the drone?" At the moment, the police has cleared out this area completely. Uh, in fact, all media personnel were also sent back. Uh, there were all uh, the protesters who were also here have been detained and been preventive detention has taken place. The gate is shut, but in some time from now, we saw a couple of cars that did exit from this gate. But uh, the police is on high alert. On in the frame, you can also see the drone. And also, I request my camera person to show you. This is the area from where the cars will be coming out. The Joint CP of Delhi, Ravinder Yadav, is inside his convoy, which does consist of eight to nine cars. Is currently inside the way, has been cleared, and in fact, this rope, by which I'd also request my camera person to pan in and show you, this has also been uh, tightened here. This is what the police is tightening okay, for a while now. Okay, stay with us, Ishaan. Let me quickly get an expect- update from Priyank. Priyank. Uh- very very unusual scene seen over there for aam aadmi party perhaps not unusual that we see large number of the protesters appear but perhaps for the first time uh, an arrest taking place under such dramatic circumstances at any chief minister's residence uh, and even a drone camera that is there to capture every moment Uh, see, by the way, the, uh, the Delhi police uh, must be capturing the those protesters who have come here because it's going to be a very uh, tough law and order situation for the Delhi police, knowing the fact that Amani uh, protesters are coming up in large number. Uh, certainly, there will be restrictions uh, at the metro station very time uh, in time soon. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that uh, this particular stretch of the road, uh, on one end, Isha is standing, on the other end, uh, we are standing and we are reporting from. Uh, in a short while from now, we are expecting that Arvind Kejriwal will be taken to the enforcement directorate office. 
uh, he will be kept there over the night. Uh, the medical test will be conducted there. Then uh, by 2 p.m., by 2 to 2 30 tomorrow, he is expected to be taken to uh, the Rouse of Incourt where the enforcement directorate will be trying to seek his uh, police. Okay, man. quick update coming in from Harish. Uh, Harish is uh, telling us that the legal team of Aam Aadmi Party has actually reached the residence of the registrar. Harish, that's a massive update coming in. Uh, what are we expecting? How long will these proceedings take? And what really is the possibility as per procedure that such an early hearing might be granted? Yes, that's right, Madhav. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, as per the uh, Supreme Court website, Arvind Kejriwal had moved uh, Supreme Court uh, seeking protection at, at around 8.57 p.m., but it was around 9.04 that he was arrested. So now that petition has become infructuous. So now there the uh, legal team has made some amendments. Now they are challenging the protest, and with that petition, uh, apparently uh, the legal team of Kejriwal, led by Abhishek Mani Singhvi, is uh, approaching the uh, registrar, uh, uh, listing. Apparently his residence is in West Patel Nagar. Most of these uh, uh, legal team members have gone there. They are trying to get an uh, urgent hearing tonight itself. That's what my sources are saying. But uh, the, as per the procedure, uh, Madhav, uh, first the registrar has to satisfy himself that all the papers are in order. After that he will communicate it to the Chief Justice and it is the Chief Justice who takes a call whether this particular matter uh, requires an urgent hearing or not. Five pictures he, coming in there, there's a live pictures of a vehicle that is up coming out of the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. Let's cut across to that. Uh, that is a Tata Safari vehicle. Isha is with us. Isha, I believe that is a police vehicle. Who are the officers present over there uh, from the Delhi police? Uh, uh, can you take us through what's happening at the moment? Uh, yes, in fact, again, another vehicle has come out. In fact, this is the second vehicle that has come out. The DCP here is currently, in fact, the, the, the visuals are also on screen. This is the DCP of police who is currently, who has currently come out. This is the Tata Safari vehicle which has come out. In fact, uh, several other vehicles we are, are currently inside and movement is being seen from this gate. This is the gate from where Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out. He is the first sitting chief minister who has been arrested while he has okay, been still stay in with us. Uh, Priyank, right. quickly take us through who are the top officials. We understand that apart from the ED officials, there are also several top of the Delhi police brass who have been deputed to ensure that everything remains smooth from a law and order perspective. Who are the top officials that we're seeing on the screen? Uh, see, Madhav, the person who came out from this Tata Safari is the DCP of this area, Manoj Kumar Meena. And uh, he is uh, there too uh, on the spot since the time he... The raids have already been started and Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Uh, following to uh, the development, we saw a uh, joint CP of this range, Padmaditya, was also present here along with the uh, uh, special CP of uh, the range, uh, Mr. Ravinda Yadav. So all the three top officials who, are, um, uh, who have the responsibility of having a very smooth law and order situation here in this part of the national capital have been here since the time this uh, information about Arvind Kejriwal's house being raided by the enforcement directorate has happened. But uh, it is going to be very tough for the De uh, Delhi police also to remove these protesters while the ED vehicle will be squatted from here. But unlike what we saw in uh, uh, Telangana when K. Kavita was being taken away by uh, the ED official, there was a massive protest. Uh, they are the handful of protesters who have remained here, although we are expecting that more and more Amani party workers will be coming here. But many of them have already been detained and a few of them have moved to uh, the other side of the gate. Uh, so that it would be, uh, you know, a smooth process, I would expect, for the Delhi police to take uh, and allow Adin Kejwal vehicle to be taken from here till the ED's office. All right, so those are our reporters who have been uh, covering the every aspect of this from all the top political party reactions as well as Arvind Kejriwal's residence from the ED office, the ED headquarters in the national capital. All of those aspects that are being covered and every moment of this is going to be reported live right here on Times Now. Uh, let's also quickly, in fact, uh, take this across uh, uh, to the tweet of Akhilesh Yadav. We can just cut across live to that. Akhilesh Yadav, the latest uh, amongst opposition leaders who have in fact tweeted saying, Jo khud hai shikast ke khauf mein kaid, wo kya karenge kisi aur ko kaid. Bhajpa janti hai ki wo fir dobara satta mein nahi aane wali, 
इसी डर से वो चुनाव के समय विपक्ष के नेताओं को किसी भी तरह से जनता से दूर करना चाहती है गिरफ्तारी तो बस बहाना है यह गिरफ्तारी एक नई जन क्रांति को जन्म देगी लेट टेक दिस अक्रॉस टू मोहित बट हु ज्वाइनिंग आर स्टॉप ऑपोजिशन वॉइसिस कमिंग इन मोहित अखिलेश यादव शरद पवार अमंग बेबी ऑफ नेशनल लीडर्स हु आर कमिंग आउट एंड प्रोटेस्टिंग अगेंस्ट दिस अरेस्ट ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल दे आर सेइंग दैट दिस इज बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट इज केयर दैट नाउ ऑपोजिशन लीडर्स आर बींग टारगेटेड मोहित Well, yes, in fact, and it seems that the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal has galvanized the whole India block, and we have seen leaders from Sita Ram Yechuri, Akhilesh Yadav, Rahul Gandhi, Malika Arjun Kharge, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, Bhupesh Bakhel, Sharad Pawar, and all of the India block coming out in support of Arvind Kejriwal, and they are basically saying that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is using the agencies against the political opponents, and that is why all the leaders are being arrested. But Madhav, what the BJP has been saying this that from the day one, BJP has been saying that Arvind Kejriwal. is king pain of the alleged excise scam and hence one day uh, the investigation will knock at his door and the bjp as of now says that this had to happen arvind ketriwal was trying to divert the topic he was trying to wait the agencies he did not get any relief from the court and now he has an option to go to the supreme court but as of now ed has taken the he taken him into custody and further investigation will follow and the bjp says that the investigation will not stop at this matter they say that it will go on for the delhi jal board scam classroom scams and other scams so clearly it seems that the trouble seems to be mounting for arvind kejriwal but as of now what we have seen that the arrest of arvind kejriwal seems that has galvanized the whole opposition leaders they are coming out and they are attacking prime minister narendra modi and the bjp and this has been their uh, this has been their line uh, from past many months that the agencies like cbi ed income tax they are being uh, misused against the political opponents while the bjp says that agencies are doing their job and that is why arvind kejriwal is being arrested after 97 arvind kejriwal did not go to enforcement directorate why exactly that was happening why he was diverting from the uh, from the topic and the bjp today also is saying madhav that uh, that arvind kejriwal was the one who came out of a jan anandan he used to say that if uh there is uh, any allegation against any political leader he should resign from the post and join the investigation what has happened to that now our aam aadmi party also says that arvind kejriwal will run the government from the from the jail arvind kejriwal will not resign and for that they had a huge campaign in delhi few days ago where they sought suggestion from the people of delhi saying that should arvind kejriwal run the government from the jail and that is why we see that how every single Aam Aadmi Party leader minister uh, is coming out and they are saying Arvind Kejriwal will not resign, which is again being countered by the BJP saying that uh, is there a legal provision for it and why exactly Arvind Kejriwal will not resign. So this will not end. All right, that's the first picture coming the in from inside the Chief Minister's residence. Uh, in fact, Saurabh Bharadwaj also tweeting saying that ED ki aur do gadiya CM Awas mein andar aagi hai. Uh, Priyank, inside pictures now from the Chief Minister's residence that show the large number of official cars that are there. In fact, outside. All right. There's Arvinder Singh. Lovely has now reached the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. I understand. Let's cut across live to that. This timing के ऊपर जो है वो action लिया जा रहा है जब चुनाव शुरू हो गए हैं. तो निश्चित रूप से लोकतंत्र के लिए agencies का misuse जो है वो शर्मनाक है. और हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कि इस तरीके की हरकतों से चाहे वो कांग्रेस के अकाउंट सीज करने की बात रही हो या जो है इस तरीके से एक चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को चुनाव से पहले गिरफ्तार करने की बात रही हो कांग्रेस पार्टी इन सब बातों से घबराती नहीं है और इन बातों की वजह से हम और मजबूती के साथ चुनाव लड़ेंगे और आप पार्टी हमारी गठबंधन की पार्टनर है हम मजबूती के साथ उनके साथ खड़े हैं और उनके साथ मिलकर चुनाव लड़ेंगे ये जताने के लिए आज सुभाष चोपड़ा जी संदीप दीक्षित जी हम तीनों कांग्रेस की तरफ से आए हैं और निश्चित रूप से हम मजबूती के साथ अपने गठबंधन के साथी के साथ खड़े हैं द न्यूज आवर फर्स्ट विल बी राइट बैक आफ्टर द ब्रेक When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question 
and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Rahul Gandhi speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favoured company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Is the start of the day? I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi, asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I am Amita Vadwa. I am Pratibha. I am Shidra Malhotra and we are watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first respondents. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. watching the news hour first going back to our reporters in fact uh, through the course of the evening whenever there are developments that take place at Arvind Kejriwal's residence but let me take this across to in fact uh, our guest joining us at the moment I believe we have Dr. Anand Ragnathan Deshwathan Nigam joining us on the broadcast Sanju Verma also with us and in fact uh, uh, I want to go across uh, first and foremost uh, Parvinder Singh Sethi of course also joining us here in our studio Desi and Punawala a rather unusual situation where you have the Congress party at Kejriwal's residence of course they're all claiming that this is misuse of agencies but interestingly it was Congress that first brought this liquor gate scam to light. Yes, they did. And there's a lot to be answered in the liquor gate. This was about a year, year and a half ago. Since then, not an iota of evidence has come in. Yes, I understand the defense will be high courts and Supreme Courts have been given relief and given not given bail because they can't in an ED case because you'll come up with some arbitrary number on a piece of paper saying 300 crores money trail found, 400 crores found, 100 crores found. And the presumption is you're guilty until proven innocent. So the entire uh, trial continues. However, the bail does not include facts of the case. So it's very, it's, it's, almost impossible to get bail. Of course, one or two cases, there have been uh, exceptions to that. But even in those one or two exception cases, I can tell you personally, somebody's been given anticipatory bail in one case by the ED, they've been arrested in another case after being summoned. So it's terrible what the agency is doing. I just want to make two very important points. We are today on the eve of elections. One chief minister is in jail, another chief minister has been arrested right now. This is not a level playing field. The principal opposition party has got income tax notices from the 90s. There's a claim of 200 crores when income tax is uh, exempt for political parties. It's not a level playing field. Mm. It's not correct. Okay. And all of these agencies okay. should think what they're doing. Is there loyalty to the constitution okay. or is it to the political parties? One thing, okay. one thing, just one last point. I really hope tonight for the sake of this great country, the chief justice and the Supreme Court stand up mm. and stop what's going on. We need a level playing field elections. Of, of course, BJP could win if it wins. There's no harm in winning. But win free and fair. Don't do this. Don't throw people in jail. Okay. Are we heading to a one-party rule? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Are we heading to a one-party rule? This is misuse of agency. Sanju Verma, please respond to those concerns of Tehseen Punawala. Okay. You know, uh, Madhav, uh, I just have this to say. First and foremost, the Enforcement Directorate, and I'm sure Tehseen is aware of this, is a statutory body. Point number two, the enforcement directorate is not the handmaiden of the Modi government. Point number three, uh, let's go back to the October 2023 judgment of uh, the Supreme Court 
you know, given by Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice SVN Bhatti, where the Supreme Court has said, the Apex Court of India has said that tentatively a money trail of rupees 338 crore has been established in the liquor scam. Point number four, if the Supreme Court were convinced that there was no liquor scam to start with, my simple layman's logic, and you don't need to be a rocket scientist to know this or ask this, why is Manish Sisodia still in lockup? Why is Sanjay Singh still in lockup? Yadi liquor scam hua hi nahi. Why was Satinder Jain, who was out on bail because he was unwell, was asked to surrender and go back to Tihar? Yadi liquor scam hua hi nahi. My point number five, as per section 21, 23, 45, 49 and section 50, subsection 2 of the PMLA, it says that the enforcement directorate has sweeping suo moto rights to arrest a person if it deems fit after the first three summons are not complied with. Look at the long rope given by the ED to Arvind Kejriwal. Yaha par teen saman nahi, no saman diye gaye. And all the nine summons, Arvind Kejriwal with rabid and brazen impunity decided to show the big finger. I'm sorry for the pejorative to the enforcement directorate. Yeah. And last but not the least, Madhav, my simple question is this. How is it that if there is no liquor scam, I have never seen any of the Amadi party people coming and saying that liquor scam one. All that they keep saying is that vendetta hai. I am telling you that the 17th March 2024, last Sunday ki press release by the enforcement director, very quickly says three things. It says there was a hundred crore quid pro quo between yes. K. Kavita, Arvind Kejriwal and the Amadi party. Hmm. It says that there have been five uh, supplementary uh, uh, you know, uh, yes, I actually five, referred to that in great detail when we opened this bulletin, Sanju Verma, so please bear with me. But uh, there is some breaking news coming in as well. In fact, the lawyers of Amadi Party say that they've approached the Supreme Court registry. They've been asked to wait. Let me take this question across to Piyush Joshi. Though Piyush Joshi, the ED press note is very specific and it mentions that Kavita and others conspired with Arvind Kejriwal and Sisodia for getting favours in the Delhi excise formulation and implementation and in response to that, 100 crore amount was uh, uh, to be given. This was the deal that was uh, struck between AAP leaders, including Mr. Kejriwal in Sisodia and K. Kavita. K. Kavita arrested six days ago and now Mr. Kejriwal has been arrested. How do you respond to that very specific charge? Piyush Joshi. You know, to all these specific charges, the legal team is going to respond in, uh, respond in the court of law. Uh, as far as the ED is concerned, ED is acting as an executive as well as an extortion arm of the Bharati Janta Party, and it is it is very clear after the electoral bond debacle. What I'm here to say, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm uh, uh, remembering uh, an important statement made by the ex Prime Minister Manmohan Singh ji about demonetization that it was a legalized plunder. Hmm. Was it legal? Maybe. Was it a plunder? Certainly. So today's arrest, you know, ED, uh, it, I, I call it legalized atrocity. Hmm. Is it legal? Maybe. Is it atrocity? Certainly. You know, because today we we have seen the top brass of the Congress party coming out and saying that their accounts have been frozen. And uh, now you arrest, the, you, you, you freeze the accounts of the largest opposition political party and you arrest the convener of the fastest growing opposition political party. Hmm. What do you want? Why? What are you so afraid of if you are winning 300 plus seats? Okay, many hands going seats. up. I'm going to let There's Dr. No Anand Ragnathan to respond to that. The, the Congress's accounts are frozen. The Chief Minister of Delhi is being arrested. Uh, this is happening after the elections have been announced. It's a clear attempt at targeting the opposition. It's not just these two parties, but several opposition party leaders, including Mr. Stalin, Akhilesh Yadav, Sharad Pawar, to name a few, who are also echoing that sentiment. Dr. Ragnathan. Uh, good evening, Mara. Please give me a couple of minutes. I've been listening very patiently to all the my other fellow panelists. Number one, let me just give plain facts. For all those who say that the ED is using draconian provisions, let me inform them that each and every provision has been vetted by the Supreme Court three-judge bench and not only ratified, but also underlined and stamped. For example, reverse burden of proof is there to stay. It is not mandatory to give ECIR. Bail to be made extremely stringent. Money laundering is now to be considered as heinous as terrorism. Attachment of property is to be allowed. Statements made to ED are to be made admissible. This is by the Supreme Court. So where is the ED? Number two, it is also a fact that three summons of ED can be ignored after that by law. 
you have to have a non bailable warrant by the ed to arrest the person here nine summons have been ignored for those who are saying ed is acting in a draconian measure please tell me is it the law of india or not are you a common citizen are laws equal for every citizen or not number 3 the supreme court said that bail is a rule arrest is an exception why then i ask has the supreme court denied bail to sisodia to other persons who are of the aam aadmi party is it not a fact that there has to be a prima facie account that the supreme court admitted that yes there was corruption in this case and finally and this is very important the fact of the matter is that when the aap and the congress cry vendetta do they also not say that the law of the land has to be followed tehsin was murdering the water talking about freezing of the accounts and he is talking about some other case there are other case 2021 the tax was not paid the filings were not done by law 14th march high court had said that yes congress has a case to answer it dismissed all its appeal including in itat as well as the high court only then after prolonged legal battle has the accounts been frozen now i ask you if a common citizen does not pay income tax does not do filings if a common citizen ignores an ed summons what happens hmm the person would be arrested locked and thrown in solitary with the keys thrown away I'll answer that. but apparently for congress for aap aam aadmi party the rules are different our rules different for that. different political parties let me bring it in fact uh, uh, dr akashdeep muni on that dr akashdeep muni if it was a common sir no, yeah tesin please tesin i'm going to come back to you i'm going to come back to other panelists as well let others at least get in a round of opening comments dr akashdeep muni respond to that why should the law of the land which applies to all citizens of india not apply to somebody because they hold a high political office is that what we are to no. expect now is a question that dr ragnathan and even the bjp have been asking please respond to that See, I respect Dr. Ranganathan and you as well so much. But uh, today, I think Dr. Ranganathan has totally come unprepared without going through the proceedings of the court proceedings. Now, today, I no, no, please don't heckle, sir. Please, please. No, I am saying sir. I respect you also. Sir, sir, please, I respect sir. Please, you, doctor, sir. sir. You know it. Sir, please, please. You know it. Don't I respect now, you? Now, today, please answer me. I just want to quote. Sir, sir, wait, wait, wait. Sir, today, court has in the court. A ASG, Mr. Raju, of uh, Enforcement Directorate, lawyer, said that neither Aam Aadmi Party or Arvind Kejriwal is an accused in excise scam. Court and yes. court. An interesting. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now apart from giving the fact, still he is arrested. It clearly suffices. what satyapal malik the bjp governor said that arvin kejriwal ko election se pehle giraftar kiya jayega aur jo unhone kaha tha wo aaj ho raha hai now second my my second point that remember up police ka caught sanjay saroj a terrorist linked with lashkar e toiba in 2018 do you know where he is today Sanjay Saroj is welcomed in Bharati Janata Party in open arms a terrorist support Let's 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 stick to let's stick to the subject at hand please I'm requesting you I'm requesting you you know if we start doing this then every party and every politician will everyone every panelist will start doing in different examples let's let's stick to the issue at hand you've raised a pertinent point about what the uh, ASG said in the court and I want to bring in Deshrath Nigam though I believe the bench also asked that until and unless you attend the summons how will you know what document is required etc were comments I believe that came in from the bench as well but let me bring in Dr Desh uh, Mr Deshrath Nigam to respond to you on that point if the ED in the morning said in the court that kejriwal is not an accused how has he suddenly been arrested is the question coming in from akash deep muni please respond mr nigam uh, madhav let me make it very clear he was being called for interrogation and during interrogation it is the discretion of the ed to arrest him or not to arrest this was also the statement made to the delhi high court and the what uh, mr raju had said was that he is not been called as a chief minister nor as the convener of the aam aadmi party because they had uh, it was a issue of maintainability of the petition where they had challenged section 2s where they presume that the aam aadmi party will be made an accused it was it was a presumption on the basis of which 
the courts uh, said the maintainability of the petition will also be discussed on the 22nd of April. So let's not confuse the issue. Uh, and uh, the ED and the Aam Aadmi Party took the risk of applying for interim relief, which was rejected. Once you reject it, the uh, arms and the uh, powers of the ED come into the picture and their hands get strengthened. This, this is the ordinary course. And secondly, let me also tell you, the early hearing which they are trying to go for in Supreme Court is a preventive measure, not a curative measure. Please remember okay. that. Uh, once you once they have to release him on bail, they have to hear it, the entire matter, and all merits and prima uh, facie. All know, right, that's as far as the legal strategy is concerned. But I want to ask Parvinder Singh Sethi. Parvinder Singh Sethi, ये पहली बार नहीं है. ED ने पहले भी कहा है कि Vijay Nair को पूरी access मिली थी Chief Minister office में. Prosecution complaint में कहा गया है कि कई meetings arranged किए गए थे Samir Mahindra के साथ भी. तो Arvind Kejriwal का जहाँ तक role है. ये एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टेड कहेगी कि कई बार हमने ऐसी चीजें अपने इन्वेस्टिगेशंस के दौरान पाया है लेकर गेट में जो अरविंद केजरीवाल को इस पूरे स्कैम से लेकर जोड़ती है और अभी रिसेंटली भी कविता का नाम आया है और उस संदर्भ में भी अरविंद केजरीवाल का नाम लिया गया है सो ईडी विल से और एटलीस्ट सो फार हैज मेंटेन पब्लिकली मेनी टाइम्स दैट केजरीवाल वॉज इन द नो ऑफ वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग इफ नॉट एक्टिवली कंस्पायर नहीं देखिए जो ये सारा कुछ हो रहा है इसके अंदर ये सारा स्क्रिप्टेड है आप समझिए ना जिस प्रकार से मनीष सिसोदिया को सतेंद्र जैन को और संजय सिंह को अरेस्ट कर लिया गया और इसके बाद इन्होंने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने जो नहीं गए उन्होंने एक विरोध दर्ज करा कि भी मैं जो आपका अन्याय है जो आप डेमोक्रेसी की हत्या कर रहे हो डिक्टेटरशिप कर रहे हो उसके उसके सामने अपना विरोध दर्ज करता हूं और आप अगर मुझे अरेस्ट करना अगर उनके अरेस्ट पर कोई हैरानी नहीं है ये तो बड़े समय से था कि किसी भी समय अरविंद केजरीवाल को अरेस्ट किया जा सकता है देखिए पूरे देश के अंदर एक आंदोलन जिस प्रकार से किसानों का आंदोलन हो खिलाड़ियों का हो मजदूरों का हो और उन उन सब के साथ साथ पूरी राजनीतिक पार्टियों को जो okay. सब एक हो गई हैं वो वो इसलिए एक हुई हैं क्योंकि एक पार्टी जो सत्ता पक्ष के अंदर है hmm. वो अपनी डिक्टेटरशिप की राजनीति करती है और वो सारे विपक्ष को खत्म करने के लिए सी बी और इनकम टैक्स का दुरुपयोग करती है और यही लड़ाई है Well, सबसे सबसे बड़ा सवाल लेकिन परविंदर सिंह सेठी जी ये है कि इंडिया पार्टीज की जो एक जुड़ता है ये कब तक बनी रहेगी कई बार जुड़ के ये टूट भी चुकी है कई तरह के क्रैक्स भी दिख चुके हैं ये बहुत बड़ा सवाल है और क्या चुनाव के सीजन में वाकई में एकजुट होकर ये चुनाव लड़ेंगे ये भी बहुत बड़ा सवाल है वी लव टू लीव इट एट द मोमेंट आई लाइक टू थैंक ऑल अपैनल संजू वर्मा डॉक्टर रंगनाथन देश निगम पीयूष जोशी डॉक्टर आकाशदीप पुनी तहसीन पुरावाला एंड परविंदर सिंह सेठी फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आस When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist aapke upar to kai hotalon ke bhi aajkal aarop lag rahe hain desh mein sirf ek baat ki charcha hai ki kya bjp rahul gandhi se dar gayi she takes on the masters of indian politics like no one else can vipaksh kam se kam uttar pradesh mein ye keh raha hai ki aap hawa bana rahe hain nivesh koi aaya hi nahi is rajya mein rahul gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. 
आई एम ममिता वाधवा आई एम प्रतिभा मैं हूँ शिवदा मल्होत्रा एंड यूर वॉचिंग द मॉर्निंग न्यूज आर Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here, and three days later, she was murdered. When news is for common man, we are asking you for the arm, Azmi, that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation, right now I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force, which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive, we are reporting from few miles away from the line of factual control. We report. From Ground Zero. Times now. Action begins here. Explosive, exclusive, and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive into stories that matter. Raising questions you won't ask. Your voice is now our voice. Watch Blueprint with me, Meghna and Pranesh. And Series of tickets discussed and announced as well today. The BJP released its first list for Tamil Nadu, a state where none less than the Prime Minister has said that a surprise would be in store in terms of the seats that would be declared in the results. Meanwhile, in the Congress camp, their CEC met to discuss Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, and Jammu and Kashmir. The big scoop, though, is that while seven to eight seats have been finalised by the Congress in Uttar Pradesh, remember they have a quota of 17 in the state, but so far none of the seats have been. Announced. Now we are told at least eight seats have been finalised, but even now the seats of Amethi and Raibareli have been kept in abeyance. Also in Madhya Pradesh and UP, the Congress is now ready to field its big names this Lok Sabha election. Who are they? Will this gamble work? We will take you through all of that. We will also constantly keep getting you updates with what is happening in Delhi as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. But first, let's start with the big Tamil Nadu announcement that happened today. The first list. has Dr Tamil Sai Sundar Rajan fielded from Chennai South Vinod P Selvam from Chennai Central AC Shanmugam has been fielded from Vellore he is from the New Justice Party but is being fielded on a BJP symbol Sinar Simhan has been made the BJP candidate from Krishnagiri he was formerly with the Congress from the Nilgiris Dr L Murugan has been given a ticket and the name that's getting maximum eyeballs in this first list of Tamil Nadu of the BJP of course is that of K Annamalai the state president of the BJP uh, in addition to K Annamalai who's been fielded from Coimbatore there is TR Parivender who has been fielded from Perambalur the founder of SRM group and currently the vice chancellor or the chancellor rather of SRM university from Tirunal Valley Nayanar Nagendran has been fielded and finally in that list is Pon Radhakrishnan who has been given a chance yet again from Kanyakumari which he has won earlier in 2014 let me introduce you to the guest joining us now this of course is part 1 which is Tamil Nadu we'll be talking about Uttar Pradesh and the congress names from there next and Madhya Pradesh as well but Let me introduce you the guests Pratyush Kant spokesperson of the BJP JVC Shriram political strategist and commentator joining us along with senior journalist Samir Chogankar here with me in the studio senior journalist Neeja Chaudhary is also here with us but let's listen in to how the prime minister had said as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned his predictions for 2024 Kanya Kumari se देश के इस दक्षिणी छोर से जो लहर उठी है ये लहर बहुत दूर तक जाने वाली है यू हैव टू मेजर अलायंसेस वन लेड बाय द बीजेपी अदर बाय द एडीएमके एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम so i would very confidently say the performance of bjp in tamil nadu would be historic which means it might not have happened before this at any point of time so if you ask me to define what will be that history 
there's a completely pretty dynamics here and tamil nadu generally you can always expect a sweep here there there's nothing called the middle i would say it was historic the vote share we will comfortably cross 25% comfortably 25 yes five times yes madam 500% growth yes madam okay so is this going to work what do you make of this very first list that has come out for tamil nadu let's take this across to our guests and discuss this one by one what is the battle at hand we are going to start with chennai south chennai south where tamil sai is on the rajan who in fact was the president of the bjp in tamil nadu earlier was the governor until 3 days ago and has just resigned she has now been fielded from chennai south she is going to go up against tamizachi and please pardon me my pronunciation is not up to the mark tanga pandian from dmk and dr j j vardhan from aia dmk let's get started with jvc shriram and then i'll go to the dmk and the bjp jvc shriram what do you make of the contest here so it's going to be a contest between the mp who won on 2014 and the mp who won on 2019 and the governor who is a very familiar and a face and a star candidate and what bjp is sending a message to the people of tamil nadu is dr tamilisai saundarrajan is a pan tamil nadu leader she is not confined to any region or she is not confined to any social group or community and that is a strong message going in because it's a prestigious seat which is won by dr vijayanti mala bali in the past and we expect it to be a tough contest but tamilisai saundarrajan should prevail upon as far as this contest is concerned what do you have to say selam dharni daran for very long dmk had been saying can the bjp feel their big names if they dare they should contest from chennai now they have got a governor a former governor no less see i do not uh, think bjp has any chance in tamil nadu tamil nadu saundarrajan has contested elections before and she has lost and chennai south is one of her strongest constituencies out of the last seven times they won the constituency five times even last time uh, the margin was more than 3 lakh votes and and the member of parliament has a very good name as well as uh, the dravidian model of governance which the leader has provided hmm. as the confidence of the people of tamil nadu so there will be a thumping win for the dmk candidate Okay uh, so in, you know uh, she's been Chennai she's she's fought in the past she's fought in the past JVC hasn't met with success what makes you think that things will change this time Yeah she has got she has contested with assembly elections in 2016 in the, one of the assembly segment of the uh, South Chennai constituency she contested against uh, Kanimodi in Thoothukudi constituency the ground reality which was prevailing in 2019 to 2024 is completely different and Mr Dharni Dharan can keep dreaming he can keep dreaming till June 4 but when the ballot boxes are open tarani dharan will be hit by what the tsunami that the bjp is going to have in tamil nadu and more importantly there is a tremendous amount of anti incumbency against sitting mp there are posted pastures all over south chennai saying that missing mp if you find somebody if somebody can find her please tell her where is she and she is somebody when the floods were happening happily she was partying in her home that is the reality as far as uh, tamil uh, uh, tamil chief tanga pandian is concerned and i can tell you it is going to be a big contest and admk is not even in the frame not even in the race okay i will get you to respond to that but let's quickly go through the other seats as well chennai central where you've got a big name from the dmk dayanadi maran former union minister has been fielded by the dmk and he goes up against vinoj p selvam who's a relative newcomer he has been fielded by the bjp and the dmdk has got this seat in its quota but they haven't announced their candidate just as yet uh neeja ji your thoughts about this a uh, relative newcomer up against dayanidhi mara yeah he is an old hand uh, everybody knows him and uh, but you know i if you look at tamil nadu it's not the individual candidates barring i would say anna malai who's the party president all over tamil nadu he's built the party you go to tamil nadu and people talk about him and the strides the bjp is making under him mm. he gets up at 4 o'clock in the morning is out meeting people and has you know uh, people have noticed him and the work he's doing but it is really mr narendra modi <clears throat> and his visits to tamil nadu the determ- determination with which the prime minister has taken the bull by the horn in tamil nadu otherwise you know in tamil nadu people used to dismiss the bjp it's hindu hindi will not have any traction okay. but i've met people who say you know this 25% that uh, poll uh, you know vote share this time 
that they're hoping for, that may well become a reality. I don't know whether they'll uh, win the seats, but certainly Coimbatore is a seat which is traditionally also, you remember Mr. L.K. Advani, uh, was, uh, when he was there in 98 and 12 bombs had gone off in this city. Uh, and the BJP has had a hold in this city. So that is the one seat I would look at, whether the BJP will actually get that. The and for those who don't remember what animalized. happened in 98, the BJP makes sure that they remind the voters, those who are first-time voters especially. The Prime Minister was in Coimbatore on the second last day of his visit uh, to Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Karnataka, Kerala and uh, Andhra Pradesh. Now let's take a look. I will get in Salam, Salam Dhani Dharan and the Congress also. Vellore, you have A.C. Shanamugam from the BJP, Kathir Anand from DMK, Dr. S. Pashupati from the AIA DMK. Let's take a look at the next seat now after Vellore. Uh, in Kishangiri, you have C. Narsimhan from the BJP, Challa Kumar from the Congress and Jay Prakash from the AIA DMK. The next seat is a very interesting one. Niligiris, where MOS Information and Broadcasting, L. Murugan, has been sent to fight A. Raja, JBC Sridham. L. Murugan sent back and you have A. Raja taking him on in this reserved seat. See, I want to make a very important point here, Badmaja. There are several reserved seats in Tamil Nadu. The seat reserved in Nilgiris is for a Dalit community called Arundariyar. And there are other seats in northern Tamil Nadu. I think if I'm right, Sri Perambudu, sorry, uh, uh, Thiruvallur, Kanjiburam, and then you have Nagapatnam, you have uh, Chidambaram and Virupuram, five seats. Now, a seat which is supposed to be given to the Arundariyar constituents, Arundariyar, is now given consistently to Mr. A. Raza, because his seat, where he comes from, Perambalur, that is no more reserved seat. As a result of which, a non arundhariyar candidate is being fielded every time by DMK. Now, by fielding an arundhariyar what BJP is sending a message is that we are going to give empowerment and also representation to the community which has not been represented. You don't even have a district secretary of DMK from that particular community. And these are the larger messages. And we have given him the union minister of state position. He was a former president of this uh, BJP unit. As a result of which, we are empowering the Dalit community and providing real social justice, which is missing from DMK. That is the larger message from the Neil Grease Assembly of Parliamentary Constituency. Sameer and here Asa may get defeated. Sameer Ji, here is the model that there is a mantri in Kendra. He is saying that you are going to fight in your state. Look, this time I think that if you are in South, especially if you are in Kerala and Tamil Nadu, I think that the most surprised people in the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Indian politics are going to do it. The Prime Minister Modi is focusing on the South. You will see that there were Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kerala visit. The first time that the Bharatiya Janata Party has so much focused on the South states. The Bharatiya Janata Party has been aware that the North is very strong. In the South, you will see that the nine candidates have declared that all heavyweight candidates have declared that the Bharatiya Janata Party has 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 declared that कर, कर, कर रहे हैं भारतीय जनता पार्टी का ऑर्गेनाइजेशन साउथ को फोकस कर रहा है मुझे लगता है कि जिस समय भारतीय जनता पार्टी को लग रहा है कि इस बार भारतीय जनता पार्टी साउथ के अंदर एक सिंबॉलिक लड़ाई नहीं लड़ रही है इस बार वहां सीट जीतने जा रही है और यह बात वहां की जो रीजनल पार्टी से ए आई डीएम के हो डीएम के हो वी इस बात को जानते हैं कि इस बार प्रधानमंत्री मोदी के नेतृत्व में भारतीय जनता पार्टी इस बार लोकलाइज पार्टी के रूप में आ रही है हर बार भारतीय जनता पार्टी को माना जाता था कि बाहर की साउथ की नॉर्थ की पार्टी है इस बार अन्ना मलिक के नेतृत्व में पहली बार वो लोकल और पार्टी के रूप में आ रही है और अब वहां पर एक सबसे बड़ी जो जिसे कहते हैं ना पावर के रूप में भारतीय जनता पार्टी वहां आ रही है और इसका डर डीएम को डीएम को तो ही एआई डीएम को कोई डर है और डीएम के खिलाफ जो एंटी इनकम बन सी है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के साथ एआई डीएम का बड़ा कैडर जुड़ते जा रहा है और अन्ना मलाई ने जिस तरीके से ग्राउंड में काम किया इस बारे तय है कि वहां पर भारतीय जनता पार्टी बहुत सरप्राइजिंग रिजल्ट देने जा रही है ओके लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट नेम एंड अ लॉट ऑफ बस हैज बीन क्रिएटेड इन द रन अप टू दिस वेयर यू हैव अन्ना मलाई फाइनली बीइंग Fielded from the BJP, Singhai Ramachandran from the AIA DMK, Ganapati Rajkumar from the DMK. Lokesh Jindal, your first thoughts. Well, in September 2023, when the AIA DMK had separated itself from BJP, they were rejoicing because they believed that their association with the BJP was harming their own political fortunes. I don't know on what basis are you claiming that BJP is going to find, find inroads into Tamil Nadu. The people of Tamil Nadu are going to write off 
BJP completely. It's not going to consider their political campaigning as some form of a reach to the Dravidian thought, Dravidian ideology, not at all. All this pomp and show, it won't appeal. The people in Tamil Nadu, especially in Kerala, they have always rejected such rightist tendency and they will reject it again. I'm very sure. I'm not at all uh, satisfied by this uh, narrative of some form of a wave that is reaching out to Tamil Nadu. That's hogwash. Okay, you are not satisfied with the wave. Pratyush Kant, you want to respond? Many people also wondering why just nine names? It's very, very close now. Holi is just a couple of days away. First phase is when Tamil Nadu polls. Why only nine names? When BJP knows that it was weak in South, we knew how we have to act. For a long time, we have been working at the booth level. We knew what are the, our weaknesses are. We have worked on that. It is absolutely look south for the Prime Minister. We are so confident about our development work which we have done. And we knew that in Tamil Nadu, this dynastic uh, politics, this family-oriented politics is not going to last. So how do we come across? Hmm. We slowly built a very strong base at the booth levels. Then ministers, Honorable Prime Minister himself and the beneficiaries. You remember... What happened? You know, the old times in the UP, they used to calculate itna Yadav, itna Musalman, itna Koiri, itna Kurmi, mm. and this is how it's going to work. Now, look, nobody talks about that anymore. The caste game is over. Same no, way not. people Still in the South India. Still, everyone talks about it. The reason why Nitish Kumar came divide. to your alliance let's, is because let's, you let's. want Kurmi votes. Sir, you are saying the people have stopped, stopped talking about caste. Everyone is talking about no, no. caste. We, 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 were, we, were, we, were, we were fighting. We were fighting. Okay, let me, let me, okay, let me take you back to South then. Okay. In South, we were absolutely sure that this dynastic politics, this corruption has to end. And what were they doing? They were attack, attacking us as Hindu, Hindi party, as Nijia Ma'am was just now saying. They did not understand the fact that they're losing ground every single day hmm. in Karnataka, a uh, Congress MP stands and says that uh, we should have a partition of the country again. We should again break this country into another part. Let's have a north-south. Okay. They were all talking about breaking the country. And Indians, either they live in north and south, were rejoicing in the fact that we are the fifth biggest economy. We are going to okay. become so the third biggest economy. So you're saying nationalism, unity and patriotism, so much along that. with Hinduism, not being anathema is the theme that you're going with, in addition to all your Vikas pitch. Perambalur. Who is the candidate from Perambalur today? T.R. Parivendar goes up against Arun Nehru of the DMK, not to be confused with the earlier Arun Nehru of the Congress, and N.D. Chandra Mohan of the AIA DMK. What do you make of the fight here, JVC? It's going to be a very tough fight. Why I'm saying it is a tough fight is because Arun Nehru is son of K.N. Nehru, a very powerful DMK minister who controls Trichy, uh, uh, you know, district who has been controlling district, district, uh, Trichy district for the last four decades, I can tell you. So, Parivendar was an ex-MP, he's a sitting MP, sorry, uh, but he contested in uh, Rising Sun symbol. And this seat, I can tell you, is going to be a close fight. But the reason why I'm telling you is because Mutrayar community, which forms a large part of that constituency, have announced their support to BJP. Mukulator are also there. They are also going to be supporting BJP. On top of it, uh, Parivendan himself brings his own community votes. Hmm. As a result of which, Modiji's popularity, anomalized traction, plus the social engineering should help Parivendan to put up a strong fight. But still, I would say it is advantage Arun Nehru at Perambulur constituency. But Salem Dharni Dharan, the more important thing is that somebody who earlier fought on your symbol is now going to fight with the BJP. Does that say something? What people say that, you know, everyone salutes the rising sun, which in this yeah, case seems to be the lotus, not your symbol. No, no, no. no. See, I think that that is a uh, Parivendra's prerogative. He can join whichever party he, he, he wants to align with. But I will tell you this. Out of the last five times, DMK has won four times this constituency. And I'll tell you the vote share. Last time, Parivendra contesting in uh, rising sun got about uh, more than four lakh vote. He won with more than four lakh vote share. He got about 55 percent votes. In 2009, Arun Nehru's relate, close relative, Napoleon, contested and got 50 percent vote share. In 2004, uh, A. Raja and DMK got uh, one with about 55 percent vote share, one with about more than 2 lakh margin. So DMK in the last five times has won 
more than has won four times and with huge vote, uh, vote differences. So I don't think BJP has a chance in this constituency and also BJP's vote share is now going to be get divided between ADMK and BJP. Huh? And DMK's uh, vote share is intact. You know the other so thing also is in Coimbatore, uh, usually you give that seat to the left to contest, right? This time you have decided to field somebody on the DMK symbol. Is it because you realize that the left sure, won't sure. be able to put up a good enough fight? Salem Dharni Dara? No, in fact, Salem, uh, until 2019, we used to give it to Congress. Now we are contesting. Instead of Koyamathur, we have given them Tirupur. Hmm. So I think uh, it's it's all always a compromise. So we don't know what happened there. I think I was not sitting in the seat negotiation. You know, Salem actually Maybe reminds me, considering you come from Koyamathur. there, Salem is the place where the Prime Minister said that a wave is going to rise. What do you make of that? That a surprise is going to emerge, that everyone is going to be shocked no, with, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. And he said it from Salem. Salem Dharni Dara. I think... <laughs> see, I think the shock will be that the India Alliance winning with three, uh, 350, uh, more than, get, garnering more than 350 MPs and forming the government. I think that will be the shock. And the vote share at which DMK and his allies will win in Tamil Nadu will be the another shock. Last time itself, we won most of the constituencies with more than... Sorry, uh, you were saying lakh, that India Alliance will get 350? Lakh, lakh, lakh you are predicting the 350 par for the, for the, for the INDI. Shock. You are asking, <laughs> yeah, so you asked me the shock, I'm saying this will be the shock. Probably this is the shock which the uh, Prime Minister had Sir, no offence, but even you I, can't keep a straight face while making that prediction. Think I think this deserves, this deserves a quick round of reactions from round the table. Nija Chaudhary, 300 par for INDI, predict Salem Dharni Dharan. <laughs> well, well, we, ho you know, we hope they get even half because we need a good, strong opposition in the country. But it doesn't look like it, the teen so par is bar. <laughs> Samir ji. India, teen so par, uh, 350 par NDA rahega. BJP, 2025 20, seats is bar. Wo thoda confused ho gaye NDA or India gadbandhan ke andar. Okay, let's take a look at Tirunel Valley. This was only meant in a lighter way. No offense, Elam Dharni Dharan. Tirunel Valley, you have Nainar Nagendran, the Congress, and that is the interesting thing, that the DMK has released its tickets. The Congress is still sitting. Why, Lokesh Jindal? The Congress undecided who their candidate is going to be because this goes in their quota. And you have Shimla Muthuselvan from the AIA DMK fielded from here. Lokesh Jindal. Padmaja, Congress generally announces the candidates late. That is a general, that, that's a general trend within the Congress. It's not just with Tamil Nadu. You will see that that's mostly there with most of the states. That's not a very good and trend. Then, Your candidates no, literally is. say, when do we start campaigning? You're no, saying it as if it's a good thing. It's a trend with the Congress that we announce our candidates late. <laughs> Why? No, no, Why is that, that a trend? The, the, the party men, the Congress workers, they are working day and night and the candidate will be announced by the CEC when the time will come, when the appropriate time will become. Uh, and, and we that, just hope that the appropriate the time doesn't come country. like the seat sharing time came and then it didn't and then INDI didn't yeah, least, exist anymore. Quickly, quickly, sharing. JVC wants to make a point and I want to go to the last seat and then move to yeah. Uttar Pradesh. So yes. a very important, very important. This seat is going to be, and I want to give you some information. The EIA DMK candidate who's contesting, contested against Jayalalitha in the 200, 2016 uh, assembly election as a DMK candidate. Congress is in a quandary now. I'm going to tell in Tamil and then I'll translate into English. Kalingar Karnanadi in 1971 said, Nellai Engal Yellai, Kumari Engal Tollai, which means Tirunelveli is our border and uh, Kanyakumari is always in my trouble. Now I can tell you on this national channel by 8 p.m. that Nellai is also going to become a big Tollai because BJP is registered an emphatic victory with more than 45% at Tirunelveli. And so Nellaiyum Tollai, Kumariyum Tollai in the Morai. I have just translated for you also. Nellai is also a trouble. Kumari is also a trouble for DMK. You want to respond, Salem Dharni Dharan? See, I think people can keep daydreaming. Anamale is saying 25%. Last time in the internal assembly election when they stood without AI DMK, they didn't even get 2.5%. So he's saying 25%. Probably he missed a dot. So I think people can keep dreaming and say everything is a problem for DMK. But what I'm saying is we are going to win. Uh, every uh, all the 40 seats that is 39 in Tamil Nadu, one in Pondicherry. As a leader says, Narpodum Namade, Nadum Namade. That is what the, all the 40 seats are. The country is also us. So uh, that's that's I maintain my stance. Even last time, 
we we won uh, kanyakumari with a thumping majority both in 2019 uh, and 21 by election ex maybe except for uh, 2014 Uh, DMK and Thalais have been winning Kanyakumari, so I don't think there's any uh, confusion there. Okay, final seat is Kanyakumari, oh, and we have I already discussed it. Pon Radha Krishnan, who was a minister at the centre after he won in 2014 in the first Modi government, 2019, however, they lost to the DMK, as Elan Dhani Dharan just said. And Vijay Vasant is probably going to be fielded because, as Lokesh Jindal said, people are working, leaders are thinking, everyone is deliberating. eventually we will get to know who is actually fighting from this seat so far our sources have told us it could be vijay vasan and you have bazilian nazareth from ai admk what about this seat kanya kumari final word jvc then we move to up i think i think every time you know in 19 in 2014 also when admk and bjp did not come together and stood separately bjp was able to win and you look at it there is a christian votes there is an hindu votes Ponnar is an old face. He will bring emotions into this election because he would say that it is going to be my last election. As a result, in fact, I will be in Kanyakumari tomorrow. I am on my way in the remote areas. So Kanyakumari this time will deliver for Modi because it was a constituency where Badmanabha Puram in 1984, an independent backed by Hindu Hindu Munani had won. In 1996, I am talking about an assembly segment. In 1996, when Jayalalitha herself lost the election and DMK and TMC swept. the entire tamil nadu padmanabapuram sent its maiden bjp mla okay. to the assembly kanyakumari is going to be filled with lotus in 2024 all right even as this first list came from tamil nadu of the bjp today we had a meeting of the congress's cec hectic discussions to finalize their third list of lok sabha candidates after deciding on gujarat maharashtra and rajasthan now Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, and some seats of Uttar Pradesh, two seats of Jammu were discussed in the CEC. While the Congress has decided on eight seats of UP, sources say that two seats will be kept in abeyance, which is Rai Bareilly and Amethi. That is hardly surprising. But which are the big surprises that could happen from Uttar Pradesh? We are learning that some big names and primary among them, Ajay Rai. is a probable from varanasi r sikarwar from fatehpur sikri tanuj punia pl punia son has been fielded from barabanki as expected and pradeep jain from jhansi ye candidates ke bare mein aap kya kahenge samir ji let's take a look at the first four only please ajay ajay rai 2014 2019 2019 mein already varanasi se chunav lad chuke hain ye symbolic se fight nahi hai aap apne state but president but ko bar bar kyun bhejte hain bilkul aur ki wo 5 lakh ke margin se haar jaye 4 lakh ke margin se haar jaye ajay rai ki himmat ki daat dena padegi wo jante hai ki wahan buri tarah harenge uske baad hi wo teesri baar ladne ko taiyar hai wahan se committed worker hai 2014 mein lade 2019 mein lade wo jante hue ki main wahan par matlab zamanat jabt hone ki suti hai uske baad hi wo ladne ja rahe hain तो मुझे लगता है कि एक समर्पित सिपाही है जयराज जो लड़ने जा रहे हैं इसके अलावा अगर तनुज पुनिया की बात करें तो बाराबंकी रिजर्व सीट है पीएल पुनिया के बेटे हैं तो वहां से उन्हें लड़ना ही था प्रदीप जैन झांसी से लड़ने वाले हैं वहां झांसी से ये पहला चुनाव हार चुके हैं उमा भारती के खिलाफ जो उमा भारती वहां से सांसद थी वहां के सबसे बड़े नेता अभी फिलहाल प्रदीप जैन ने तो तय था कि झांसी से प्रदीप जैन को टिकट दिया जाएगा लेकिन ये सारी सीटें ऐसी है जहां से भारतीय जनता पार्टी चुनाव जीतेगी ओके लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द नेक्स्ट फोर नेम्स एंड टू ऑफ देम इंक्लूड turn coats people who have gone from one party to the other imran masood of course samajwadi party now congress he is being fielded from saharanpur he is supposed to be in the close circle now danish ali from amroha also supposed to be in the close circle sadal prasad from basgaon and akhilesh pratap singh from devaria neeja ji what do you make of these names let's start with akhilesh pratap singh danish ali and imran masood I think they will put up a good fight whether they win or not it remains to be seen because they have a mass base of course Danish Ali has shifted from the BSP but has a base uh, behind him so it's not like the first four seats you mentioned which are a complete I agreed with the previous speaker uh, the congress is unlikely to uh, make it there but you know I want to make a larger point Padmaja uh if the congress puts up as determined a fight in every seat that is being given and le- it's been left uh, by the akhilesh yadav for it the samajwadi party for the congress as the bjp is putting up a, f- in a fight in tamil nadu now whether they will win nothing or whether they'll win one seat 
they're going to certainly up their watch share because you know to have a geographic divide along with the political divide you have the bjp in the north but not in the south you have now the congress and its allies in the south but they're getting wiped out in the north that is not a good thing for the country so if the bjp makes inroads in the south and the congress determinedly goes again mm. particularly in uttar pradesh and bihar I think that's a very healthy thing, and one hopes that they will put up that fight. Remember, we have a delimitation exercise coming on yes. in uh, 2026. It's going to be problematic with the southern states very worried. You will need the political instrumentalities to navigate those kind of issues. So I think this is a good thing <laughs> happening if the Congress is going to put up a fight in the uh, north again. Okay. All right, uh, Pratyush Khan, do you want to make a comment? At least a few big names. <laughs> are going to the congress and largely at least in uttar pradesh it seems to be a bipolar fight between sp and bjp but the congress is putting up a fight one has to say imran masood is there danish ali is there they are strong people danish ali won amroha last time even though on a bsp ticket the problem with congress in up is they have no cadre left there is no party and it has been a long story now almost almost two decades now The problem is, Congress will not be able to give any fight to BJP. Is the fact because they are totally dependent on Samajwadi Party. Now these candidates may have vote of their community, but they are not leaders who can win a parliament seat in this present given circumstance when BJP has delivered so much and we have uh, Modi and Yogi double engine Sarkar working in Uttar Pradesh. It's very unfortunate that. the way akhilesh yadav treated rahul gandhi and uh, the senior leaders clearly showed that he had the upper hand uh, i mean let's go back during ahmed patel's time the way of negotiation was totally different now it's totally different and uh, up is a very political state people know exactly where they are voting and what they are voting for ram temple development law and order these are very big things we are still sitting in delhi and again we are talking about these caste politics which you stopped me last time when we were speaking we have to get out of that mindset it okay. is no more about castes it is no more about those numbers we used to crunch it's now so much about development When journalism is led by integrity, and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight of what is the real issue, I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using. petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist aapke upar to kai hotalon ke bhi aajkal aarop lag rahe hain desh mein sirf ek baat ki charcha hai ki kya bjp rahul gandhi se dar gayi she takes on the masters of indian politics like no one else can vipaksh kam se kam uttar pradesh mein ye keh raha hai ki aap hawa bana rahe hain nivesh koi aaya hi nahi is rajya mein rahul gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. 
I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Hushya Jamal Hotwa, and you're watching. The ED additional director is at the residence of the Chief Minister Kapil Raj, the investigation officer in the case. Kapil Raj is the investigation officer in the case. Let's go straight across to Bhavtosh. The barricades have been brought in Bhavtosh and now a fresh reinforcement has also been done. What do we expect, Bhavtosh? Well, as far as uh, what will happen next, uh, it's still uh, something that only ED officials can tell us. But uh, the the Aam Aadmi Party has decided that they will go to the Supreme Court and will try getting some kind of relief from them or some kind of protection from coercive action. But here at the ED headquarters, the security has been beefed up. In fact, paramilitary forces have been deployed along with Delhi police. What we can tell our viewers with uh, with confirmation are two things. One, a his questioning have started. The first summons were served to him on 2nd of November and then for nine summons were served to him. He did not join the investigation. Searches have taken place. Some electronic gadgets have been seized including four mobile phones as well as two ta tablets and uh, uh, Padmaja, more importantly, a high drama has taken place. ED officials are at his residence along with paramilitary forces. Will he be taken here at ED headquarters? Remember, this case is being probed by the HIU unit of the enforcement directorate which have served. Yesterday, for the first time, the additional solicitor general said the 700 summons have been served in this case and 15 individuals have been arrested. Several companies and entities have been made and accused and today the, uh, the High Court said that why, don't you, why didn't you arrest him uh, when he did not join the investigation at the first place to which additional solicitor general said that it doesn't mean that we will arrest him or not arrest him. We are just asking him to come and join the investigation and then in a very dramatic development today uh, within an hour or so uh, the ED officials reached his residence. Uh, searches are taking place Place. It, it's a many ways, uh, Padmaja, it is a rerun of what happened last Friday when uh, ED officials went to the residence of K. Kavita. Okay. That, there also search warrants were served to her and then her voluntary statement was recorded. Will it be the exact rerun of what happened with K. Kavita? This would only end with searches and voluntary recording of the statement. It will all depend on what, will he get any kind of relief from the Supreme Court? So all eyes on what happened in next few hours. Will the Supreme Court intervene in this matter? or Arvind Kejriwal will be brought here and further questioning will take place. We'll okay, Priyank is also joining us from outside Minute. the house of Arvind Kejriwal. Fresh reinforcements around you now and apparently a circle has been made there. Priyank. Uh, yes, uh, Padmaja, there have been a series of and layers of barricade which has been placed by the Delhi police. The first is uh, this particular iron gate which was made uh, after looking at the kind of protests which used to happen outside the residence of Adhim Kejwal. This gate uh, would be approximately 200 to 300 meters away from the main entrance of Adhim Kejwal and later to that, if you see, the are uh, placed by the Delhi police official along with the RAF to stop any kind of protests in inside this uh, flagship road. But very interesting development happening, Padmaja, when uh, the 12 officials have already gone inside. We have seen approximately five vehicles of the CAPF going inside with the CAPF officials, which is certainly not giving a good indication for the Army Party because the officials were there. In the normal summoning case, uh, five officials could have gone, but this time a dozen officials being there inside, then uh, uh, another you know senior official coming along with five vehicles full of uh, CAPF officials and not trusting on the Delhi police looking at the kind of uh, situation which had happened at Keka with us residence. The ED officials are also not leaving any uh, possibility of any kind of stoppages from the protesters, uh, pro protesters I beg your pardon, and uh, the supporters of Amani party. Rami, what do you see? So there's a huge congestion at the right and the left side of the road which leads to the Arvind Kejriwal residence. If I can show these slogans have just started, many party workers have reached here and they have started raising slogans. If I could ask my video journalist to show, you can see that people are raising slogans. If I would ask some of them, ki, what again, what are they protesting for? Madam.
कहीं ना कहीं मोदी सरकार को कामयाब नहीं होने देंगे मोदी जी अपनी घरवाली का तो सुरक्षित रख लेते हैं। ओके। देश के ऑल राइट सो देर इज बीन क्वाइट सम मोबिलाइजेशन ऑलरेडी आम आदमी पार्टी मिनिस्टर्स आतिशी सौरभ भारद्वाज ऑल रीचिंग द चीफ मिनिस्टर्स रेसिडेंट नाउ प्रोटेस्टर्स सपोर्टर्स हैव ऑल्सो रीच देर एंड we are being told that just now the delhi legislative assembly speaker ram nivas goyal has said even if arvind kejriwal is arrested he will not resign samir ji ek baat to tay hai that aam aadmi party is going to make a big big election issue out of it ki hum to ladenge is tana shah se बिल्कुल और देखिए जिस तरीके से अरविंद केजरीवाल लगातार ईडी से जो समन्स मिल रहे थे एक से लेकर नौ संबंध तक जिस तरीके से केजरीवाल ने उसको अवॉइड किया और जिस तरीके से लगातार वो पत्रकार वार्ता करते थे सौरव भारद्वाज प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करते थे आतिशी प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करते थे बताने की कोशिश करते थे कि अरविंद केजरीवाल को चुनाव के पहले अरेस्ट किया जा रहा है लेकिन जिस तरीके से हाईकोर्ट से जब क्लियर हो गया कि अरविंद केजरीवाल पर ई कार्रवाई कर सकती है उस पर कोई रोक नहीं होगा और आज ईडी ने हाईकोर्ट ने पूछा था ई से कि क्या पहले इसमें अरेस्ट करते हो तो डी ने बताया कि अभी तक हम 700 लोगों को संबंध दे चुके हैं और खिप सिर्फ पंद्रह लोगों को हमने गिरफ्तार किया है इसके अंदर अब देखिए मनीष सुसूदा की गिरफ्तारी के बाद संजय सिंह की गिरफ्तारी के बाद के कविता की गिरफ्तारी के बाद मुझे लग रहा है कि अब यह तय है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल इस मामले में अरेस्ट होंगे ईडी के पास पुख्ता सबूत आ चुके हैं इस बात को लेकर और इसी कारण ईडी बार बार उन्हें सम्मान के लिए दे रही थी और अरविंद केजरीवाल बार बार बच रहे थे कोर्ट से जब राहत नहीं मिली अरविंद केजरीवाल को तो यह अब तय था कि ईडी जाँच करने के लिए स्वतंत्र है और कोर्ट में जब अरविंद केजरीवाल को राहत नहीं मिली आज ईडी उनके घर पहुँच चुकी है और मुझे लग रहा है अब किसी भी समय अरविंद केजरीवाल अरेस्ट हो सकते हैं ऑल राइट प्रत्यूष कांत टूडे द Council for Arvind Kejriwal argued ki if it makes you happy arrest me after the elections why are you doing it right now itne mahino se you sent nine summons didn't do anything arrest but do it after elections ma'am do you think the country and the agency that the judiciary runs like this do you think the judges the investigators people who find out all the documents There's the whole process which is involved. Then you go to lower court, high court, division bench, Supreme Court. The process will change for elections. It doesn't. Hmm. Arvind Kejriwal is a literate man. He knew all the time. So many cases were taking place in different courts. You know, high court, double bench, single bench, lower court, and they were getting relief from nowhere. If you, I'll just take you back. The senior most judge of the apex co- uh, court, the Supreme Court of India, when he saw the file, he said, "I can clearly see a." Trail of uh, money, um, over three hundred crores. I think it has to be investigated. Okay. Not from a single court did he get any relief. The lot, the lot ships today. When they saw the case, because see, those are the documents which you and I have not seen. It is only they are seeing those documents. So after seeing those documents, they say, "Okay, well, what are you doing?" The investigation has to go on. You have to join the investigation. Okay. Speaking of so, documents, KGR, we are being told that all the, all the gadgets. have been seized bhavtosh from arvind kejriwal and the data dump priyank is being taken from those gadgets so all of his gadgets have been taken away and poochtaach ke pehle hi ed zapt kar chuki hai soon they may be taken sanjeev kaushik to the ed office punjab mujhe lagta hai ki desh mein ek aisi sarkar aayi hai jo 2024 के लोकसभा इलेक्शन से पहले विपक्षी पार्टियों के खाते को बंद करवा रही है सीज करा रही है तमाम विपक्षी पार्टी के बड़े नेताओं को जेल में भेजवा रही है क्या इसी तरह से भारतीय जनता पार्टी चुनाव लड़ेगी क्या सवाल यह है कि कोर्ट ने आज क्या कहा कोर्ट ने यही कहा लगातार ईडी पहुंची और कही कि नहीं ये सुनने योग्य याचिका नहीं है कोर्ट ने कहा कि नहीं इस पर सुनवाई जारी रहेगी इसके बावजूद दरवाजे पर पहुंच जाना और इस तरह से राह ठा लेना जब जिद ही कर ली है ईडी गिरफ्तार करने के लिए तो वो गिरफ्तार कर ले अब दिल्ली के जनता को जवाब देना है देश की जनता को जवाब देना है कि ये तानाशाही चलेगी या लोकतांत्रिक तरीके से देश चलेगा कोर्ट की भी बात नहीं माने आप आप संस्थानों की भी बात नहीं माने आप लगातार ये बात कहते रहे कि नहीं केजरीवाल साहब ये बात कहते रहे कि आपने जो हमें संबंध दिया आप ये मुझे बता दीजिए कि किस हैसियत से आप बुला रहे हैं गैर कानूनी है ये और उसी के एगेंस्ट में सारी बातें आगे तक बढ़ी है तो कम से कम इंतजार तो कर लेना चाहिए ना 22 अप्रैल तक लेकिन उसके पहले ही इस तरह की स्थिति पैदा कर देना दिल्ली में अराजकता की स्थिति पैदा कर देना जानबूझ करके और तमाम विपक्षी पार्टी के नेताओं को इलेक्शन से पहले इस तरह से प्रताड़ित करना भारतीय जनता पार्टी को कम से कम ये लोकतंत्र के लिए शोभा नहीं देता ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए
जनता देख रही है बड़े गौर से देख रही है और जब आप जनता ही देगी All right, let's cut across to Ramya also for just a second. These are the latest visuals. The rapid action force is present. The barricades have been brought in. Arvind Kejriwal's devices have been seized, and the data dump is being taken from there steadily. As Ramya is reporting, the number of Kejriwal supporters have also gone up. What's the next plan of action, Ramya? <laughs> So let me say that after the central government forces reached the residence, the forces of Arvind Kejriwal has also reached now, and they have sat on the roads, protesting, raising slogans against the Prime Minister Modi, raising slogans in the favour of Arvind Kejriwal. It is all happening outside the lane where uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal's official residence is. Heavy police deployment, heavy central forces deployment, but if we would see the zeal the enthusiasm of the protesters it is also no less it might be that these protesters are less in numbers than the police forces and the central forces however their zeal and enthusiasm is at peak again and again they have the same slogans modi teri nahi chalegi such slogans are being raised here today we are standing right outside the lane of kevin kejriwal's residence the gate has been completely block let me say sealed sealed by the delhi police sealed by the central forces strong barricade huge number of barricading has been put and the police has formed a circle if i would ask my video journalist to show that how a circle is formed uh, see so here we have different paramilitary forces rapid action force delhi police officials on the left side of mine while central forces on the right side so a circle has been made see that is how they have geraud let me call it geraud of the arvind kejriwal's residence today so it is also being said today that uh, if ed had come to deliver the saman the tenth saman it wouldn't have come with this much preparation this much for force what is happening inside is something different we cannot access what is happening inside though we are trying our best to reach inside however huge presence see that is the gate that is the gate which reads which which leads to arvind kejriwal's residence however it has been blocked by the delhi police barricades delhi police officials have formed a chain around it they are standing and no one is being let inside okay After protesters are being detained let's listen to a few of them let's listen to a few of them but samir ji hypothetically speaking one doesn't know ki agar aaj giraftari hogi ki nahi hogi par giraftari ki talwar zarur latak rahi hai kai log sawal ye puchhenge to phir मुख्यमंत्री का मेंटल कौन संभालेगा क्या ये हेमंत सोरेन मॉडल होने वाला है या फिर ये लालू मॉडल होने वाला है क्या होगा दिल्ली देखिए जिस दिन मनीष सिसोदा की गिरफ्तारी हुई थी और उसके बाद जब लगातार केजरीवाल को सम्मान दिए जा रही थी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर की तरफ से तब यह तय था कि ईडी के पास कुछ ऐसी इन्फॉर्मेशन आ रही है जिसमें केजरीवाल से पूछताछ जरूरी है और मुझे लग रहा है कि जिस दिन के कविता की गिरफ्तारी हो गई थी उस दिन तय हो गया था कि अब अरविंद केजरीवाल के इसमें गिरफ्तार होना तय है और मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अब इन्फॉर्मेशन डायरेक्ट के पास वो सारे डॉक्यूमेंट्री एविडेंस होंगे जो आज उन्होंने कोर्ट में कहा है कि हम अरविंद केजरीवाल से पूछताछ करना चाहते हैं और हमारे पास कुछ इस तरह की इन्फॉर्मेशन है मुझे लग है जिस तरीके से आज वहां पर डिप्लॉय किया गया है सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस को और जिस समय इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर आज कोर्ट में सुनवाई होने के बाद पहुंचा है मुझे लगता है तय है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार होंगे और यह पूरा हेमंत सोरेन वाले प्रोसेस में चल रहा है अरविंद केजरीवाल पूरी कोशिश करेंगे कि इसका जित, जितना ड्रामेटाइजेशन किया जा सके जितना इसको नाटकीय बनाया जा सके जितना चुनाव के पहले इसको जनता के बीच सिंपति गेन करने की कोशिश की जाए कि मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार किया जा रहा है मुझे लग रहा है यह तय था कि केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार होंगे और अब बहुत कम समय बचा है मुझे लगता है कि आज ही गिरफ्तार हो सकते हैं बताया अगली मुख्यमंत्री कौन होंगे या होंगी मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि जैसे सौरभ भारद्वाज बार बार कह रहे थे कि हम तिहार जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे अरविंद केजरीवाल मुख्यमंत्री बने रहेंगे तो ये सच में तिहार जेल से पॉसिबल नहीं है संभव ही नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल को रिजाइन करना पड़ेगा अब ये देखने की बात होगी कि कल उन्हें जब कोर्ट में पेश किया जाएगा तो अगर गिरफ्तार हुए गिरफ्तार होना तय है आज, आज, आज हो सकते हैं 99% मुझे लग रहा है आज गिरफ्तार होंगे जिस हिसाब से फोर्सेस रखी गई है जिस हिसाब से उनके डिजिटल एविडेंस छोड़ दे 
नहीं मुझे नहीं लगता कि आज कोर्ट के बाद अगर सीधी आए तो मुझे लगता है कि बहुत पुख्ता सबूत होंगे उनके पास और आज केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार हो जाएंगे अगर आज नहीं भी होते हैं तो ये मान के चलिए कि 48 घंटे से ज्यादा का वक्त नहीं है केजरीवाल के गिरफ्तार होने का ओके। अब ये केजरीवाल को तय करना है कि वह अभी जाकर रिजाइन करते हैं उसके बाद अरेस्ट होते हैं जैसे हेमंत सोरेन ने किया था हाँ। कि राजभवन जाकर रिजाइन किया था उन्होंने चंपई सोरेन की शपथ ग्रहण समारोह हुआ था बड़ा मिलियन डॉलर सवाल है किसके स्वेरिंग इन होगी अगर गिरफ्तारी होती है तो रेजिग्नेशन तो हो सकता है बट स्वेरिंग इन किसकी होगी एक मैडम चीफ मिनिस्टर की भी बात हो रही है ये बहुत बड़ी अफवाह उड़ी थी वही बनेगा जो एमएलए होगा क्योंकि एलजी किसी ऐसे मतलब को अलाउ नहीं करेंगे जो एमएलए नहीं होगा नहीं बट उनके पास तो वक्त होता है ना छह महीने में आप उनको इलेक्ट करवा दीजिए नहीं अब नहीं यह पूर्ण राज्य नहीं है दिल्ली और मुझे लग रहा है कि यहाँ पर इसकी परमिशन नहीं दी एल तैयार नहीं होंगे मुझे लग रहा है किसी एमएलए को ही बनाना पड़ेगा अरविंद केजरीवाल को नो बिकॉज द अदर पॉलिटिक्स ऑल्सो इज लाइक इन द केस ऑफ कल्पना सोरेन चाहते तो वो भी थे कि वो चीफ मिनिस्टर बन जाए बट अंदर से ही आपका विद इन योर पार्टी पीपल not agree now sita soren has left precisely because of that reason but let me quickly get an update from bhavtosh who is live with us now bhavtosh what is the activity happening right now and what next well as far as uh, at the ad headquarters uh, the security arrangements are there in fact uh, the barricades are still there we are right outside the gates of uh, ad headquarters a meeting is going on the all important meeting is going on to decide the fate of arvind kejriwal in many ways uh, also the case itself uh, it's in the last lap as far as the excise policy case is concerned several charge sheets have been filed but having said that aam aadmi party leaders have also decided to knock the doors of the supreme court trying seek, seeking some kind of legal help or some kind of uh, intervention from the supreme court so next few hours are very important as far as this case is concerned are okay. ed rates over will the team leave from the uh, residence of arvind kejriwal is sir our search is over or will arvind kejriwal come out from his residence and speak to his supporters it all depends fast paced developments are taking place When journalism is led by integrity, and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight of what is the real issue, I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using. petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist aapke upar to kai hotalon ke bhi aajkal aarop lag rahe hain desh mein sirf ek baat ki charcha hai ki kya bjp rahul gandhi se dar gayi she takes on the masters of indian politics like no one else can vipaksh kam se kam uttar pradesh mein ye keh raha hai ki aap hawa bana rahe hain nivesh koi aaya hi nahi is rajya mein rahul gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I am Mamita Badwa. I am Pratibha. I am Shreya Malhotra, and you are watching. अंतरा की हूँ कोई बच्ची नहीं, नई हूँ पर कच्ची नहीं. मानो या ना मानो तुम. कुछ बड़ा करने की है बारी यही भविष्य देश का लिखने की तैयारी यही बस 
बचपन से अब तक मेरी माटी ने दुलारा आज मुझको है मेरे देश ने पुकारा हो सब अपने यहाँ पे कोई बेगाना नहीं हम तो यहाँ पे सब देश के दीवाने दो हमसे कोई टकराना नहीं आवाज यही अधिकार यही आजादी का पुरस्कार यही लोकतंत्र का पहले संस्कार यही संस्कार यही अपनी आरी की खाओ कसम करेंगे अपना पहला वोट देश के लिए हम ये जीवन ये फर्स्ट टाइम जी सर सब कुछ है तुम्हारा आज मुझको है मेरे देश ने पुकारा When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school I give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion The news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं। देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई? She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं। निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में। राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है, खतरे में है। Because she speaks. for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I am Mamita Badwa. I am Pratibha. I am Shreya Malhotra, and you are watching the Morning News. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here, and three days later, she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm of me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force, which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of factual control. We report from ground zero. Times now, action begins here. 
explosive, exclusive and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive into stories that matter. Raising questions you won't ask. Your voice is now our voice. Watch Blueprint with me, Meghna. And Pranesh. And You're watching the News Hour first. The cup of woes for Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal is just spilling over. The day began with a rap on the knuckles from the Delhi High Court and the division bench at that. Yesterday, the rap came from a single judge uh, bench. Today, from a division bench, uh, uh, which uh, said uh, that uh, Arvind Kejriwal should uh, uh, conform and appear before the ED as per the summons. And it looks like the day will end uh, with him behind bars, uh, at least going by the situation right outside his house, the security forces present there, the fact that Section 144 has been imposed outside his residence, the Shish Mahal is full of security forces and a dozen ED officials who swoop down on the Shish Mahal and Arvind Kejriwal. And on the other hand, it is the ED head quarters which is also seeing heightened security and section 144 uh, being imposed it looks as if the stage is set uh, for the imminent arrest of arvind kejriwal and even even his uh, party really believes that that's what's going to happen let's listen in to what uh, saurabh bharadwaj minister in arvind kejriwal's uh, government had to say just when the ED officials appeared at Arvind Kejriwal's residence uh, about 120 minutes ago at 7 p.m. this evening. Look, the first drastia, which is the way police is inside, and the Prime Minister is not allowed to go to the Prime Minister's house. It seems like the Prime Minister is here in the Prime Minister's house. And ये नहीं मालूम, but ऐसा दिखता है कि मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करने की पूरी तैयारी है। और मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को ये भी बता दूँ कि अरविंद केजरीवाल एक आदमी नहीं है, अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है। आप एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को जेल में डालोगे, सैकड़ों अरविंद केजरीवाल खड़े हो जाएंगे इस देश के संविधान को बचाने के लिए। आप ऐसे लोकप्रिय मुख्यमंत्री को गिरफ्तार करने की कोशिश करेंगे, तो मुझे पूरा भरोसा है कि पूरी दिल्ली भर से लोग आएंगे। दिल्ली के लोग अरविंद केजरीवाल से प्यार करते हैं। भारतीय जनता पार्टी पूरी तरह से अपड़ा दपड़ी में है जब कोर्ट के अंदर विचाराधीन है मामला 22 अप्रैल को कोर्ट ने डेट दिया उन्होंने कहा कि भाई 22 तारीख को आप अपने सारे डॉक्यूमेंट सारी डिटेल लेके आइए तो अचानक से अपड़ा दपड़ी क्यों क्यों इतनी जल्दबाजी है कोर्ट का क्यों नहीं फॉलो किया जा इसका मतलब यह है कि इनका एक ही मकसद है केजरीवाल को अरेस्ट करो केजरीवाल को किसी तरह से जेल में डालो और इनको लगता है इससे केजरीवाल को खत्म कर देंगे गलत फहमी में let me tell you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, how the liquor gate scam has now literally landed at the doorstep of Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, even as we speak, there is uh, uh, a battery of senior officials of the Enforcement Directorate who have seized four to five uh, digital uh, apparatus uh, of, of the family of Arvind Kejriwal. Four to five phones, two tabs uh, have been uh, taken away, have been uh, uh, secured by the Enforcement Directorate officials. The, the digital data dump is being taken. Uh, a statement of Arvind Kejriwal on the details of uh, what kind of meetings in the liquor gate policy uh, scam actually took place at Arvind Kejriwal's residence. Outside 
said Arvind Kejriwal, Shish Mahal, top up leaders are present. Mantris uh, clearly coming out and saying that uh, arrest is what the BJP has uh, planned very well. Let me also remind you that earlier in the day, the Delhi High Court had refused to give Mr. Arvind Kejriwal any protection from arrest. So the legal situation at the moment is that Arvind Kejriwal has no protection from the courts. The courts today went through the files and the evidence presented by the enforcement directorate in their chambers. So they have an idea of the kind of evidence that exists, but it has not been argued in the court yet because uh, this evidence uh, can uh, not be presented at the moment is what ED counsels uh, argued because uh, there could be an attempt to erase uh, the evidence uh, trail. Uh, and, and it is important for Arvind Kejriwal to be questioned. Let me also tell you that Arvind Kejriwal has had good reason to worry. After all, his then minister Satendra Jain was arrested for money laundering by the ED on 31st of May 2022. His then uh, deputy chief minister Manish Sisodia was arrested on the 9th of March 2023. He's been in jail for a year. Uh, also, the uh, th this case was the liquor gate case. And then uh, there was Sanjay Singh who was arrested uh, on the 4th of October 2023 by the ED. And uh, that is why Arvind Kejival has been really worried about his imminent arrest, which is why he's gone to the Delhi High Court uh, not once but twice in uh, 24 hours. As per the Enforcement Directorate's press note, K. Kavita conspired with Aam Admi Party's netas, including Kejriwal, Sisodia, and paid kickbacks worth 100 crore rupees. ED has claimed that uh, this uh, was corruption and conspiracy in making implementation of the Delhi uh, liquor policy, the excise policy. In fact, Kejriwal has also been mentioned in ED's remand note uh, for YSR uh, CP's uh, MP's son saying that Kejriwal welcomed this MP's entry into the Delhi liquor trade. Uh, clearly testimonies of uh, Kejriwal's aide Vijay Nair uh, that he acted at the behest of Sisodia. Kejriwal was also cited by the ED. The big question that we are asking tonight is why has Arvind Kejriwal not appeared before the Enforcement Directorate? The first summons were sent to him on November November 2nd, he skipped uh, these summons. Second summons were 21st of December. Once again, he skipped them. Uh, he said that summons are only being sent to him for sensationalism. Uh, third summons, January 3rd, uh, and he uh, again said poll campaign was being derailed. January 18th, then February 2nd, February 19th. February 22nd and 4th March and 21st March. These are the nine summons sent to Arvind Kejriwal. Yet he has refused to appear before, uh, before the enforcement directorate. Why? Only Arvind Kejriwal knows. The only legitimate question that we have on the news are tonight is simply this. Will Arvind Kejriwal be arrested tonight? That's the question. And that's the debate coming up on the other side. But before I get to that debate, I'll get you the latest from Arvind Kejriwal's uh, residence uh, going across state to my reporters. Uh, joining me live uh, from ED headquarters is Bhavtosh Singh. And from Arvind Kejriwal's residence is my colleague Isha Priyank Tiwari, uh, Priyank Tripathi also joining me from uh, uh, Shish Mahal, headquarters of the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. Uh, let me ask you, Isha, first, what can you see around you? Heightened security or is the cloud uh, now uh, dispersing away? What are you seeing? And uh, what is what is the expectation there? Any movement inside Arvind Kejriwal's residence?
Yes, in fact, a few seconds ago, the joint CP Ravinder Yadav's convoy went inside Arvind Kejriwal's residence. So that is, in fact, also a hint. But currently showing you the visuals here, section 144 has been imposed. The cops are making sure that no protests can take place. In fact, right now, also very dramatic scenes unfold. I request my camera person to show you here. Detentions are taking place right now as well. Protesters are being picked up and being forced away in these buses here. This is the back gate of the Kejriwal residence where all of this is taking place. In fact, uh, th this is the second gate. There, is also, there are also similar scenes unfolding, but uh, several supporters of Mr. Kejriwal have come in here time and again stating that the BJP is scared and that is precisely why the Enforcement Directorate has, uh, is coming here to, uh, to apparently arrest Mr. Kejriwal, but the ED has only sounded one rhyme that why has Mr. Kejriwal not appeared for the summons if there is nothing to hide. In Big fact, breaking today, news coming in, Isha. I'm, I, I just have to interrupt. We are getting information uh, that Kejriwal has been arrested. Uh, let me try and confirm this. Uh, that is uh, the uh, I information that I'm getting at this moment that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Arrest has been shown by the Enforcement Directorate, uh, Priyank Tripathi, present uh, outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence, Bhaptosh, uh, joining me from ED headquarters. Bhaptosh, can you confirm this from your sources uh, in the Enforcement Directorate and give us an update if uh, formal arrest of Arvind Kejriwal has been recorded? Yes, uh, Navika ma'am, we can break it on times now to our viewers that uh, Arvind Kejriwal, Delhi Chief Minister, has been arrested. The formal arresting of Arvind Kejriwal has taken place. A very big dramatic turn of events. Arvind Kejriwal, Delhi Chief Minister, has been arrested. He has been arrested in the LH Delhi excise camp. All attempts by Arvind Kejriwal to make sure that his arrest does not take place fallen flat when Delhi High Court did not give any kind of interim relief. And Arvind Kejriwal will will be brought here at uh, de, uh, at ED's headquarters anytime soon. It could be just in matter of few, uh, maybe an hour or so. And uh, ED headquarters have formally arrested Arvind Kejriwal, a scam that, alleged scam that exactly. started uh, being investigated. Exactly by the two Bank. hours and nine minutes after uh, the ED teams entered Arvind Kejriwal's residence, Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. That's the latest information. We are getting uh, uh, one to go across uh, straight to Priyank Tripathi. Priyank Tripathi and Isha, if you can tell us which gate each of you are on and where is Arvind Kejriwal going to be brought out from. Uh, we are being told officially the Enforcement Directorate has arrested Arvind Kejriwal. What's the movement? What's the security deployment? And uh, are, you, are you getting uh, any signs uh, of uh, uh, any of the supporters of Arvind Kejriwal? Uh, trying to break the cordon of uh, security outside his house. Uh, yes, certainly, Navika, we will certainly try to and go and get reaction from the supporters of Arvind Kejriwal who have come here uh, because we know that uh, they are not aware about the fact that uh, their leader, uh, the convener of the party, has been put in under arrest by the enforcement directorate. Uh, these are the leaders. Sir, uh, information is that Kejriwal has been arrested by the Pravatan Nidhishale. What is the first thing you have to do? Look, I don't think that they have been arrested by the एडी वाले अंदर गए हुए हैं और अरविंद केजरीवाल जी अंदर हैं लेकिन यदि उनकी गिरफ्तारी होती है तो जनता देश की जनता बहुत दुखी होगी क्योंकि अरविंद केजरीवाल सभी का बेटा है सभी के लिए काम कर रहा है बच्चों के शिक्षा के लिए वो काम कर रहा है तो ये बहुत दुर्भाग्यपूर्ण दो साल में, दो साल में, जब से इस केस का इन्वेस्टिगेशन चल रहा है, दो साल में एक रुपए की भी रिकवरी ना ईडी ना सीबीआई कर पाई है, 500 से ज़्यादा अफसर इस केस में लगे हुए थे, हज़ार से ज़्यादा रेड्स हुए, आम आदमी पार्टी के नेताओं के घर, मंत्रियों के घर, उनके ऑफिसेज में हर जगह रेड हुई, लोकसभा का चुनाव अनाउंस होने के बाद 
अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट एक राजनीतिक साजिश है लेकिन मैं प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को कहना चाहती हूँ कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी यानी कि मुख्यमंत्री अपने पद से इस्तीफा नहीं देंगे ये आपने क्लियर कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये बिल्कुल साफ है और ये बिल्कुल स्पष्ट है इस पर कोई दो राय नहीं है कानूनी लड़ाई का क्या होगा हम बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई पॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल आतिशी वहां कह रहे Atishi there saying that Arvind Kejriwal will continue to remain the chief minister of Delhi he will run the government from the jail and uh, she has confirmed that Arvind Kejriwal the biggest arrest in liquor gate so far Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested memo has been served to him enforcement directorate officials and senior officials of Delhi police still inside Arvind Kejriwal's house a big development in the liquor gate case yesterday here on times now we brought to you not just the enforcement directorate but the cag also talking about this entire case and this scandal and this scam costing about 2000 and 2 crore rupees now the biggest arrest after manish sisodia deputy chief minister then sanjay singh rajya sabha member of the aam aadmi party today arvind kejriwal chief minister of delhi being arrested big development let me go across uh, to uh, our guest this evening uh, i'll keep coming back to you isha priyank and bhavtosh uh, stay on line we'll stay on those visuals from outside uh, arvind kejriwal's residence but go going across uh, to uh, shehzad punawala uh, also joining me tonight sanjay jha anand ranganathan uh, shehzad uh, punawala my first question to you that atishi says uh, arvind kejriwal will continue to be the chief minister of delhi and will run the government from uh, jails if required there is no law stopping that how do you respond to the arrest uh, after the announcement of election dates is this once again going to be called vendetta politics which it is because priyanka gandhi wadra has also tweeted and said chunav ke chalte delhi ke mukhyamantri shri arvind kejriwal ko is tarah target karna ekdam galat aur asamvidhanik hai unconstitutional राजनीति का स्तर इस तरह से गिराना ना प्रधानमंत्री जी को शोभा देता है ना उनकी सरकार को अपने आलोचकों से चुनावी रणभूमि में उतर कर लड़िए उनका डटकर मुकाबला करिए उनकी नीतियां और कार्यशैली पर बेशक हमला करिए यही लोकतंत्र होता है शहजाद पुनावाला देखिए वक्त बदलता है तो काल चक्र बदलता है तो कैसे लोग बदल जाते हैं जो अरविंद केजरीवाल पहले वकालत करते थे कि इस्तीफा होना चाहिए और फिर जांच होनी चाहिए और यही सोनिया गांधी की गिरफ्तारी की मांग करते थे लालू की गिरफ्तारी की मांग करते थे आज जब कोर्ट से राहत नहीं मिल रही आज ही के दिन हाईकोर्ट ने राहत देने से मना किया है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कहा तीन करोड़ का मनी ट्रेल है सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने मनीष सिसोदिया को जेल में रखा है हाईकोर्ट ने संजय सिंह को जेल में रखा है विजय नायर एक साल से जेल में है कोई भी कोर्ट ने किसी भी केस को समन को डिसमिस नहीं किया है तो आज अरविंद केजरीवाल कहते हैं इस्तीफा तो दूर की बात हम जांच में भी सहयोग नहीं देंगे और अब तिहार से जेल चलाए सरकार चलाएंगे तो मान्यवर मुझे बताइए लालू जी भी तिहार से चला सकते थे 
सोनिया जी भी तिहार से चला सकती थी शरद पवार भी तिहार से चला सकते थे उस समय पर तो ये इस्तीफा की मांग करते थे आज वो इनके साथ हो चुके हैं दूसरी बात मैं पूछना चाहता हूं देखिए कितना झूठ बोलते हैं भाई इनको भारत रत्न नोबेल प्राइज मिलना चाहिए कट्टर बेशर्मी और कट्टर झूठ के लिए कोर्ट ने साफ साफ कहा है कि इस स्टेज पर हमें कोई रीजन नहीं पता चलता है कि हम आपके खिलाफ कोर्सिव एक्शन ना हो ऐसा आदेश दे हमें लगता है कि आपको अपेयर होना चाहिए हमें लगता है कि इसमें प्रथम दृष्टिया प्रमाण मिलता है हाई कोर्ट ने सीबीआई के केस में ईडी के केस में नहीं बोला है कि मनीष सिसोदिया ने 100 करोड़ की मिनिमम घूस ली है कल आपने एक सीएजी की रिपोर्ट दिखाई जिसमें 2000 करोड़ की लूट का बताया गया है इतने प्रमाण होने के बाद भी अगर कोई ब्रेजनली बेशर्म हो कट्टर बेशर्मी का प्रदर्शन देता हो और बताइए ये अपने आप को संविधान के ऊपर समझते मुझे बताइए नाविका जी आपको समन जारी हो मुझे समन जारी हो नौ नौ बार समन हम लोग ना जाए ये कोई व्यवस्था हो सकती है क्या A for avoid समन B for भाग जाओ फ्रॉम समन C for cover up on समन D for divert from समन मतलब हेमंत सोरेन नौ समन नहीं जाएंगे आज तक वो बाहर निकले नहीं निकले कोर्ट ने रखा है आज तक ये नौ नौ समन तक क्यों नहीं गए अगर कोई छुपाने वाली बात नहीं थी तो जाते करते शहजाद जी मैंने ऐसा कुछ नहीं किया है जिसके लिए मुझे समन आना पड़े इसीलिए मुझे माफ रखिए मुझे मत लाइए केवल एक वाक्य काल चक्र में लेकिन केवल एक वाक्य देखिए काल चक्र ऐसा घूमता है कि आपने शीश महल के अंदर क्या है ये दिखाने के लिए एक बार केजरीवाल से कहा था तो उन्होंने आपके रिपोर्टर को गिरफ्तार किया आपकी रिपोर्टर तो सह सम्मान बाहर आ चुकी है और कोर्ट ने कहा कि वेंडेटा उसके खिलाफ हुआ पर जो शीश महल नहीं खोल रहा था आज शीश महल में कौन है आप देख लीजिए काल चक्र तो घूमा है और रवि श्रीवास्तव जी मैं सवाल आपसे पूछती हूं शीश महल के अंदर आज ईडी गई है और उसी 45 करोड़ के शीश महल में आज अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है नौ समन नौ समन से उनको दिक्कत थी लेकिन नो रिलीफ फ्रॉम द कोर्ट्स द कोर्ट्स डिड नॉट फाइंड मेरिट एंड इट्स नॉट वंस और ट्वाइस ही इज गॉन टू द कोर्ट्स रिपीटेडली टू गेट अ स्टे ऑन द समन्स ही हैज एन गॉट इट नॉट फ्रॉम द सिंगल जज बेंच ऑफ द डेली हाई कोर्ट नॉट फ्रॉम द डिविजन बेंच ऑफ द डेली हाई कोर्ट सो मिस्टर रवि श्रीवास्तव टूडे वेन द अरेस्ट हैपन्स लीगली कैन यू क्वेश्चन दिस अरेस्ट बिकॉज यू आर नॉट कंप्लाइंग with the the orders and the summons of the enforcement directorate and you've aggravated the situation first let me uh, demolish your uh, statement of <coughs> calling the chief minister residence as a sheesh man in an rti reply the delhi government has confirmed no no you speak about is... the arrest no no you are talking about sheesh man so i have to clarify you sheesh man also listen to it that there was 29 crore rupees expenditure in a span of 9 years starting from 2015 to 2022 so is uh, talking about that sheesh mail and all is all a farce and it's a bogus story second thing mr arvind kejriwal is a thought he is not a person and delhi people and punjab people they all love him now bjp is i can say is doing only a harakiri to themselves they are rattled because there is no other leader who can stand and see in the eye to eye mr narendra modi the second largest party the second largest opposition in the country the congress you have stopped frozen their bank accounts so that there is no democracy in the country the third biggest party in the country that is aam aadmi party you have arrested the chief minister of that is not going to affect any way the whole popularity that aam aadmi party has in the country it is it only shows that the attitude of mr narendra modi and the ruling bjp party that they are trying to malign the aam aadmi party i uh, this court said this this court said that honorable supreme court has also okay. remarked that they are maligning the aam aadmi party by arresting him uh, you know mr ravi shivastav mr ravi shivastav when an arrest takes place the matter will have to go to a court of law and when it goes to a court of law the courts will adjudicate just as they have adjudicated on the issue of the summons but let me get in uh, mr anand ranganathan आनंद रंगनाथन जी अरविंद केजरीवाल इज अ थॉट 
the thought held meetings in his house the thought met uh, members of parliament from the south the thought gets uh, 100 crores as kickbacks as alleged by the ed what kind of a thought is this which gets money which uh, wants to run uh, uh, the government from the jail what kind of a thought is this because uh, it is a thought it is a thought that lives in the shish mahal navika as the phrase goes the thought is i will come back to you ravi shivastar ji just calm down seconds i will tell you the thought there was one mr sharad reddy from arvika <coughs> he was arrested navika yesterday also this man was constantly heckling and interrupting electoral bond today also 5 crore rupees i don't know what kind of month on health ground these rabble rousers and he bought electoral shivastar ji ravi navika Navika, can I please have my say? This constant heckling and interruption. Ravi Shiva, Ravi Shivastav ji, you know, allow Anand Ranganathan to speak. I'll allow put all the allow. other uh, 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 faders down. Anand Ranganathan, please tell me Hello. about this thought. <laughs> Navika, sab koi keh raha hai ki wo aadmi nahi hai, wo thoughts hai. So let me summon my thoughts and tell you, explain a little. Kejriwal is the same man who announced himself as an aam aadmi. and for months he has decided that he was going to blatantly ignore the summons from a constitutional agency and by the way the ed conviction rate for pmla cases is 95% so this isn't some political witch hunt and an aam aadmi respects the law of the land doesn't he navika let me also tell you is this not the same aam aadmi party that arrested a congress mla 6 months ago on a case that the supreme court had itself squashed and the congress mla was arrested based on investigations carried out by ED then aap said let law take its own course and here it is not willing to make the same exception now i want to give you two reasons that will always differentiate between what the fact is and what the hear says number 1 for all those who say that the ED is using draconian provisions let me inform them that each and every provision has been vetted by the supreme court three judge bench and not only ratified but also underlined and stamped for example reverse burden of proof is to stay it is not mandatory to give ecir bail to be made extremely stringent money laundering is to be considered as a heinous as terrorism attachment of property is to be allowed statements made to ed are to be made admissible these are the facts number 2 is it not also a fact that the supreme court order of 2 months ago pertain to the excise case and the supreme court said the excess amount of 7% commission earned by the wholesale distributors of 338 crores constitute an offence as defined under section 7 of the poc act the fact of the matter is these are proceeds of crimes on court finally i want to say this at every step of the way yes you might say ed is an arm of the government you might be justified in saying so but the fact of the matter is when you accuse modi government are you accusing the judiciary because every step of the way every inch of the crawling where ed has summoned not one twice but nine times and today also in the high court the court has been adjudicating on this matter the court has been keeping a keen eye on this so unless you say that modi might be corrupt high court is also corrupt supreme court is also corrupt you have no locus standi well let me let me get in uh, uh, sayed abbas on this and abbas bhai my question to you is simply this nine summons ordinary people are subject to the law of the land in this case nine summons were sent to mr kejriwal kabhi vipassana hai kabhi it is state elections kabhi is campaigning in gujarat kabhi is campaigning in rajasthan sometimes he says you please tell me first what is the allegation against me am i an accused or a witness nobody can put conditions on a investigation agency you just have to comply and it is under a law that these uh, uh, agencies are made are there separate laws for mr kejriwal just like he wants to start a separate trend of running a government from the jail something which is diametrically opposite to what he maintained in 2013 in his avatar as a crusader in the india against corruption what's going on aam aadmi se khas aadmi kab ban gaye arvind kejriwal 45 crore ke ghar mein rehte hain aur law ki dhajiyan udate hain 
Navika ji, that's indeed a legitimate question which I've been answering all day long. You know, nine summons, why hasn't he been able to appear before the in, uh, enforcement directorate? And I'll answer you straight. Who is Anvind Kejriwal? He's the leader of India's fastest political party. As a matter of fact, one of the best political startup we have seen. He's the leader of not just one state, but two states. Punjab, where we have the Chief Minister Bhagwat Man, and here in Delhi, we have Chief Minister Shri Arvind Kejriwal. Aadmi party is expanding, and who to better ask than the Bharatiya Janata Party? Today, I tell you, Navika ji, today the Bharatiya Janata Party is absolutely rattled by this man. Why so? Three times Bharatiya Janata Party has not been able to defeat Arvind Kejriwal in Delhi. This is a political party to look out for. Arvind Kejriwal today is indeed a revolutionary leader who has been able to bring what the Bharatiya Janata Party couldn't do in 10 years. Arvind Kejriwal was able to get two states. Also, let me tell you, why are my BJP friends? Shazad bhai, aap kis baat ke laddu baat rahe hai? Aap kyun khush ho rahe hai? Kyun celebrate kar rahe hai? Respected sir, I challenge today the BJP spokesperson. Can you answer me? Does an arrest mean a conviction order of the High Court? Is it a conviction order of the Supreme Court? What are you trying to celebrate, sir? Bhai sahab, ye satta kursi har hamesha nahi rehta. Kal aana hai, kal wapas jana hai. Remember, Punavika ji and my dear friend Shahzad, bhai, ye kab tak chalega? Ajit Pawar, jiske Modi ji keh rete, naturally kar party aare hai. Ajit Pawar ke bhoot sari leaders aapke saath hai. Could you, sir, I challenge you on time, sir, and tell you, could you please update me on the CBI, ED, IT cases on Ajit Pawar faction? Or leave that. Or Eknath Shinde's leaders. Or leave that. Himant Abhiswar Sarma. Respected, sir, why is today a BJP seen as a washing machine party? Pehle to washing powder nirma, abhi washing machine bhajpa. Ho kya raha hai aapke party mein? I bet and challenge on your show, Navika ji, my friend Shahzad will not answer because he has no answers. He himself has come from the Congress to the BJP. So I can completely understand. Last point, Navika ji. Last 30 seconds. My dear friend, let me tell you one thing very importantly today. Tum jitna bhi sach ko dabao ge, tum parajit nahi kar sakte, Shahzad bhai. Aapko bata raha hum mein. CBI, ED, IT, aaj aapke injre ke dhote ho chuke hai. Lekin, aapko bata dhum. Arvind Kejriwal ji, Satyendar Jain, Mani Sosyodhya will come back very strongly. And they will win the mandate of Delhi again. BJP might try to defeat them. Are dum hai na to Delhi mein hara ke dikhao. Dum hai na to Punjab mein hara ke dikhao. Try to beat us in the public. Abbas bhai, please campaigning. Campaigning for the political party is the birthright of Mr. Kejriwal. And nobody, nobody has objected to the fact that he has won elections. I've never contested the fact. Having said that, are laws different for chief ministers and are laws different from for the Aam Admi is the question I asked you. Politically, but, he's but got the uh, uh, votes of the people, which is why he's the chief minister. But he has not got the vote of the people to do a scam. And if there is a scam, the investigation should happen. And let me Navika tell you, yes, Harshwadhan Tripathi ji, ye bar bar jo election jeet ne, er, ne, no, Abbas, Abbas, bhai, now just hold your horses, hold your horses. I want to tell you how many times courts have gotten into this matter. February 6th, ED moved Delhi's district court against Kejriwal's uh, non-compliance on summons. District court on February 7th uh, uh, took this and asked uh, uh, Kejriwal to appear in court on 17th of February. Kejriwal virtually appeared before the district court on 17th February and cited trust motion in assembly, sought an extension till March 16th. On 6th March, the ED moved a second complaint against Kejriwal of non-compliance. On March 14th, Supreme Court was moved by Arvind Kejriwal. On Ma March 15th, Kejriwal's plea against order of district court was refused by the Supreme Court, no less. Then Kejriwal appeared on March 16th before the district court was given bail, uh, 15,000 uh, personal bond and 1 lakh security, he got bail. March 18th, he was summoned again for the ninth time. And Arvind Kejriwal moved uh, Delhi High Court once on 21st and then again to the division bench. Nowhere in no court has he got any relief. Itna chode kis baat ke liye ho rahe hain ki bhai sirf rajniti pe baat ho rahi hain is court ke puri karwai par koi ek shabd bolne ko tayar nahi hai Harshwardhan Tripathi ji. से पहले तो मैं ये कहूंगा कि ईडी एजेंसी बहुत ठीक काम नहीं कर रही ये तरीका नहीं हो सकता है 
ईडी के पास इतने सॉलिड प्रूफ थे कि हाई कोर्ट से राहत नहीं मिली और इतने समन्स का इंतजार करती रही क्या आम आदमी होता तो उसको उठाकर अब तक ईटी ने जेल में नहीं डाल दिया होता क्या एक सामान्य सा दरोगा एक पुलिस स्टेशन में एक छोटी सी रिपोर्ट हो जाए तो उस पर अब तक उसकी गिरफ्तारी नहीं होती और दसवें सम्मन पर जाकर गिरफ्तारी होती है सुप्रीम कोर्ट तक आम आदमी पार्टी चली गई है और अब्बास जी इतना बढ़िया भाषण कर रहे हैं अरे भाई ऐसा ही था तो पंजाब में अपने मंत्री को क्यों जेल भेज दिया था वो भी तो जीत कर आया था ना विधायक बन क्यों यहां पर एक मंत्री के ऊपर आरोप लगा था उसको हटाना पड़ा था क्या चुनाव जीतना भ्रष्टाचार करने का गलत तरीके से पैसे करने का शराब कंपनियों के साथ मिलकर उगाही करने का उसका कोई राइट दे देता है क्या अधिकार दे देता है क्या और यह मामला तो सबसे कमाल का है इसमें तो देश के अलग अलग हिस्सों में जिस तरह से लिकर पॉलिसी को लेकर लिकर स्कैम किया गया साउथ से लेकर नॉर्थ तक दिल्ली सेंटर में बैठा हुआ है पंजाब से लेकर हैदराबाद तक ये तो कमाल हो गया इसका मतलब कि इतने शातिर तरीके से इतने शातिर तरीके से और उसमें अगर पूरी सरकार शामिल है मुख्यमंत्री शामिल है उप मुख्यमंत्री जो शराब मंत्री है वो शामिल है दूसरे लोग शामिल है तो ये तो मुझे लगता है कि आजाद भारत के इतिहास में ऐसा भी मामला कोई नहीं हुआ ठीक बात है कि जिस तरह की तरक्की आम आदमी पार्टी की हुई उतनी तरक्की किसी पार्टी की नहीं हुई भारतीय जनता पार्टी को धीरे 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 सत्ता मिली यहां तो अचानक सत्ता मिली क्या हुआ सत्ता शायद नहीं पचा पाए क्या यह सवाल भी खड़ा होता है और न्यायालयों को भी यह सोचना पड़ेगा क्योंकि वो अगर इस तरह के मामलों में ज्यादा मौके देते हैं तो आम जनता ये सवाल तो पूछेगी ना माय लॉर्ड हमारा क्या दोष है ये सवाल तो पूछा जाएगा और ईडी जैसी एजेंसी से भी ये सवाल पूछा जाएगा कि जब तीसरे सम्मन के बाद आप न्यायालय में जाकर उनसे ये ऑर्डर ले सकते थे तो आपने नौ सम्मन का इंतजार क्यों किया लेकिन नविका जी आज जब ये गिरफ्तारी की खबर आ रही है तो यकीन मानिए इस देश को भी पता है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल को जितना मौका मिलना चाहिए था उससे ज्यादा मौका मिला है और मैं फिर से कह रहा हूं अगर अरविंद केजरीवाल पर जो भी आरोप लगेंगे जो चार्जशीट आई क्योंकि अभी तो आरोप लगे भी नहीं अभी तो सिर्फ पूछताछ हो रही है कल को अगर वो न्यायालय से कानूनी तौर पर खारिज होता है तो हम उसकी बात करेंगे लेकिन आज अरविंद केजरीवाल इस घोटाले में बुरी तरह से फंसते दिख रहे हैं द न्यूज आवर फर्स्ट विल बी राइट बैक आफ्टर द ब्रेक वेन जर्नलिज्म इज लेड बाय इंटेग्रिटी and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है खतरे में है Because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. 
I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Hushita Malhotra. And you're watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. You're watching the news hour first. Sanjay Jha. Sanjay Jha, my question is only so much. Of course, everything that is being stated by the enforcement directorate will have to go through the legal process and will be examined by the courts. Nobody is saying that there is a conviction that the uh, allegations are true and that Arvind Kejriwal should be hanged. But there are two issues that I want to raise today. Nine summons. Does anybody wait to serve nine summons to an ordinary person the way it was, uh, uh, you know, given to Arvind Kejriwal? Do honest, ordinary people not have to obey the law of the land? And on the second issue, where it is being now stated by all his party members, the ministers, uh, the speaker of uh, Delhi Assembly, that so what if he's arrested? He's going to run the government from the jail. I want to ask you, all those who stood... Uh, uh, you know, wherever they could on very uh, many platforms, uh, rallies and said that constitution is uh, in danger. Today, have they lost their voice? Is this what our forefathers made the constitution for? That people in power could actually defy and uh, just run their own laws of the land? Navika, there are two aspects to the answer. One is obviously judicial or legal. The other is political. As far as the legal is concerned, I think Aam Aadmi Party has articulated their opinion quite vociferously, I think. I think there is one selective cherry picking being done here because the gentleman who spoke before me, trying to sound as if he was the fountainhead of legal uh, knowledge, skipped a very elementary truth that the Delhi High Court today actually gave a notice to the ED saying we give you enough time to come up with substantive documentary evidence that you have a case against Arvind Kejriwal. So while it did not stop a potential arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, they actually gave a notice to the ED to say that we do not know whether you have sufficient basis, information or foundation to proceed against Kejriwal. They gave them time. But the very fact that the ED has acted today actually makes it a political case. And I'll give you a short answer. There are a couple of developments that, Navika, you have to juxtapose one next to the other. The Indian National Congress's bank accounts are frozen. I can tell you that anybody who knows tax logs will tell you how easy it is to do that. Normally used as an item of intimidation and threat. And this is being done to the largest political party in India during the time of the election. Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested a very popular leader, and I can tell you why Narendra Modi is terribly nervous of Kejriwal. And I've said so openly in programs, I've tweeted about it. Arvind Kejriwal as an orator beats Narendra Modi hands down. There is no comparison between the two of them. And I think he would be worried that if Arvind Kejriwal went campaigning, it will hurt the BJP tremendously because Arvind Kejriwal is not only going to campaign for the AAP, he'll campaign for the India Alliance. Third, Hemant Soren is in jail. I mean, can we ignore the fact that two chief ministers have gone into jail in the case in, in the last few weeks? And you have the bank accounts of the Congress party frozen. This is telling you, Navika, serious message. And I'll tell you why I'm taking a huge reason actually to actually take some positive out of this. Is the BJP in some serious electoral panic? Does Narendra Modi know something that nobody else does? Is the BJP today demonstrating to all of us that if he's got a hat trick, if the BJP is on a roll, no party would do what the BJP is doing today. We all know that the ED is a political instrument in the hands of the BJP. So if they are doing what they're doing, there is something seriously 
a fault line that nobody is able to predict but i'm sure mr modi and mr shah know the truth oh, there is a ground swell right. against the bjp across the country okay mr modi very nervous uh, i'm coming to you shahzad because abhijit ayer mitra hasn't spoken after that i'll come to you shahzad and you will rebut everybody's charges uh, one by one if i could just take 20 30 seconds uh, to rebut uh, it because it's okay essential. all right go ahead first of all mr kejriwal's so called oratory has been around from 2014 where he lost the lok sabha elections got less than nota got less than nota in 2019 and also he has one mp we have 303 par hum dar gaye he lost 204 seats pe deposits in the last round of assembly elections where he was doing star pracharak giri but having said that it's not about his oratory or popularity it's about the legality and sanjay jha you were celebrating the supreme court word on chandigarh today the courts have denied him any relief this is the first time i am hearing that because the court has issued a show cause and has said specifically we do not stop any agency from any course of action they may or may not want to take you are saying that the agency is not now duty bound because they have been issued a show cause to not arrest somebody but has the cause summons been quashed as per your logic you are saying summons were illegal why haven't the summons been declared illegal why hasn't sanjay singh got relief from high court why hasn't the manish sisodia got relief from supreme court why hasn't vijay nair got relief? if also apart from that sanjay ja i have only one question to ask you are whatever you are your suspended logic and status both but the official congress till last week was saying last month was saying that this case reeks of corruption and that he must be arrested now has the congress party done a u turn and secondly the same ed which you are saying is a handmaiden of the government is the same ed that has uh, been used by the arvind kejriwal government in punjab to arrest mr khera that basis has been used so how is ed good there the same ed the uh, aam aadmi party was saying should have arrested absolutely valid questions Bob demolishing Bob sanjay jha's argument but i'm going straight outside arvind kejriwal's residence because there's movement there uh, the road outside his house is being cleared up uh, isha my colleague joining me from there and isha please show us the visuals and uh, uh, is arvind kejriwal be brought, uh, being brought out any moment now uh, what uh, can you see uh, and and tell I love you us <laughs> Yes in fact currently at the moment we uh, we can see that the police is completely clearing out the way we are expecting that the uh, that Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out from this gate in fact this this these ropes have also been placed just right now the police is completely cleared off this road in a few minutes from now we are expecting that the joint cp of delhi ravindra yadav his car was, uh, went inside we are expecting that entire convoy to come convoy to come out it will also consist of Arvind Kejriwal here at the moment that was the bus that was also being used for detaining uh, uh, protesters and you can see that this road is completely being emptied all the protesters who did come here even one even one of them if they were raising slogans they have been pushed back into the buses no and the police is maintaining that no protester will be there on that road the media personnel has also been cleared the rope is being carried in fact here also i request my camera person to show you the visuals the barricading has gone to this side we are expecting arvind kejriwal to walk out of here any moment from now from uh, to, uh, to be taken out of here any moment from now preparations fully in place just a few seconds in just a few moments from now we will see the, the chief minister of delhi All arrest right. the chief minister Isha, of delhi you keep your you court. keep your cameras trained there we'll come out we'll come back to you as soon as we see movement there there is uh, more information coming in from uh, the supreme court the registrar listing uh, says the vacation registrar who entertains uh, pleas for urgent hearing has not got any request for an immediate hearing from the aam aadmi party hearing looks highly unlikely tonight sources are saying that though kejriwal has moved the supreme court crucial additional documents are still to be filed so will press for a hearing. during tomorrow morning only as of now uh, no uh, hint of any hearing taking place uh, in the supreme court tonight meanwhile uh, we are also seeing uh, movement uh, on the gates of arvind kejriwal's uh, residence priyank tripathi my colleague uh, on another gate two gates uh, one side isha uh, she's towards the back end side of the shish mahal uh, uh, priyank tripathi in the uh, front lane of arvind kejriwal 
Bengal's residents. And Priyank, what can you see? Uh, are they keeping reporters guessing, the media guessing which gate is Arvind Gejriwal going to come out from? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, see, Navika, there are two possibilities uh, because there are only uh, two uh, entry and exit point which can uh, be used by the ED officials. That's why uh, the Delhi Police senior officials have come out and uh, Ravinder Yadav was also here. We saw the joint CP of the range who is also here to see the best possible route. Uh, there is only one possibility which is left for the police official is to uh, give a, a best way for the ED officials from here. Uh, the big problem was uh, the large number of supporters who had gathered here, but since the number of supporters have moved towards this other side, where Isha is standing, uh, certainly the Delhi police we could be possibly using uh, this uh, stretch of the road to give a clear passage for Arvind Kejwal to be taken to the enforcement directorate. Let's show you what is there on the main road. Uh, that is the main road where uh, Sachin will be showing you. This is the main road, Navika, which is right opposite uh, to the Delhi Sachivale. Uh, just few moments back, we saw that uh, this road had very huge traffic jam. Now both the carriageways have been stopped. Uh, the Delhi police has certainly given a clear passage for all those vehicles. So the possibility of uh, Arvind Kejwal being taken away uh, from the gate from where Isha uh, is standing is uh, certainly slowly going down because this is a route which could be taken by the uh, uh, by the ED official knowing the fact that most of the AAP supporter after listening to the breaking information that Arvind Kejwal has been arrested moved to the other side and looking at the less number of supporter this is the only possibility but it's going to be very important that uh, whether uh, the Supreme Court hearing will actually happen or not because what we're getting to know that the Star General does not have information regarding this particular petition uh, which has been moved from the side of Arvind Kejwal because uh, today we saw that High Court has given no uh, relief. Uh, the petition of uh, no coercive action against Arvind Kejwal, which was moved by the councils of Amani Party, uh, was certainly clubbed with the petition. The we'll regular keep petition our and cameras which is trained and I'll, uh, let me go across. Thanks, uh, Priyank. We'll keep coming back to you and I'm uh, getting across uh, to uh, Abhijit Ayer Mitra. Sorry for making you wait, but Abhijit... Uh, Fast uh, developments happening right outside there and uh, any time now Arvind Kejriwal will uh, be brought out. Uh, Vivek Silas of the Samajwadi Party also joining the debate. Uh, but uh, Abhijit, uh, once again, does the political argument that Priyanka Gandhi Vadra is using, the Aam Admi Party is using, Dr. Sanjay Jha is using, does it actually stand, especially in a matter that is legal, a scam? swindling of money charge, uh, money laundering charge, these, these are not political allegations. These are uh, allegations that will have to be proved in a court of law. So I want to ask you, is the response becoming more political because there are no legal answers uh, to defend uh, the charges against uh, Arvind Kejriwal? So, the, uh, you know, the answers that are being thrown up aren't political now, Navika, they're farcical. They just try to throw, throw dust. Let me just separate all the strands because I think the way, uh, you know, Sanjay has woven, uh, he's managed to confuse enough of our viewers. There are three issues here. The ED's heavy-handedness, which should be condemned, but the ED has always been heavy-handed since, uh, you know, Indira Gandhi and co founded it or Nehru founded it. I don't know who founded it. They've always been like this. This is not a new modus operandi for them. The second is the privilege that Arvind Kejriwal gets. Everybody else has to respond within the first three notices or then you get arrested on the fourth. He has been given nine separate issues. The third, which I am going to focus on, is corruption. Now, in corruption, there are three aspects out here. The first is the license aspect. The second is the procedural aspect and the third is the profit aspect. What was the procedural aspect? It was such a badly drafted policy that it went back to Indira Gandhi's license raj. This was not capitalism where anybody who can pay a license fee is given a this thing. This was competitive bidding. It was artificially divided into 32 zones where there would only be 27 people, uh, 27 vendors in each zone and every municipal ward would have two to three uh, vendors. This in itself, we know from Indira Gandhi's license Raj days, was meant to be for corruption. This is how everything, this is why you were burdened with just one car, the ambassador, for so long, for 30, 40 years after your independence, right? 
we know for a fact that this is a corrupt uh, issue. We know from all the raids that have happened that money has exchanged hands out here in some form or the other. Because the second part of it is that some of the L1 licensees then started outsourcing their uh, 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 giving credit notes and things like that, which was a violation, first of all, of the L1 award in itself. Which brings me to the second point, which is the process violation. Not only were those L1s uh, giving all these credit notes to the retail vendors and things, which they were not meant to do, the government also, without consulting the LG, then waived the license fee for 144 crores, the tendered license fee, which they were not allowed to do. The third point we come, which is the profit aspect of it, which the government claims there was a loss and the, the uh, AAP claims there was an 8,000 crore profit. That I think is, you know, these profit and loss calculations are up in the air. They don't prove corruption. But the first two, the procedural violation and the way the wards were divided and the L1, L2 contracts were given and the entire way in which certain things were discounted. Now, you see, discounting can totally happen. You can uh, reduce the price, give uh, discounts and things, and your uh, sales will zoom uh, because of quantity. That is perfectly fine. True. The problem here is you pick specific foreign True. vendors, like 50 rupees discount on uh, uh, the uh, 50 rupee import fee on beer and things like that, to deliberately, very targeted, it wasn't a blanket, uh, uh, this thing. It was for very specific foreign vendors that it was done. Why? So there is so much selectivity out here. The corruption is so in your face. A five-year-old child can say it's corruption. No, but this is being called a political vendetta and Vivek Silas. You know, the entire political class uh, today uh, is up in arms, uh, again, calling this murder of democracy, uh, constitution being derailed, Derek O'Brien of the Trinomool Congress, Priyanka Gandhi, Badra, all of them coming out. And we can take all of those tweets on air, uh, you know, to see the political reaction coming in. My question, Vivek Silas, is nobody can uh, actually call this uh, illegal because, A, there is no stay from the courts uh, stopping the ED for the arrest, number one. And number two, this matter will go to court. Manish Sisodia has gone up to the Supreme Court but has not got bail for one year in the liquor scam. Sanjay Singh, since October till today, has gone up to the Supreme Court and not got bail till, the, till date. Arvind Kejriwal has been given enough and more opportunities, nine summons, doesn't want to even appear and answer questions and has got no relief from the courts. So what are we saying that the constitution has been shredded to pieces? This is going by the law and the law as it stands today. Yes, very good evening to you, Navika ji. I think... Uh, uh, if we see the legality of it, yes, it is very much legal, and the, finally the court has to decide about it. But uh, uh, here, Mr. Kejriwal is uh, the chief minister of uh, Delhi, and if we see, there are so many other chief ministers like. So he should uh, not Raymond be ar Sarma, uh, arrested. See, uh, he should not be uh, summoned. Uh, Pawar. No, 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 no. No, no, he, he should be definitely be uh, summoned if the CBI thinks, but definitely it, it looks like a political vendetta. I'll tell you how, how and uh, why. Because the, the, the chief minister of uh, Assam also has a lot of cases against him. But people should know that why the CB or the ED, is, ED are not going to his house. Why? That is a question. Everyone is talking about it. It's, it's on the streets. The common man is talking about it. Okay, why only Mr. Kejriwal? Why only Mr. Mr. Heman Suren, why only the, uh, you know, accounts of the Congress party are being frozen? What, Mr. what about Mr. Ajit Pawar, who, whom uh, the Honorable Prime Minister himself said that he is a model of corruption? Why the, the ED or the CBI is not going to him? There are many other leaders, countless leaders who are in the party, in the party who are involved in cases of corruption. And the ED is absolutely mum and quiet. ED also says that we have lost the files. Can anyone damn believe it? No one can believe it, Navika ji, okay. that the ED has lost the files. This is no excuse. Fair Ultimately, question. it will come out. Fair the, question. Let, let me get in Anand Ranganathan to answer this. 
आनंद रंगनाथन ओके ऑल राइट फेयर पॉइंट मेड आनंद रंगनाथन इज दी ईडी बीइंग सिलेक्टिव आर बीजेपी एंड अदर करप्ट लीडर्स हु ज्वाइन द बीजेपी गोइंग थ्रू अ वॉशिंग मशीन वाइल ओनली द वंस हु डोंट कंप्लाई टू द प्रेशर्स ऑफ द बीजेपी फेसिंग द म्यूजिक इट्स इट्स अ चार्ज दैट द ऑपोजिशन हैज मेड सेवरल टाइम बट डज दैट चार्ज स्टैंड टूडे वेन द कोर्ट्स हैव नॉट गिवन एनी रिलीफ टू अरविंद केजरीवाल now we got three points number 1 uh, i don't agree that ed is uh, or bjp is a washing machine it is now a dhobi ghat and ed is one of the mechanisms by which washing machine has been turned into a dhobi ghat the fact of the matter is yes ed is selective and there is data to prove it 95% of the op- leaders politicians who are being investigated by ed are from the opposition so yes that's a fact but again i ask and i re- reiterate here how is that connected to the happenings of today or of a month where kejriwal has been summoned nine times because as i say and i repeat every single foot of the way the court is supervising this so yes while the ed is totally not independent the fact of the matter is when the courts are overseeing it for example let me give an example of cbi now yes cbi also cbi also is biased it is not independent at all and i was the first one to say this that now right now the shoulder that the parrot is sitting on is narendra modi's shoulder but is it also not a case that kolkata high court was listening to the whole sandesh khali matter and kolkata high court ordered the police there to shift the perpetrator give him away to the cbi so when matters reach the court you have to end and you have to accept that yes the bias is no longer valid in cases where the court is supervising and today is the exemplar of such case where right from day 1 from the first second kejriwal has been calling on the court not only just the lower courts but the higher court as well and today right now he's gone to the highest court so please tell me yes the ed is biased uh, vivek ji but how is that connected to what the kejriwal government or arvind kejriwal has been subjected to two are different things sir well uh, i have only 2 minutes uh, uh, sorry uh, 30 seconds on this show so uh, respond to that uh, said abbas simple i'm i'm very glad you know this is the reason why navika ji have always held great respect for my friend anand ranganathan he has said it there you know there's a neutral point that indeed ed is selective indeed ed is biased and that is the fact now the question that is raised what about the courts what about the judges same to my dear friend anand ranganathan i ask him today sir the courts shall certainly decide but the way the bjp is crafting this is arvind kejriwal a criminal is there a conviction order from the high court is there a conviction order from the supreme court absolutely nothing we need to understand today the bharatiya janata party is my, using all its might my because friend, he is not even answered he is not the... even answered a single question he has not responded to nine summons that is why that is why he has forced the hand of the enforcement directorate of course the conviction will have to come when the court see that the evidence is stacked up if not arvind kejriwal will be released the question that i am asking tonight ladies and gentlemen is just this much i am asking has arvind kejriwal forced and aggravated his case uh, by making the ed really take uh, this opportunity to arrest him because he's got uh, he's uh, you know completely ignored nine summons and he has got no relief from the states isn't the ed now well within his its rights uh, to go out and arrest him it's a question and political rhetoric aside there is place for whether this should be the timing before the elections is it the timing i completely agree with this arvind kejriwal popularly elected but does that mean that popularly elected politicians have a separate law from the law that is followed by the aam aadmi it's a question the aam aadmi party's uh, chief minister will have to answer his house the shish mahal today has visitors and visitors of security forces ed officials all asking him the questions because has he forced their hand 
and got no relief from the courts is it illegal or is there only a political argument that is left and that can be repeated ad nauseum because it is election season the news hour first we'll be right back after the break When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है खतरे में है Because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shreya Malhotra, and you're watching the Morning News. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here, and three days later, she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm, Azmi. That why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force, which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of actual control. We report from ground zero. Times now, action begins here. Explosive, exclusive, and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive into stories that matter. Raising questions you won't ask. Your voice is now our voice. Watch Blueprint with me, Meghna and Pranesh. You were watching the News Hour first. a newsy day indeed and it's going to be a long night as well outside the residence of Arvind Kejriwal where massive security deployment has been put in place his supporters being detained from outside his residence as well and any moment now with elaborate security arrangements ropes that have been put into place and in fact a huge presence of uh, uh, police of central armed paramilitary forces which are all present at Arvind Kejriwal's residence as well as the enforcement directorate headquarters in the heart of New Delhi that's where all the action is two spots where the action is currently being seen we've also been told that Aam Aadmi Party has approached the Supreme Court we will bring you updates from all of those areas our reporters are tracking every movement every development you're going to hear it first 
here on Times Now. So viewers, let's get you updated with what really has happened. It's the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind K. Jawal, has been formally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. The proceedings as far as the arrest are concerned are currently underway. And in fact, we understand that uh, this is happening after nine summons were skipped by Arvind Kejriwal. They were issued by the probe agency and then he approached the High Court today. Now, we also saw high drama outside the Chief Minister's residence from late evening. A team of ED officials swooped down at Kejriwal's residence as many as 12 ED officials entered the Chief Minister's residence, including Joint Director and Additional Director who were leading the team. The questioning of the Chief Minister went on for two hours during which the Enforcement Directorate team also seized Kejriwal's phones. In the meantime, security was enhanced outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence with multiple vehicles of the CAPF personnel being seen entering Kejriwal's house and some were even stationed outside. Now, senior AAP leaders, including Delhi ministers Atishi and Saurabh Bhardwaj, rushed to the chief minister's residence. They've slammed the arrest and declared that he will run the government from inside jail. कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी The Aam Aadmi Party has approached the Supreme Court seeking an urgent hearing tonight itself. However, the Supreme Court Registrar says that the vacation registrar who entertains a plea for urgent hearing has not got any request for immediate hearing as such. The hearing looks highly unlikely. And sources say that uh, though Kejriwal has moved the Supreme Court, certain additional documents are to be filed. So most likely the AAP will press for a hearing tomorrow only in this entire case. Remember that they are challenging what happened in the High Court earlier where they did not grant any interim protection from coercive action as far as Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Now, the India bloc has come out in defense of Kejriwal, calling his arrest political vendetta. But the timing is very, very odd. I mean, I've never heard any search agency going to anybody's house late at night. I mean, normally one hears of income tax rates and others that come in the morning because then they have the whole day in front of them. Timing is something that I, I really don't support. And I would say that the ED is acting, uh, I would say in a manner that is not expected of them. If, you know, if you had got an opportunity by the court to question him, you could have gone tomorrow morning or, or maybe a day later, summoned him, asked him to come uh, for uh, a, a, you know, in, a, for whatever talking to you, and in, after that he had not cooperated, you could have done that. But I think this is not not the way you behave with any person, leave alone a chief minister. Why this time? Why have they chosen just before elections? Why are they arresting? First they arrested Soren Saab. Now they have arrested Arvind Kejriwal. Mm. This is being done to destabilize the India Alliance. Mm. They've seized our accounts, as you know. Mm. All these steps have been taken by a nervous BJP mm. to ensure that we get a little derailed. Mm. But believe me, we are not getting derailed. People are watching what's happening, what's being done to us. Mm. People will come out and support us and reject this authoritarian regime. Now, the BJP has welcomed this arrest, saying that after running away from the law for months, Kejriwal will finally have to face the law. अगर मुझे एक वाक्य में कहना पड़े अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर के बाहर क्या हो रहा है तो मैं कहूंगा पार्टी के नेता और आम आदमी पार्टी के कुछ मंत्री कर रहे हैं ये कोई पहला केस नहीं है अगर आपकी एक्साइज पॉलिसी इतनी अच्छी थी जैसा कि आप बता रहे थे तो आपने एक्साइज पॉलिसी को क्यों रद्द किया क्यों उसे रद्द किया गया इसका जवाब आज तक नहीं मिला कानून अपना काम कर रहा और कानून के तहत अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है लेकिन जिस प्रकार का माहौल बनाने की कोशिश की गई कि उनके साथ वेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है इस सरासर गलत है नौ संबंध दिए गए अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब को 
उनके लिए पिपाशरा इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए मध्य प्रदेश चुनाव इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए दिवाली इंपॉर्टेंट थी लेकिन ईडी के सवालों के जवाब देना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं था क्या कह रहे हैं आपके लोग जेल से शासन करेंगे ये आपके लोग कह रहे हैं कि आप जेल से शासन चलाएंगे ये है आपका नई तरह की राजनीति जेल से शासन चलाने वालों आप तो कहते थे कि अगर गिरफ्तारी होती है या सबूत तो पहले इस्तीफा होना चाहिए जब आपके ऊपर आरोप लगते थे कहते पहले इस्तीफा उसके बाद भी बात करेंगे आज अब आप गिरफ्तार हो गए हो क्यों नहीं इस्तीफा देते सवाल ये है so what are the ed's claims as far as kejriwal's alleged involvement in likagate is concerned ed's claim one is that k kavita conspired with aap netas including kejriwal and sosodia the second claim is that in exchange of favors kavita involved in paying of 100 crore rupees they've also said that corruption and conspiracy in the making and implementation of the liquor policy they've also said that there's a stream of illegal funds generated from wholesalers for the aam aadmi party The fifth claim is that Kavitha was to recover proceeds of crime paid in advance to the Aam Aadmi Party. The claim number six is that proceeds of crime were to be recovered through this conspiracy. Now, this is what the ED had said on its press note on the 18th of March, as far as the Delhi liquor scam is concerned. Now, this is, of course, the investigation that the Enforcement Directorate has specifically mentioned. Now, the ED's charge sheet into this entire matter has also mentioned the name of Arvind Kejriwal. They have said in the supplementary charge sheet that Vijay Nair arranged Kejriwal Mahendru's FaceTime call. Now, Kejriwal has told Mahendru that Vijay is my boy, and I trust him. ED's remand note has also specifically mentioned Kejriwal's name. Now this is as far as the YSR CP MP son MS Reddy who met Kejriwal to know more about the Delhi excise policy Kejriwal welcomed the member of parliament's entry into the Delhi liquor trade is what has been mentioned by the agencies there are testimonies of Manoj Rai a Pernod record employee with that Vijay Rai acted on the behest of Sisodia and Kejriwal The ED note says that Vijay Nair orchestrated the entire scam as well. I don't forget there's also the statement of C Arvind who was the ex secretary of the former deputy chief minister Manish Sisodia. What has he said? He has said that the Sisodia as well as the GOM disregarded recommendations the up profit margin to 12% for a 6% kickback the decision was reportedly taken at Kejriwal's residence that's the allegation that has been made so a series of occasions when arvind kejriwal's name has figured in the latest uh, of course press note of the enforcement directorate they have cited the role and the linkages of arvind kejriwal and sisodia allegedly with k kavita who was also incidentally arrested just 6 days ago let's quickly take this across to our reporters joining us from across the national capital we have with us bhavtosh singh who is joining us live uh, from the ed headquarters priyank tripathi is live with us from kejriwal's uh, uh, residence we also have with us uh, rame krishnan rana who's on route to the ed office we have with us also uh, from the supreme court uh, uh, harish nair who's going to be joining us in just a minute tejshree is joining us live from the ed office niamika is also live from the national capital as is mohit but let's quickly take this across to bhavtosh singh first bhavtosh uh, what really is going on what is the enforcement directorate telling you how soon can we expect kejriwal and that convoy of the security personnel to emerge from his residence well the arrest has happened that uh, the exact time of arrest will be only known when the arrest memo is uh, the copy of arrest memo comes out but uh, we, what we have come to know is that uh, the real questioning will happen at uh, ed headquarters here in new delhi which has been the gates have been blocked and media personnel are standing outside madhav the probe in this case uh, in right earnest started on 23rd august 2022 when ed registered a case of money laundering since then many developments have taken place very high profile individuals have been arrested but nothing will become bigger than this uh, with arrest of arvind all right abhav uh, just hold on to your thoughts uh, I, i believe isha has a update over there some movement seen isha quickly take us through what's happening around you right yes this is the gate from where the chief minister of delhi the first sitting chief minister who will be who has been arrested will be taken away uh, there is a lot of movement here protesters have gathered here ahead of the chief minister of delhi being taken away several protesters have been brought here they are speaking they are stating that this arrest is unconstitutional and 
again, Mr. Kejriwal is innocent, but on the other side, showing you around here the visuals, the joint CP of Delhi, his convoy is inside. Eight to nine cars of the Delhi police are currently inside Arvind Kejriwal's uh, uh, residence. Currently, the police is also urging the protesters to go back because uh, detentions are taking place. Several buses filled with protesters have been taken away. But on the other side, I'd, li I'd like to show you here the visuals. Uh, several barricades have also been placed. And any moment from now, we are expecting uh, the Joint Commissioner of uh, the Joint CP of Delhi, Ravindra Yadav, to further come out uh, of the residence of Mr. Kejriwal. With him, the arrest has taken place. In a few moments from now, this is the gate from which where Kejriwal will be taken okay. out. Back to you. All right. Uh, Priyank is also there at the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. Priyank, what are your sources in the Delhi police telling you about what is likely to happen? How soon are they likely to emerge from there? Uh, see, Madhav, uh, they are still not aware because they, they have been standing outside the residence of Jail Delhi Chief Minister. And uh, what they have done so far is to increase the security outside the residence and multiple detention is also happening. Uh, so this is the gate. Uh, we are on the other side of the gate where the, from where the Isha was reporting. And what it appears that uh, very soon, since it would be uh, 30, half an hour to 35 minutes of process uh, to complete the formality before the accused could be uh, taken away from the residence, this process will be done. But the biggest for the Amani Party supporters, Madhav, is that the anti-corruption crusader uh, being arrested in the corruption charges is certainly not being digested by the party workers. That's why multiple people have started coming here. Uh, many of them are very much angry that why is it happening? And the manner in which the Amani Party had already circulated this short process that Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested as a part of political controversy, uh, the supporters are protesting. Uh, on one side, the Amani Party has also made it clear that they will not be a new chief minister in the state. Uh, uh, this is what Atishi has also been hinting. Uh, because if Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested, the manner in which our viewers have recently seen in the arrest of Heman Swain, who was uh, the chief minister of the state of, uh, you know, uh, of, of Jharkhand, he, after the uh, arrest, he straight up went, and before the arrest, I beg your pardon, he straight, straight up went to uh, the governor's office. Uh, the LG's office is very near to this location. And certainly, Delhi is at a constitutional crisis. Because the chief minister of the state has been arrested. He was anti-corruption crusader, but the Ahmadi party still maintains that the law certainly permits Arvind Kejriwal to run the government while he is inside the prison. So that is Some the breaking point news coming in. In fact, uh, information coming at this point of time that Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers are going to the Supreme Court Registrar's house. Big update coming at this moment. Kejriwal's lawyers will demand an immediate hearing is what we are told. That's the latest breaking update coming in. The lawyers of Arvind Kejriwal's team are now going to go to the Supreme Court Registrar's house House where they will demand an immediate hearing on this entire matter. That's the latest update coming in. If I can quickly take this across to Rame Krishan Rana, who's also with us on the broadcast. Rame, can you quickly confirm that bit of news for us? We are told now that Arvind Kejriwal's lawyers are going to the Supreme Court Registrar's house and they're going to demand an immediate hearing. What's the likelihood or the possibility that that early hearing could be granted? Rame. Absolutely. So absolutely it is in the discretion of the Chief Justice of India at his administrative side if he allows a midnight hearing. Though it is very unusual, however, it has happened in the past and it can happen today. An urgent email has been sent to the Registrar of the Supreme Court seeking urgent listing of the matter. Arvind Kejriwal had filed a plea before the Supreme Court challenging his uh, custody by the Enforcement Directorate. His lawyers are now moving to the residence of the Registrar of the Supreme Court. The email has been sent. It has been confirmed to us that the email has been sent to them and urgent mentioning has been sought. Let me tell you the procedure. The final procedure is once the Registrar sees the files, that the file is in order, the mentioning is complete. He calls up the Chief Justice of India and the Chief Justice of India decides at its, admi at it, at its administrative side that who will hear the matter. Will the matter be heard by the CGI-led bench or will the matter be heard by some other bench who is dealing with the roster? But as of now, it is confirmed that Arvind Kejriwal's legal team has moved the Supreme Court. 
Remember, it was today only when senior advocate Abhishek Manu Singh we had sought urgent hearing before the Delhi High Court and they got it. However, the High Court had refused to protect Arvind K. Jiriwal. Now their only way is to the Supreme Court. The appeal from the division bench of the Delhi High Court lies to Supreme Court. The Supreme Court is the last hope for Arvind K. Jiriwal. We hope it does not become very late and the registrar, it completely depends upon the discretion that's of the that's registrar. That's the discretion the... of the Supreme Court, the registrar as well as ultimately the Chief Justice of India will also have to decide on that and there's a latest update coming in. In fact, Saurabh Bharadwaj putting out a tweet saying that he's got a call from uh, Arvinder Singh Lovely of uh, the Congress. He heads, of course, uh, uh, the Congress in Delhi that uh, a Congress delegation including leaders from Delhi and AICC is reaching the CM's residence shortly. This is uh, quite interesting to see that uh, it is, uh, in fact, now Sharad Pawar also tweeting that strongly condemn the vindictive misuse of central agencies to target the opposition, especially as general elections loom. This arrest showcases the depth to which BJP will stoop for power. India stands united against this unconstitutional action against Arvind Kejriwal. That's the update coming in. Sharad Pawar, of course, a tall leader from Maharashtra. And of course, uh, all right, I believe that uh, now we are seeing the vehicles uh, which have been placed over there. Isha, over to you. What's happening there? Right, yes. In fact, uh, the first vehicle of the Delhi police has come out here. Several more are expected. Uh, the top cops have been present here. Security is further being tightened here at the moment. Uh, we can see here in the visuals the barricade is again being opened. The gate has also been opened. In a few moments from now, we will be expecting uh, the car with Delhi chief minister to be coming out of here as well. So the process has begun. In a few moments from now, we will be seeing Arvind Kejriwal also also being taken out of this gate. All right, and uh, let me quickly take this across to Tejshree and Niyamika also joining us. Uh, very interesting to see, Niyamika, that the Congress is coming out in full support of Arvind Kejriwal. The DPCC chief himself is going to be at Kejriwal's residence. We understand some AICC leaders are also present, but what is most interesting is that it was the AICC leader, uh, one of the AICC leaders who was the first original complainant in this entire case. Well, absolutely, as that is the most interesting part in this entire case, as the Congress party has come out in support of the Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Not just uh, the AICC leaders, but also the Delhi Congress leaders have come out in open and they are also saying that the timing of this action of enforcement directorate is quite suspicious because, uh, it, in fact, it is also being alleged on the part of the Congress leaders that uh, this has been done by the ruling BJP in view of the upcoming Lok Sabha elections because they want to destabilize the India alliance. That is the big allegation which is being made by the Congress party. They are saying that earlier Heman Surin, who was the sitting chief minister of Jharkhand. All right, big breaking news coming in. Rahul Gandhi also tweeting. I'm going to ask for that tweet to be pulled up onto the screen. In fact, Rahul Gandhi saying, Dara hua tana shah ek mara hua lok tantra banana chata hai. Media sabet sabi sansthaon par kabza partiyon ko todna companyon se hafta vasuli. Mukhya vipakshi dal ka account freeze karna bhi asuri shakti ke liye kam tha. तो अब चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों की गिरफ्तारी भी आम बात हो गई है इंडिया इसका मुंह तोड़ जवाब देगा दैट्स ट्वीट ऑफ राहुल गांधी दैट यू सी ओवर देयर इन फैक्ट द ट्रांसलेशन बिलो शोइंग दैट अ स्केड डिक्टेटर वांट्स टू क्रिएट अ डेड डेमोक्रेसी वाइल कैप्चरिंग ऑल इंस्टीट्यूशंस इंक्लूडिंग मीडिया ब्रेकिंग अप पार्टीज एक्सटॉर्टिंग मनी फ्रॉम कंपनीज फ्रीजिंग अकाउंट्स ऑफ ऑपोजिशन पार्टी वाज नॉट इनफ फॉर द असुरी शक्ति नाउ द अरेस्ट ऑफ द इलेक्टेड चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज बिकम अ कॉमन थिंग इंडिया विल गिव अ बिफिटिंग रिप्लाई टू दैट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू सी दैट द रिप्लाई एंड द सपोर्ट दैट्स कमिंग इन इन फैक्ट All right, those are the live frames. While keeping that live frame on air, I'm going to quickly get a response from one of our other reporters. Tejshri has been reporting on the story as well. Tejshri, very interesting to see the Congress has come out in full force in support of Arvind Kejriwal. Well, Congress has also come out in support and we see the tweet of Saurabh Bharadwaj also saying that Arvind Singh Lovely is also reaching along with all the ASCC workers to the residence of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. And here we are reporting just outside one of the gates of the enforcement directorate where, yes, yes, security has been beefed up, barricades have been put at place because remember that protests will be taking 
in a short while from now, probably outside ED office, outside Kejriwal's residence, outside Aam Aadmi Party office, and in fact at Mumbai, outside enforcement directorate, a protest is lined up at 11 p.m. where all of the Aam Aadmi Party workers will be protesting against the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. Tomorrow also, what our sources are telling, up, uh, telling us is that a big protest is lined up by Aam Aadmi Party, most likely at the headquarters of Aam Aadmi Party against the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal, where, so, where, where certainly all the leaders of Aam Aadmi Party said be Atishi, Saurabh Bharadwaj, Kailash Gehloth will be participating in that particular protest and we saw the kind of massive uproar from the Aam Aadmi Party when Manish Sodia, when uh, Sanjay Singh were, were arrested in this alleged Delhi liquor policy case. Also remember that this will be the first, this is the first time when a sitting chief minister has been arrested by the enforcement directorate. Uh, so here are the visuals that we will be again giving you and what we are being told is that the roads are being cleared. Uh, here is the police deployment and we'll also show you, you at see the other side. Being put up outside the chief minister's residence as well. Isha has been reporting from that particular location. Isha, quick update. What's happening? Have uh, now more uh, policemen been sent to that particular area? Have barricades uh, been increased over there? What's happening at the moment? Isha, we can see a drone also in the frame, incidentally. Right. Right, yes, there is also a drone. In fact, Saurabh Bhadwaj had also stated that he's, he had asked what is the drone. At the moment, the police has cleared out this area completely. Uh, in fact, all media personnel were also sent back. Uh, there were all uh, the protesters who were also here have been detained and been preventive detention has taken place. The gate is shut, but in some time from now, we saw a couple of cars that did exit from this gate, but uh, the police is on high alert. On In the frame, you can also see the drone and also I request my camera person to show you this is the area from where the cars will be coming out the joint CP of Delhi Ravinder Yadav is inside his convoy which does consist of eight to nine cars is currently inside the way has been cleared and in fact this rope by which I'd also request my camera person to pan in and show you this has also been uh, tightened here this is what the police is tightening okay, for a while now Sisha, let me quickly get an update from Priyank Priyank uh, very, very unusual scene seen over there. For Aam Aadmi Party, perhaps not unusual that we see large number of the protesters appear. But perhaps for the first time, uh, an arrest taking place under such dramatic circumstances at any chief minister's residence uh, and even a drone camera that is there to capture every moment. Uh, see, by the way, uh, the Delhi police uh, must be capturing the, those protesters who have come here because it's going to be a very uh, tough law and order situation for the Delhi police, knowing the fact that Amani protesters are coming up in large number. Uh, certainly, there will be restrictions uh, at the metro station very time, uh, anytime soon. Uh, but the fact of the matter is that uh, this particular stretch of the road, uh, on one end, Isha is standing, on the other end, uh, we are standing and we are reporting from. Uh, in a short while from now, we are expecting that Adin Kejwal will be taken to the enforcement directorate office. Uh, he will be kept there over the night. Uh, the medical test will be conducted there. Then uh, by 2 p.m., by 2 to 2, 30 tomorrow, he is expected to be taken to uh, the rouse of in court where the enforcement directorate will be trying to seek his uh, police Okay, quick update but coming in from Harish. Harish is uh, telling us that the legal team of Aam Aadmi Party has actually reached the residence of the registrar. Harish, that's a massive update coming in. Uh, what are we expecting? How long will these proceedings take? And what really is the possibility as per procedure that such an early hearing might be granted. Yes, that's right, Madhav. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, as per the uh, Supreme Court website, Arvind Kejriwal had moved uh, Supreme Court uh, seeking protection at, at around 8.57 p.m., but it was around 9.04 that he was arrested. So now that petition has become infructuous. So now there the uh, legal team has made some amendments. Now they are challenging the protest, and with that petition, uh, apparently uh, the legal team of Kejriwal, led by Abhishek Mani Singhvi, is uh, approaching the uh, registrar, uh, uh, listing. Apparently his residence is in West Patel Nagar. Most of these uh, uh, legal team members have gone there. They are trying to get an uh, urgent hearing tonight, tonight itself. That's what my sources are saying. But uh, the, as per the procedure, uh, Madhav, uh, first the registrar has to satisfy himself that all the papers are in order. After that he will communicate it to the Chief Justice and it is the Chief Justice who takes a call whether this particular matter uh, requires an uh, urgent hearing or not. Nine pictures coming in there, there's a live pictures of a vehicle that is coming out of the residence of Arvind Kejriwal. Let's cut across to that. Uh, that is a Tata Safari vehicle. Isha is with us. Isha, I believe that is a police vehicle. Who are the officers present over there uh, from the Delhi police? Uh, uh, can you take us through what's happening at the moment? 
Uh, yes, in fact, again, another vehicle has come out. In fact, this is the second vehicle that has come out. The DCP here is currently, in fact, the, the, the visuals are also on screen. This is the DCP of police who is currently, who has currently come out. This is the Tata Safari vehicle which has come out. In fact, uh, several other vehicles we are, are currently inside and movement is being seen from this gate. This is the gate from where Arvind Kejriwal will be taken out. He is the first sitting chief minister who has been arrested while he has okay, been still stay in with us, uh, Priyank, right. quickly take us through who are the top officials. We understand that apart from the ED officials, there are also several top of the Delhi police brass who have been deputed to ensure that everything remains smooth from a law and order perspective. Who are the top officials that we're seeing on the screen? Uh, see, Madhav, the person who came out from the Tata Safari is the DCP of this area, Manoj Kumar Meena. And uh, he is uh, there too uh, on the spot since the time he... The raids have already been started and uh, Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested. Uh, following to uh, the development, we saw a uh, joint CP of this range, Padmaditya, was also present here along with the uh, uh, special CP of uh, the range, uh, Mr. Ravinder Yadav. So all the three top officials who, are, um, uh, who have the responsibility of having a very smooth law and order situation here in this part of the national capital have been here since the time this uh, information about Arvind Kejriwal's house being raided by the enforcement directorate has happened. But uh, it is going to be very tough for the De uh, Delhi police also to remove these protesters while the ED vehicle will be squatted from here. But unlike what we saw in uh, uh, Telangana when K. Kavita was being taken away by uh, the ED official, there was a massive protest. Uh, there are a handful of protesters who have remained here, although we are expecting that more and more Amani party workers will be coming here. But many of them have already been detained and a few of them have moved to uh, the other side of the gate. Uh, so so that it would be, uh, you know, a smooth process, I would expect, for the Delhi police to take uh, and allow Adin Kejival vehicle to be taken from here till the ED's office. All right. So those are our reporters who have been uh, covering the every aspect of this from all the top political party reactions as well as Arvind Kejival's residence from the ED office, the ED headquarters in the national capital. All of those aspects that are being covered and every moment of this is going to be reported live right here on Times Now. Uh, let's also quickly, in fact, uh, take this across uh, uh, to the tweet of Akhilesh Yadav. We can just cut across live to that. Akhilesh Yadav, the latest uh, amongst opposition leaders who have in fact tweeted saying Jo khud hai shikast ke khauf mein kaid, wo kya karenge kisi aur ko kaid. Bhajpa janti hai ki wo fir dobara satta mein nahi aane wali. Isi dar se wo chunav ke samay vipaksh ke netaon ko kisi bhi tarah se janta se dur karna chaati hai. Giraftari to bas bahana hai. Ye giraftari ek nai jan kranti ko janam degi. Let me take this across to Mohit Bhatt who is joining us. Top opposition voices coming in Mohit. Akhilesh Yadav, Sharad Pawar amongst the bevy of national leaders who are coming out and protesting against this arrest of Arvind Kejriwal. They are saying that this is because the government is scared that now opposition leaders are being targeted. Mohit. Well, yes, in fact, and it seems that the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal has galvanized the whole India block. And we have seen leaders from Sitaram Yechuri, Akhilesh Yadav, Rahul Gandhi, Malika Arjun Karge, Priyanka Gandhi, Vadra, Bhupesh Bakil, Sharad Pawar, and all of the India block coming out in support of Arvind Kejriwal. And they are basically saying that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is using the agencies against the political opponents. And that is why all the leaders are being arrested. But Madhav, what the BJP has been saying this, that from the day one, BJP has been saying that Arvind Kejriwal is kingpin of the alleged excise scam and hence one day uh, the investigation will knock at his door and the BJP as of now says that this had to happen. Arvind Ketriwal was trying to divert the topic. He was trying to wait the agencies. He did not get any relief from the court and now he has an option to go to the Supreme Court. But as of now ED has taken, the, uh, he, taken him into custody and further investigation will follow. And the BJP says that the investigation will not stop at this matter. They say that it will go on for the Delhi Jal Board scam classroom scams and other scams. So clearly it seems that the trouble seems to be mounting for Arvind Kejriwal. But as of now what we have seen that the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal seems that has galvanized the whole opposition leaders. They're coming out and they're attacking Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the BJP. And this has been their, uh, this has been their line uh, from past many months that the agencies like CBI, 
ED, income tax, they are being uh, misused against the political opponents, while the BJP says that agencies are doing their job, and that is why Arvind Kejriwal is being arrested. After 9-7, Arvind Kejriwal did not go to enforcement directorate. Why exactly that was happening? Why he was diverting from the uh, from the topic? And the BJP today also is saying, Madhav, that, uh, that Arvind Kejriwal was the one who came out of a Jan Anondan. He used to say that if... Uh, there is uh, any allegation against any political leader, he should resign from the post and join the investigation. What has happened to that? Now, our Aam Aadmi Party also says that Arvind Kejriwal will run the government from the, from the jail. Arvind Kejriwal will not resign. And for that, they had a huge campaign in Delhi a few days ago where they sought suggestion from the people of Delhi saying that should Arvind Kejriwal run the government from the jail. And that is why we see that how every single... Aam Aadmi Party leader, minister uh, is coming out and they are saying Arvind Kejriwal will not resign, which is again being countered by the BJP saying that uh, is there a legal provision for it and why exactly Arvind Kejriwal will not resign. So this will not end. All right, here. that's it the first picture coming in from inside the chief minister's residence. Uh, in fact, Saurabh Bharadwaj also tweeting saying that ED ki aur do gaadiya CM Awas mein andar aagi hai. Uh, Priyank, inside pictures now from the chief minister's residence that show the large number of official cars that are there, in fact, outside. All right, there's Arvinder Singh Lovely has now reached the Delhi chief minister's residence. I understand. Let's cut across live to that. Kis timing ke upar jo hai, wo action liya ja raha hai jab chunav shuru ho gaye. तो निश्चित रूप से लोकतंत्र के लिए एजेंसीज का मिसयूज जो है वो शर्मनाक है और हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कि इस तरीके की हरकतों से चाहे वो कांग्रेस के अकाउंट सीज करने की बात रही हो या जो है इस तरीके से एक चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्री को चुनाव से पहले गिरफ्तार करने की बात रही हो कांग्रेस पार्टी इन सब बातों से घबराती नहीं है और इन बातों की वजह से हम और मजबूती के साथ चुनाव लड़ेंगे और आप पार्टी हमारी गठबंधन की पार्टनर है हम मजबूती के साथ उनके साथ खड़े हैं और उनके साथ मिलकर चुनाव लड़ेंगे ये जताने के लिए आज सुभाष चोपड़ा जी संदीप दीक्षित जी हम तीनों कांग्रेस की तरफ से आए हैं और निश्चित रूप से हम मजबूती के साथ अपने गठबंधन के साथी के साथ खड़े हैं The news hour first. We'll be right back after the break. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi, asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shidra Malhotra and you're watching... You were watching the news hour first. 
going back to our reporters, in fact, uh, through the course of the evening, whenever there are developments that take place at Arvind Kejriwal's residence. But let me take this across to, in fact, uh, our guest joining us at the moment. I believe we have Dr. Anand Ragnathan, Deshratan Nigam, joining us on the broadcast. Sanju Verma also with us. And in fact, uh, uh, I want to go across uh, first and foremost, uh, Parvinder Singh Sethi, of course, also joining us here in our studio. Tessin Punawala, a rather unusual situation where you have the Congress party at Kejriwal's residence. Of course, they're all claiming that this is misuse of agencies. But interestingly, it was Congress that first brought this liquor gate scam to light. Yes, they did. And there's a lot to be answered in the liquor gate. This was about a year, year and a half ago. Since then, not an iota of evidence has come in. Yes, I understand the defense will be high courts and Supreme Courts have been given relief and given not given bail because they can't in an ED case because you'll come up with some arbitrary number on a piece of paper saying 300 crores money trail found, 400 crores found, 100 crores found. And the presumption is you're guilty until proven innocent. So the entire uh, trial continues. However, the bail does not include facts of the case. So it's very, it's, it's almost impossible to get bail. Of course, one or two cases there have been uh, exceptions to that but even in those one or two exception cases I can tell you personally somebody has been given anticipatory bail in one case by the ED they have been arrested in another case after being summoned so it's terrible what the agency is doing I just want to make two very important points we are today on the eve of elections. One chief minister is in jail, another chief minister has been arrested right now. This is not a level playing field. The principal opposition party has got income tax notices from the 90s. There's a claim of 200 crores when income tax is uh, exempt for political parties. It's not mm. a level playing field. Mm. It's not correct. Okay. And all of these agencies okay. should think what they're doing. Is their loyalty to the constitution okay. or is it to the political parties? One thing, okay. one thing, just one last point. I really hope tonight for the sake of this great country, the chief justice and the Supreme Court stand up mm. and stop what's going on. We need a level playing field elections. Of, of course, BJP could win if it wins. There's no harm in winning. But win free and fair. Don't do this. Don't throw people in jail. Okay. Are we heading to a one-party rule? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Are we heading to a one-party rule? This is misuse of agency. Sanju Verma, please respond to those concerns of Tehseen Punamala. Okay. You know, uh, Madhav, uh, I just have this to say. First and foremost, the Enforcement Directorate, and I'm sure Tehseen is aware of this, is a statutory body. Point number two, the Enforcement Directorate is not a handmaiden of the Modi government. Point number three, uh, let's go back to the October 2023 judgment of uh, the Supreme Court, uh, you know, given by Justice Sanjeev Khanna and Justice SVN Bhatti, where the Supreme Court has said, the Apex Court of India has said that tentatively, a money trail of rupees 338 crore has been established in the liquor scam. Point number four, if the Supreme Court were convinced that there was no liquor scam to start with. My simple layman's logic, and you mm. don't need to be a rocket scientist to know this or ask this. Why is Manish Sisodia still in lockup? Why is Sanjay Singh still in lockup? Yeah, the liquor scam hua hi nahi. Why was Satinder Jain, who was out on bail because he was unwell, was asked to surrender and go back to Tihar? Yeah, the liquor scam hua hi nahi. My point number five. As per section 21, 23, 45, 49 and section 50, subsection 2 of the PMLA, it says that the Enforcement Directorate has sweeping suo moto rights to arrest a person if it deems fit after the first three summons are not complied with. Look at the long rope given by the ED to Arvind Kejriwal. Yaha par teen saman nahi, no saman diye gaye. And all the nine summons, Arvind Kejriwal with rabid and brazen impunity decided to show the big finger, I'm sorry for the pejorative, to the enforcement directorate. Yeah. And last but not the least, Madhav, my simple question is this. How is it that if there is no liquor scam, I have never seen any of the Amabi party people coming and saying that liquor scam won it. All that they keep saying is that vendetta hai. I am telling you that the 17th March 2024, last Sunday ki press release by the Enforcement Director, very quickly says three things. It says there was a 100 crore quid pro quo between yes. K. Kavita, Arvind Kejriwal and the Aam Party. Hmm. It says that there have been five uh, supplementary, uh, uh, you know... Uh, yes, I actually five, referred to that in great detail when we opened this bulletin, Sanju Verma, so please bear with me. But uh, there is some breaking news coming in as well. In fact, the lawyers of Aam Party say that they've approached the Supreme Court registry. They've been asked to wait. Let me take this question across to Piyush Joshi. Though Piyush Joshi, the ED press note is very specific and it mentions that Kavita and others conspired with Arvind Kejriwal and Sisodia for getting favours in the Delhi excise formulation and implementation and in response to that 100 crore amount was 
uh, to be given. This was the deal that was uh, struck between AAP leaders, including Mr. Kejriwal in Sisodia, and K. Kavita. K. Kavita arrested six days ago, and now Mr. Kejriwal has been arrested. How do you respond to that very specific charge? Piyush Joshi. You know, to all these specific charges, the legal team is going to respond in, uh, respond in the court of law. Uh, as far as the ED is concerned, ED is acting as an executive as well as an extortion arm of the Bharati Janta Party, and it is it is very clear after the electoral bond debacle. What I'm here to say, uh, you know, I, I'm I'm uh, uh, remembering uh, an important statement made by the ex Prime Minister Manmohan Singh ji about demonetization that it was a legalized plunder. Mm. Was it legal? Maybe. Was it a plunder? Certainly. So today's arrest, you know, ED, uh, it, I, I call it legalized atrocity. Hmm. Is it legal? Maybe. Is it atrocity? Certainly. You know, because today we, we have seen the top brass of the Congress party coming out and saying that their accounts have been frozen. And uh, now you arrest, the, you, you, you freeze the accounts of the largest opposition political party and you arrest the convener of the fastest growing opposition political party. Hmm. What do you want? Why? What are you so afraid of if you are winning 300 plus seats? Okay, many hands going seats. up. I'm going to let yes, Dr. Anand Ragnathan respond to that. The, the Congress's accounts are frozen. The Chief Minister of Delhi is mentioned. being arrested. Uh, this is happening after the elections have been announced. It's a clear attempt at targeting the opposition. It's not just these two parties, but several opposition party leaders, including Mr. Stalin, Akhilesh Yadav, Sharad Pawar, to name a few, who are also echoing that sentiment. Dr. Ragnathan. Uh, good evening, Madhav. Please give me a couple of minutes. I've been listening very patiently to all the my other fellow panelists. Number one, let me just give plain facts for all those who say that the ED is using draconian provisions. Let me inform them that each and every provision has been vetted by the Supreme Court three-judge bench and not only ratified, but also underlined and stamped. For example, reverse burden of proof is there to stay. It is not mandatory to give ECIR. Bail to be made extremely stringent. Money laundering is now to be considered as heinous as terrorism. Attachment of property is to be allowed. Statements made to ED are to be made admissible. This is by the Supreme Court. So where is the ED? Number two, it is also a fact that three summons of ED can be ignored after that by law. You have to have a non-bailable warrant by the ED to arrest the person. Here, nine summons have been ignored. For those who are saying ED is acting in a draconian measure, please tell me, is it the law of India or not? Are you a common citizen? Are laws equal for every citizen or not? Number three, the Supreme Court said that bail is a rule, arrest is an exception. Why then, I ask? Has the Supreme Court denied bail to Sisodia, to other persons who are of the Aam Admi Party? Is it not a fact that there has to be a prima facie account that the Supreme Court admitted that, yes, there was corruption in this case? And finally, and this is very important, the fact of the matter is that when the AAP and the Congress cry vendetta, do they also not say that the law of the land has to be followed? Tessin was muddying the water, talking about freezing of the accounts, and he's talking about some other case. There are other cases. 2021, the tax was not paid. The filings were not done. By law, 14th March, High Court had said that, yes, Congress has a case to answer. It dismissed all its appeal, including in ITAT as well as the High Court. Only then, after prolonged legal battle, has the accounts been frozen. Now, I ask you, if a common citizen does not pay income tax, does not do filings, if a common citizen ignores an ED summons, what happens? Hmm. The person would be arrested, locked, and thrown in solitary with the keys thrown away. I'll answer that. But apparently, for Congress, for AAP, AAM Admi Party, the rules are different. Are rules different for different political parties? Let me bring it. In fact, uh, uh, Dr. Akashdeep Muni on that. Dr. Akashdeep Muni, if it was a common citizen, no, yeah, Tessin, please. Lines, Tessin, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to other panelists as well. Let others at least get in a round of opening comments. Dr. Akashdeep Muni, respond to that. Why should the law of the land, which applies to all citizens of India, not apply to somebody because they hold a high political office? Is that what we are to expect now? Is the question that Dr. Ragnathan and even the BJP have been asking. Please respond to that. See, I respect Dr. Ranganathan and you as well so much, but uh, today I think Dr. Ranganathan has totally come unprepared without going through the proceeds of the court proceedings. Now, today, I'll, 
No, no, please don't heckle, sir. Please, please. No, I'm saying sir. I respect you also. Sir, sir, please, I respect sir. Please, you, dog, sir. sir. You know it. Sir, please, you please. You know it. Don't I respect now, you? Now, today, but please answer I just want to quote. Me. Sir, sir, wait, wait, wait. Sir, today, court ha in the court, A ASG, Mr. Raju, of uh, Enforcement Directorate, lawyer, said that neither Amadi Party or Arvind Kejriwal is an accused in excise camp. Court and yes. court. And interesting. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, apart from giving the fact, still he is arrested. It clearly suffices what Satyapal Malik, the BJP governor, said that Arvind Kejriwal ko election se pehle giraftar kiya jayega aur jo unho ne kaha tha, wo aaj ho ra hai. Now, second, my, my second point. That, remember, UP police care caught Sanjay Saroj, a terrorist linked with lashkar e in 2018. Do you know where he is? Today, Sanjay Saroj is welcomed in Bharati Janta Party in open arms, a terrorist Let's 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 stick to let's stick to the subject at hand, please. I'm requesting you. I'm requesting you. You know, if we start doing this, then every party and every politician will, everyone, every panelist will start doing in different examples. Let's let's stick to the issue at hand. You've raised a pertinent point about what the uh, ASG said in the court, and I want to bring in Deshwadhar Nigam. Though I believe the bench also asked that until and unless you attend the summons, how will you know what document is required, etc. Were comments? I believe that came in from the bench as well. But let me bring in Dr. Desh, uh, Mr. Deshwadhar Nigam to respond to you on that point. If the ED in the morning said in the court that Kejriwal is not an accused. How has he suddenly been arrested? Is the question coming in from Akash Deep Muni. Please respond. Mr. Nigam. Uh, Madhav, let me make it very clear. He was being called for interrogation. And during interrogation, it is the discretion of the ED to arrest him or not to arrest. This was also the statement made to the Delhi High Court. And the, what uh, Mr. Raju had said was that he is not being called as a chief minister nor as the convener of the Aam Aadmi Party. Because they had, uh, it was an issue of maintainability of the petition where they had challenged Section 2S, where they presumed that the Aam Aadmi Party will be made an accused. It was, it was a presumption on the basis of which the courts uh, said the maintainability of the petition will also be discussed on the 22nd of April. So let's not confuse the issue. Uh, and uh, the ED and the Aam Aadmi Party took the risk of applying for interim relief, which was rejected. Once you reject it, the uh, arms and the uh, powers of the ED come into the picture and their hands get strengthened. This, this is the ordinary course. And secondly, let me also tell you, the early hearing which they are trying to go for in Supreme Court is a preventive measure, not a curative measure. Please remember okay. that. Uh, once you once they have to release him on bail, they have to hear it the entire matter and all merits and premises. Uh, all right, know, that's as far as the legal strategy is concerned. But I want to ask Parvinder Singh Sethi. Parvinder Singh Sethi, ये पहली बार नहीं है. ED ने पहले भी कहा है कि Vijay Nair को पूरी access मिली थी Chief Minister office में. Prosecution complaint में कहा गया है कि कई meetings arranged किए गए थे Samir Mahindra के साथ भी. तो Arvind Kejriwal का जहाँ तक role है. ये एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टेड कहेगी कि कई बार हमने ऐसी चीजें अपने इन्वेस्टिगेशंस के दौरान पाया है लेकर गेट में जो अरविंद केजरीवाल को इस पूरे स्कैम से लेकर जोड़ती है और अभी रिसेंटली भी कविता का नाम आया है और उस संदर्भ में भी अरविंद केजरीवाल का नाम लिया गया है सो ईडी विल से और एटलीस्ट सो फार हैज मेंटेन पब्लिकली मेनी टाइम्स दैट केजरीवाल वॉज इन द नो ऑफ वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग इफ नॉट एक्टिवली कंस्पायर नहीं देखिए जो ये सारा कुछ हो रहा है इसके अंदर ये सारा स्क्रिप्टेड है आप समझिए ना जिस प्रकार से मनीष सिसोदिया को सतेंद्र जैन को और संजय सिंह को अरेस्ट कर लिया गया और इसके बाद इन्होंने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी ने जो नहीं गए उन्होंने एक विरोध दर्ज करा कि भी मैं जो आपका अन्याय है जो आप डेमोक्रेसी की हत्या कर रहे हो डिक्टेटरशिप कर रहे हो उसके उसके सामने अपना विरोध दर्ज करता हूँ और आप अगर मुझे अरेस्ट करना अगर उनके अरेस्ट पर कोई हैरानी नहीं है ये तो बड़े समय से था कि किसी भी समय अरविंद केजरीवाल को अरेस्ट किया जा सकता है देखिए पूरे देश के अंदर एक आंदोलन जिस प्रकार से किसानों का आंदोलन हो खिलाड़ियों का हो मजदूरों का हो और उन उन सब के साथ साथ पूरी राजनीतिक पार्टियों को जो okay. सब एक हो गई हैं वो वो इसलिए एक हुई हैं क्योंकि एक पार्टी जो सत्ता पक्ष के अंदर है वो अपनी डिक्टेटरशिप की राजनीति करती है और वो सारे विपक्ष को खत्म करने के लिए सी बी और इनकम टैक्स का दुरुपयोग करती है और यही लड़ाई है 
सबसे सबसे बड़ा सवाल लेकिन परविंदर सिंह सेठी जी ये है कि इंडिया पार्टीज की जो एक जुड़ता है ये कब तक बनी रहेगी कई बार जुड़ के ये टूट भी चुकी है कई तरह के क्रैक्स भी दिख चुके हैं ये बहुत बड़ा सवाल है और क्या चुनाव के सीजन में वाकई में एकजुट होकर ये चुनाव लड़ेंगे ये भी बहुत बड़ा सवाल है वी लव टू लीव इट एट द मोमेंट आई लाइक टू थैंक ऑल पैनल संजू वर्मा डॉक्टर रघुनाथन देशवदर निगम पीयूष जोशी डॉक्टर आकाशदीप पुनी तहसीन पुरावाला एंड परविंदर सिंह सेठी फॉर ज्वाइनिंग आस when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है खतरे में है Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking, with Navika Kumar. की हूँ कोई बच्ची नहीं नई हूँ पर कच्ची नहीं मानो या ना मानो तुम कुछ बड़ा करने की है बारी यही भविष्य देश का लिखने की तैयारी यही बचपन से अब तक मेरी माटी ने दुलारा आज मुझको है मेरे देश ने पुकारा हो सब अपने यहाँ पे कोई बेगाना नहीं हम तो यहाँ पे सब देश के दीवाने दो हमसे कोई टकराना नहीं आवाज यही अधिकार यही आजादी का पुरस्कार यही लोकतंत्र का पहले संस्कार यही संस्कार यही अपनी यारी की खाओ कसम करेंगे अपना पहला वोट देश के लिए हम ये जीवन ये फर्स्ट टाइम जी सर सब कुछ है तुम्हारा आज मुझको है मेरे देश ने पुकारा वेन जर्नलिज्म इज लेड बाय इंटेग्रिटी एंड वेन एक्सपीरियंस मीट्स पैशन There is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you 
form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9. Only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई होटलों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं. देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं. निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में. राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है, खतरे में है. Because she speaks. for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action packed fast paced agenda setting start to the day khabar sirf dikhana nahi asar hona bhi zaruri hai I am Amita Badwa I am Pratibha Tai hu Shiva Malhotra and you're watching the morning news at Whenever news breaks you will see us process it analyze it and broadcast it After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here, and three days later, she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm, Azmi. That why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force, which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We Namaskar good morning you're watching first break and i'm swati joshi let's begin the broadcast with the headlines alisa in a massive update in the liquor gate case delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal has been arrested by ed after being grilled by the agency for over 2 hours delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal will be produced before rouse avenue court today this comes after ed conducted his medical examination Condemning the arrest app has moved Supreme Court late night against ED's action following which Supreme Court has decided to hear Kejriwal's plea today. App has a planned nationwide protest against Kejriwal's arrest leaders will stage a mega protest outside BJP headquarters today. App stands firm as a leader say Kejriwal will remain the chief minister and will run the government from inside the jail. Well it's the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case the chief minister of the national capital Arvind Kejriwal has been formally arrested by the enforcement directorate after skipping nine summons issued by the probe agency high drama was witnessed at the chief minister's residence from uh, late evening itself after the ED officials a team of ED officials swooped down at Kejriwal's residence as many as 12 officers entered the chief minister's residence including joint director cp ravinder yadav and additional director kapil raj who was leading the team the questioning of the chief minister went on for over 2 hours during which the ed team also seized kejriwal's phones in the meantime security was enhanced outside up kejriwal's residence with multiple vehicles of uh, capf personnel seen entering kejriwal's house and some stationed outside Well we have some breaking inputs coming in as well uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before the Rouse Avenue court today Arvind Kejriwal remember was arrested uh, late last night by the enforcement directorate in the liquor gate case the enforcement directorate will produce Arvind Kejriwal before uh, the court 
medical examination of uh, the chief minister of the national capital was done last night. Sabe Sachi is getting us uh, more details. Sabe Sachi, medical examination done. Now we given to understand Adil Kejriwal will be presented before the court today. What time will he be produced? Uh, well, absolutely. See, uh, late in the night, uh, the team of doctors had reached uh, uh, the Enforcement Directorate office here in the national capital to, uh, to conduct uh, the medical examination of uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. And uh, now, uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal would be uh, produced at the Rouse Avenue Court in the first half today. And uh, the team of lawyers from the Amadi Party also uh, would be going to the Supreme Court. Uh, see, last night also, uh, they had approached uh, the Supreme Court for a late night hearing. Uh, uh, but uh, the hearing could not uh, take place and the hearing would take place uh, today itself. Uh, meanwhile, we had seen that the war of wards has already been uh, started between uh, the opposition party and uh, the ruling government. And uh, the Aam Aadhi Party has been maintaining the fact that there is no uh, merit in the case and uh, the ED has been investigating this case uh, from the past uh, two years. Uh, but uh, not a single penny of money has been recovered by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, see, for the Enforcement Directorate, the main alibi they have is the nine summons that they have sent uh, to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. See, uh, yesterday also when uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal had approached uh, the Delhi High Court, uh, the Delhi High Court uh, judges were uh, listening to the CBI. They went through all the documents. The major question that they ask uh, the counsel of the Enforcement Directorate is that why didn't Mr. Arvind Kejriwal appear at the Enforcement Directorate office despite the uh, summons? Uh, because the Enforcement Directorate earlier has been saying that they want to question Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, uh, but uh, we have seen from Arvind Kejriwal's side various reasons have been given time and again, uh, calling uh, the summons illegal, uh, calling it politically motivated. And uh, finally, yesterday, we had seen the team of Enforcement Directorate along with the cover of Delhi Police had reached uh, CM's uh, residence at around 7 and at around 9.05. Right. Uh, oh, uh, uh, it's where Arvind Kejriwal was arrested. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, several protests had broken out yesterday, not only in the national capital, but different parts of Absolutely. the country. Absolutely. In fact, the right. Party has planned nationwide protests. We'll uh, speak about that more. Sabesachi, for the moment, we have some breaking inputs coming in. So on one hand, Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before the Rouse Avenue Court. We're also given to understand that... Uh, Aam Aadmi Party approached Supreme Court late last night. Uh, there was no late night hearing by the Supreme Court, but we're given to understand that the hearing will take place today. Supreme Court to hear Kejriwal's plea. बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोर्ट करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो सबेसाची कंटिन्यूज टू बी विद अस इन द ब्रॉडकास्ट सबेसाची Rouse Avenue Court, that, that's where Arvind Kejriwal will be produced. But to get relief, the Aam Aadmi Party has approached the topmost court, the apex court. The hearing will take place today. Of course, they were uh, pressing for an urgent hearing late last night itself. Well, absolutely. See, Rouse, uh, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal would be taken uh, to the Rouse Avenue Court today uh, by the Enforcement Directorate. On the other hand, uh, the Aam Aadmi Party is looking for some relief uh, from the Supreme Court. Uh, yesterday itself, uh, the team of lawyers from the Aam Aadmi Party had approached uh, the Supreme Court for a late night uh, hearing, but uh, that could not happen and the hearing uh, would take place uh, today in the first half. Uh, see, Aam Aadmi Party has been maintaining that the arrest is illegal, the summons were illegal, and uh, during this two years of enforcement directed investigation, uh, nothing has been recovered. And uh, this is a politically motivated move by the uh, central government to target the Aam Aadhi Party. Now the Aam Aadhi Party has also questioned the timing of Arvind Kejriwal's arrest just ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Uh, see, as far as the enforcement directorate is, is concerned, the major weapon they have is the nine summons which uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has kept time and again 
again in the last uh, six months, several summons had been issued to him, but he had been citing uh, several reasons uh, to skip the summon. First, he says that these summons are illegal. Then he says it is politically motivated. Uh, then he says he has other uh, works. Uh, as a chief minister, he has to uh, be uh, politically present in various areas, and that is why he could not be present for the summons. Uh, meanwhile, we had seen that yesterday also the team of... Uh, right, absolutely. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, yesterday, uh, the court did ask enforcement directorate to produce material based on which these summons have been issued to Arvind Kedriwal. Uh, no protection, however, was granted by the court. Sabesachi, stay on with us. Uh, no special uh, bench of Supreme Court is being set up midnight to urgently hear Delhi CM Arvind Kedriwal's petition challenging his arrest by enforcement directorate in the excise policy. The case will be heard today. Now, let's take a look at how will the Delhi government function given that the chief minister has been arrested. After the arrest of Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal in the Laker Gate case, there is suspense over who will be appointed the next CM or the next course of action by the Aam Aadmi Party. As the situation remains grim, AAP stands firm and claims that Arvind Kejriwal will continue as the chief minister and run the city government from prison. Meanwhile, uh, Kejriwal's legal team has already moved Supreme Court against the action. Let's first listen into the political reactions. कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी कोई पूछताछ नहीं थी कोई प्रश्न नहीं था सब कोर्ट के अंदर नाटक किया जा रहा था मुख्यमंत्री जी के घर की पूरी तलाशी इस छापे में ली गई सिर्फ सत्तर हजार रुपये नकद मिले जो कि ईडी वापस लौटा के चली गई मुख्यमंत्री जी का मोबाइल लिया गया और मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करके ले गए हैं पूरे छापे में कोई सबूत कोई एविडेंस कोई प्रॉपर्टी का कागज कोई गैर कानूनी पैसा कोई मनी ट्रेल नहीं मिली मैंने प्रतिक्रिया दी है ये बहुत बड़ा अन्याय है लोकतंत्र की हत्या मुझे नहीं मालूम लेकिन मीडिया बोल रहा है Breaking inputs coming in. The Aam Aadmi Party is planning nationwide protest after the arrest of uh, their chief minister Arvind Kejriwal. Our plans protest over Kejriwal's arrest. We given to understand that they are going to uh, hold protest outside BJP headquarter today. Sabesachi continues to be with us. Sabesachi, the protests will continue. That's what uh, the message is as far as the Aam Aadmi Party is concerned. That Arvind Kejriwal will run the government from jail. The workers will hit streets today. Well, absolutely. See, yesterday Gopal Rai had announced uh, uh, that uh, the entire Aam Aadmi Party workers uh, would stage a protest here in the national capital. Uh, they would gather in front of the Aam Aadmi Party headquarter at around 10 a.m. and they would carry out a protest and gherao the BJP headquarters. Uh, meanwhile, not only the national capital, but protest has been called in other states as well. See, yesterday we had seen uh, that uh, Congress leader Lovely was also uh, present in front of Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, 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 Supremo's residence uh, to extend his support. Uh, the Congress Party has already extended their support uh, to uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal yesterday, as per the sources. Uh, Rahul Gandhi also uh, spoke uh, to Mr. Kejriwal's family and extended their support uh, uh, to uh, to him. And uh, we had seen that not only the Congress Party but several other regional parties have al already extended the, their support uh, to Mr. Kejriwal and Aam Aadmi Party. And soon the India Bloc uh, is going to. 
issue a joint uh, uh, press release regarding uh, the alleged misuse of the central agencies by the central government. Uh, see, the major point that the opposition parties have been raising uh, here is the timing of this arrest and the misuse of the central agencies against the opposition leaders. And uh, they have been calling it as a vendetta politics and targeting of the opposition parties uh, ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Uh, right. Sabesachi, stay on with us. So, on one hand, uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be produced in the Rouse Avenue court. The Aam Admi Party has also approached the top court where the hearing will take place today against his arrest. And you have our uh, leaders who have planned protest and they are going to protest um, uh, nationwide. On a nationwide level, the protest will take place. Uh, stay on with us, Sabesachi. Let's listen to some political reactions. BJP has slammed the alleged farce by AAP and said that it was the same party that once said that if there were any allegations, they would resign and allow a free and fair probe. However, now after being voted to power, their stance has changed. Yes, first, ho gaya hai ki Arvind Kejriwal hi sharab ghotale ka kingpin hai. Arvind Kejriwal ke bhrashta char ka ghada tuta hai. Arvind Kejriwal jhuta hai. Aur ye bilkul spasht hai ki Delhi High Court ne bhi aaj Arvind Kejriwal ko koi rahat nahi di क्योंकि जो साक्ष्य जांच एजेंसी ईडी ने इकट्ठे किए थे उनमें दम था और अरविंद केजरीवाल ने अपने पैरों पे कुल्हाड़ी मारी जब नौ समन उन्हें दिए गए कि नरेंद्र मोदी जी की सरकार वो सरकार है जहां भ्रष्टाचारी बच नहीं पाएगा सुपड़ा साफ हो जाएगा ये घमंडिया के जितने अलायस पार्टनर हैं अगर मुझे एक वाक्य में कहना पड़े अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर के बाहर क्या हो रहा है तो मैं कहूंगा इट इज सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ करप्शन जश्ने भ्रष्टाचार बनाने की कोशिश आम आदमी पार्टी के नेता और आम आदमी पार्टी के कुछ मंत्री कर रहे हैं ये कोई पहला केस नहीं है अगर आपकी एक्साइज पॉलिसी इतनी अच्छी थी जैसा कि आप बता रहे थे तो आपने एक्साइज पॉलिसी को क्यों रद्द किया क्यों उसे रद्द किया गया इसका जवाब आज तक नहीं मिला We'll continue to track all the big developments in this uh, story. Sabe Sachi will uh, stay with us. For the moment, we're taking a very short break. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like Welcome back. On Thursday, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal became the second sitting Chief Minister to be arrested in the last two months. Even as AAP approaches Supreme Court to seek legal respite, politics around the arrest that has taken place, even as a model code of conduct is in place, is raging. AAP workers have been protesting the crackdown, with its senior leaders alleging a BJP conspiracy behind the arrest. ऐसी खबर आ रही है कि ईडी ने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को अरेस्ट कर लिया है यह बिल्कुल साफ था जितनी भारी संख्या में पुलिस आई थी जितनी भारी संख्या में पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस यहां पे स्टेशन थे 
कि आज ईडी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को अरेस्ट करने के लिए आ रही है अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट भारतीय जनता पार्टी की और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की एक राजनीतिक साजिश है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अगर किसी एक नेता से डर लगता है तो वो नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल है अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट एक राजनीतिक साजिश है आज बीजेपी ने उन्होंने गिरफ्तार कर लिया उन्होंने इस नीति को कि वो मिडिल क्लास के गरीब लोगों को फायदा पहुँचा रहे थे ना पसंद करते हुए बीजेपी नहीं चाहती कि गरीबों का तो मिडिल क्लास का भला हो बीजेपी नहीं चाहती कि गरीबों के बच्चों को चंकी सिक्ख्या मिले कि गरीब बंदे चंगे होस्पिटल का इलाज मिले कि गरीब को फ्री बिजली मिले कि मिडल क्लास के बंदे पीन लिए चंगा पानी मिले ये अरविंद जी ने दिता सी बहुत ही घटिया निंदनजोग कार्रवाई जी बीजेपी ने की है Well, the arrest has given our India allies a rallying point. Even the Congress, that has been in a love-hate relationship, is uh, supporting Arvind Kejriwal, is standing behind Arvind Kejriwal. Let's take a look at the reactions that we are getting. Uh, this is what Rahul Gandhi said after Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. Dara hua tana sha ek mara hua lok tantra banana chahta hai. So uh, the Congress party that had questioned Arvind Kejriwal and had levelled allegations of corruptions against him today, of course, part of the India alliance is backing Arvind Kejriwal. This is what Rahul Gandhi continued to say. आप चुने हुए मुख्यमंत्रियों की गिरफ्तारी भी आम बात हो गई है सो इज टेकिंग जाइव एट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी आई एन डी आई इसका मुंह तोड़ जवाब देगा दिस इज राहुल गांधी स्टेटमेंट ऑन द अरेस्ट ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल राहुल गांधी के बाद बात करते हैं प्रियंका गांधी वाड्रा की प्रियंका गांधी वाड्रा सेट यूजिंग एजेंसी फॉर वेंडेटा बिफोर पोल्स द एलिगेशन इज दैट अरविंद केजरीवाल हैज बीन अरेस्टेड बिकॉज लोकसभा इलेक्शन आर नियरिंग एंड द बीजेपी वॉन्ट्स टू वाइप आउट द एंटायर ऑपोजिशन फर्दर प्रियंका गांधी सेज plans to arrest more sitting chief ministers now so according to priyanka gandhi vadra arvind uh, kejriwal is not uh, the uh, only chief minister remember before him of course hemant soren was arrested she says more will be arrested akhilesh yadav says bjp knows it won't come back to power according to akhilesh yadav that's why bjp is using agencies this arrest will start a new revolution so akhilesh yadav says a new revolution revolution will begin after this after the arrest of uh, arvind kejriwal Sagarika Ghosh MP of the TMC says shows prime minister's desperation to destroy the opposition multiple reactions coming in these are all INDI uh, leaders who are backing Arvind Kejriwal Derek O'Brien of the TMC says party chiefs chief ministers opponents all are ha being harassed save democracy from impending disaster let's listen into some more reactions that we are getting Uh, the INDI is rallying behind Arvind Kejriwal, slamming the BJP, saying agency is being used to wipe out the entire opposition ahead of Lok Sabha polls. Party chunav se bukla ke harkate kar rahi hai. Congress ke account seal kiye jaate hain. Hemant Soren ji ko uthaya jata hai. Aaj Delhi ke andar bhi timing dekhiye aap. Kis timing ke upar jo hai, wo action liya ja raha hai jab chunav shuru ho gaye hain. तो निश्चित रूप से लोकतंत्र के लिए एजेंसी का मिसयूज जो है वो शर्मनाक है और हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी इन सब बातों से घबराती नहीं है और इन बातों की वजह से हम और मजबूती के साथ चुनाव लड़ेंगे और आप पार्टी हमारी गठबंधन की पार्टनर है हम मजबूती के साथ उनके साथ खड़े हैं और उनके साथ मिलकर चुनाव लड़ेंगे You see, this is totally a vindictive politics of uh, Bharatiya Janata Party. They know very well that they will not return in Delhi, so they are disturbing the non-Bhajpa parties, non-Bhajpa leaders of the country, and this script relating misusing this ED and central agencies against Mr. Kejriwal and other non-Bhajpa leaders and parties. This is a part of their script. It is clearly evident. that the arrest of delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal is a planned strategic move by the bharatiya janata party they do not want any leader from the opposition and the india alliance to be a part of the forthcoming lok sabha elections this is nothing but muzzling the voice of all the leaders who are raising their voices against the misdeeds of the bharatiya janata party This is suppression of freedom of speech, 
which is dangerous for democracy. It is a mockery of democracy. और अत्यंत दुखद है जिस तरह से झारखंड में यहाँ के अति लोकप्रिय युवा मुख्यमंत्री हेमंत सोरेन जी को गिरफ्तार किया गया उसी तरह से उसी पैटर्न में समन भेजन भेजना फिर उनको अरेस्ट करना जहाँ जहाँ जनता द्वारा चुनी हुई इस तरह की लोकप्रिय सरकारें हैं उन उन स्टेट में इस तरह से तंग किया जा रहा है जो कि भाजपा में नहीं है और भाजपा में जो लोग हैं उन पर तरह तरह के भ्रष्टाचार के केसेस हैं इसके बावजूद वो क्लीन चीट उन्हें मिल जा रहा है लगातार उन्हें अनदेखी की जा रही है उनके केसेस को ठंडे बस्ते में डाल दिया जा रहा है ये लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छी बात नहीं है First they arrested Soren Saab. Now they have arrested Arvind Kejriwal. Mm. This is being done to destabilize the India Alliance. Mm. They seized our accounts, as you know. Mm. All these steps have been taken by a nervous BJP mm. to ensure that we get a little derailed. Mm. But believe me, we are not getting derailed. People are watching what's happening, what's being done to us. Mm. People will come out and support us and reject this authoritarian regime. Well, the BJP has called the arrest of indication of its stand and is now demanding immediate resignation of Kejriwal. BJP says that up leader's statements that Kejriwal will run the government from jail is an insult to constitutional norms. I will do free, I will do free, I will do free, but after that, I will not do anything else. The thought of Kejriwal was that we will take a drink of sugar policy, we will take a drink of sugar. This was the thought of Kejriwal. अगर सौरभ भारद्वाज का ये कहना है कि शराब पॉलिसी दोबारा लेके आएंगे हम अरविंद केजरीवाल के विचार को दोबारा लेके आएंगे तो ये उसकी गलत फहमी है दिल्ली में ऐसी शराब पॉलिसी कभी नहीं आएगी जिसमें आप लोग कोई घोटाला करने का विचार रखते हो आज सच्चाई की जीत हुई दिल्ली के सबसे भ्रष्ट और करप्ट मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी आज केवल ये अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी नहीं हुई दिल्ली में भ्रष्टाचार का अंत हुआ है दिल्ली के महाभ्रष्ट मुख्यमंत्री को उसके कुकर्मों की सजा मिल रही है आज बहुत बड़े पापी का अंत हुआ है अंत में सच्चाई की जीत हुई है और अरविंद केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार हुए हैं यह करप्शन का अंत है यह भारतीय जनता पार्टी की और मोदी जी की कमिटमेंट है कि ना खाने खाऊंगा ना खाने दूंगा और खाने देने वालों को जेल मर छोड़ के आऊंगा आज एक और भ्रष्टाचारी करप्ट मुख्यमंत्री तिहाड़ जेल की तरफ जाने वाला है कानून अपना काम कर रहा था और कानून के तहत अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है लेकिन जिस प्रकार का माहौल बनाने की कोशिश की गई कि उनके साथ बेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है ये सरासर गलत है नौ संबंध दिए गए अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब को उनके लिए बिपाशना इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए मध्य प्रदेश चुनाव इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए दिवाली इंपॉर्टेंट थी लेकिन ईडी के सवालों के जवाब देना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं था क्या कह रहे हैं आपके लोग जेल से शासन करेंगे ये, ये आपके लोग कह रहे हैं कि आप जेल से शासन चलाएंगे ये है आपका नए तरह की राजनीति जेल से शासन चलाने वालों आप तो कहते थे कि अगर गिरफ्तारी होती है या सबूत तो पहले इस्तीफा होना चाहिए जब आपके ऊपर आरोप लगते थे कहते पहले इस्तीफा उसके बाद भी बात करेंगे आज जब आप गिरफ्तार हो गए हो क्यों नहीं इस्तीफा देते सवाल ये है सबे साची इज ज्वाइनिंग ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट नाउ फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द ईडी ऑफिस सबे साची दोस्त ऑफकोर्स रिएक्शन कमिंग इन फ्रॉम द बीजेपी क्लेमिंग विंडिकेशन Well, absolutely. See, uh, uh, the BJP has been hinting. Uh, yesterday, we had seen that several uh, uh, leaders from the Bharatiya Janata Party had said that Satya Me Jayate, and uh, this particular allegation has been proven, and Arvind Kejriwal. has to face the ed uh, we had seen that strong reactions were coming in from the bjp the bjp time and again were questioning the cutter imanda tag uh, by chief minister arvind kejriwal and the bjp also alleged that why is mr arvind kejriwal not going to the ed office uh, for uh, uh, so many summons uh, meanwhile the aam aadmi party has been maintaining the fact that these summons were illegal the uh, arrest is illegal they have questioned the timing of the arrest just ahead of the lok sabha polls now uh, we are reporting live from the uh, enforcement directorate office here the main road that leads to the enforcement directorate office has been completely sealed off by the delhi police uh, you can see the central forces also deployed out here and more forces
forces are expected to be deployed and also section 144 of the CRPC has been imposed out here. Uh, in looking at the condition because the Ahmadi party workers have called for a massive protest here in the national capital in different areas and the Delhi police is prepared to tackle any sort of situation. Uh, they have said that any situation that leads to a dispute in the law and order situation would be uh, tackled by the Delhi police. Uh, meanwhile, the Ahmadi party council would be approaching the Supreme Court would be hearing uh, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal uh, the, and the Ahmadi party would be hoping that he would get some sort of relief from the Supreme Court. Uh, but yesterday, what was a major breakthrough uh, during uh, the hearing that was going at the Delhi High Court is that uh, the High Court clearly uh, did not grant any sort of relief to Mr. Kejriwal. The High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties and under these circumstances, the High Court would not give any sort of protection to Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. But the High Court had asked the ED uh, to file a response as to why uh, they are uh, summoning Mr. Arvind Kejriwal right. in the uh, liquor policy case. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the Ahmadi party leaders had protested outside the CM's residence right. and also the several parties of the India Bloc Alliance Absolutely. had extended their support. Definitely, to Mr. India Kejriwal. rallying behind Arvind Kejriwal on social media uh, reactions coming in. And as far as the AAP is concerned, it's going to protest outside the BGP headquarters today. Sabes, you keep tracking all the developments. For the moment, we're slipping into a very short break. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. Namaskar, good morning. You're watching First Break and I'm Swati Joshi. Let's begin the broadcast with the headlines on the side. In a massive update in the liquor gate case, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested by ED after being grilled by the agency for over two hours. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before Rouse Avenue Court today. This comes after ED conducted his medical examination. Condemning the arrest, AAP has moved Supreme Court late night against ED's action, following which Supreme Court has decided to hear Kejriwal's plea today. AAP has a planned nationwide protest against Kejriwal's arrest. Leaders will stage a mega protest outside BJP headquarters today. AAP stands firm as a leader say Kejriwal will remain the chief minister and will run the government from inside the jail. Well, it's the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. The chief minister of the national capital, Arvind Kejriwal, has been formally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate after skipping nine summons issued by the probe agency. High drama was witnessed at the chief minister's residence from uh, late evening itself after the ED officials, a team of ED officials, swooped down at Kejriwal's residence. As many as 12 officers entered the Chief Minister's residence, including Joint Director C.P. Ravinder Yadav and Additional Director Kapil Raj, who was leading the team. 
The questioning of the chief minister went on for over two hours, during which the ED team also seized Kejriwal's phones. In the meantime, security was enhanced outside uh, Kejriwal's residence with multiple vehicles of uh, CAPF personnel seen entering Kejriwal's house and some stationed outside. Well, we have some breaking inputs coming in as well. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before the Rouse Avenue court today. Arvind Kejriwal, remember, was arrested uh, late last night by the Enforcement Directorate in the Liquor Gate case. The Enforcement Directorate will produce Arvind Kejriwal before uh, the court. Medical examination of uh, the Chief Minister of the National Capital was done last night. Sabe Saji is getting us uh, more details. Sabe Saji, medical examination done. Now we given to understand Arvind Kejriwal will be presented before the court today. What time will he be produced? Uh, well, absolutely. See, uh, late in the night, uh, the team of doctors had reached uh, uh, the Enforcement Directorate Office here in the National Capital to, uh, to conduct uh, the medical examination of uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. And uh, now, uh, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal would be uh, produced at the Rao's Avenue Court in the first half today. And uh, the team of lawyers from the Amadi Party also uh, would be going to the Supreme Court. Uh, see, last night also, uh, they had approached uh, the Supreme Court for a late night hearing. Uh, uh, but uh, the hearing could not uh, take place and the hearing would take place uh, today itself. Uh, meanwhile, we had seen that the war of wards has already been uh, started between uh, the opposition party and uh, the ruling government. And uh, the Aam Aadhi Party has been maintaining the fact that there is no uh, merit in the case and uh, the ED has been investigating this case uh, from the past uh, two years. Uh, but uh, not a single penny of money has been recovered by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, see, for the Enforcement Directorate, the main alibi they have is the nine summons that they have sent uh, to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. See, uh, yesterday also when uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal had approached uh, the Delhi High Court, uh, the Delhi High Court uh, judges were uh, listening to the CBI. They went through all the documents. The major question that they ask uh, the counsel of the Enforcement Directorate is that why didn't Mr. Arvind Kejriwal appear at the Enforcement Directorate office despite the uh, summons? Uh, because the Enforcement Directorate earlier has been saying that they want to question Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, uh, but uh, we have seen from Arvind Kejriwal's side various reasons have been given time and again, uh, calling uh, the summons illegal, uh, calling it politically motivated. And uh, finally, yesterday, we had seen the team of Enforcement Directorate along with the cover of Delhi Police had reached uh, CM's uh, residence at around 7 and at around 9.05. Right. Uh, oh, uh, uh, it's where Arvind Kejriwal was arrested. Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, several protests had broken out yesterday, not only in the national capital, but different parts of Absolutely. the country. Absolutely. In fact, the right. party has planned nationwide protests. We'll uh, speak about that more. Sabesachi, for the moment, we have some breaking inputs coming in. So on one hand, Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before the Rouse Avenue Court. We're also given to understand that... Uh, Aam Aadmi Party approached Supreme Court late last night. Uh, there was no late night hearing by the Supreme Court, but we're given to understand that the hearing will take place today. Supreme Court to hear Kejriwal's plea. बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोर्ट करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो सबेसाची कंटिन्यूस टू बी विद अस इन द ब्रॉडकास्ट सबेसाची Rouse Avenue Court, that, that's where Arvind Kejriwal will be produced. But to get relief, the Aam Aadmi Party has approached the topmost court, the apex court. The hearing will take place today. Of course, they were uh, pressing for an urgent hearing late last night itself. Well, absolutely. See, Rouse, uh, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal would be taken uh, to the Rouse Avenue Court today uh, by the Enforcement Directorate. On the other hand, uh, the Aam Aadmi Party is looking for some relief uh, from the Supreme Court. Uh, yesterday itself, uh, the team of lawyers from the Aam Aadmi Party had approached uh, the Supreme Court for a late night uh, hearing, but uh, that could not happen and the hearing uh, would take place uh, today in the first half. Uh, see, Aam Aadmi Party has been maintaining that the arrest is illegal, the summons were illegal. 
illegal and uh, during this two years of enforcement directed investigation uh, nothing has been recovered and uh, this is a politically motivated move by the uh, central government to target the Aam Aadhi Party. Now the Aam Aadhi Party has also questioned the timing of Arvind Kejriwal's arrest just ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Uh, see as far as the enforcement directorate is, is concerned the major weapon they have is the nine summons which uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has kept time and again in the last uh, six months several summons had been issued to him but he had been citing uh, several reasons uh, to skip the summon. First he says that these summons are illegal then he says it is politically motivated uh, then he says he has other uh, works uh, as a chief minister he has to uh, be uh, politically present in various areas and that is why he could not be present for the summons. Uh, meanwhile we had seen that yesterday also the team of uh, Right, absolutely. Uh, uh, in fact uh, yesterday uh, the court did ask enforcement directorate to produce material based on which these summons have been issued to Arvind Kedriwal. Uh, no protection however was granted by the court. Sabesachi stay on with us. Uh, no special uh, bench of Supreme Court is being set up midnight to urgently hear Delhi CM Arvind Kedriwal's petition challenging his arrest by enforcement directorate in the excise policy. The case will be heard today. Now let's take a look at how will the Delhi government function given that the chief minister has been arrested. After the arrest of Delhi CM Arvind Kedriwal in the Laker Gate case, there is suspense over who will be appointed the next CM or the next course of action by the Aam Aadmi Party. As the situation remains grim, AAP stands firm and claims that Arvind Kedriwal will continue as the chief minister and run the city government from prison. Meanwhile, uh, Kedriwal's legal team has already moved Supreme Court against the action. Let's first listen into the political reactions. कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी कोई पूछताछ नहीं थी कोई प्रश्न नहीं था सब कोर्ट के अंदर नाटक किया जा रहा था मुख्यमंत्री जी के घर की पूरी तलाशी इस छापे में ली गई सिर्फ सत्तर हजार रुपये नकद मिले जो कि ईडी वापस लौटा के चली गई मुख्यमंत्री जी का मोबाइल लिया गया और मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करके ले गए हैं पूरे छापे में कोई सबूत कोई एविडेंस कोई प्रॉपर्टी का कागज कोई गैर कानूनी पैसा कोई मनी ट्रेल नहीं मिली मैंने प्रतिक्रिया दी है ये बहुत बड़ा न्याय है लोकतंत्र की हत्या मुझे नहीं मालूम लेकिन मीडिया बोल रहा है Breaking inputs coming in. The Aam Aadmi Party is planning nationwide protest after the arrest of uh, their Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Our plans protest over Kejriwal's arrest. We given to understand that they are going to uh, hold protest outside BJP headquarter today. Sabesachi continues to be with us. Sabesachi, the protests will continue. That's what uh, the message is as far as the Aam Aadmi Party is concerned. That Arvind Kejriwal will run the government from jail. The workers will hit streets today. Well, absolutely. See, yesterday Gopal Rai had announced uh, uh, that uh, the entire Aam Aadmi Party workers uh, would stage a protest here in the national capital. Uh, they would gather in front of the Aam Aadmi Party headquarter at around 10 a.m. and they would carry out a protest and gherao the BJP headquarters. Uh, meanwhile, not only the national capital, but protest has been called in other states as well. See, yesterday we had seen uh, that uh, Congress leader Lovely was also uh, present in front of Aam Aadmi Party. Uh, 
uh, uh, Supremo's residence uh, to extend his support. Uh, the Congress Party has already extended their support uh, to uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal yesterday as per the sources. Uh, Rahul Gandhi also uh, spoke uh, to Mr. Kejriwal's family and extended their support uh, uh, to, uh, to him. And uh, we had seen that not only the Congress Party but several other regional parties have already extended the, their support uh, to Mr. Kejriwal and Ahmadi Party. And soon the India bloc uh, is going to issue a joint uh, uh, press release regarding uh, the alleged misuse of the central agencies by the central government. Uh, see, the major point that the opposition parties have been raising uh, here is the timing of this arrest and the misuse of the central agencies against the opposition leaders. And uh, they have been calling it as a vendetta politics and targeting of the opposition parties uh, ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. Uh, right. Sabesachi, stay on with us. So, on one hand, uh, Arvind Kejriwal will be produced in the Rouse Avenue court. The Aam Admi Party has also approached the top court where the hearing will take place today against his arrest. And you have our uh, leaders who have planned protest and they are going to protest um, uh, nationwide. On a nationwide level, the protest will take place. Uh, stay on with us, Sabesachi. Let's listen to some political reactions. BJP has slammed the alleged farce by AAP and said that it was the same party that once said that if there were any allegations, they would resign and allow a free and fair probe. However, now after being voted to power, their stance has changed. Yes, first ho gaya hai ki Arvind Kejriwal hi sharab ghotale ka kingpin hai. Arvind Kejriwal ke bhrashtachar ka ghada tuta hai. Arvind Kejriwal jhuta hai. Aur ye bilkul spasht hai ki Delhi High Court ne bhi aaj Arvind Kejriwal ko koi rahat nahi di क्योंकि जो साक्ष्य जांच एजेंसी ईडी ने इकट्ठे किए थे उनमें दम था और अरविंद केजरीवाल ने अपने पैरों पे कुल्हाड़ी मारी जब नौ समन उन्हें दिए गए कि नरेंद्र मोदी जी की सरकार वो सरकार है जहां भ्रष्टाचारी बच नहीं पाएगा सुपड़ा साफ हो जाएगा ये घमंडिया के जितने अलायस पार्टनर हैं अगर मुझे एक वाक्य में कहना पड़े अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर के बाहर क्या हो रहा है तो मैं कहूंगा इट इज सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ करप्शन जश्न भ्रष्टाचार बनाने की कोशिश आम आदमी पार्टी के नेता और आम आदमी पार्टी के कुछ मंत्री कर रहे हैं ये कोई पहला केस नहीं है अगर आपकी एक्साइज पॉलिसी इतनी अच्छी थी जैसा कि आप बता रहे थे तो आपने एक्साइज पॉलिसी को क्यों रद्द किया क्यों उसे रद्द किया गया इसका जवाब आज तक नहीं मिला We'll continue to track all the big developments in this uh, story. Sabe Sachi will uh, stay with us for the moment. We're taking a very short break. Welcome back. On Thursday, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal became the second sitting Chief Minister to be arrested in the last two months. Even as AAP approaches Supreme Court to seek legal respite, politics around the arrest that has taken place even as a model code of conduct is in place is raging. AAP workers have been protesting the crackdown with its senior leaders alleging a BJP conspiracy behind the arrest. ऐसी खबर आ रही है कि ईडी ने अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को अरेस्ट कर लिया है ये बिल्कुल साफ था जितनी भारी संख्या में पुलिस आई थी जितनी भारी संख्या में पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस यहाँ पे स्टेशन थे कि आज ईडी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को अरेस्ट करने के लिए आ रही है अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट भारतीय जनता पार्टी की और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की एक राजनीतिक साजिश है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अगर किसी एक नेता से डर लगता है तो वो नेता अरविंद केजरीवाल है अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट एक राजनीतिक साजिश है आज बीजेपी ने उन्होंने गिरफ्तार कर लिया उन्होंने इस नीति को कि वो मिडिल क्लास के गरीब लोगों को फायदा पहुंचा रहे थे ना पसंद करते हुए बीजेपी नहीं चाहती कि गरीबों का मिडिल क्लास का भला हो 
ਬੀਜੇਪੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੀ ਕਿ ਗਰੀਬਾਂ ਦੇ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੀ ਸਿੱਖਿਆ ਮਿਲੇ ਕਿ ਗਰੀਬ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਚੰਗੇ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਦਾ ਇਲਾਜ ਮਿਲੇ ਕਿ ਗਰੀਬ ਨੂੰ ਫ੍ਰੀ ਬਿਜਲੀ ਮਿਲੇ ਕਿ ਮਿਡਲ ਕਲਾਸ ਦੇ ਬੰਦੇ ਨੂੰ ਪੀਣ ਲਈ ਚੰਗਾ ਪਾਣੀ ਮਿਲੇ ਇਹ ਅਰਵਿੰਦ ਜੀ ਨੇ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਸੀਗਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਹੀ ਟੱਟੀਆ ਨਿੰਦਨਯੋਗ ਕਾਰਵਾਈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਉਹ ਬੀਜੇਪੀ ਨੇ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ well the arrest has given our india allies a rallying point even the congress that has been in a love hate relationship is uh, supporting arvind kejriwal is standing behind arvind kejriwal let's take a look at the reactions that we are getting uh, this is what rahul gandhi said after arvind kejriwal's arrest dara hua tana shah ek mara hua loktantra banana chahta hai so uh, the congress party that had questioned arvind kejriwal and had leveled allegations of corruptions against him today of course part of the india alliance is backing arvind kejriwal this is what rahul gandhi continued to say aap chune hue mukhyamantriyon ki giraftari bhi aam baat ho gayi hai so he is taking a jive at prime minister narendra modi indi iska muh tod jawab dega this is rahul gandhi statement on the arrest of arvind kejriwal rahul gandhi uh, ke baad baat karte hain priyanka gandhi vadra ki priyanka gandhi vadra said using agencies for vendetta before polls the allegation is that arvind kejriwal has been arrested uh, because lok sabha elections are nearing and the bjp wants to wipe out the entire opposition Uh, further priyanka gandhi says plans to arrest more sitting chief ministers now so according to priyanka gandhi vadra arvind uh, kejriwal is not uh, the uh, only chief minister remember before him of course hemant soren was arrested she says more will be arrested akhilesh yadav says bjp knows it won't come back to power according to akhilesh yadav that's why bjp is using agencies this arrest will start a new revolution so akhilesh yadav says a new revolution revolution will begin after this after the arrest of uh, arvind kejriwal sagarika ghosh mp of the tmc says shows prime minister's desperation to destroy the opposition multiple reactions coming in these are all indi uh, leaders who are backing arvind kejriwal derek o'brien of the tmc says party chiefs chief ministers opponents all are ha- being harassed save democracy from impending disaster let's listen into some more reactions that we are getting uh the indi is rallying behind arvind kejriwal slamming the bjp saying agency is being used to wipe out the entire opposition ahead of lok sabha polls party chunav se bukla ke harkate kar rahi hai congress ke account seal kiye jate hain hemant soren ji ko uthaya jata hai aaj delhi ke andar bhi timing dekhiye aap kis timing ke upar jo hai wo action liya ja raha hai jab chunav shuru ho gaye hain तो निश्चित रूप से लोकतंत्र के लिए एजेंसीज का मिसयूज जो है वो शर्मनाक है और हम ये कहना चाहते हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी इन सब बातों से घबराती नहीं है और इन बातों की वजह से हम और मजबूती के साथ चुनाव लड़ेंगे और आप पार्टी हमारी गठबंधन की पार्टनर है हम मजबूती के साथ उनके साथ खड़े हैं और उनके साथ मिलकर चुनाव लड़ेंगे you see this is totally a vindictive politics of uh, bharatiya janata party they know very well that they will not return in delhi so they are disturbing the non bhajpa parties non bhajpa leaders of the country and this script relating misusing this ed and central agencies against mr kejriwal and other non bhajpa leaders and parties this is a part of their script it is clearly evident that the arrest of delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal is a planned strategic move by the bhartiya janata party they do not want any leader from the opposition and the india alliance to be a part of the forthcoming lok sabha elections this is nothing but muzzling the voice of all the leaders who are raising the voices against the misdeeds of the bhartiya janata party this is suppression of freedom of speech which is dangerous for democracy it is a mockery of democracy atyant dukhad hai jis tarah se jharkhand mein yahan ke ati lokapriya yuva mukhyamantri eman sonen ji ko giraftar kiya gaya usi tarah se usi pattern mein saman bhejan bhejna fir unko arrest karna jahan jahan janta dwara chuni hui is tarah ki lokapriya sarkare hain un un state mein इस तरह से तंग किया जा रहा है जो कि भाजपा में नहीं है और भाजपा में जो लोग हैं उन पर तरह तरह के भ्रष्टाचार के केसेस हैं इसके बावजूद वो क्लीन चीट उन्हें 
मिल जा रहा है लगातार उन्हें अनदेखी की जा रही है उनके केसेस को ठंडे बस्ते में डाल दिया जा रहा है ये लोकतंत्र के लिए अच्छी बात नहीं है Why this time? Why have they chosen just before elections? Why are they arresting? First they arrested Soren Sahab. Now they have arrested Arvind Kejriwal. Mm. This is being done to destabilize the India Alliance. Mm. They've seized our accounts, as you know. Mm. All these steps have been taken by a nervous BJP mm. to ensure that we get a little derailed. Mm. But believe me, we are not getting derailed. People are watching what's happening, what's being done to us. Mm. People will come out and support us and reject. this authoritarian regime Well the BJP has called the arrest of indication of its stand and is now demanding immediate resignation of Kejriwal BJP says that up leader statements that Kejriwal will run the government from jail is an insult to constitutional norms Main free karunga main ye free karunga wo free karunga magar uske baad bhi free kuch nahi kiya केजरीवाल का विचार था कि शराब पॉलिसी लेके आएंगे उसमें घोटाला करेंगे ये केजरीवाल का विचार था अगर सौरभ भारद्वाज का ये कहना है कि शराब पॉलिसी दोबारा लेके आएंगे हम अरविंद केजरीवाल के विचार को दोबारा लेके आएंगे तो ये उसकी गलत फहमी है दिल्ली में ऐसी शराब पॉलिसी कभी नहीं आएगी जिसमें आप लोग कोई घोटाला करने का विचार रखते हो आज सच्चाई की जीत हुई दिल्ली के सबसे भ्रष्ट और करप्ट मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी आज केवल ये अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी नहीं हुई दिल्ली में भ्रष्टाचार का अंत हुआ है दिल्ली के महाभ्रष्ट मुख्यमंत्री को उसके कुकर्मों की सजा मिल रही है आज बहुत बड़े पापी का अंत हुआ है अंत में सच्चाई की जीत हुई है और अरविंद केजरीवाल गिरफ्तार हुए हैं यह करप्शन का अंत है यह भारतीय जनता पार्टी और मोदी जी की कमिटमेंट है कि ना खाने खाऊंगा ना खाने दूंगा और खाने देने वालों को जेल मर छोड़ के आऊंगा आज एक और भ्रष्टाचारी करप्ट मुख्यमंत्री तिहाड़ जेल की तरफ जाने वाला है कानून अपना काम कर रहा था और कानून के तहत अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की गिरफ्तारी हुई है लेकिन जिस प्रकार का माहौल बनाने की कोशिश की गई कि उनके साथ बेंडेटा पॉलिटिक्स हो रही है ये सरासर गलत है नौ संबंध दिए गए अरविंद केजरीवाल साहब को उनके लिए पिपाशरा इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए मध्य प्रदेश चुनाव इंपॉर्टेंट था उनके लिए दिवाली इंपॉर्टेंट थी लेकिन ईडी के सवालों के जवाब देना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं था क्या कह रहे हैं आपके लोग जेल से शासन करेंगे ये आपके लोग कह रहे हैं कि आप जेल से शासन चलाएंगे ये है आपका नए तरह की राजनीति जेल से शासन चलाने वालों आप तो कहते थे कि अगर गिरफ्तारी होती है या सबूत तो पहले इस्तीफा होना चाहिए जब आपके ऊपर आरोप लगते थे कहते पहले इस्तीफा उसके बाद भी बात करेंगे आज जब आप गिरफ्तार हो गए हो क्यों नहीं इस्तीफा देते सवाल ये है सबे साची इज जॉइनिंग अस ऑन द ब्रॉडकास्ट नाउ फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द ईडी ऑफिस सबे साची दोस ऑफ कॉस आर रिएक्शंस कमिंग इन फ्रॉम द बीजेपी क्लेमिंग विंडिकेशन well absolutely see uh, uh, the bjp has been hinting uh, yesterday we had seen that several uh, uh, leaders from the bharatiya janata party had said that satya me jayate and uh, this particular allegation has been proven and arvind kejriwal has to face the ed uh, we had seen that strong reactions were coming in from the bjp the bjp time and again were questioning the cutter imanda tag uh, by chief minister arvind kejriwal and the bjp also alleged that why is mr arvind kejriwal not going to the ed office uh, for uh, uh, so many summons uh, meanwhile the aam aadmi party has been maintaining the fact that these summons were illegal the uh, arrest is illegal they have questioned the timing of the arrest just ahead of the lok sabha polls now uh, we are reporting live from the uh, enforcement directorate office here the main road that leads to the enforcement directorate office has been completely sealed off by the delhi police uh, you can see the central forces also deployed out here and more forces are expected to be deployed and also section 144 of the crpc has been imposed out here uh, in looking at the condition because the aam aadmi party workers have called for a massive protest here in the national capital in different areas and the delhi police is prepared
prepared to tackle any sort of situation. Uh, they have said that any situation that leads to a dispute in the law and order situation would be uh, tackled by the Delhi police. Uh, meanwhile, the Amadi Party Council would be approaching. The Supreme Court would be hearing uh, uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal uh, the, and the Amadi Party would be hoping that he would get some sort of relief from the Supreme Court. Uh, but yesterday, w w what was a major breakthrough uh, during uh, the hearing that was going at the Delhi High Court is that uh, the High Court clearly uh, did not grant any sort of relief to Mr. Kejriwal. The High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties and under these circumstances, the High Court would not give any sort of protection to Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. But the High Court had asked the ED uh, to file a response as to why uh, they are uh, summoning Mr. Arvind Kejriwal right. in the uh, liquor policy case. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the Yama, the party leaders had protested outside the CM's residence right. and also the several parties of the India Bloc Alliance Absolutely. had extended their support. Definitely, our India are rallying behind Arvind Kejriwal on social media uh, reactions coming in. And as far as the AAP is concerned, is going to protest outside the BGP headquarters today. Sabe Saji, keep tracking all the developments for the moment. We're slipping into a very short break. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Rahul Gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai. Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favoured company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Kya aap din ki sahi I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi, asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shijra Malhotra and you're watching The Morning News Hour. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm of me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is excuse. Namaskar, good morning. You're watching First Break. Aapke saath mein hoon Swati Joshi. Let's begin the broadcast with the headlines of the South. 
In a massive update in Liquor Gate, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested by ED after being grilled by the agency for over two hours. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before Rouse Avenue Court today. This comes after ED has conducted his medical examination. Condemning the arrest, AAP has moved Supreme Court late uh, last night against ED's action, following which the Supreme Court has decided to hear Kejriwal's plea today. AAP has even planned nationwide protest against Kejriwal's uh, arrest. Leaders will stage mega protest outside BJP headquarters today. AAP stands firm as uh, leaders say Kejriwal will remain the chief minister and he will run the government from inside the jail. Well, it is the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. Delhi ki Mukhi Mantri Arvind Kejriwal ko ED ke adhikariyo ne officially arrest kar liya hai. No summons beje gaya thai Arvind Kejriwal ko jinhe Arvind Kejriwal ne skip kar diya tha. Unke ghar ke bahar kai saari gati vidhiyan aur halchal dekhne ko mili jaysay hi kal dher shab ED ke adhikari unke ghar par pahunche aur 12 ED adhikari jankari mil rahi hai ki ek saath 12 ED ke adhikari wahaan pahunche te Arvind Kejriwal ke ghar par search warrant saath le kar ke aayte jus mein joint director CP Ravinder Yadav aur unke alawa additional director Kapil Raj bhi maujud te jo ki team ko lead kar rahe te. The questioning of the chief minister went on for over two hours during which the ED team also seized Kejriwal's phones. In the meantime security was enhanced outside Kejriwal's residence with multiple vehicles of CAPF personnel seen entering Kejriwal's house and some that was stationed outside as well. We have some breaking inputs coming in. Arvind Kejriwal ko aaj Rouse Avenue Court ke saamne pesh kiya jai ga. Unka medical examination ho chuka hai. Sabe Saatchi is getting us more details on that. Sabe Saatchi, so Arvind Kejriwal will now be produced before the Rouse Avenue Court. That of course is the next step. Ek vyakti ko arrest karne ke baad medical examination aur uske baad court pe produce karna hota hai. Well, absolutely. Uh, see, uh, uh, this would be the next step uh, from the Enforcement Directorate uh, to produce uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal uh, to the Rouse Avenue Court. Now it would be decided after the Supreme Court uh, hearing uh, whether Mr. Kejriwal would be produced uh, physically or he would be produced virtually because in several areas of the national capital, uh, protest has been called in by the Ahmadi Party. So looking at the development, the Enforcement Directorate uh, would be taking this decision uh, later in the day. But all eyes would be on the Supreme Court urgent hearing that is going to take place today because last night itself the Aam Adi Party Council had moved uh, the Supreme Court for an urgent hearing to squash uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. Uh, meanwhile, we are reporting live uh, from outside uh, the Enforcement Directorate Office here in the National Capital. You can see the entire area has been completely cordoned off. Uh, security personnel has been increased. Section 144 has been imposed out here. And uh, looking at the current situation where protests could be seen in different parts. Section 144 has also been imposed out here. Now from the sources, what we got to know that today morning itself, the questioning of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal would, uh, would begin here in the Enforcement Directorate office. He would be uh, questioned by the uh, assistant uh, directors and it will be supervised uh, by the deputy director himself. So uh, clearly a lot of developments are taking place and uh, last night, uh, as we know that the Enforcement Directorate uh, had had arrested Mr. Kejriwal and uh, they had brought him here at the Enforcement Directorate head, uh, headquarters. Uh, la uh, late in the uh, night, uh, the team of doctors had reached here to conduct the medical examination of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. And today morning itself, let's, the questioning... Let's of uh, break down these details. The inside scoop that we uh, have accessed on Kejriwal's grilling post the arrest and Bhaptosh is joining us with more details on that. Uh, the Enforcement Directorate is going to resume the Chief Minister's questioning today. Uh, we're given to understand that the questioning will be done by two assistant directors and that it will be supervised by deputy and additional director of the enforcement directorate. So yesterday, Arvind Kejriwal was questioned for over two hours post which he was arrested. The questioning will continue today as well. Bhaptosh is getting us more details on that. Bhaptosh, questioning to be done by two assistant directors? Yes, sir. The questioning will resume in the morning. Uh, he was allowed to spend the night in the lockup. Uh, 
and then uh, in the morning the questioning will resume uh, this uh, entire case has been uh, proved by officers of the rank of assistant director and also was supervised by a deputy director and uh, an additional director rank officer and it is expected that the questioning will resume in the morning but uh, swati uh, the matter has uh, will be taken up immediately in the morning by the apex court because uh, 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 amadi party wanted an urgent hearing to take place uh, late in the night itself that did not happen and it's expected that around 10:30 in the morning uh, the the supreme court will be taking up this matter so all eyes would be in the top court at the same time uh, if the matter gets uh, in in a way uh, resolved in the uh, in the uh, top court or any directions are given by the top court then the matter will go into the uh, raul devery court uh, in the special court uh, the uh, the court uh, will in fact uh, the matter would be heard there because he is under arrest and ed will try to seek his custody Uh, the Delhi police will also be taking a call whether to uh, pre- uh, present him physically or to make sure that he is uh, uh, produced through video conferencing. As far as the accused in this concern, uh, in this case is concerned, the 15 accused in this case who have been arrested, they have all been produced physically in this case. None of them have been produced uh, virtually. They have all been produced in the court. He has said that uh, they will, uh, in fact, consult with uh, with the Delhi police before taking any call as to whether or not case one will be produced physically or through video conferencing. They want to produce him uh, physically, frankly, because they want to tell the court, of, uh, open court, as to what right. are, uh, what proofs that they have against him. Right. These, of course, are inside details. But those shall stay on with us. Let's break down these details as well. As far as uh, producing Arvind Kedriwal in the court is concerned. a decision will be taken on whether he'll be produced physically in the court or uh, through uh, video conferencing and sabhi sachi is getting us more details on that sabhi sachi so far all the accused in the case i believe have been produced physically in the court well absolutely see um, all the accused has been uh, pres- uh, uh, presented physically at uh, the rouse avenue special court uh, last we have seen that k kavita also was brought physically inside the court uh, now uh, after uh, the development that takes place in the supreme court it would be de- decided by the enforcement directorate and also looking at uh, the situation here in the national capital uh, whether chief minister arvind kejriwal would be produced uh, physically or uh, via video conferencing now the uh, enforcement directorate state Uh, would be asking for uh, the custody of Arvind Kejriwal for the questioning in the alleged liquor case. Uh, now there is a possibility that the enforcement directorate could uh, cross question uh, Arvind Kejriwal along with K Kavita because earlier we had seen that the enforcement directorate in the press conference that it has released in the public domain uh, clearly alleged that uh, K Kavita and uh, the South Group cartel paying 100 crores uh, to the Amadi Party leaders and 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 and, and, and mentioned. Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia in that particular press release meanwhile the Aam Aadmi Party has been maintaining that this is nothing but political vendetta they have questioned uh, the timing of the arrest they have questioned the merit of the case they also said that the enforcement directorate had been investigating this case uh, from the last two years but nothing has been recovered so clearly a lot of war of words uh, are expected today meanwhile heavy security deployment right. uh, could be seen uh, near about uh, the enforcement directorate office here in the national capital capital the aam aadmi party had called uh, for a uh, d- uh, delhi uh, bjp headquarters gherao protest uh, today at 10 p- uh, 10 am and also in several other areas in the national capital all right sabhi sachi stay on with us all eyes will be on the top court as well because uh, the aam aadmi party remember yesterday approached the top court although they asked for an urgent hearing but no special bench of supreme court was set up uh, for the midnight hearing on the matter to be taken up urgently so the court will take up the matter today it had refused to hear the plea late night let's listen to what atish she said bilkul supreme court humne case file kar diya hai arvind kejriwal अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को क्वॉश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो। वेल सो सुप्रीम कोर्ट इज गोइंग टू टेक अप द मैटर टुडे मीन वाइल अरविंद केजरीवाल ऑल्सो भी प्रोड्यूस्ड इन द राउज एवेन्यू कोर्ट after the arrest of arvind kejriwal in the liquor gate case there is suspense over who will be appointed the next cm or the next course of action by aam aadmi party as of now situation remains grim aam aadmi party stands firm and claims that arvind kejriwal will continue as the chief minister and run the government from prison meanwhile kejriwal's legal team has uh, already moved top court and the hearing will take place this morning today 
कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी कोई पूछताछ नहीं थी कोई प्रश्न नहीं था सब कोर्ट के अंदर नाटक किया जा रहा था मुख्यमंत्री जी के घर की पूरी तलाशी इस छापे में ली गई सिर्फ सत्तर हजार रुपये नकद मिले जो कि ईडी वापस लौटा के चली गई मुख्यमंत्री जी का मोबाइल लिया गया और मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करके ले गए हैं पूरे छापे में कोई सबूत कोई एविडेंस कोई प्रॉपर्टी का कागज कोई गैर कानूनी पैसा कोई मनी ट्रेल नहीं मिली मैंने प्रतिक्रिया दी है ये बहुत बड़ा अन्याय है लोकतंत्र की हत्या मुझे नहीं मालूम लेकिन मीडिया बोल रहा है जी आम आदमी पार्टी प्लान प्रोटेस्ट ओवर अरविंद केजरीवाल अरेस्ट आम आदमी पार्टी टू प्रोटेस्ट आउटसाइड बीजेपी हेडक्वार्टर टुडे एंड आम आदमी पार्टी इन फैक्ट इज गोइंग टू लॉन्च अ नेशन वाइड प्रोटेस्ट अ नेशन वाइड प्रोटेस्ट कॉल हैज बीन गिवन बाय आम आदमी पार्टी लीडर्स आफ्टर द अरेस्ट ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल देल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग देल बी प्रोटेस्टिंग आउटसाइड बीजेपी हेडक्वार्टर इन द नेशनल कैपिटल एज वेल सबे साची कंटिन्यूज टू गेट अस डिटेल सबे साची व्हाट आर द अरेंजमेंट्स मेड गिवन दिस नेशन वाइड कॉल प्रोटेस्ट गिवन बाय आम आदमी पार्टी लीडर्स Well, absolutely. See, the uh, AAP leaders had called uh, for a protest last, last night itself. Uh, Gopal Rai, who was present outside uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's residence, he has asked all the party workers uh, to gather uh, in front of the party headquarters here in the national capital at 10 a.m. and uh, to continue their agitation against the BJP government and Gherao, the BJP headquarters. Now we had seen yesterday as well, uh, not only the national capital but in different parts of the country, uh, protest was carried out. by the aam aadmi party leaders now the aam aadmi party has been getting continuous support from the other opposition parties as well uh, yesterday the congress had sent its delegation uh, in front of arvind kejriwal's residence uh, the congress also said that they would uh, join in uh, the protest with the aam aadmi party and also other parties from the uh, 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 in in the uh, alliance would be part of this protest now the opposition parties have been maintaining that time and again the opposition leaders are being targeted with the use of the central agencies uh, ahead of the lok sabha polls and that is the reason why yesterday the congress decided that since is it is the principal opposition of the bjp along with the other regional parties uh, would issue a joint uh, press statement against the misuse of the uh, central uh, agencies by the central government because uh, we had seen time and again this particular issue has been raised by the opposition right. leaders uh, be sabha sachi stay on with us let's also listen into the reactions that we are getting from the bharat the janata party that in fact has slammed uh, aam aadmi party's uh, statements and uh, call for nation wide protest let's listen into what shahzad punawala said delhi ki janta ne paatshala kholne ke liye zimmedari di thi aapne madhushala khol di aur madhushala kholte kholte jis prakar se bhrashtachar kiya aur jab us par karwai ho rahi hai aur karwai bhi aisi jis par court ki mohar lag rahi hai aaj court ne kaha na ki koi rahat aapko nahi di ja sakti कल कोर्ट ने कहा ना नौ नौ समन क्यों आप स्किप कर रहे हैं आपको एजेंसी के सामने पेश होना पड़ेगा फिर भी आप कहते हैं कि विद्वेषपूर्ण कार्रवाई विक्टिम हुड कार्ड खेलते हैं बताइए सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने 338 करोड़ का मनी ट्रेल बताया आज वो लालू प्रसाद यादव के ऐसे शागिर्द बने हैं कि इस्तीफा तो दूर की बात जांच में सहयोग नहीं करते और तिहाड़ से जेल चलाने की तिहाड़ से सरकार चलाने की बात करते हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल सरे आम ये कहा करते थे हमारे किसी भी नेता पर कोई आरोप लगे वो तुरंत इस्तीफा दे दे किसी के ऊपर भी जरा से भी आंच तुरंत उसे जांच एजेंसी के सामने जाना चाहिए और आज ये कह रहे हैं कि हम केजरीवाल जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे मुझे नहीं पता लीगल प्रोविजन क्या है लेकिन संवैधानिक संस्थाएं जो हैं 
वो एक मर्यादा में रहकर काम करती हैं और उन मर्यादा का पालन इनको भी करना पड़ेगा अब क्या सेक्रेटरी क्या इनके मंत्री क्या जेल में जाके तिहार के प्रांगण में कैबिनेट बैठक करेंगे कहने से पहले दस बार सोचना चाहिए so those are statements coming in from the bharatiya janata party that uh, has slammed the aam aadmi party and in fact many also responding to statements coming in from our leaders that arvind kejriwal will continue to run the government from behind the bars from prison virendra sachdeva of the aam aadmi party said such statements coming in and such decisions taken by uh, parties are completely against the constitution bjp is uh, questioning aam aadmi party BJP alleges uh, this is nothing but lalach for uh, satta aam aadmi party claims arvind kejriwal will continue to remain the chief minister he'll run the government from behind the bars on the other hand indi netas are rallying behind aam aadmi party uh, leader arvind kejriwal we have uh, more uh, breaking inputs coming in so we are tracking all the details all the reactions as far as arvind kejriwal's arrest is concerned indi netas are backing aam aadmi party and in fact uh, rahul gandhi uh, spoke to the family of arvind kejriwal that's the information coming in sabse sachi rahul gandhi spoke to arvind kejriwal's family well absolutely see uh, from the sources uh, what we are picking is that rahul gandhi had a phone conversation uh, with uh, arvind kejriwal uh, uh, family members last night and he had extended his support uh, to mr arvind kejriwal's family and uh, if sources are to be believed that rahul gandhi may also physically go to meet uh, the family members of arvind kejriwal today uh, see congress had extended their support right away after the news of arvind kejriwal uh, getting arrested by the en enforcement directorate came out Uh, the congress party had sent uh, their delegation uh, uh, earlier uh, to uh, the cm's residence and now rahul gandhi had extended his support uh, to the family members of uh, the uh, uh, arvind kejriwal now congress is saying that in this particular fight against uh, the bjp all the political parties of the india block are together and they would uh, fight uh, see, see rahul gandhi also right. said that uh, time and again the opposition leaders are being targeted by the right. central government on one hand the a bank account of one opposition party absolutely the war of words continue hand, meanwhile we'll yeah. also track all the legal developments that take place in the courts abhisachi stay on with us a quick break with that news and updates will continue when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है खतरे में है Because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I'm Manita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shweta Malhotra, and you're watching the Morning News. 
whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm as me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of factual control. We report from Ground Zero. Times now. Action begins here. Explosive, exclusive and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive into stories that matter. Raising questions you won't ask. On Thursday, the Chief Minister of the National Capital, Arvind Kedriwal, became the second sitting CM to be arrested in the last two months. Even as AAP approaches Supreme Court to seek legal help, uh, legal relief, the politics around the arrest that has taken place, even as model code of conduct is in place, is raging. AAP workers have been protesting the crackdown, with its senior leaders alleging BJP conspiracy behind the arrest. Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji, Arvind Kejriwal ji se darte hai. Wo lok tantra ko khatam karna chate hai. Wo ek ek karke sabhi vipaksh ke netaon ko jail mein dalna chate hai. Ye kya tarika hai? Ye chunao jeetne ka, ladne ka, jeetne ka kya tarika hai? Is desh mein kya lok tantra bache ga? Agar chunao se pehle aap vipaksh ke har neta ko jail mein dal doonge. Aap vipaksh ki har party ka bank account freeze kar doonge. तो ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की एक राजनीतिक साजिश है आज बीजेपी ने उन्होंने गिरफ्तार कर लिया उन्होंने इस नीति को कि वो मिडिल क्लास से गरीब लोगों को फायदा पहुंचा रहे थे ना पसंद करते हुए बीजेपी नहीं चाहती कि गरीबों का मिडिल क्लास का भला हो बीजेपी नहीं चाहती कि गरीबों के बच्चों को चंकी सिक्ख्या मिले कि गरीब बंद चंगे हॉस्पिटल का इलाज मिले कि गरीब को फ्री बिजली मिले कि मिडल क्लास के बंद पीन ली चंगा पानी मिले ये अरविंद जी ने दिता सी बहुत ही घटिया निंदनजोग कार्रवाई जी बीजेपी ने की है Well, the arrest has given our India allies a rallying point. Even the Congress that has been in love-hate relationship with AAP over seat-sharing tussle stood behind them against the action. Sources telling Times Now that as the party is now uh, going to speak to all the allies and issue a joint statement against the alleged misuse of agencies. Here are some prominent reactions coming in from the INDI camp. Rahul Gandhi, in support of Arvind Kejriwal, says, "Dara hua tana sha, ek mara hua lok tantra banana chahta hai." And uh, Rahul Gandhi continues to say, "Ab chune hue mukhi mantriyon ki giraftari bhi am baat ho gaye." He's saying this is a, a routine affair now, arresting a sitting chief minister. INDI is ka mu tor jawab dega. So this is a statement coming in from Rahul Gandhi. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra says, "Using agencies for vendetta before polls, calling it vendetta politics." She says, "Plans." to arrest more sitting chief ministers now so arvind kejriwal uh, ke sath ye khatm nahi hoga aage aur bhi chief ministers ko arrest kiya jayega that's what priyanka gandhi vadra is claiming akhilesh yadav the sp chief says bjp knows it won't come back to power and that's why according to akhilesh yadav this action is being taken he says this arrest will start a new revolution there are other leaders as well sagrika goes uh, tmc mp says shows prime minister's desperation to destroy opposition she is hitting out at prime minister narendra modi derek o'brien says party chiefs chief ministers opponents all harassed now these of course are reactions coming in from prominent netas of the indi block we have more reactions lined up for you listen in party chunav se bukla ke harkate kar rahi hai congress ke account seal kiye jate hain hemant soren ji ko uthaya jata hai aaj delhi ke andar bhi timing dekhiye aap kis timing ke upar jo hai wo action liya ja raha hai jab chunav shuru ho gaye hain तो निश्चित रूप से लोकतंत्र के लिए एजेंसीज का मिसयूज जो है वो शर्मनाक है और हम ये कहना चाहते हैं
कांग्रेस पार्टी इन सब बातों से घबराती नहीं है और इन बातों की वजह से हम और मजबूती के साथ चुनाव लड़ेंगे और आप पार्टी हमारी गठबंधन की पार्टनर है हम मजबूती के साथ उनके साथ खड़े हैं और उनके साथ मिलकर चुनाव लड़ेंगे यू सी दिस इज टोटली ऑफ इंडिक्टिव पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी दे नो वेरी वेल दैट दे विल नॉट रिटर्न इन दिल्ली सो दे आर डिस्टर्बिंग द नॉन भाजपा पार्टीज नॉन भाजपा लीडर्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड दिस स्क्रिप्ट relating misusing this ed and central agencies against mr kejriwal and other non bhajpa leaders and parties this is a part of their script and with that we're slipping into a very short break news and updates will continue stay on with us when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth don't tax the poor people who are using petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist aapke upar to kai hotalon ke bhi aajkal aarop lag rahe hain desh mein sirf ek baat ki charcha hai ki kya bjp rahul gandhi se dar gayi she takes on the masters of indian politics like no one else can vipaksh kam se kam uttar pradesh mein ye keh raha hai ki aap hawa bana rahe hain nivesh koi aaya hi nahi is rajya mein rahul gandhi ka kehna hai ki desh mein loktantra marta ja raha hai khatre mein hai because she speaks for you the way no one else can what about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government how do you look at india on the world map of countries to watch out because your voice must be heard your questions answered above all else frankly speaking with navika kumar can i have your attention please kya aap din ki sahi shuruaat dhoond rahe hain I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं, असर होना भी जरूरी है. I'm Mamita Badwa. I'm Pratibha. I'm Shreya Malhotra, and we are watching the Morning News. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Your news, your passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here, and three days later, she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm army that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force, which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of actual control. Powered by Perno Rica India, driven by Maruti Suzuki, co-powered by Dream Sports, make sports better. Knowledge partner Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitham, come become. Associate partner LIC, har pal aapke saath. Outdoor partner Tim Delhi Airport Advertising Private Limited.
welcome back. You're watching First Break, and I'm Swati Joshi. We'll continue getting you all the latest developments on Arvind Kejriwal's arrest. But first, up are the headlines. In a massive update in Liquor Gate, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested by ED after being grilled by agency for over two hours. Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before Rao's Avenue Court today. This comes after ED conducted his medical examination. Condemning the arrest, AAP has moved Supreme Court late uh, night against ED's action, following which Supreme Court has decided to hear the plea today. AAP has even planned nationwide protest against Kejriwal's arrest. Leaders will stage mega protest outside BJP headquarters as well. AAP stands firm with its leader, says Kejriwal will remain the chief minister and will continue to run the government from inside jail. Congress has released its third uh, list of candidates. 57 candidates from eight states have been named by the party with a maximum number of 17 candidates being named from the state of Karnataka. Well, it is the biggest arrest so far in the Delhi Liquor Gate case. Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been formally arrested by the Enforcement Directorate after skipping nine summons issued by the agency. High drama was witnessed at the Chief Minister's residence from late evening. Bara Sadasyo ki ED ki ek team Arvind Kejriwal ke ghar par pahunchi, jahan unke saath puchtaj ki gai search warrant ke saath hi team pahunchi thi. Is team mein joint director CP Ravinder Yadav aur additional director Kapil Raj shamil thai, joh ki is team ko lead kar rahe thai. Questioning of the chief minister went on for over two hours, during which the ED team also seized Kejriwal's phones. In the meantime, security was enhanced outside Kejriwal's residence. Kai saari gaadiyan CAPF personnel ki nazar aayin. केजरीवाल के घर के बाहर भी क्योंकि अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी की तैयारी थी वे गिवन टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट सिक्योरिटी आल्सो हैज बीन हाइटेंड एक बड़ी खबर इस वक्त आ रही है हेड ऑफ आम आदमी पार्टीज प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट केजरीवाल्स अरेस्ट सिक्योरिटी हैज बीन बीफ्ड अप आउटसाइड द आप ऑफिस एज वेल विल ट्राई एंड कनेक्ट विद द रिपोर्टर्स टू गेट यू मोर डिटेल्स शिवानी इनफैक्ट इज जॉइनिंग अस फ्रॉम आउटसाइड द आप ऑफिस एंड सबे साथ इज गेटिंग अस ऑल द इनपुट्स द लेटेस्ट फ्रॉम द ईडी ऑफिस शिवानी बड़ी खबर आ रही है कि सुरक्षा व्यवस्था बढ़ा दी गई है एंड especially after uh, the arrest of Arvind Kejriwal outside the AAP office. स्वाति मैं आपको इस वक्त बता दूं कि मैं उस जगह पर हूं जहां से आम आदमी पार्टी का दफ्तर महज 500 मीटर की दूरी पर है और इस तरह के जो बैरिकेड्स हैं वो जगह जगह पर लगा दिए गए हैं देर इज हैवी बैरिकेडिंग दैट हैज बीन डन टू ऑल द रोड्स दैट लीड टू आम आदमी पार्टी ऑफिस इन डेली बिकॉज देर इज अ प्रोटेस्ट दैट हैज बीन कॉल्ड बाय द आम आदमी पार्टी वर्कर्स टूडे एट टेन दे विल बी प्रोटेस्टिंग नॉट ओनली इन डेली बट दे हैव कॉल्ड फॉर अ प्रोटेस्ट ऑल ओवर द कंट्री अगेंस्ट द अरेस्ट ऑफ Arvind Kejriwal that they have been calling an illegal arrest and this is Aam Aadmi Party's ITO office where there is heavy deployment of the security forces there is barricading and all the roads that lead to this place have been barricaded Swati aur iske alawa jagah jagah par kai aise sensitive zones hai jaise Aam Aadmi Party ka daftar jaise Arvind Kejriwal ka residence uske alawa kai aur ilake wahan par bhi section 144 impose kiya gaya hai taki kisi bhi tarah se jo Aam Aadmi Party ke वर्कर्स हैं वो वहां पर इकट्ठे ना हो और स्थिति नियंत्रण में रहे बिकॉज वीव सीन दैट सिंस लास्ट इवनिंग वेन देर वॉज हैवी डिप्लॉयमेंट अहेड ऑफ द अरेस्ट ऑफ अरविंद केजरीवाल एट हिज रेजिडेंस देर व हंड्रेड्स ऑफ कार्यकर्ताज ऑफ आम आदमी पार्टी देयर एंड दे हैव ऑल्सो कॉल्ड फॉर अ प्रोटेस्ट इन मुंबई and in delhi and all the other places so now uh, the police uh, has been in place to keep these roads safe for uh, people and there should be no uh, 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 indiscipline in the name of protest that's what the police wants they don't want uh, things to get out of control because uh, uh, there have been high drama on several occasions ahead of this arrest also whenever police had to go or the ed was uh, summoning Arv arvind kejriwal there were occasions when aam aadmi party these uh, workers were uh, protesting right. and today also we see a protest has been planned and to uh, see and uh, uh, control the things the police has be uh, beeped up the security and they have barricaded several roads in the national capital too right nationwide protest ka awan kiya hai aapke netaon ne sabse saath joining us from outside the ed office sabse saath uh, latest jankari kya aapke paas kitne baje arvind kejriwal ko rauz avenue court le jaya jayega aur kya faisla is baat par ho gaya hai whether he will be produced physically or through video conferencing
सबे साची आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है कैन यू अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ मीन वाइल लेट मी गो बैक टू शिवानी Shivani, uh, the Enforcement Directorate is yet to take a decision on whether Arvind Kejriwal will be produced physically in the court or through video conferencing. Check, 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 yes, check. It will be decided today that how Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before the court because it is mandatory for him to be produced before the court within 24 hours of his arrest, and that's what uh, uh, the ED is also planning. There is high security outside the ED office as well as the Amadmi Party office too, and. Uh, at the same time the supreme court will also decide whether uh, the plea for his bail has to be taken up today so several things are developing but since the morning uh, the national capital is witnessing high drama and at several places uh, security has been beefed up it is yet to be decided how arvind kejriwal will be produced in the court will it be virtual or will he be taken physically there so this has to be decided but uh, uh, actually uh, things are unfolding quite uh, quickly uh, swati it is also being expected that some nd leaders including rahul gandhi may visit the family of right. arvind kejriwal at his residence because yesterday they had a telephonic conversation where uh, uh, these leaders rendered support to the family and right. today they might visit the family too so a lot of places a lot of uh, situations are unfolding and developing today all right shivani stay on with us sabesachi is also back with us on the broadcast sabesachi uh, go ahead give us the latest uh, also tell us about the timing Uh, if decided arvind kejriwal uh, to be produced in the rao zamani court physically if that is decided then what time will that happen well see uh, uh, till now the time is not uh, decided by the enforcement directorate uh, when they are going to take uh, the delhi cm to the rao zamani court uh, see they have uh, time till uh, 5 pm today any time uh, they can take him uh, to the rao zamani court uh, now uh, from the uh, sources of the Info enforcement directorate we are picking is that uh, they are looking at the supreme court hearing though the matter is not listed yet but uh, the amadi Part party council had moved the supreme court uh, for a urgent hearing in the matter so based on the development the enforcement directorate would decide whether to take him physically or uh, to take him uh, or uh, to present him via video conferencing because earlier as well all the 15 accused in the case has been uh, brought in physically in the rao avenue uh, court uh, now it would be decided after uh, the supreme court hearing now uh, what we are picking is that when arvind kejriwal would be taken to the rao avenue court uh, the ed is going to uh, 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 tell the court that how arvind kejriwal Uh, was involved in the implementation as well as the form uh, formulation of the excise policy how he had been uh, skipping summons he had been uh, ev evasive while answering the questions mm. as well as from the latest questioning of k kavita and after which the enforcement directorate had come up with the press release uh, stating that arvind kejriwal and manish sisodia had received amount of 100 right. crores uh, from the uh, south group and also uh, the how the profit margin was increased Absolutely. from 5 to 12 absolutely sabesachi so, and shivani stay on with us now that uh, the chief minister has been arrested the big question of course is what will happen next who will run the government as far as the aam aadmi party is concerned mm -hmm. the leaders seem to be standing firmly behind arvind kejriwal some of them also saying that aam aadmi party uh, is prepared that the chief minister will continue to run the government from prison meanwhile kejriwal's legal team has already moved top court looking for relief let's listen into reactions coming in कि अरविंद केजरीवाल सिर्फ एक इंसान नहीं है अरविंद केजरीवाल एक विचार है अगर आप लगते हो अगर आपको लगता है कि एक अरविंद केजरीवाल को गिरफ्तार करके आप इस विचार को खत्म कर सकते हो तो आपको गलत लगता है अरविंद केजरीवाल जी दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री थे दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री हैं और दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे हमने शुरू से स्पष्ट किया है कि अगर जरूरत पड़ेगी तो अरविंद केजरीवाल जी जेल से सरकार चलाएंगे कोई भी ऐसा कानून नहीं है जो उन्हें जेल से सरकार चलाने से प्रोहिबिट करता है उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है उनको उनका कोई कन्विक्शन नहीं हुआ है वो ही दिल्ली के मुख्यमंत्री रहेंगे ये लड़ाई चलती रहेगी कोई पूछताछ नहीं थी कोई प्रश्न नहीं था सब कोर्ट के अंदर नाटक किया जा रहा था मुख्यमंत्री जी के घर की पूरी तलाशी इस छापे में ली गई सिर्फ सत्तर हजार रूपए नकद मिले जो कि ईडी वापस लौटा के चली गई मुख्यमंत्री जी का मोबाइल लिया गया और मुख्यमंत्री जी को गिरफ्तार करके ले गए हैं पूरे छापे में 
कोई सबूत कोई एविडेंस कोई प्रॉपर्टी का कागज कोई गैर कानूनी पैसा कोई मनी ट्रेल नहीं मिली मैंने प्रतिक्रिया दी है ये बहुत बड़ा अन्याय है लोकतंत्र की हत्या मुझे नहीं मालूम लेकिन मीडिया बोल रहा है We're getting some breaking inputs now. Inside scoop on why Arvind Kejriwal uh, was arrested. The reasons behind the arrest. The allegation and the charges are that he was involved in formulation of excise policy, involved uh, in a conspiracy with K. Kavita, and that he ignored multiple ED summons. There are other reasons as well. Babtosh will take us through them. Yes, Babtosh. Inside scoop on why Arvind Kejriwal was arrested. Yes, sir. Swati. In fact, uh, the reasons or the grounds on which arrest will become very clear once he is produced uh, on remand and his uh, custodial remand will be taken. And more uh, earlier, uh, when the Supreme Court will be taking up this uh, matter for hearing. But what sources have told us is uh, primarily because he was involved in the policy and uh, changes in the policy f and uh, formation uh, formulation of uh, then excise policy 2021-2022. Importantly, in the alleged conspiracy in which uh, uh, alleged kickbacks of worth 100 crore rupees was taken. And also the fact that he uh, was uh, uh, ignoring the summons. Remember the first summons were issued uh, way back in uh, uh, November 2023, and uh, he was in fact searched and uh, he was served summons yesterday. That's on 21st of March. And more importantly, he was very evasive when the questioning or uh, the initial questioning happened yesterday at his residence. So these are broadly the grounds on which uh, he was arrested. He was uh, formally arrested at around uh, five minutes. Uh, past 9 pm and then he was uh, in fact served summons and then there was a bit of consternation uh, and uh, so he was taken out of his house at around uh, 11 15 and uh, then taken to the ed headquarters where he spent his night uh, what ed officials have said is that he was repeatedly served uh, summons uh, from november onwards he did ignore uh, chose to ignore these summons and then the matter yesterday went into the high court he could not get any kind of relief uh, remember in on monday ed issued a very explosive press statement in which they named him along with Manish Tisodia and K. Kavita as people responsible for the alleged excise camp. And what ED officials are now saying is that he was also involved in the changes in the policy formulation of uh, then excise uh, policy, which alleged, which actually led to kickbacks worth at least 100 crore rupees. Having said that, Aam Aadmi Party has always denied this they have said that these charges are concocted charges. They have never ever received such uh, kickbacks worth 100 crore rupees. But ED continues to maintain not only they received 100 crore kickback rupees, part of that money, around 45 crore rupees, was used uh, in the uh, election campaign of uh, Goa. Right. Around 45 crore rupees was used in that. And uh, what they have further said, uh, I will just briefly add that, that C. Arvind was, uh, in fact, uh, asked to come to the residence of uh, Arvind Kejriwal and their profit margin was increased from 5% to 12%. Absolutely. Now, uh, you know, one of the charges says, Bhavtosh, this of course is what we are picking up from our sources, that Aam Aadmi Party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and that uh, he was involved. Arvind Kejriwal was involved in a conspiracy with K. Kavita. Like you said, when he's produced uh, before the court, of course, uh, all of this uh, will have to be uh, told to the court. The court will be apprised and officially we'll get to know uh, the grounds on which the arrest has been made. Babtosh, we'll connect with you again for more inputs. For the moment, a quick break. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now.
She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम उत्तर प्रदेश में ये कह रहा है कि आप हवा बना रहे हैं निवेश कोई आया ही नहीं इस राज्य में राहुल गांधी का कहना है कि देश में लोकतंत्र मरता जा रहा है खतरे में है Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favored company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking, with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention, please? क्या आप दिन की सही शुरुआत ढूंढ रहे हैं आई बिलीव इन एन एक्शन पैक फास्ट फेज एजेंडा सेटिंग स्टॉप टू द डे खबर सिर्फ दिखाना नहीं असर होना भी जरूरी है आई एम अमिता बागवा आई एम प्रतिभा मैं श्रीजा मल्होत्रा एंड यूर वॉचिंग द मॉर्निंग न्यूज आर When our news breaks, you will see us process it, analyze it, and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live, and unedited. Your news, your passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here, and three days later, she was murdered. When news is for common man, we are asking you for the arm of me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation, right now I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force, which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive, we are reporting from few miles away from the line of actual control. So yesterday Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal became the second sitting chief minister to be arrested in the last two months even as the AAP approaches Supreme Court to seek legal uh, relief the politics around the arrest has uh, been uh, intensifying AAP workers have been protesting the crackdown with its senior leaders alleging a BJP conspiracy behind the arrest प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी से डरते हैं वो लोकतंत्र को खत्म करना चाहते हैं वो एक एक करके सभी विपक्ष के नेताओं को जेल में डालना चाहते हैं ये क्या तरीका है ये चुनाव जीतने का लड़ने का जीतने का क्या तरीका है इस देश में क्या लोकतंत्र बचेगा अगर चुनाव से पहले आप विपक्ष के हर नेता को जेल में डाल दोगे आप विपक्ष की हर पार्टी का बैंक अकाउंट फ्रीज कर दोगे तो ये सिर्फ और सिर्फ प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की एक राजनीतिक साजिश है आज बीजेपी ने उन्होंने गिरफ्तार कर लिया उन्होंने इस नीति के वो मिडिल क्लास के गरीब लोगों को फायदा पहुंचा रहे थे नापसंद करते हुए बीजेपी नहीं चाहती कि गरीबा का तो मिडिल क्लास का भला हो बीजेपी नहीं चाहती कि गरीबा के बच्चों को चंकी सिक्ख्या मिले कि गरीब बंदे चंगे होस्पिटल का इलाज मिले कि गरीब को फ्री बिजली मिले कि मिडल क्लास के बंदे पीन ली चंगा पानी मिले ये अरविंद जी ने दिता सी बहुत ही घटिया निंदनजोग कार्रवाई जी बीजेपी ने की है We have Amita joining us from the newsroom with uh, more reactions. Yes, Amita. Right, Swati. So far, the details that have been coming in as far as the early morning reactions also coming in from several political party leaders. Let's uh, put them out one by one. This is Omar Abdullah, former Jammu and Kashmir erstwhile state chief minister, who goes on to say, and I quote: "Asi tasi democracy for all the talk of 400 plus seats, the ruling dispensation is displaying a remarkable degree of nervousness. Having a sitting opposition chief minister arrested by a pliable central agency within days of general elections being announced." 
announced is a blot on democracy. Similarly, Akhilesh Yadav goes on to say that Bhajpa knows that he will not come back to the Prime Minister again. This is the fear that he wants to take away from the Vipaksh of the Nita from any kind of people from any kind of people. The fear that the fear is just one thing. The fear that the fear will give a new young Kranti. The reaction is also coming in from Karthi Chitamram as far as the leader is also concerned where he goes on to say that freeze the bank accounts of principal opposition party, raid, summon and arrest political party leaders opposed to the regime during general elections. This is a playbook of tin pot dictators. And Abhishek Manu Singhvi also goes on to say that democracy minus opposition equals to dictatorship and tyranny. Swati. Right, we have uh, more reactions coming in. In fact, uh, M.K. Stalin has also slammed the enforcement directorate, slammed the BJP as well for the arrest of uh, Arvind K. Driwal. Stalin says fascist BJP sinks uh, to despicable depths. Omar Abdullah has also taken a jibe uh, that Amita just read out. Uh, let's go back to Amita for uh, this post put out by Stalin. Yes. Amita, can you hear me? Okay, I believe Amita is not able to hear me. Let me take you through the post put out by M.K. Stalin. M.K. Stalin says, and I quote, ahead of elections 2024, driven by fear of a decade of failures and uh, the imminent defeat, the fascist BJP government sinks to despicable depths by arresting Honorable Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal following the unjust targeting of uh, brother Heman Sore. Not a single BJP leader faces scrutiny or arrest, laying bare their abuse of power and the decay of democracy, the relentless persecution of opposition leaders by the BJP government smacks of a desperate witch hunt. This uh, tyranny ignites public fury, unmasking BJP's true colours, but their futile arrests only fuel our resolve, fortifying INDI alliances' march to victory. BJP brace for the people's wrath. That's what uh, MK Stalin is saying. Other opposition leaders as well standing firmly behind Arvind K. Driwal slamming the Bharatiya Janata Party. Sabbe Sachi is uh, also with us on the broadcast. Sabbe Sachi, politics only intensifying opposition leaders one by one taking a jibe at the Bharati Janata Party. Well, absolutely. See, opposition parties are coming together from DMK, uh, from um Umar Abdullah, from TMC. All of them have extended their support uh, to Chief Minister Arvind K. Jival and the Ahmadi Party. Now the opposition has been saying that this is nothing but vendetta politics and also they have been questioning the timing of the arrest. Now the opposition leaders say that two sitting uh, 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 CMs have been arrested by the enforcement directorate. Uh, just ahead of the uh, Lok Sabha polls and uh, clearly at this particular point the democracy of the country is under threat. Uh, we had seen that Rahul Gandhi also had a telephonic conversation with the family members of uh, Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal uh, yesterday and also sources tell us that Rahul Gandhi is likely to meet uh, the family members of Arvind Kejriwal. See Congress also said that since it is a principal opposition of uh, the BJP and uh, at these circumstances uh, uh, along with the other political parties of the India Alliance, soon they would come out with a strong uh, press release uh, condemning these uh, misuse of the central agencies by the yeah, central government. So clearly the war of words is escalating. Uh, the opposition parties are saying that democracy is under threat and the uh, use of the central agencies by the central government is only used to target the opposition leaders. All right, Sabhisaji, thank you for getting us those details. With that, we're slipping into a very short break, but news and updates will continue. In the heart of the world's largest democracy, where every voice counts, and where every leader rises to shape the nation's destiny. prepares for the general elections, every vote becomes a beacon of hope for a brighter tomorrow.
Save your times now. Times now is your destination for comprehensive election coverage. Times now, India's election news headquarters. When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half-truths. When the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a coloured opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. Rahul Gandhi Because she speaks for you the way no one else can. What about the charges against the government that this is a favoured company by the government? How do you look at India on the world map of countries to watch out? Because your voice must be heard, your questions answered above all else. Frankly speaking with Navika Kumar. Can I have your attention please? Are you looking for the right day? I believe in an action-packed, fast-paced, agenda-setting start to the day. Khabar sirf dikhara nahi, asar hona bhi zaruri hai. I am Amita Badwa. I am Pratibha. I am Shidra Malhotra and you are watching The Morning News Art. Whenever news breaks, you will see us. Process it, analyze it and broadcast it. After the spot reporters, we are the first responders. We are at the front line of every news event. We are situation analysts, raw, live and unedited. Pure news, pure passion. Times now, action begins here. When news is troubling. They rented this house right here and three days later she was murdered. When news is for common man. We are asking you for the arm, ask me that why the proper checks and balances were not done, sir. When news is for nation. Right now, I'm just few meters away from Pakistani force, which is acting as launch pads for terrorists. When news is exclusive. We are reporting from few miles away from the line of factual control. We report from ground zero. Times now. Action begins here. Explosive, exclusive and beyond. The show that gets you the inside track. A deep dive. Part of the world's largest democracy where every voice counts. And where every leader rises to shape the nation's destiny. prepares for the general elections, every vote becomes a beacon of hope for a brighter tomorrow. Stay with Times Now. Times Now is your destination for comprehensive election coverage. Times Now, India's election news headquarters.
गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्कार आप देख रहे हैं द मॉर्निंग न्यूज और मैं हूं आपके साथ अमिताभ वाधवा सबसे बड़ी खबर गिरफ्तारी हो चुकी है अरविंद केजरीवाल की आज सुबह की तस्वीरें आने भी शुरू हो गई है सबसे पहले आपको लगातार अपडेट्स देकर रहेंगे और यारी पर जुड़ेंगे हमारे साथ रिपोर्टर्स ऑन ग्राउंड सबसे पहले फिलहाल शुरू करते हैं टॉप हेडलाइंस के साथ In a massive update in Liga Gate case, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been placed under arrest by the Enforcement Directorate after being grilled by the agency for over two hours. Delhi Chief Minister will now be produced before the Rouse Avenue Court today, as this comes as the ED conducted his medical examination. Condemning the arrest, the Aam Aadmi Party has now moved the Supreme Court late last night against the ED action, following which the Supreme Court may hear his plea today. Times now also accesses the inside details of the legal strategies of Kejriwal and his legal team as the agency is likely to wait for the Supreme Court hearing before moving forward. India block leaders come together to condemn Kejriwal's arrest from Stalin to Yechuri to Pawar to Uddhav Thakre opposition netas back in Patil Aam Aadmi Party chief. Rahul Gandhi speaks to the arrested Arvind Kejriwal's family members and assures them of full support from the Congress party. Aam Aadmi Party even has planned for a nationwide protest against Kejriwal's arrest. Leaders are likely to stage mega protests outside the BJP headquarters today. Meanwhile, the Aam Aadmi Party stands firm as the leaders say Kejriwal will continue to remain the Delhi chief minister and will run the Delhi sarkar from behind the bars. Congress party has released its third list of candidates 57 candidates from eight seats have been named by the party with a maximum number of 17 candidates being named from the state of Karnataka All eyes will be on the Delhi High Court today as it will pronounce the verdict in the crucial 2G scam case the court will decide whether to admit the CBI's appeal challenging the acquittal of the former telecom minister A Raja सबसे बड़ी खबर कल शाम से ही जिस तरीके की अटकलें लगाई जा रही थी उसी वक्त जब ईडी की टीम सीनियर ऑफिशियल्स के साथ जा पहुंची थी सिविल लाइंस के जो चीफ मिनिस्टर के आवास अरविंद केजरीवाल के और यहीं पे बताया जा रहा है दो घंटों की पूछताछ के बाद उनकी गिरफ्तारी हो जाती है ये करीबन नौ बजे की बात की बात बताई जा रही है और उसी के बाद हमने देखा था कि पुलिस के तैनाती उनके घर के आसपास और जितने भी गेट है बाहर निकलने के या जो अंदर आने का रास्ता है वहीं पर जो पुलिस की तैनाती है वो बढ़ा दी जाती है और वहीं पर हमने देखा कि एक एक करके जितने आम आदमी पार्टी के जो सीनियर लीडर्स है जो मंत्री है वो जा पहुंचे थे और वहीं पर कांग्रेस पार्टी की तरफ से भी एक डेलीगेशन भी गाया था लेकिन इतने हाई ड्रामा के बीच कल हमने देखा कल देर रात को अरविंद केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी हो जाती है उनके उनके आवास से सीधा ईडी के ऑफिस लाया जाता है मेडिकल टेस्ट कराया जाता है और आज की कार्रवाई के बारे में भी आपको जानकारी देंगे सबसे पहले आपको जानकारी दे देते हैं ब्रेकिंग खबर जो ये आ रही है क्योंकि 24 घंटे जब गिरफ्तारी के होते उसी के अंदर अंदर कोर्ट में पेशी होती है और यहीं पर अरविंद केजरीवाल की भी पेशी होने वाली है बताया जा रहा है दिल्ली के राउस एवेन्यू कोर्ट में उन्हें पेश किया जाएगा मेडिकल एग्जामिनेशन उनका हो चुका है लेकिन सूत्रों के हवाले से एक खबर आ रही है कि मेडिकल रिपोर्ट फिलहाल अरविंद केजरीवाल की नॉर्मल आई है सब साची शिवानी हमारे साथ दोनों अभी फिलहाल लाइव जुड़े हुए हैं हम लगातार आपके साथ आज सुबह छह बजे से ही लाइव अपडेट शेयर करते हुए नजर आ रहे हैं और आपको यह भी बता रहे हैं कि ऑपोजिशन पार्टी के जो लीडर्स है वो किस तरीके से एकजुट होकर इस अरेस्ट की निंदा करते हुए नजर आ रहे हैं सबे साची शिवानी आप दोनों को गुड मॉर्निंग सबे साची आज की कार्रवाई के बारे में बताइए आखिरकार ईडी की तरफ से आज क्या होने वाला है जी बिल्कुल देखिए पहले तो एन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टर के तरफ से जो है सुबह ही पूछताछ शुरू हो चुकी है अरविंद केजरीवाल से सवाल जवाब शुरू हो चुके हैं सूत्र बता रहे हैं कि अरविंद केजरीवाल से पूछताछ जो है दो असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर्स कर रहे हैं और इस पूरे सवाल जवाब को सुपरवाइज जो कर रहे हैं वो डेप्यूटी और एडिशनल डायरेक्टर्स कर रहे हैं हालांकि ई की नज़र जो है वो सुप्रीम कोर्ट पर भी बनी हुई है क्योंकि सुप्रीम कोर्ट पर जो है मामला फिलहाल के लिए लिस्टेड नहीं है हालाँकि साढ़े बजे जो है जो आम आम आदमी पार्टी के जो लॉयर्स हैं वो एक अर्जेंट हियरिंग के लिए मूव करेंगे और हियरिंग के बाद क्या नतीजा आता है इसके बाद जो है ये फैसला लिया लिया जाएगा क्या अरविंद केजरीवाल को फिजिकली या वर्चुअली राउस एवेन्यू कोर्ट में पेश करते हैं हालांकि एन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट के पास आज शाम पाँच बजे तक का वक्त है कि पाँच बजे तक से पहले वो अरविंद केजरीवाल को पेश करेंगे राउस एवेन्यू कोर्ट में हालांकि इस सिचुएशन में देखिए अगर पी पी 
एल लग जाता है तो इस केस में जो है ई रिमांड ज्यादा से ज्यादा मांग सकती है और हालांकि देखिए ई के पास काफी सारे स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट है पहला जो स्ट्रॉन्ग पॉइंट है इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट के पास ये है कि अरविंद केजरीवाल जो है वो खुद इन्वॉल्व थे फॉर्मुलेशन और इम्प्लीमेंटेशन हो गई हम उसके ऊपर और चर्चा करेंगे क्योंकि थोड़ी देर में हमारे साथ भवतोष भी जुड़ने वाले हैं सभी साथियों शिवानी बने रहे हमारे साथ जो इनसाइड स्कूप आ रहा है उसके बारे में आपको फिलहाल जानकारी दे देते हैं ब्रेकिंग अपडेट दैट इज नाउ कमिंग इन फार एस अरविंद केजरीवाल ग्रीडिंग इज कंसर्न पोस्ट अरेस्ट एंड ईडी इज टू रिज्यूम केजरीवाल क्वेश्चनिंग एज वेल द इनसाइड स्कूप दैट इज नाउ कमिंग इन एज फार एस इज क्वेश्चनिंग दैट इज नाउ वुड बी डन बाई टू एट एट असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर्स एंड इट विल बी ऑल्सो सुपरवाइज बाय द डेप्यूटी एंड द एडिशनल डायरेक्टर ऑफ द इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट एज वेल भवतोष भी हमारे साथ लाइव जुड़ रहे भवतोष आज सुबह भी क्या शुरू हो चुके हैं अरविंद केजरीवाल के साथ पूछताछ well it will start soon uh, he has been uh, he is uh, in the lockup uh, and as soon as he came uh, they let him uh, uh, enter the lockup he spent his night in the lockup this is the new ed headquarter the previous ed headquarter did not have that facility so in which so were arrested were taken to the tuglak uh, tuglak road uh, police station they were they in which so to spend the night and uh, once arvind kejriwal uh, uh, in fact gets up uh, he will be served the breakfast and then post that uh, his questioning will resume but having said that uh, the matter has reached the supreme court where the hearing will take place and uh, once that uh, matter gets settled uh, arvind kejriwal uh, will the all important uh, he will be all important hearing will take place in the lower court uh, whether he will be physically produced in the court or whether it will happen through video conferencing the call will be taken in consultation with the delhi police remember uh, the all 15 accused who have been arrested earlier in this case some of them very high profile they all, they all have been produced physically by the delhi uh, by the enforcement uh, directorate with security being provided by the delhi police the police uh, the enforcement directorate has said they have nothing to hide as far as this case is concerned and they would like to present him in the court and they want a public hearing to take place so uh, everything is out in the open the remand application will be submitted in the court what the ed officials have said is that probably on three to four grounds the arrest has taken place one uh, is that he was present when the policy formulations uh, changes were made at the behest of the south group which is headed by k kavita who is already in the custody of the enforcement arrest second the conspiracy in which he was involved along with manish sisodia the ls kickbacks that were paid importantly the nine summons that he ignored and Gee. also importantly when the questioning was taking place yesterday he was uh, evasive in the two hours questioning that took place yesterday all right so that is the latest details that is now coming in of course the inside details that we are also picking up though the ed's action plan today as far as bhavtosh has been giving us those details we also have sabesh sachi with us because sabesh sachi so far as today's uh, planning of the enforcement directorate is concerned because uh, they are likely to question him once again before the time as far as he will be produced in the court today Well, absolutely. See, the enforcement directorate uh, would uh, begin uh, uh, the questioning of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal soon, and uh, in this questioning, uh, they would be asking uh, the tough questions uh, uh, to Mr. Kejriwal. And uh, see, under this matter, the enforcement directorate would be uh, seeking for a, a lot of remand uh, as far as Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, see, uh, the enforcement directorate, uh, while the matter was in the Delhi High Court, the Delhi High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties, and the Delhi High Court. is not inclined uh, to give any sort of protection uh, to mr arvind kejriwal see and the enforcement directorate has been maintaining the fact that uh, mr arvind kejriwal has not been attending the summons nine summons has been sent to him he had been evasive while uh, the questioning was carried out at his residence last night for 2 hours and also questions the profit margin how the profit margin has been incre increased from 5 to 12 percent now uh, when ed would be seeking uh, the remand of mr arvind kejriwal there is a possibility that ed can also cross question arvind kejriwal with uh, k kavita and vijay nair as well see remember after k kavita was uh, uh, arrested uh, 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 by the enforcement directorate and also after that a press statement was released in the public domain where in the press statement the enforcement directorate clearly mentioned that uh, arvind kejriwal and manish sisodia had re received around 100 crores of kickbacks uh, from k kavita and the south group uh, mm. so under these circumstances the enforcement directorate would be seeking uh, the custody of uh, mr arvind kejriwal uh, meanwhile the politics is continuously going on the opposition has been extending uh, their support uh, to uh, arvind kejriwal and soon uh, joins 
स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम द इंडिया अलायंस पार्टी इज ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्टेड चलिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ सभ्य साची शिवानी और भवतोष भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं अब ये तो कार्रवाई और ये बात होगी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट की लेकिन यहीं पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ आज सामने क्या रखा जाएगा उसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे देते हैं क्योंकि यहीं पर अभी फिलहाल खबर ये मिल रही है कि कोई स्पेशल बेंच सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सेटअप नहीं होती है देर रात का इनफैक्ट वेन इट कम्स टू मिड नाइट क्योंकि हमने देखा था कि जिस तरह से गिरफ्तारी की जैसी ही खबर आई लीगल टीम जो है अरविंद केजरीवाल की वो कम से कम रजिस्ट्रार के घर पहुंची और उन्होंने कहा कि जल्द से जल्द रात को ही सुनवाई हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुआ अब ये बताया जा रहा है कि आज जल्द से जल्द सुनवाई की मांग रखी जाएगी अरविंद केजरीवाल की लीगल टीम की तरफ से लेकिन अभी भी ये जानकारी नहीं मिल रही है कि क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये आज केस टेकअप करेगा इसके ऊपर सुनवाई होगी या नहीं एक बार सुन लेते हैं जहां तक अतिशी जो है जो दिल्ली सरकार में जो आम आदमी पार्टी की मंत्री है उनकी तरफ से क्या कहना है कि लीगल रिकॉर्ड्स आखिरकार क्या होगा बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को क्वॉश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो भवतोष हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़े हुए हैं भवतोष सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंगल की तरफ से भी जरा बताएं हमें क्योंकि देर रात हमने देखा था कि लगातार कोशिशें जारी थी कि अर्जेंट हियरिंग हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुई आज क्या होने वाला है वेल एस फार इज अर्जेंट हियरिंग इज कंसर्न केजरीवाल लीगल टीम है जनरल आस्किंग दैट इन अर्जेंट हियरिंग कैन टेक प्लेस बट दैट डेंट है they are hoping that uh, supreme court uh, will take up the matter today what we have gathered from our sources is that the hearing can take place today at around 10:30 in the morning what uh, kejriwal's uh, legal team is uh, claiming that this arrest is illegal primarily on the ground in which they have said that it has violated article 21 of india's constitution remember two petitions have been filed by Ar- arvind kejriwal one of the petitions was that uh, summons that have been issued in the section 19 15 of uh, of PMLA along with other sections of uh, PMLA in which no uh, there can't be any kind of uh, legal remedy available uh, that violates article 21 of India's constitution the uh, other petition that he had filed the day before yesterday he said mm. that uh, that he should be given some kind of protection if he wants to join the investigation in right but even from the high court there he did not get any relief because the high court said that it is not inclined in any manner to give such kind of a protection to the delhi chief minister bavtosh there are more inside details that are now coming in we would want to play that out because according to sources exclusive to times now what we are getting to know as far as the charges are concerned that he is said to be involved very much in the formulation of the now scrapped excise policy and kejriwal ignored multiple ed summons there is another charge that is being leveled with the aam aadmi party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and this is where the south cartel also comes in bavtosh with the big arrest also of k kavita that has recently taken place uh yes uh, avita in fact uh, what uh, actually happened in the case was uh, the arrest uh, the dramatic arrest that happened last friday of k kavita when ed team virtually landed at her doorstep and then arrested her that was in fact one of the most dramatic arrests that had taken place in this case and then uh, the statement that was issued by the enforcement directorate on monday that virtually cleared many f- facts of this case in which ed claimed that arvind kejriwal along with manish sisodia and uh, k kavita had conspired in the policy formulation changes now this fact was mentioned earlier in many of the remand notes and also in the charge sheet that has been filed by the enforcement directorate but this was the first time that any uh, press statement has been issued by the enforcement directorate since they had taken over the case in august 2022 so this was the big development that has taken place in this case what ed officials have said is that uh, they have the statement of c arvind who was the private secretary of arvind kejriwal uh, private secretary of uh, manish sisodia when manish sisodia was the excise minister Ji. he was called at the residence of arvind kejriwal and then it was decided to increase the profit margin from 5% to to bataya ja raha hai ki jahan tak formulation se lekar meetings tak yahi pe jo involvement hai wo top leaders of the aam aadmi party ki rahi hai aur usme arvind kejriwal ka naam sabse pehla aata hua nazar aa raha hai aur jis tarah se bhavtosh jankari de rahe ke profit margin bhi jo tha wo 5% se bada kar 12% kar diya gaya tha politics aur rajneeti ke bare mein bhi baat kar lete shivani uske upar hame zyada jankari dengi kyunki ek poster war bhi ab chhid gaya hai jaisi arvind kejriwal ki giraftari hui hai aam aadmi party ki taraf se ek poster protest bhi bulayi ja rahi hai jahan tak humne 
देखा है कि आज विरोध प्रदर्शन हो सकता है बीजेपी के हेडक्वार्टर्स के सामने आज सुबह दस बजे के करीब तो जरा पोस्टर वॉर के बारे में भी जानकारी दीजिए शिवानी अमिता मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं कि मैं इस वक्त आम आदमी पार्टी का जो आईटीओ का दफ्तर है उसके बाहर जो सड़क जाती है वहां पर मौजूद हूं आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से हैवी बैरिकेड यहां पर लगाए गए हैं और पिछले आधे घंटे में यहां छह से सात बड़ी पुलिस की बसेस जा चुकी हैं एंटी राइट वहीकल्स जा चुके हैं और इसके अलावा रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स की कई टुकड़ियां भी अंदर जाती हुई हमें दिखी है और ये जो पूरी रोड है सिर्फ ये इकलौती रोड नहीं है जहां पर बैरिकेड किए गए हैं अमिता बहुत सारे और रास्ते हैं वहां पर भी इसी तरह का जो सिक्योरिटी का बंदोबस्त है वो कर दिया गया है पोस्टर वॉर की आप बात कर रही हैं और एक प्रोटेस्ट की आप बात कर रही हैं लगातार प्रोटेस्ट यहां पर कॉल किया गया कल देर शाम से ही जब से पूछताछ शुरू हुई थी एडी के अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर पर वहां पर हमने देखा कि सैकड़ों आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता इकट्ठे थे कल रात को नौ बजे के बाद मुंबई में प्रोटेस्ट हुआ आज दस बजे से पूरे देश में अलग अलग जगहों पर प्रदर्शन की बात की गई है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से अरविंद केजरीवाल केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ और यहां पर भी जो सुरक्षा के इंतजाम है वो काफी पुख्ता दिखाई दे रहे हैं तो आम आदमी पार्टी के दफ्तर के बाहर फिलहाल जो हम देख पा रहे हैं कि पोस्टर वॉर एक छिड़ गया है क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से एक पोस्टर लगाया गया था कि विरोध प्रदर्शन होने वाला है सुबह दस बजे बीजेपी मुख्यालय के सामने और वहीं पर बीजेपी की तरफ से एक काउंटर पोस्टर लगाया गया है जिसमें लिखा गया है चोर मचाए शोर सभी साथियों शिवानी आप दोनों हमारे साथ फिलहाल बने रही हम रुक रहे छोटे से ब्रेक के लिए लगातार इसी बड़ी खबर पर हम ब्रेक के बाद भी आपको जानकारी देते रहेंगे When journalism is led by integrity, and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight of what is the real issue, I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using. petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई घोटालों के भी आजकल आरोप लग रहे हैं देश में सिर्फ एक बात की चर्चा है कि क्या बीजेपी राहुल गांधी से डर गई She takes on the masters of Indian politics like no one else can. विपक्ष कम से कम deputy and the additional director of the enforcement directorate as well. भवतोष भी हमारे साथ लाइव जुड़ रहे हैं भवतोष आज सुबह भी क्या शुरू हो चुकी है अरविंद केजरीवाल के साथ पूछताछ well it will start soon uh, he has been uh, he is uh, in the lockup uh, and as soon as he came uh, they let him uh, uh, enter the lockup he spent his night in the lockup this is the new ed headquarters the previous ed headquarters did not have that facility so in which so were arrested were taken to the tuglak uh, tuglak road uh, police station they were they in which so to spend the night and uh, once arvind kejriwal uh, uh, in fact gets up uh, he will be served the breakfast and then post that uh, his questioning will resume but having said that uh, the matter has reached the supreme court where the hearing will take place and uh, once that uh, matter gets settled uh, Arvind Kejriwal uh, will the all important uh, he will be all important hearing will take place in the lower court. Now uh, whether he will be physically produced in the court or whether it will happen through video conferencing, the call will be taken in consultation with the Delhi police. Remember, uh, the all fifteen accused who have been arrested earlier in this case, some of them very high profile. They all they all have been produced physically by the Delhi uh, by the enforcement direct, uh, directorate with security being provided by the Delhi police. the police uh, the enforcement directorate has said they have nothing to hide as far as this case is concerned and they would like to present him in the court and they want a public hearing to take place so uh, everything is out in the open the remand application will be submitted in the court what the ed officials have said is that probably on three to four grounds the arrest has taken place one uh, is that he was present when the policy formulations uh, changes were made 
at the behest of the South Group, which is headed by K. Kavita, who is already in the custody of the enforcement arcade. Second, the conspiracy in which he was involved, along with Manish Sisodia, the LS kickbacks that were paid, importantly, the nine summons that he ignored, and Gee. also, importantly, when the questioning was taking place yesterday, he was uh, evasive for the two hours questioning that took place yesterday. All right. So that is the latest details that is now coming in. Of course, the inside details that we are also picking up. Though the ED's action plan today, as far as Bhavtosh has been giving us those details, we also have Sabir Sachi with us because Sabir Sachi, so far as today's uh, planning of the enforcement directorate is concerned, because uh, they are likely to question him once again before the time, as far as he will be produced in the court today. Well, absolutely. See, the Enforcement Directorate uh, would uh, begin uh, uh, the questioning of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal soon. And uh, in this questioning, uh, they would be asking uh, the tough questions uh, uh, to Mr. Kejriwal. And uh, see, under this matter, the Enforcement Directorate would be uh, seeking for a, a lot of remand uh, as far as Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, see, uh, the Enforcement Directorate, uh, while the matter was in the Delhi High Court, the Delhi High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties and the Delhi High Court Court is not inclined uh, to give any sort of protection uh, to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. See, and the Enforcement Directorate has been maintaining the fact that uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has not been attending the summons. Nine summons has been sent to him. He had been ev evasive while uh, the questioning was carried out at his residence last night for two hours and also questions the profit margin, how the profit margin has been incre increased from 5 to 12 percent. Now, uh, when ED would be seeking uh, the remand of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, there is a possibility that ED can also cross-question Arvind Kejriwal with uh, K. Kavita and Vijay Nair as well. See, remember, after K. Kavita was uh, uh, arrested uh, 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 by the Enforcement Directorate and also after that, a press statement was released in the public domain where in the press statement the enforcement directorate clearly mentioned that uh, Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia had re received around 100 crores of kickbacks uh, from K. Kavita and the South Group. Uh, mm. So under these circumstances the enforcement directorate would be seeking uh, the custody of uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, meanwhile the politics is continuously going on. The opposition has been extending uh, their support uh, to uh, Arvind Kejriwal and soon uh, joins statement from the India Alliance party is also expected. चलिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ सबसे साथ शिवानी और भवतोष भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं अब ये तो कार्रवाई और ये बात होगी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट की लेकिन यहीं पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ आज सामने क्या रखा जाएगा उसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे देते हैं क्योंकि यहीं पर अभी फिलहाल खबर ये मिल रही है कि कोई स्पेशल बेंच सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सेटअप नहीं होती है देर रात इन फैक्ट वेन इट कम्स टू मिड नाइट कि क्योंकि हमने देखा था कि जिस तरह से गिरफ्तारी की जैसे ही खबर आई लीगल टीम जो है अरविंद केजरीवाल की वो कम से कम रजिस्ट्रार के घर पहुंची और उन्होंने कहा कि जल्द से जल्द रात को ही सुनवाई हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुआ अब ये बताया जा रहा है कि आज जल्द से जल्द सुनवाई की मांग रखी जाएगी अरविंद केजरीवाल की लीगल टीम की तरफ से लेकिन अभी भी ये जानकारी नहीं मिल रही है कि क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये आज केस टेकअप करेगा इसके ऊपर सुनवाई होगी या नहीं एक बार सुन लेते हैं जहां तक अतिशी जो है जो दिल्ली सरकार में जो आम आदमी पार्टी की मंत्री है उनकी तरफ से क्या कहना है कि लीगल रिकॉर्ड्स आखिरकार क्या होगा बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को क्वॉश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो भवतोष हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़े हुए हैं आप भवतोष सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंगल की तरफ से भी जरा बताएं हमें क्योंकि देर रात हमने देखा था कि लगातार कोशिशें जारी थी कि अर्जेंट हियरिंग हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुई आज क्या होने वाला है वेल एस फार इज द अर्जेंट हियरिंग इज कंसर्न केजरीवाल लीगल टीम है रेसिडेंस ऑफ रजिस्ट्रार जनरल आस्किंग दैट इन अर्जेंट हियरिंग कैन टेक प्लेस बट दैट डेंट है they're hoping that uh, supreme court uh, will take up the matter today what we have gathered from our sources is that the hearing can take place today at around 10:30 in the morning what uh, kejriwal's uh, legal team is uh, claiming that this arrest is illegal primarily on the ground in which they have said that it has violated article 21 of india's constitution remember two petitions have been filed by Ar arvind kejriwal one of the petitions was that the uh, summons that have been issued in section 19 15 of, uh, of PMLA along with other sections of uh, PMLA 
in which no uh, there can't be any kind of uh, legal remedy available uh, that violates article 21 of india's constitution the uh, other petition that he had filed the day before yesterday he said mm. that uh, that he should be given some kind of protection if he wants to join the investigation in both right but even from the high court there he did not get any relief because the high court said that it is not inclined in any manner to give such kind of a protection to the delhi chief minister bavtosh there are more inside details that are now coming in we would want to play that out because according to sources exclusive to times now what we are getting to know as far as the charges are concerned that he is said to be involved very much in the formulation of the now scrapped uh, excise policy and kejriwal ignored multiple ed summons there is another charge that is being leveled with the aam aadmi party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and this is where the south cartel also comes in abavtosh uh, with the big arrest also of k kavita that has recently taken place uh, yes uh, amita in fact uh, what uh, actually happened in the case was uh, the arrest uh, the dramatic arrest that happened last friday of k kavita when ed team virtually landed at her doorstep and then arrested her that was in fact one of the most dramatic arrests that had taken place in this case and then uh, the statement that was issued by the enforcement directorate on monday that virtually cleared many facts of this case in which ed claimed that arvind kejriwal along with manish sisodia and uh, k kavita had conspired in the policy formulation changes now this fact was mentioned earlier in many of the remand notes and also in the charge sheet that has been filed by the enforcement directorate but this was the first time that any uh, press statement has been issued by the enforcement directorate since they had taken over the case in august 2022 so this was the big development that has taken place in this case what ed officials have said is that uh, they have the statement of c arvind who was the private secretary of arvind kejriwal uh, private secretary of uh, manish sisodia when manish sisodia was the excise minister Ji. he was called at the residence of arvind kejriwal and then it was decided to increase the profit margin from 5% to 10% to bataya ja raha hai ki jahan tak formulation se lekar meetings tak yahi pe jo involvement hai wo top leaders of the aam aadmi party ki rahi hai aur usme arvind kejriwal ka naam sabse pehla aata hua nazar aa raha hai aur jis tarah se bhavtosh jankari de rahe ke profit margin bhi jo tha wo 5% se bada kar 12% kar diya gaya tha politics aur rajneeti ke bare mein bhi baat kar lete shivani uske upar hame zyada jankari dengi kyunki ek poster war bhi ab chhid gaya hai jaisi arvind kejriwal ki giraftari hui aam aadmi party ki taraf se ek poster protest bhi bulayi ja rahi hai jahan tak humne dekha है कि आज विरोध प्रदर्शन हो सकता है बीजेपी के हेडक्वार्टर्स के सामने आज सुबह 10 बजे के करीब तो जरा पोस्टर वॉर के बारे में भी जानकारी दीजिए शिवानी अमिता मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं कि मैं इस वक्त आम आदमी पार्टी का जो आईटीओ का दफ्तर है उसके बाहर जो सड़क जाती है वहां पर मौजूद हूं आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से हैवी बैरिकेड यहां पर लगाए गए हैं और पिछले आधे घंटे में यहां छह से सात बड़ी पुलिस की बसेस जा चुकी हैं एंटी राइट वाइकल्स जा चुके हैं और इसके अलावा रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स की कई टुकड़ियां भी अंदर जाती हुई हमें दिखी है और ये जो पूरी रोड है सिर्फ ये इकलौती रोड नहीं है जहाँ पे बैरिकेड किए गए हैं अमिताभ बहुत सारे और रास्ते हैं वहां पर भी इसी तरह का जो सिक्योरिटी का बंदोबस्त है वो कर दिया गया है पोस्टर वॉर की आप बात कर रही हैं और एक प्रोटेस्ट की आप बात कर रही हैं लगातार प्रोटेस्ट यहाँ पर कॉल किया गया कल देर शाम से ही जब से पूछताछ शुरू हुई थी एडी के अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर पर वहां पर हमने देखा कि सैकड़ों आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता इकट्ठे थे कल रात को नौ बजे के बाद मुंबई में प्रोटेस्ट हुआ आज दस बजे से पूरे देश में अलग अलग जगहों पर प्रदर्शन की बात की गई है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से अरविंद केजरीवाल की केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ और यहां पर भी जो सुरक्षा के इंतजाम है वो काफी पुख्ता दिखाई दे रहे हैं तो आम तो आदमी पार्टी के दफ्तर के बाहर फिलहाल जो हम देख पा रहे हैं कि पोस्टर वॉर एक छिड़ गया है क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से एक पोस्टर लगाया गया था कि विरोध प्रदर्शन होने वाला है सुबह दस बजे बीजेपी मुख्यालय के सामने और वहीं पर बीजेपी की तरफ से एक काउंटर पोस्टर लगाया गया है जिसमें लिखा गया है चोर मचाए शोर सभी साथियों शिवानी आप दोनों हमारे साथ फिलहाल बने रही हम रुक रहे छोटे से ब्रेक के लिए लगातार इसी बड़ी खबर पर हम ब्रेक के बाद भी आपको जानकारी देते रहेंगे when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths 
when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue. I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News Hour at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. The deputy and the additional director of the enforcement directorate as well. Bhavtosh bhi hamare saath live jud rahe. Bhavtosh, aaj subha bhi kya shuru ho chuki Arvind Kejriwal ke saath pooch taach. Well, it will start soon. Uh, he has been, uh, he is uh, in the lockup uh, and as soon as he came, uh, they let him uh, uh, enter the lockup. He spent his night in the lockup. This is the new ED headquarter. The previous ED headquarter did not have that facility. So in which who were arrested, were taken to the Tughlaq, uh, Tughlaq Road uh, police station they, where they individuals used to spend the night. And uh, once Arvind Kejriwal, uh, uh, in fact, gets up, uh, he will be served the breakfast and then post that, uh, his questioning will resume. But having said that, uh, the matter has reached the Supreme Court where the hearing will take place. And uh, once that uh, matter gets settled, uh, Arvind Kejriwal uh, will the all important uh, he will be all important hearing will take place in the lower court. Uh, whether he will be physically produced in the court or whether it will happen through video conferencing, the call will be taken in consultation with the Delhi Police. Remember, uh, the all 15 accused who have been arrested earlier in this case, some of them very high profile. They all, they all have been produced physically by the Delhi uh, by the enforcement direct, uh, directorate with security being provided by the Delhi Police. The police, uh, the enforcement directorate has said they have nothing to hide as far as this case is concerned and they would like to present him in the court and they want a public hearing to take place. So uh, everything is out in the open. The remand application will be submitted in the court. What the ED officials have said is that probably on three to four grounds the arrest has taken place. One uh, is that he was present when the policy formulations uh, changes were made at the behest of the South Group, which is headed by K. Kavita, who is already in the custody of the enforcement arcade. Second, the conspiracy in which he was involved, along with Manish Sisodia, the LS kickbacks that were paid, importantly, the nine summons that he ignored. And Gee. also, importantly, when the questioning was taking place yesterday, he was uh, evasive in the two hours questioning that took place yesterday. All right. So that is the latest details that is now coming in. Of course, the inside details that we are also picking up. Though the ED's action plan today, as far as Bhavtosh has been giving us those details, we also have Sabisachi with us because Sabisachi, so far as today's uh, planning of the enforcement directorate is concerned, because uh, they are likely to question him once again before the time as far as he will be produced in the court today. Well, absolutely. You see, the Enforcement Directorate uh, would uh, begin uh, uh, the questioning of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal soon. And uh, in this questioning, uh, they would be asking uh, the tough questions uh, uh, to Mr. Kejriwal. And uh, see, under this matter, the Enforcement Directorate would be uh, seeking for a, a lot of remand uh, as far as Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, see, uh, the Enforcement Directorate, uh, while the matter was in the Delhi High Court, the Delhi High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties and the Delhi High Court is not inclined uh, to give any sort of protection uh, to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. See, and the Enforcement Directorate has been maintaining the fact that uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has not been attending the summons. Nine summons has been sent to him. He had been evasive while uh, the questioning was carried out at his residence last night for two hours and also questions the profit margin, how the profit margin has been incre increased from 5 to 12 percent. Now uh, when ED would be seeking uh, the remand of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, there is a possibility that ED can also cross question Arvind Kejriwal with uh, K. Kavita and Vijay Nair as well. See, remember after K. Kavita was uh, uh, arrested uh, uh, by the enforcement directorate and also after that a press statement was released in the public domain where in the press statement the enforcement directorate clearly mentioned that uh, Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia had re received around 100 crores of kickbacks uh, from K. Kavita and the South Group. Uh, mm. So under these circumstances the enforcement directorate would be seeking uh, the custody of uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, mm. Meanwhile the politics is continuously going on. The opposition has been extending uh, their support uh, to uh, Arvind Kejriwal and soon uh, joins statement from the India Alliance party is also expected.
चलिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ सभी साथी शिवानी और भवतोष भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं अब ये तो कार्रवाई और ये बात होगी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट की लेकिन यहीं पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ आज सामने क्या रखा जाएगा उसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे देते हैं क्योंकि यहीं पर अभी फिलहाल खबर ये मिल रही है कि कोई स्पेशल बेंच सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सेटअप नहीं होती है देर रात का इनफैक्ट वेन इट कम्स टू मिड नाइट क्योंकि हमने देखा था कि जिस तरह से गिरफ्तारी की जैसे ही खबर आई लीगल टीम जो है अरविंद केजरीवाल की वो कम से कम रजिस्ट्रार के घर पहुंची और उन्होंने कहा कि जल्द से जल्द रात को ही सुनवाई हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुआ अब ये बताया जा रहा है कि आज जल्द से जल्द सुनवाई की मांग रखी जाएगी अरविंद केजरीवाल की लीगल टीम की तरफ से लेकिन अभी भी ये जानकारी नहीं मिल रही है कि क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये आज केस टेकअप करेगा इसके ऊपर सुनवाई होगी या नहीं एक बार सुन लेते हैं जहां तक अतिशी जो है जो दिल्ली सरकार में जो आम आदमी पार्टी की मंत्री है उनकी तरफ से क्या कहना है कि लीगल रिकॉर्ड्स आखिरकार क्या होगा बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को क्वॉश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो भवतोष हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़े हुए हैं भवतोष सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंगल की तरफ से भी जरा बताएं हमें क्योंकि देर रात हमने देखा था कि लगातार कोशिशें जारी थी कि अर्जेंट हियरिंग हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुई आज क्या होने वाला है वेल एस फार इज अर्जेंट हियरिंग इज कंसर्न केजरीवाल लीगल टीम है जनरल आस्किंग दैट इन अर्जेंट हियरिंग कैन टेक प्लेस बट दैट डेंट है they are hoping that uh, supreme court uh, will take up the matter today what we have gathered from our sources is that the hearing can take place today at around 10:30 in the morning what uh, kejriwal's uh, legal team is uh, claiming that this arrest is illegal primarily on the ground in which they have said that it has violated article 21 of india's constitution remember two petitions have been filed by Ar- arvind kejriwal one of the petitions was that uh, summons that have been issued in the section 19 15 of uh, of PMLA along with other sections of uh, PMLA in which no uh, there can't be any kind of uh, legal remedy available uh, that violates article 21 of India's constitution the uh, other petition that he had filed the day before yesterday he said mm. that uh, that he should be given some kind of protection if he wants to join the investigation in right but even from the high court there he did not get any relief because the high court said that it is not inclined in any manner to give such kind of a protection to the delhi chief minister bavtosh there are more inside details that are now coming in we would want to play that out because according to sources exclusive to times now what we are getting to know as far as the charges are concerned that he is said to be involved very much in the formulation of the now scrapped excise policy and kejriwal ignored multiple ed summons there is another charge that is being leveled with the aam aadmi party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and this is where the south cartel also comes in bavtosh with the big arrest also of k kavita that has recently taken place uh yes uh, avita in fact uh, what uh, actually happened in the case was uh, the arrest uh, the dramatic arrest that happened last friday of k kavita when ed team virtually landed at her doorstep and then arrested her that was in fact one of the most dramatic arrests that had taken place in this case and then uh, the statement that was issued by the enforcement directorate on monday that virtually cleared many f- facts of this case in which ed claimed that arvind kejriwal along with manish sisodia and uh, k kavita had conspired in the policy formulation changes now this fact was mentioned earlier in many of the remand notes and also in the charge sheet that has been filed by the enforcement directorate but this was the first time that any uh, press statement has been issued by the enforcement directorate since they had taken over the case in august 2022 so this was the big development that has taken place in this case what ed officials have said is that uh, they have the statement of c arvind who was the private secretary of arvind kejriwal uh, private secretary of uh, manish sisodia when manish sisodia was the excise minister Ji. he was called at the residence of arvind kejriwal and then it was decided to increase the profit margin from 5% to so bataya ja raha hai ki jahan tak formulation se lekar meetings tak yahi pe jo involvement hai wo top leaders of the aam aadmi party ki rahi hai aur usme arvind kejriwal ka naam sabse pehla aata hua nazar aa raha hai aur jis tarah se bhavtoj jankari de rahe ke profit margin bhi jo tha wo 5% se bada kar 12% kar diya gaya tha politics aur rajneeti ke bare mein bhi baat kar lete shivani uske upar hame zyada jankari dengi kyunki ek poster war bhi ab chhid gaya hai jaisi arvind kejriwal ki giraftari hui aam aadmi party ki taraf se ek poster protest bhi bulayi ja rahi hai jahan tak humne 
देखा है कि आज विरोध प्रदर्शन हो सकता है बीजेपी के हेडक्वार्टर्स के सामने आज सुबह दस बजे के करीब तो जरा पोस्टर वॉर के बारे में भी जानकारी दीजिए शिवानी अमिता मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं कि मैं इस वक्त आम आदमी पार्टी का जो आईटीओ का दफ्तर है उसके बाहर जो सड़क जाती है वहां पर मौजूद हूं आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से हैवी बैरिकेड यहां पर लगाए गए हैं और पिछले आधे घंटे में यहां छह से सात बड़ी पुलिस की बसेस जा चुकी हैं एंटी राइट वहीकल्स जा चुके हैं और इसके अलावा रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स की कई टुकड़ियां भी अंदर जाती हुई हमें दिखी है और ये जो पूरी रोड है सिर्फ ये इकलौती रोड नहीं है जहां पर बैरिकेड किए गए हैं अमिता बहुत सारे और रास्ते हैं वहां पर भी इसी तरह का जो सिक्योरिटी का बंदोबस्त है वो कर दिया गया है पोस्टर वॉर की आप बात कर रही हैं और एक प्रोटेस्ट की आप बात कर रही हैं लगातार प्रोटेस्ट यहां पर कॉल किया गया कल देर शाम से ही जब से पूछताछ शुरू हुई थी एडी के अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर पर वहां पर हमने देखा कि सैकड़ों आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता इकट्ठे थे कल रात को नौ बजे के बाद मुंबई में प्रोटेस्ट हुआ आज दस बजे से पूरे देश में अलग अलग जगहों पर प्रदर्शन की बात की गई है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से अरविंद केजरीवाल केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ और यहां पर भी जो सुरक्षा के इंतजाम है वो काफी पुख्ता दिखाई दे रहे हैं तो आम आदमी पार्टी के दफ्तर के बाहर फिलहाल जो हम देख पा रहे हैं कि पोस्टर वॉर एक छिड़ गया है क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से एक पोस्टर लगाया गया था कि विरोध प्रदर्शन होने वाला है सुबह दस बजे बीजेपी मुख्यालय के सामने और वहीं पर बीजेपी की तरफ से एक काउंटर पोस्टर लगाया गया है जिसमें लिखा गया है चोर मचाए शोर सभी साथियों शिवानी आप दोनों हमारे साथ फिलहाल बने रही हम रुक रहे छोटे से ब्रेक के लिए लगातार इसी बड़ी खबर पर हम ब्रेक के बाद भी आपको जानकारी देते रहेंगे When journalism is led by integrity, and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight of what is the real issue, I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using. petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now She asks tough questions like no other journalist. आपके ऊपर तो कई the deputy and the additional director of the enforcement directorate as well. भवतोष भी हमारे साथ live जुड़ रहे हैं. भवतोष आज सुबह भी क्या शुरू हो चुकी है अरविंद केजरीवाल के साथ पूछताछ. Well, it will start soon. Uh, he has been. Uh, he is uh, in the lockup, uh, and as soon as he came, uh, they let him uh, uh, enter the lockup. He spent his night in the lockup. This is the new ED headquarter. The previous ED headquarter did not have that facility, so in which we were arrested, we were taken to the Tuglak uh, Tuglak Road uh, Police Station, they, where they in which we used to spend the night. And uh, once Arvind Kejriwal, uh, uh, in fact, gets up, uh, he will be served the breakfast, and then post that, uh, his questioning will resume. But having said that, uh, the matter has reached the Supreme Court, where the hearing will take place. And uh, once that uh, matter gets settled. Uh, Arvind Kejriwal uh, will the all important uh, he will be all important hearing will take place in the lower court. Uh, whether he will be physically produced in the court or whether it will happen through video conferencing, the call will be taken in consultation with the Delhi police. Remember, uh, the all 15 accused who have been arrested earlier in this case, some of them very high profile. They all they all have been produced physically by the Delhi uh, by the enforcement direct uh, directorate with security being provided by the Delhi police. the police uh, the enforcement directorate has said they have nothing to hide as far as this case is concerned and they would like to present him in the court and they want a public hearing to take place so uh, everything is out in the open the remand application will be submitted in the court what the ed officials have said is that probably on three to four grounds the arrest has taken place one uh, is that he was present when the policy formulations uh, changes were made at the behest of the south group which is headed by k kavita who is already in the custody of the enforcement directorate second the conspiracy in which he was involved along with manish sisodia the lsk impacts that were paid importantly the nine summons that he ignored 
And Jeez. also importantly, when the questioning was taking place yesterday, he was uh, evasive for the two hours questioning that took place yesterday. All right. So that is the latest details that is now coming in. Of course, the inside details that we are also picking up. Though the ED's action plan today, as far as Bhavtosh has been giving us those details, we also have Sabir Sachi with us because Sabir Sachi, so far as today's uh, planning of the Enforcement Directorate is concerned, because uh, they are likely to question him once again before the time, as far as he will be produced in the court today. Well, absolutely. See, the Enforcement Directorate uh, would uh, begin uh, uh, the questioning of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal soon. And uh, in this questioning, uh, they would be asking uh, the tough questions uh, uh, to Mr. Kejriwal. And uh, see, under this matter, the Enforcement Directorate would be uh, seeking for a, a lot of remand uh, as far as Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, see, uh, the Enforcement Directorate, uh, while the matter was in the Delhi High Court, the Delhi High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties and the Delhi High Court is not inclined uh, to give any sort of protection uh, to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. See, and the Enforcement Directorate has been maintaining the fact that uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has not been attending the summons. Nine summons has been sent to him. He had been evasive while uh, the questioning was carried out at his residence last night for two hours and also questions the profit margin how the profit margin has been incre increased from 5 to 12 percent now uh, when ED would be seeking uh, the remand of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal there is a possibility that ED can also cross question Arvind Kejriwal with uh, K. Kavita and Vijay Nair as well see remember after K. Kavita was uh, uh, arrested uh, 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 by the enforcement directorate and also after that a press statement was released in the public domain where in the press statement the enforcement directorate clearly mentioned that uh, Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia had re received around 100 crores of kickbacks uh, from K. Kavita and the South Group. Uh, mm -hmm. So under these circumstances the enforcement directorate would be seeking uh, the custody of uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, meanwhile the politics is continuously going on. The opposition has been extending uh, their support uh, to uh, Arvind Kejriwal and soon uh, joins statement from the India Alliance party is also expected. चलिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ सबसे साथ जो शिवानी और भवतोष भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं अब ये तो कार्रवाई और ये बात होगी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट की लेकिन यहीं पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ आज सामने क्या रखा जाएगा उसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे देते हैं क्योंकि यहीं पर अभी फिलहाल खबर ये मिल रही है कि कोई स्पेशल बेंच सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सेटअप नहीं होती है देर रात इन फैक्ट वेन इट कम्स टू मिड नाइट कि क्योंकि हमने देखा था कि जिस तरह से गिरफ्तारी की जैसी ही खबर आई लीगल टीम जो है अरविंद केजरीवाल की वो कम से कम रजिस्ट्रार के घर पहुंची और उन्होंने कहा कि जल्द से जल्द रात को ही सुनवाई हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुआ अब ये बताया जा रहा है कि आज जल्द से जल्द सुनवाई की मांग रखी जाएगी अरविंद केजरीवाल की लीगल टीम की तरफ से लेकिन अभी भी ये जानकारी नहीं मिल रही है कि क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये आज केस टेकअप करेगा इसके ऊपर सुनवाई होगी या नहीं एक बार सुन लेते हैं जहां तक अतिशी जो है जो दिल्ली सरकार में जो आम आदमी पार्टी की मंत्री है उनकी तरफ से क्या कहना है कि लीगल रिकॉर्ड्स आखिरकार क्या होगा बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो भवतोष हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़े हुए हैं भवतोष सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंगल की तरफ से भी जरा बताएं हमें क्योंकि देर रात हमने देखा था कि लगातार कोशिशें जारी थी कि अर्जेंट हियरिंग हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुई आज क्या होने वाला है well, as far as the urgent hearing is concerned, uh, uh, Kejriwal's legal team had gone to the residence of Registrar General asking that an urgent hearing can take place but that didn't happen. They are hoping that uh, Supreme Court uh, will take up the matter today. What we have gathered from our sources is that the hearing can take place today at around 10.30 in the morning. What uh, Kejriwa's uh, legal team is uh, claiming that this arrest is illegal primarily on the ground in which they have said that it has violated Article 21 of India's constitution. Remember, two petitions have been filed by Ar Arvind Kejriwal. One of the petitions was that uh, summons that have been issued in Section 19 15 of, uh, of PMLA along with other sections of uh, PMLA in which no, uh, there can't be any kind of uh, legal remedy available uh, that violates Article 21 of India's constitution. The uh, other petition that he had filed the day before yesterday, he said mm -hmm. that uh, 
that he should be given some kind of protection if he wants to join the investigation in both right but even from the high court there he did not get any relief because the high court said that it is not inclined in any manner to give such kind of a protection to the delhi chief minister bavtosh there are more inside details that are now coming in we would want to play that out because according to sources exclusive to times now what we are getting to know as far as the charges are concerned that he is said to be involved very much in the formulation of the now scrapped uh, excise policy and kejriwal ignored multiple ed summons there is another charge that is being leveled with the aam aadmi party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and this is where the south cartel also comes in uh, bavtosh with the big arrest also of k kavita that has recently taken place uh, yes uh, amita in fact uh, what uh, actually happened in the case was uh, the arrest uh, the dramatic arrest that happened last friday of k kavita when ed team virtually landed at her doorstep and then arrested her that was in fact one of the most dramatic arrests that had taken place in this case and then uh, the statement that was issued by the enforcement directorate on monday that virtually cleared many facts of this case in which ed claimed that arvind kejriwal along with manish sisodia and uh, k kavita had conspired in the policy formulation changes now this fact was mentioned earlier in many of the remand notes and also in the charge sheet that has been filed by the enforcement directorate but this was the first time that any uh, press statement has been issued by the enforcement directorate since they had taken over the case in august 2022 so this was the big development that has taken place in this case what ed officials have said is that uh, they have the statement of c arvind who was the private secretary of arvind kejriwal and uh, uh, private secretary of uh, manish sisodia when manish sisodia was the excise minister Ji. he was called at the residence of arvind kejriwal and then it was decided to increase the profit margin from 5% to so bataya ja raha hai ki jahan tak formulation se lekar meetings tak yahi pe jo involvement hai wo top leaders of the aam aadmi party ki rahi hai aur usme arvind kejriwal ka naam sabse pehla aata hua nazar aa raha hai aur jis tarah se bhavtosh jankari de rahe ke profit margin bhi jo tha wo 5% se badha kar 12% kar diya gaya tha politics aur rajneeti ke bare mein bhi baat kar lete shivani uske upar hame zyada jankari dengi kyunki ek poster war bhi ab chhid gaya hai jaise hi arvind kejriwal ki giraftari hui hai aam aadmi party ki taraf se ek poster protest bhi bulayi ja rahi hai jahan tak humne dekha है कि आज विरोध प्रदर्शन हो सकता है बीजेपी के हेडक्वार्टर्स के सामने आज सुबह 10 बजे के करीब तो जरा पोस्टर वॉर के बारे में भी जानकारी दीजिए शिवानी अमिता मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं कि मैं इस वक्त आम आदमी पार्टी का जो आईटीओ का दफ्तर है उसके बाहर जो सड़क जाती है वहां पर मौजूद हूं आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से हैवी बैरिकेड यहां पर लगाए गए हैं और पिछले आधे घंटे में यहां छह से सात बड़ी पुलिस की बसेस जा चुकी हैं एंटी राइट वहीकल्स जा चुके हैं और इसके अलावा रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स की कई टुकड़ियां भी अंदर जाती हुई हमें दिखी है और ये जो पूरी रोड है सिर्फ ये इकलौती रोड नहीं है जहाँ पे बैरिकेड किए गए हैं अमिता बहुत सारे और रास्ते हैं वहां पर भी इसी तरह का जो सिक्योरिटी का बंदोबस्त है वो कर दिया गया है पोस्टर वॉल की आप बात कर रहे हैं और एक प्रोटेस्ट की आप बात कर रहे हैं लगातार प्रोटेस्ट यहाँ पर कॉल किया गया कल देर शाम से ही जब से पूछताछ शुरू हुई थी एडी के अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर पर वहां पर हमने देखा कि सैकड़ों आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता इकट्ठे थे कल रात को नौ बजे के बाद मुंबई में प्रोटेस्ट हुआ आज दस बजे से पूरे देश में अलग अलग जगहों पर प्रदर्शन की बात की गई है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से अरविंद केजरीवाल केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ और यहां पर भी जो सुरक्षा के इंतजाम है वो काफी पुख्ता दिखाई दे रहे हैं तो आम आदमी पार्टी के दफ्तर के बाहर फिलहाल जो हम देख पा रहे हैं कि पोस्टर वॉर एक छिड़ गया है क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से एक पोस्टर लगाया गया था कि विरोध प्रदर्शन होने वाला है सुबह 10 बजे बीजेपी मुख्यालय के सामने और वहीं पर बीजेपी की तरफ से एक काउंटर पोस्टर लगाया गया है जिसमें लिखा गया है चोर मचाए शोर सभी साथियों शिवानी आप दोनों हमारे साथ फिलहाल बने रहिए हम रुक रहे छोटे से ब्रेक के लिए लगातार इसी बड़ी खबर पर हम ब्रेक के बाद भी आपको जानकारी देते रहेंगे When journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question 
and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. The deputy and the additional director of the enforcement directorate as well. Bhavtosh bhi hamare saath live jud rahe. Bhavtosh, aaj subha bhi kya shuru ho chukhe? Arvind Kejriwal ke saath pooch taaj. Well, it will start soon. Uh, he has been, uh, he is uh, in the lockup uh, and as soon as he came, uh, they let him uh, uh, enter the lockup. He spent his night in the lockup. This is the new ED headquarters. The previous ED headquarters did not have that facility. So individuals who were arrested were taken to the Tughlaq, uh, Tughlaq Road uh, police station they, where the individuals used to spend the night. And uh, once Arvind Kejriwal, uh, uh, in fact, gets up, uh, he will be served the breakfast and then post that, uh, his questioning will resume. But having said that, uh, the matter has reached the Supreme Court where the hearing will take place. And uh, once that uh, matter gets settled, uh, Arvind Kejriwal uh, will, the all important, uh, he will be, all important hearing will take place in the lower court. Uh, whether he will be physically produced in the court or whether it will happen through video conferencing, the call will be taken in consultation with the Delhi police. Remember, uh, the, all 15 accused who have been arrested earlier in this case, some of them very high profile, they all, they all have been produced physically by the Delhi, uh, by the enforcement direct, uh, directorate with security being provided by the Delhi police. The police, uh, the enforcement directorate has said they have nothing to hide as far as this case is concerned and they would like to present him in the court and they want a public hearing to take place. So uh, everything is out in the open. The remand application will be submitted in the court. What the ED officials have said is that probably on three to four grounds, the arrest has taken place. One uh, is that he was present when the policy formulations uh, changes were made at the behest of the South Group, which is headed by K. Kavita, who is already in the custody of the enforcement arcade. Second, the conspiracy in which he was involved along with Manish Sisodia, the LS kickbacks that were paid, importantly, the nine summons that he ignored. And Gee. also, importantly, when the questioning was taking place yesterday, he was uh, evasive for the two hours questioning that took place yesterday. All right. So that is the latest details that is now coming in. Of course, the inside details that we are also picking up. Though the ED's action plan today, as far as Bhavtosh has been giving us those details, we also have Sabesachi with us because Sabesachi, so far as today's uh, planning of the enforcement directorate is concerned, because uh, they are likely to question him once again before the time as far as he will be produced in the court today. Well, absolutely. You see, the Enforcement Directorate uh, would uh, begin uh, uh, the questioning of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal soon. And uh, in this questioning, uh, they would be asking uh, the tough questions uh, uh, to Mr. Kejriwal. And uh, see, under this matter, the Enforcement Directorate would be uh, seeking for a, a lot of remand uh, as far as Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, see, uh, the Enforcement Directorate, uh, while the matter was in the Delhi High Court, the Delhi High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties and the Delhi High Court is not inclined uh, to give any sort of protection uh, to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. See, and the Enforcement Directorate has been maintaining the fact that uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has not been attending the summons. Nine summons has been sent to him. He had been evasive while uh, the questioning was carried out at his residence last night for two hours and also questions the profit margin how the profit margin has been incre increased from five to twelve percent now uh, when ed would be seeking uh, the remand of mr arvind kejival there is a possibility that ed can also cross question arvind kejival with uh, k kavita and vijay nair as well see remember after k kavita was uh, uh, arrested uh, 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 by the enforcement directorate and also after that a press statement was released in the public domain where in the press statement the enforcement directorate clearly mentioned that uh, Arvind Kejival and Manish Sisodia had re received around 100 crores of kickbacks uh, from K. Kavita and the South Group. Uh, mm. So under these circumstances the enforcement directorate would be seeking uh, the custody of uh, Mr. Arvind Kejival. Uh, mm. Meanwhile the politics is continuously going on. The opposition has been extending uh, their support uh, to uh, Arvind Kejival and soon uh, joins statement from the India Alliance party is also expected. 
चलिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ सभ्य साचे शिवानी और भवतोष भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं अब ये तो कार्रवाई और ये बात होगी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट की लेकिन यहीं पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ आज सामने क्या रखा जाएगा उसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे देते हैं क्योंकि यहीं पर अभी फिलहाल खबर ये मिल रही है कि कोई स्पेशल बेंच सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सेटअप नहीं होती है देर रात का In fact, when it comes to midnight, कि क्योंकि हमने देखा था कि जिस तरह से गिरफ्तारी की जैसी ही खबर आई लीगल टीम जो है अरविंद केजरीवाल की वो कम से कम रजिस्ट्रार के घर पहुंचे और उन्होंने कहा कि जल्द से जल्द रात को ही सुनवाई हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुआ अब यह बताया जा रहा है कि आज जल्द से जल्द सुनवाई की मांग रखी जाएगी अरविंद केजरीवाल की लीगल टीम की तरफ से लेकिन अभी भी ये जानकारी नहीं मिल रही है कि क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये आज केस टेकअप करेगा इसके ऊपर सुनवाई होगी या नहीं एक बार सुन लेते हैं जहां तक अतिशी जो है जो दिल्ली सरकार में जो आम आदमी पार्टी की मंत्री है उनकी तरफ से क्या कहना है कि लीगल रिकॉर्ड्स आखिरकार क्या होगा बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो भवतोष हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़े हुए हैं आप भवतोष सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंगल की तरफ से भी जरा बताएं हमें क्योंकि देर रात हमने देखा था कि लगातार कोशिशें जारी थी कि अर्जेंट हियरिंग हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुई आज क्या होने वाला है वेल एज फार एज द अर्जेंट हियरिंग इज कंसर्न केजरीवाल लीगल टीम हैड गॉन टू द रेसिडेंस ऑफ रजिस्ट्रार जनरल आस्किंग दैट इन अर्जेंट हियरिंग कैन टेक प्लेस बट दैट डेंट है they are hoping that uh, supreme court uh, will take up the matter today what we have gathered from our sources is that the hearing can take place today at around 10:30 in the morning what uh, kejriwal's uh, legal team is uh, claiming that this arrest is illegal primarily on the ground in which they have said that it has violated article 21 of india's constitution there were two petitions have been filed by Ar- arvind kejriwal one of the petitions was that uh, summons that have been issued in section 19 15 of uh, of PMLA along with other sections of uh, PMLA in which no uh, there can't be any kind of uh, legal remedy available uh, that violates article 21 of India's constitution the uh, other petition that he had filed the day before yesterday he said mm. that uh, that he should be given some kind of protection if he wants to join the investigation in right but even from the high court there he did not get any relief because the high court said that it is not inclined in any manner to give such kind of a protection to the delhi chief minister bavtosh there are more inside details that are now coming in we would want to play that out because according to sources exclusive to times now what we are getting to know as far as the charges are concerned that he is said to be involved very much in the formulation of the now scrapped uh, excise policy and kejriwal ignored multiple ed summons there is another charge that is being leveled with the aam aadmi party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and this is where the south cartel also comes in uh, bavtosh with the big arrest also of k kavita that has recently taken place uh yes uh, amita in fact uh, what uh, actually happened in the case was uh, the arrest uh, the dramatic arrest that happened last friday of k kavita when ed team virtually landed at her doorstep and then arrested her that was in fact one of the most dramatic arrests that had taken place in this case and then uh, the statement that was issued by the enforcement directorate on monday that virtually cleared many f- facts on this case in which ed claimed that arvind kejriwal along with manish sisodia and uh, k kavita had conspired in the policy formulation changes now this fact was mentioned earlier in many of the remand notes and also in the charge sheet that has been filed by the enforcement directorate but this was the first time that any uh, press statement has been issued by the enforcement directorate since they had taken over the case in august 2022 so this was the big development that has taken place in this case what ed officials have said is that uh, they have the statement of c arvind who was the private secretary of arvind kejriwal when uh, private secretary of uh, manish sisodia when manish sisodia was the excise minister Ji. he was called at the residence of arvind kejriwal and then it was decided to increase the profit margin from 5% to so bataya ja raha hai ki jahan tak formulation se lekar meetings tak yahi pe jo involvement hai wo top leaders of the aam aadmi party ki rahi hai aur usme arvind kejriwal ka naam sabse pehla aata hua nazar aa raha hai aur jis tarah se bhavtosh jankari de rahe ke profit margin bhi jo tha wo 5% se badha kar 12% kar diya gaya tha politics aur rajneeti ke bare mein bhi baat kar lete shivani uske upar hame zyada jankari dengi kyunki ek poster war bhi ab chhid gaya hai jaise hi arvind kejriwal ki giraftari hui hai aam aadmi party ki taraf se ek poster protest bhi bulayi ja rahi hai jahan tak humne 
देखा है कि आज विरोध प्रदर्शन हो सकता है बीजेपी के हेडक्वार्टर्स के सामने आज सुबह दस बजे के करीब तो जरा पोस्टर वॉर के बारे में भी जानकारी दीजिए शिवानी अमिता मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं कि मैं इस वक्त आम आदमी पार्टी का जो आईटीओ का दफ्तर है उसके बाहर जो सड़क जाती है वहां पर मौजूद हूं आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से हैवी बैरिकेड यहां पर लगाए गए हैं और पिछले आधे घंटे में यहां छह से सात बड़ी पुलिस की बसेस जा चुकी हैं एंटी राइट वहीकल्स जा चुके हैं और इसके अलावा रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स की कई टुकड़ियां भी अंदर जाती हुई हमें दिखी है और ये जो पूरी रोड है सिर्फ ये इकलौती रोड नहीं है जहाँ पे बैरिकेड किए गए हैं अमिता बहुत सारे और रास्ते हैं वहां पर भी इसी तरह का जो सिक्योरिटी का बंदोबस्त है वो कर दिया गया है पोस्टर वॉर की आप बात कर रहे हैं और एक प्रोटेस्ट की आप बात कर रहे हैं लगातार प्रोटेस्ट यहाँ पर कॉल किया गया कल देर शाम से ही जब से पूछताछ शुरू हुई थी एडी के अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर पर वहां पर हमने देखा कि सैकड़ों आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता इकट्ठे थे कल रात को नौ बजे के बाद मुंबई में प्रोटेस्ट हुआ आज दस बजे से पूरे देश में अलग अलग जगहों पर प्रदर्शन की बात की गई है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से अरविंद केजरीवाल केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ और यहां पर भी जो सुरक्षा के इंतजाम है वो काफी पुख्ता दिखाई दे रहे हैं तो आम आदमी पार्टी के दफ्तर के बाहर फिलहाल जो हम देख पा रहे हैं कि पोस्टर वॉर एक छिड़ गया है क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से एक पोस्टर लगाया गया था कि विरोध प्रदर्शन होने वाला है सुबह 10 बजे बीजेपी मुख्यालय के सामने और वहीं पर बीजेपी की तरफ से एक काउंटर पोस्टर लगाया गया है जिसमें लिखा गया है चोर मचाए शोर सभी साथियों शिवानी आप दोनों हमारे साथ फिलहाल बने रहिए हम रुक रहे छोटे से ब्रेक के लिए लगातार इसी बड़ी खबर पर हम ब्रेक के बाद भी आपको जानकारी देते रहेंगे When journalism is led by integrity, and when experience meets passion, there is no scope for half truths. When the noise drowns out the truth, and many lose sight of what is the real issue, I ask the legitimate question and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using. petrol diesel to go to work or to send their children to school i give you the complete picture in black and white not a colored opinion facts that help you form your opinion the news on at 9 week nights at 9 only on times now she asks tough questions like no other journalist aapke upar to kai the deputy and the additional director of the enforcement directorate as well bhavtosh bhi hamare sath live jud rahe bhavtosh aaj subah bhi kya shuru ho chuki hai arvind kejriwal ke sath poochtaach well it will start soon uh, he has been uh, he is uh, in the lock up uh, and as soon as he came uh, they let him uh, uh, enter the lock up he spent his night in the lock up this is the new ed headquarter the previous ed headquarter did not have that facility so in which so were arrested were taken to the tuglak uh, tuglak road uh, police station they were they in which so to spend the night and uh, once arvind uh, kejriwal uh, uh, in fact gets up uh, he will be served the breakfast and then post that uh, his questioning will resume but having said that uh, the matter has reached the supreme court where the hearing will take place and uh, once that uh, matter gets settled uh, Arvind Kejriwal uh, will the all important uh, he will be all important hearing will take place in the lower court. Uh, whether he will be physically produced in the court or whether it will happen through video conferencing, the call will be taken in consultation with the Delhi Police. Remember, uh, the all 15 accused who have been arrested earlier in this case, some of them very high profile. They all they all have been produced physically by the Delhi uh, by the enforcement direct, uh, directorate with security being provided by the Delhi Police. the police uh, the enforcement directorate has said they have nothing to hide as far as this case is concerned and they would like to present him in the court and they want a public hearing to take place so uh, everything is out in the open the remand application will be submitted in the court what the ed officials have said is that probably on three to four grounds the arrest has taken place one uh, is that he was present when the policy formulations uh, changes were made at the behest of the south group which is headed by k kavita who is already in the custody of the enforcement arcade second the conspiracy in which he was involved along with manish sisodia the lsk impacts that were paid importantly the nine summons that he ignored 
and Jee. also importantly when the questioning was taking place yesterday he was uh, evasive in the two hours questioning that took place yesterday all right so that is the latest details that is now coming in of course the inside details that we are also picking up though the ed's action plan today as far as bhavtosh has been giving us those details we also have sabesh sachi with us because sabesh sachi so far as today's uh, planning of the enforcement directorate is concerned because uh, they are likely to question him once again before the time as far as he will be produced in the court today Well, absolutely. See, the enforcement directorate uh, would uh, begin uh, uh, the questioning of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal soon, and uh, in this questioning, uh, they would be asking uh, the tough questions uh, uh, to Mr. Kejriwal. And uh, see, under this matter, the enforcement directorate would be uh, seeking for a, a lot of remand uh, as far as Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, see, uh, the enforcement directorate, uh, while the matter was in the Delhi High Court, the Delhi High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties, and the Delhi High Court. is not inclined uh, to give any sort of protection uh, to mr arvind kejriwal see and the enforcement directorate has been maintaining the fact that uh, mr arvind kejriwal has not been attending the summons nine summons has been sent to him he had been evasive while uh, the questioning was carried out at his residence last night for 2 hours and also questions the profit margin how the profit margin has been incre increased from 5 to 12% now uh, when ed would be seeking uh, the remand of mr arvind kejriwal there is a possibility that ed can also cross question arvind kejriwal with uh, k kavita and vijay nair as well see remember after k kavita was uh, uh, arrested uh, 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 by the enforcement directorate and also after that a uh, statement was released in the public domain where in the press statement the enforcement directorate clearly mentioned that arvind kejriwal and manish sisodia had re received around 100 crores of kickbacks uh, from k kavita and the south group uh, mm. so under these circumstances the enforcement directorate would be seeking uh, the custody of uh, mr arvind kejriwal uh, meanwhile the politics is continuously going on the opposition has been extending uh, their support uh, to uh, arvind kejriwal and soon uh, joint स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम द इंडिया अलायस पार्टी इज ऑल्सो एक्सपेक्टेड चलिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ सबे साथ शिवानी और भवतोष भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं अब ये तो कार्रवाई और ये बात हो गई इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट की लेकिन यहीं पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ आज सामने क्या रखा जाएगा उसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे देते हैं क्योंकि यहीं पर अभी फिलहाल खबर ये मिल रही है कि कोई स्पेशल बेंच सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सेटअप नहीं होती है देर रात का In fact, when it comes to midnight, कि क्योंकि हमने देखा था कि जिस तरह से गिरफ्तारी की जैसे ही खबर आई लीगल टीम जो है अरविंद केजरीवाल की वो कम से कम रजिस्ट्रार के घर पहुंचे और उन्होंने कहा कि जल्द से जल्द रात को ही सुनवाई हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुआ अब ये बताया जा रहा है कि आज जल्द से जल्द सुनवाई की मांग रखी जाएगी अरविंद केजरीवाल की लीगल टीम की तरफ से लेकिन अभी भी ये जानकारी नहीं मिल रही है कि क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये आज केस टेकअप करेगा इसके ऊपर सुनवाई होगी या नहीं एक बार सुन लेते हैं जहां तक अतिशी जो है जो दिल्ली सरकार में जो आम आदमी पार्टी की मंत्री है उनकी तरफ से क्या कहना है कि लीगल रिकॉर्ड्स आखिरकार क्या होगा बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को कोश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो भवतोष हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़े हुए हैं आप भवतोष सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंगल की तरफ से भी जरा बताएं हमें क्योंकि देर रात हमने देखा था कि लगातार कोशिशें जारी थी कि अर्जेंट हियरिंग हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुई आज क्या होने वाला है वेल एज फार एज द अर्जेंट हियरिंग इज कंसर्न केजरीवाल लीगल टीम है they're hoping that uh, supreme court uh, will take up the matter today what we have gathered from our sources is that the hearing can take place today at around 10:30 in the morning what uh, kejriwal's uh, legal team is uh, claiming that this arrest is illegal primarily on the ground in which they have said that it has violated article 21 of india's constitution there were two petitions have been filed by Ar arvind kejriwal one of the petitions was that uh, summons that have been issued in section 19 15 of uh, of PMLA along with other sections of uh, PMLA in which no uh, there can't be any kind of uh, legal remedy available uh, that violates article 21 of India's constitution the uh, other petition that he had filed the day before yesterday he said mm. that uh, 
that he should be given some kind of protection if he wants to join the investigation in both right but even from the high court there he did not get any relief because the high court said that it is not inclined in any manner to give such kind of a protection to the delhi chief minister bafto ji there are more inside details that are now coming in we would want to play that out because according to sources exclusive to times now what we are getting to know as far as the charges are concerned that he is said to be involved very much in the formulation of the now scrapped uh, excise policy and kejriwal ignored multiple ed summons there is another charge that is being leveled with the aam aadmi party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and this is where the south cartel also comes in uh, bavtosh with the big arrest also of k kavita that has recently taken place uh, yes uh, amita in fact uh, what uh, actually happened in the case was uh, the arrest uh, the dramatic arrest that happened last friday of k kavita when ed team virtually landed at her doorstep and then arrested her that was in fact one of the most dramatic arrests that had taken place in this case and then uh, the statement that was issued by the enforcement directorate on monday that virtually cleared many facts of this case in which ed claimed that arvind kejriwal along with manish sisodia and uh, k kavita had conspired in the policy formulation changes now this fact was mentioned earlier in many of the remand notes and also in the charge sheet that has been filed by the enforcement directorate but this was the first time that any uh, press statement has been issued by the enforcement directorate since they had taken over the case in august 2022 so this was the big development that has taken place in this case what ed officials have said is that uh, they have the statement of c arvind who was the private secretary of arvind kejriwal and uh, private secretary of uh, manish sisodia when manish sisodia was the excise minister Ji. he was called at the residence of arvind kejriwal and then it was decided to increase the profit margin from 5% to 10% to bataya ja raha hai ki jahan tak formulation se lekar meetings tak yahi pe jo involvement hai wo top leaders of the aam aadmi party ki rahi hai aur usme arvind kejriwal ka naam sabse pehla aata hua nazar aa raha hai aur jis tarah se bhavtosh jankari de rahe ke profit margin bhi jo tha wo 5% se bada kar 12% kar diya gaya tha politics aur rajneeti ke bare mein bhi baat kar lete shivani uske upar hame zyada jankari dengi kyunki ek poster war bhi ab chhid gaya hai jaisi arvind kejriwal ki giraftari hui hai aam aadmi party ki taraf se ek poster protest bhi bulai ja rahi hai jahan tak humne dekha है कि आज विरोध प्रदर्शन हो सकता है बीजेपी के हेडक्वार्टर्स के सामने आज सुबह 10 बजे के करीब तो जरा पोस्टर वॉर के बारे में भी जानकारी दीजिए शिवानी अमिता मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं कि मैं इस वक्त आम आदमी पार्टी का जो आईटीओ का दफ्तर है उसके बाहर जो सड़क जाती है वहां पर मौजूद हूं आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से हैवी बैरिकेड यहां पर लगाए गए हैं और पिछले आधे घंटे में यहां छह से सात बड़ी पुलिस की बसेस जा चुकी हैं एंटी राइट वाइकल्स जा चुके हैं और इसके अलावा रैपिड एक्शन फोर्स की कई टुकड़ियां भी अंदर जाती हुई हमें दिखी है और ये जो पूरी रोड है सिर्फ ये इकलौती रोड नहीं है जहाँ पे बैरिकेड किए गए हैं अमिता बहुत सारे और रास्ते हैं वहां पर भी इसी तरह का जो सिक्योरिटी का बंदोबस्त है वो कर दिया गया है पोस्टर वॉर की आप बात कर रहे हैं और एक प्रोटेस्ट की आप बात कर रहे हैं लगातार प्रोटेस्ट यहाँ पर कॉल किया गया कल देर शाम से ही जब से पूछताछ शुरू हुई थी एडी के अरविंद केजरीवाल के घर पर वहां पर हमने देखा कि सैकड़ों आम आदमी पार्टी के कार्यकर्ता इकट्ठे थे कल रात को नौ बजे के बाद मुंबई में प्रोटेस्ट हुआ आज दस बजे से पूरे देश में अलग अलग जगहों पर प्रदर्शन की बात की गई है आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से अरविंद केजरीवाल केजरीवाल की गिरफ्तारी के खिलाफ और यहां पर भी जो सुरक्षा के इंतजाम है वो काफी पुख्ता दिखाई दे रहे हैं तो आम आदमी पार्टी के दफ्तर के बाहर फिलहाल जो हम देख पा रहे हैं कि पोस्टर वॉर एक छिड़ गया है क्योंकि आम आदमी पार्टी की तरफ से एक पोस्टर लगाया गया था कि विरोध प्रदर्शन होने वाला है सुबह 10 बजे बीजेपी मुख्यालय के सामने और वहीं पर बीजेपी की तरफ से एक काउंटर पोस्टर लगाया गया है जिसमें लिखा गया है चोर मचाए शोर सभी साथियों शिवानी आप दोनों हमारे साथ फिलहाल बने रहिए हम रुक रहे छोटे से ब्रेक के लिए लगातार इसी बड़ी खबर पर हम ब्रेक के बाद भी आपको जानकारी देते रहेंगे when journalism is led by integrity and when experience meets passion there is no scope for half truths when the noise drowns out the truth and many lose sight of what is the real issue i ask the legitimate question 
and uncover the whole truth. Don't tax the poor people who are using petrol, diesel to go to work or to send their children to school. I give you the complete picture in black and white. Not a colored opinion, facts that help you form your opinion. The News on at 9. Weeknights at 9, only on Times Now. She asks tough questions like no other journalist. The deputy and the additional director of the enforcement directorate as well. Bhavtosh, we are live with you. Bhavtosh, what is the start of the day? Arvind Kejriwal is with us. Well, it will start soon. Uh, he has been, uh, he is uh, in the lockup. Uh, and as soon as he came, uh, they let him uh, uh, enter the lockup. He spent his night in the lockup. This is the new ED headquarters. The previous ED headquarters did not have that facility. So individuals who were arrested were taken to the Tughlaq, uh, Tughlaq Road uh, police station they, where the individuals used to spend the night. And uh, once Arvind Kejriwal, uh, uh, in fact, gets up, uh, he will be served the breakfast. And then post that, uh, his questioning will resume. But having said that, uh, the matter has reached the Supreme Court where the hearing will take place. And uh, once that uh, matter gets settled, uh, Arvind Kejriwal uh, will the all important uh, he will be all important hearing will take place in the lower court. Uh, whether he will be physically produced in the court or whether it will happen through video conferencing, the call will be taken in consultation with the Delhi Police. Remember, uh, the all fifteen accused who have been arrested earlier in this case, some of them very high profile. They all, they all have been produced physically by the Delhi uh, by the enforcement direct, uh, directorate with security being provided by the Delhi Police. The police, uh, the enforcement directorate has said they have nothing to hide as far as this case is concerned and they would like to present him in the court and they want a public hearing to take place. So uh, everything is out in the open. The remand application will be submitted in the court. What the ED officials have said is that probably on three to four grounds the arrest has taken place. One uh, is that he was present when the policy formulations uh, changes were made at the behest of the South Group, which is headed by K. Kavita, who is already in the custody of the enforcement arcade. Second, the conspiracy in which he was involved, along with Manish Sisodia, the LS kickbacks that were paid, importantly, the nine summons that he ignored. And Gee. also, importantly, when the questioning was taking place yesterday, he was uh, evasive for the two hours questioning that took place yesterday. All right. So that is the latest details that is now coming in. Of course, the inside details that we are also picking up. Though the ED's action plan today, as far as Bhavtosh has been giving us those details, we also have Sabesachi with us because Sabesachi, so far as today's uh, planning of the enforcement directorate is concerned, because uh, they are likely to question him once again before the time as far as he will be produced in the court today. Well, absolutely. You see, the enforcement directorate uh, would uh, begin uh, uh, the questioning of Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal soon. And uh, in this questioning, uh, they would be asking uh, the tough questions uh, uh, to Mr. Kejriwal. And uh, see, under this matter, the enforcement directorate would be uh, seeking for a, a lot of remand uh, as far as Mr. Arvind Kejriwal is concerned. Uh, see, uh, the enforcement directorate, uh, while the matter was in the Delhi High Court, the Delhi High Court clearly said that we have heard both the parties and the Delhi High Court Court is not inclined uh, to give any sort of protection uh, to Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. See, and the enforcement directorate has been maintaining the fact that uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal has not been attending the summons. Nine summons has been sent to him. He had been ev evasive while uh, the questioning was carried out at his residence last night for two hours and also questions the profit margin, how the profit margin has been incre increased from 5 to 12 percent. Now, uh, when ED would be seeking uh, the remand of Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, there is a possibility that ED can also cross-question Arvind Kejriwal with uh, K. Kavita and Vijay Nair as well. See, remember, after K. Kavita was uh, uh, arrested uh, 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 by the Enforcement Directorate and also after that, a press statement was released in the public domain where in the press statement the enforcement directorate clearly mentioned that uh, Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia had re received around 100 crores of kickbacks uh, from K. Kavita and the South Group. Uh, mm. So under these circumstances the enforcement directorate would be seeking uh, the custody of uh, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal. Uh, meanwhile the politics is continuously going on. The opposition has been extending uh, their support uh, to uh, Arvind Kejriwal and soon uh, joins statement from the India Alliance party is also expected.
चलिए बने रहिए हमारे साथ सभ्य साचे शिवानी और भवतोष भी हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं अब ये तो कार्रवाई और ये बात होगी इन्फोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट की लेकिन यहीं पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट के साथ आज सामने क्या रखा जाएगा उसके बारे में भी जानकारी दे देते हैं क्योंकि यहीं पर अभी फिलहाल खबर ये मिल रही है कि कोई स्पेशल बेंच सुप्रीम कोर्ट की सेटअप नहीं होती है देर रात इनफैक्ट वेन इट कम्स टू मिड नाइट कि क्योंकि हमने देखा था कि जिस तरह से गिरफ्तारी की जैसे ही खबर आई लीगल टीम जो है अरविंद केजरीवाल की वो कम से कम रजिस्ट्रार के घर पहुंची और उन्होंने कहा कि जल्द से जल्द रात को ही सुनवाई हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुआ अब ये बताया जा रहा है कि आज जल्द से जल्द सुनवाई की मांग रखी जाएगी अरविंद केजरीवाल की लीगल टीम की तरफ से लेकिन अभी भी ये जानकारी नहीं मिल रही है कि क्या सुप्रीम कोर्ट ये आज केस टेकअप करेगा इसके ऊपर सुनवाई होगी या नहीं एक बार सुन लेते हैं जहां तक अतिशी जो है जो दिल्ली सरकार में जो आम आदमी पार्टी की मंत्री है उनकी तरफ से क्या कहना है कि लीगल रिकॉर्ड्स आखिरकार क्या होगा बिल्कुल सुप्रीम कोर्ट हमने केस फाइल कर दिया है अरविंद केजरीवाल अरविंद केजरीवाल के अरेस्ट को क्वॉश करने का केस सुप्रीम कोर्ट में फाइल कर दिया है अभी उसकी अर्जेंट मेंशनिंग के लिए हमारे वकील सुप्रीम कोर्ट जा रहे हैं हम ये डिमांड करेंगे कि आज रात को ही इस केस की सुनवाई हो भवतोष हमारे साथ लगातार जुड़े हुए हैं आप भवतोष सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंगल की तरफ से भी जरा बताएं हमें क्योंकि देर रात हमने देखा था कि लगातार कोशिशें जारी थी कि अर्जेंट हियरिंग हो जाए लेकिन वो नहीं हुई आज क्या होने वाला है वेल एस फार एज द अर्जेंट हियरिंग इज कंसर्न केजरीवाल लीगल टीम हैड गॉन टू द रेसिडेंस ऑफ रजिस्ट्रार जनरल आस्किंग दैट इन अर्जेंट हियरिंग कैन टेक प्लेस बट दैट डेंट है we are hoping that uh, supreme court uh, will take up the matter today what we have gathered from our sources is that the hearing can take place today at around 10:30 in the morning what uh, kejriwal's uh, legal team is uh, claiming that this arrest is illegal primarily on the ground in which they have said that it has violated article 21 of india's constitution there were two petitions have been filed by Ar- arvind kejriwal one of the petitions was that uh, summons that have been issued in the section 19 15 of uh, PMLA along with other sections of uh, PMLA in which no uh, there can't be any kind of uh, legal remedy available uh, that violates article 21 of India's constitution the uh, other petition that he had filed the day before yesterday he said mm-hmm. that uh, that he should be given some kind of protection if he wants to join the investigation in right but even did. from the high court there he did not get any relief because the high court said that it is not inclined in any manner to give such kind of a protection to the delhi chief minister bavtosh there are more inside details that are now coming in we would want to play that out because according to sources exclusive to times now what we are getting to know as far as the charges are concerned that he is said to be involved very much in the formulation of the now scrapped uh, excise policy and kejriwal ignored multiple ed summons there is another charge that is being leveled with the aam aadmi party allegedly got kickbacks worth 100 crores and this is where the south cartel also comes in abhavtosh uh, with the big arrest also of k kavita that has recently taken place uh, yes uh, amita in fact uh, what uh, actually happened in the case was uh, the arrest uh, the dramatic arrest that happened last friday of k kavita when ed team virtually landed at her doorstep and then arrested her that was in fact one of the most dramatic arrests that had taken place in this case and then uh, the statement that was issued by the enforcement directorate on monday that virtually cleared many f- facts of this case in which ed claimed that arvind kejriwal along with manish sisodia and uh, k kavita had conspired in the policy formulation changes now this fact was mentioned earlier in many of the remand notes and also in the charge sheet that has been filed by the enforcement directorate but this was the first time that any uh, press statement has been issued by the enforcement directorate since they had taken over the case in august 2022 so this was the big development that has taken place in this case what ed officials have said is that uh, they have the statement of c arvind who was the private secretary of arvind kejriwal uh, private secretary of uh, manish sisodia when manish sisodia was the excise minister Ji. he was called at the residence of arvind kejriwal and then it was decided to increase the profit margin from 5% to 10% to bataya ja raha hai ki jahan tak formulation se lekar meetings tak yahi pe jo involvement hai wo top leaders of the aam aadmi party ki rahi hai aur usme arvind kejriwal ka naam sabse pehla aata hua nazar aa raha hai aur jis tarah se bhavtosh jankari de rahe ke profit margin bhi jo tha wo 5% se bada kar 12% kar diya gaya tha politics aur rajneeti ke bare mein bhi baat kar lete shivani uske upar hame zyada jankari dengi kyunki ek poster war bhi ab chhid gaya hai jaise hi arvind kejriwal ki giraftari hui aam aadmi party ki taraf se ek poster protest bhi bulayi ja rahi hai jahan tak humne 
देखा है कि आज विरोध प्रदर्शन हो सकता है बीजेपी के हेडक्वार्टर्स के सामने आज सुबह दस बजे के करीब तो जरा पोस्टर वॉर के बारे में भी जानकारी दीजिए शिवानी अमिता मैं आपको सबसे पहले बता दूं कि मैं इस वक्त आम आदमी पार्टी का जो आईटीओ का दफ्तर है उसके बाहर जो सड़क जाती है वहां पर मौजूद हूं आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से हैवी बैरिकेड यहां पर लगाए गए हैं और पिछले आधे घंटे में यहां छह से सात बड़ी पुलिस की बसेस जा चुकी हैं एंटी रायट वाइकल्स जा चुके हैं और इसके अलावा